You ready? Yeah, bitch. Uh, you're listening to Come Town. Come Town USA. The official podcast of the Come Boys. I wouldn't say I have shitty beliefs. It's just there's so much you like. I feel like I just can't say. Sure. That as soon as I get behind closed doors, you know, it's like the N word. The N word, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's almost like everything now is the N word. Where I don't, you know, if you just want to say it in the bathroom because you can't. But I, I, my whole stomach's been fucked up. I don't know what it is. I did a bunch of drugs, and I did a bunch of, um, and I ate like a complete piece of shit. I've been trying to uh, slim down for our listeners at home. I'm a plus size gentleman, and uh, I went on a damn bender, my dude. Yeah. See, I've got a fucked up dick. Uh, my foreskin doesn't go all the way back, and uh, sometimes it hurts when I fuck. So sometimes I have to like. It doesn't go all the way back. It's supposed to go all the way back. It stops at the head. It looks like a turtleneck. So you should have been, you should have been circumcised. I should have been circumcised, and actually, a doctor tried to circumcise me, but I just have too much pride, <laughs> too much Wait, ethnic you- pride. What do you mean a doctor tried? He held me down and uh, <laughs> he took a fucking... Was a doctor on the subway? <laughs> yeah, when I say doctor, it was a guy I met. A guy, a guy, a guy off met. Scruff. Yeah. Dude, how funny is... Oh, initially, we were going to talk about Tom Myers. Oh, yes. The um, king. Tom Myers is uh, the greatest comedian of all time. Uh, my favorite stand-up comedian. Um, if you, if you want to know more about Tom Myers, go to YouTube and type in Ed Schrader Show... <laughs> That's S H R A D E R, Tom Myers, and Tom was a guest on Ed's like a surreal talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny. So the whole the setup is is it's supposed to be like an it's supposed to have this like weird. It's a troll talk show. It's basically. A, yeah, it's a troll. It's like a hipster ironic talk show. Right. So to the extent that even the announcer for the show is some guy that's like, and your next guest, like he's doing a dumb voice, like everything's supposed to be bad. And they got the best comedian you could for an ironic talk show. Absolutely. Which is Tom Myers, who the King uh, looks baby. like Steve Buscemi, dresses like Bill Hicks. You know what's funny about Tom Myers is Tom Myers had that hairline and had the solution to that hairline, which is that weird comb over thing that he does <laughs> at like age 21. When I met him, yeah. I was like 16. He was uh, 16 or 17. And I'm like, oh, this guy's in his like late 30s. Absolutely, you. He he looks 15 years older than he is. Yeah, and he was like 21. But uh, the, I got on the Tom Myers tangent because you remember at his album recording, he did yes. that that joke about like he just slid it in there that his parents already have a grave for him. <laughs> yeah, they bought <laughs> they bought a grave for him, a grave, a grave plot for their son next to theirs. So because he lives with his parents, yeah. he lives with his parents. Calls little league baseball and works at Seven <laughs> Eleven. He was the chairman of the Harford County Young Democrats until he literally aged out of it. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "You're too fucking old." <laughs> yeah. So then he like, oh man, he is. So did he good. come back from? He retired from comedy for no, a did he? I don't think so. Yeah, you should check it out, guys. Seriously, Tom Myers. We were present. Both both Nick and myself were present for the recording of, I believe it was something like Pitchforks, and he has some really strong imagery. Another, yeah, he had an album called uh, Words of Mass Destruction. Words of Mass Destruction, <laughs> dude. Scathing criticism of the Iraq War, and uh, and pot. <laughs> pot as in marijuana which uh, he calls pot bong hit transplant bong hit transplant <laughs> that's that's punchlines. by the way bong hit transplant is the is the punchline to a joke go find it you'll really enjoy it when you figure it out it will make <laughs> that, a lot of sense <laughs> it really should be the punchline to every joke <laughs> Yeah, would you get a bong hit transplant? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is even a bong hit transplant? Um, but Eddie Griffin is saying like uh so <laughs> Eddie Griffin is taking forever, and he starts he starts quoting scripture, and then he says that like, oh, it was because because we allowed gay marriage or something that we were gonna start uh, that um uh and he quotes some scripture that says because of gay marriage people were gonna be zombies <laughs> that it was like the undead shall come back from the dead in the time of sins and his interpretation and just some old bla- this is insane you know what I mean just insane shit and some old black woman in the crowd starts clapping and going read your book <laughs> <laughs> like like it's fucking like that is true like what he said was in the bible like I don't even think what he was talking about was even remotely in there and she was just like read your book read and it's 
your book. At this, it's like Saturday at 2 a.m. It Read was fucking. It was one of the most hilarious. And I'm sitting there just waiting to fucking close the show. Fine. But yeah. Uh, so Irwin took that room and started booking people there, like bringing in headliners. And he brought in this fucking hypnotist from oh, like Cleveland. Yes. Who drove there in his like 92 Civic, you know, all the way from Cleveland to headline <laughs> the karaoke bar. <laughs> And I mean, no one would ever be at those shows, too. Uh, no one. No Irwin one charged like ten dollars a head. Yeah. Yeah. It was. So the audience is me, Jordan, and then like um, this guy and his fucking fiance or something. So there's mm-hmm. four of us there. And the hypnotist goes on stage and he's like, I'm the amazing fucking dickhead or whatever right. his name is. And uh, he's like, I need four volunteers from the audience. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we get. Can I get four volunteers? So you know, Irwin's like looking around. He's like, "Come on, everybody! <laughs> Why get up on the stage, everybody?" Irwin, for everyone who doesn't know, is a uh, is a morbidly a- obese. He looks like he's like a he, uh, he always he likes to compare himself to Ron Jeremy. He's like, "I look like Ron Jeremy," which like. But once you take away the dick, that's an insult. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look. Ron like... Jeremy looks terrible, but yeah, he looks yeah. like a fatter Ron Jeremy. Yeah, you look. Yeah, you look a fatter fucking Super Mario Ron Jeremy looking dude. Right. And so he's like, "Somebody get on the stage!" And so we, <laughs> <laughs> which the stage, by the way, there's no stage. Yeah, it's no. the front of the karaoke yeah, yeah, bar. Yeah. They just turn some of the chairs around. Yeah. To face. <laughs> so we're sitting there, and it's like the, he's like a hypnotist. And he's going through all these like motions, you know, he's like, now I want you to breathe in, breathe out, close your eyes. And we're all sitting there and he's got like some stupid music playing and he's giving you commands, but they're like preparation commands. They're like, you know, it's almost like you're sitting in like a yoga studio. He's like, lean back, now lean forward or whatever. And he goes on. He does. So this you're thing. doing it, right? Is everyone? Is yeah, everyone you're doing up? it. You're like, conch- yeah, we're all on stage. Okay. Yeah, it's me so and there's Jordan. no one in the audience right now. No. Uh, halfway through this, like two like black dudes came in and sat down and, uh, yeah. So we're on stage. He's like doing all this, like, you know, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then eventually he goes like in sleep and he like pushes your head down. And then that's when you realize like, Oh, I'm supposed to be hypnotized now and I'm not. (laughs) And like, you know, he's like, now you, uh, cluck like a chicken or whatever, but you've already been listening to him tell you to do things, and then you realize like I'm supposed to be hypnotized, and you're like, cock a doodle do, <laughs> you know, because like, you know, like you don't want to like ruin this guy's fucking. Do you think anyone was hypnotized? The girl was really, and I had to like reach down her shirt at one point. He like made me sexually assault her, Jeez. as part of the hypnotism, which I was fine with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's not, part of the act. It's not illegal if it's, you know... Hip, if under hypnosis. Your honor. I was under hypnosis <laughs> when I sucked <laughs> off that seven-year-old kid. <laughs> the, the hypnotist. Do, 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 do. The bravest thing you can do as a woman is to put pictures of your vagina on Instagram. <laughs> but you just keep the, doing it until they ban you. Make a new account, post your, your titties, your pussy. Or just DM us. That's what them. Harriet Tubman would have done. Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Susan yeah. B. Anthony. That's right. They all would have been nude on Instagram. Aunt Jemima. Aunt <laughs> <laughs> so there used to be a place in Philly called uh, Chink's Steaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I remember one of the first time I saw it, I was like, that's got to be somebody just fucked up. You know, well, it was just a guy. It was just like some Italian guy who yeah. had like small eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's literally and i'm not yeah. even being funny that's the story he looked sleepy that's what the description was on the website and then they finally changed the name to like joe's or something in like 2012 yeah it was like a big fight yeah which goes to show you you can be a little more racist towards asians and no one really yeah well how funny is it that they changed chink steaks before the redskins yeah <laughs> <laughs> that that they got the chink, they got the chink Joe <laughs> before they got the Dan Snyder. Phones. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is, we'll be doing one of these every single day. Yep. Until, Twice a day. Uh, yeah, until one of them sounds good enough to actually put on one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just, so these are one. in a vault somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we never yeah, even fucking. My, <laughs> my private collection. <laughs> Uh, you're you're prin- you're the prince of podcasting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> prince of, prince of podcasts. Um, but that should do it. That's like 40, yeah, forty five minutes. 
Uh, nobody's gonna listen. Thank you for checking into Come Town. Check, yeah, Come Town every week. Um, for at least probably two three weeks, three or four, two weeks. or three weeks <laughs> yeah. before I have to sell the podcast and equipment <laughs> I have to make rent to pay the Chinese people <laughs> I owe money to. Uh, all right, thanks, folks. Jamie right. Kilstein, <laughs> real <laughs> hip hop, <laughs> blaka blaka blaka, <laughs> real hip hop. <laughs> Yo, this is a message for the Bumba Clots out at the NRA. If you're Yo. an NRA Bumba Clot. <laughs> I got I got a kale sandwich for you, pal. A knuckle kale sandwich. My a gluten free knuckle sandwich. That's that's not funny, dude. My dad had a bumba clot. Um, oh no, was it benign? He needed it removed. He needed his bumba clot. His bumba clot removed because it was clogging up his bumba. Yeah. Have you ever seen daggering? Do you know what daggering yes, is? Their yes. form of dancing where they like jump dick first off a table and like <laughs> smash their dick. It's, yeah. it's, it's like WWE. It totally is. But it's dancing. You would think it would be like Gold Dust's finishing move. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. just leading no, straight. No, have you seen it, Adam? Do you know about this? Um, what what is this again? Gangnam Style. Yeah, <laughs> Gangnam yeah, Style. Yeah. Uh, daggering. Daggering. They call it daggering. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like a dance. I haven't hall. seen it. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's just like very aggressive dry humping is like the mm-hmm. dance form, but then they're doing shit like jumping off balconies, like crotch first, <laughs> mm-hmm. they just slam their dick into a woman's face and she'll like collapse mm-hmm. under the ground. So good. That is it's how, cool. that is how Bob Marley died. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I had it done, I'd never been penetrated rectally and it was an old man Nice. and he was like, I'm going to have to give you a rectal exam and then when they touch when they press the prostate it feels like you need to pee really bad yeah yeah but i, I didn't d- feel that i didn't feel anything except what the fuck that was the only experience that means you're I had. gay yeah, oh, yeah. So you're gay. what i meant to say was that it uh, felt good <laughs> uh, Fag which trick. one, which if one, it one that one good, that's, that's, that's straight too. Yeah, i was lying i yeah. was I, whichever one you guys <laughs> felt that was that's my answer no, I, just, I made a noise. I was just like, I did a... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, that's normal. I was like, huh? <laughs> when he did it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck I, my I pussy. I picked my pants up off the floor. <laughs> fuck my ass. And I came fuck into it. my pants. <laughs> fuck my ass. <laughs> I had my pants off, but I found my pants to come in them. Nice, and then man. I put them back on the floor. <laughs> Do the cam girls Chatter or whatever. Chatterbait is like cam girl. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, people take off their clothes and masturbate on camera. And you I can love it. Off to them. That's and, cool. Which is like already sad enough to do. I mean, it's like a step beyond just looking at porn for me is that I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to jack off. To you want to know it's a real person. Yeah. This you want to feel the fucking desperation yeah. and the fucking this woman yeah. that got fired from Barnes and Noble <laughs> in Colorado. So now I'm watching her masturbate on camera. She's not even half of them are like lesbians, too, which is like it feels even worse because I've oh, never yeah. been into like lesbian porn. But especially when I know it's like actually somebody. Really? It's a lesbian, and it's like, you don't want me beating off to you. Oh, you don't want anyone to really beat off to you. Yeah. Dude, I have one of the gayest childhood <laughs> memories. I was such a fucking... I, like, whenever someone... Like, I feel like all little kids, when you tell them specifically not to do something, yeah. they just want to do the fucking, you know, the app want to do the exact opposite. And it was... <laughs> my parents had uh, the don't show your privates to a stranger conversation oh, yo, we, in that phase yeah, yeah, yeah continue your thing. and i was hanging out with like this kid this the next door kid this guy i think his name was like who gives a fuck uh he was my neighbor in baltimore when i was growing up and i asked to see his dick when i was like six years oh, old no, no, mine i was, was like different. i was like so uh do you want to <clears throat> uh, show each other our privates <laughs> <laughs> My and he was like, no, thank you. <laughs> thank God that kid wasn't like some weird. I would have been gay yeah. from that. Point. I would have gotten. See, but that's just your memory contorting what actually happened. Yeah, yeah. it was actually a 30 year old man. Yeah, and I sucked <laughs> his And that's dick. why you have that Instagram account. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that, right? Yeah, that would be gay. If Happy dad. Mother's <laughs> Day to ever, all, the, all the single moms out there who have to bat away their son's erections. <clears throat> Put on yellow dishwasher gloves. you guys get logged in on j- jerking? Uh oh um yes but I had you know, one time I like dead bolted the apartment um, <laughs> like, couldn't like, come into their home <laughs> yeah yeah I was like a latchkey kid so like my mom wouldn't get home till like seven so I had I'm in between ten and like thirteen it was like okay well I get home at two forty five. And then I masturbate until six, <laughs> six fifty nine p.m. <laughs> and then my mom comes home. Uh, and then there was, but you know, it was occasionally she would come home early or something. And there was like, 
one afternoon where I just had like everything out, like the whole like setup. I oh, think yeah. I had like a, a like a back massager. I was like using to jack my dick <laughs> off, like, and... rubbing your balls with it while you beat off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got like vibrating yeah, your yeah. taint. Yeah, I was just got like Shaver like her rosary beads in my ass. <laughs> it was like, just a second, and she's like the dope door is dead bolted, so she's like screaming through the whole like, what are you doing in there? Why, why can't you open the door now? It's like a small apartment, so there's no way. I, like, I'd be like, oh, I have to walk all the way through, and I'm like dropping shit. It was like banging against something, the vibrator, or, like the back massager. It's like hitting the bed frame. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, that was embarrassing, but never walked, uh, never walked in on it. My mom completely. walked in on me, and she like, she saw it, and then she goes, "You know, you, it's very late. You should be, you should go to bed." And then she started laughing and left. Really? It was the worst. She like looked at your dick. I don't know if she saw. I was just like, she licked oh. her lips. I like turned around and I was like, "Oh, my ass was." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I got walked in on like. Three weeks ago, by your I was mom? in my grandmother. She was my <laughs> fucking, she, I was just as like, a man, huh? As a man, dude. as a man, as a fucking twenty-seven-year-old man, right now. Uh, my grand, I was, I was home for Easter, and my grandmother like never leaves a room, and I'm just beating off with the door open. Or no, the door is closed, but she never leaves a room, and she just like ba- completely uncharacteristically barges in to give me like Easter money. <laughs> She's got like, I'm just like, like ten dollars straight up cranking my <laughs> hog. There is no doubt. It was just, just leave it on the table. <laughs> there was no. She's like, oh, I'll come back later. <laughs> no, no, no. Put the money down. Put the money down. I am just beating off, dude. Like a computer, you can hear the porn. That's She's great. Like, yeah, dude. My, I had a friend growing up who was like Venezuelan, and they were like weird. His family's Venezuelan, and he's like. Yeah, my dad taught me how to masturbate. Like, his dad, like, instructed him how to do it, and he would, like, buy porn for him and shit. Nice. And so his family was, like, very sexually progressive. They just accepted that their son had to masturbate. And, like, uh, he would just leave the door to his compu- the computer room open. And it wasn't, like, a big house or anything. It was, like, there was the kitchen and then the stairs and then, like, the room where they had their computer. And you have the door wide open, and his mom, like, would just be walking by, and he would just be, like, masturbating. <laughs> And we'd come over, and she'd be like, oh, yeah, he's upstairs. And we'd go up there and be like, hey, guys. It's you know? <laughs> like, dick out, just beating off. And that's a part of their culture. Now, we have Seth Cockfield here with us. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually uh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seth. Seth Dickfield. Cockfield is a different guy. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Uh, this is a, you're a different. I'm sorry. I uh, and there's no relation between the two of us. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, any oh. any 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 you know uh, similarities is a complete uh, coincidence. <laughs> uh, for My all, mistake, Seth. All legal purposes, you can't say that you know uh, this is just a cruel impression of a guy I'm not particularly <laughs> friends with. Seth Dickfield. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We have Seth Dickfield here with us. Oh, boy. I am. <laughs> Seth Dickfield did not. Uh, the guy, the Jew from Family Guy. Uh, we also have here uh, a very respected blogger, uh, Lindsay East. Lin- Lindsay Eats, everybody. Uh, I have been a fan of yours forever. Uh, hopefully you know how to speak. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, okay. Lord Jabba I, I don't da think you're Kuku going to be an... able to sustain that for 30 minutes. <laughs> Lord Jabba da Kuku on Solo. <laughs> oh, no, Lindsay had to leave. She, uh, oh, she had, to, a... she had to get out of here. <laughs> oh, no, see you, Lindsay. Oh, good, Adam's back. Oh, Adam's What's back. up, yo? Hey, Did you guys back. see, uh, was that uh, Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think it was. <laughs> oh, it was Lindy West. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Lindy West. Um, well, I'm so glad to be here so we can talk about... Oh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> about Seth, Seth Dickfield. You know Seth? Covered. Yo, Seth Dickfield and I go back. <laughs> oh, wow. He used, to pro- he used to protest outside my synagogue when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. For and they're not Jewish enough. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm not Jewish at all. I, I just talk like this for some reason. Well, Seth, I'm sorry, Adam. Please stop. I actually, looking, I guess. I've been circumcised three times. <laughs> My foreskin keeps growing back. I keep having you know, to get it removed. Real... 
<laughs> my neighbor got I know it's a real thing. It happened to me. What? I've had my I had my dick completely cut off once I learned about feminism in 2013 <laughs> and I became woke as it were. I had sure. I said I said cut it off. I don't even want to uh, 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 be associated with these rapists out here. I want my dick removed. That's so progressive of you, uh, Seth. Yeah, now, you know. You where wanted. Did, what, what happened to your dick? Well, where'd it go? Um, I mailed it to the Republicans. <laughs> I said, "You can, pal. You can go ahead and keep it." That ought to show them. You can go ahead. You can put this with Andrew Jackson and the rest of your dirty money. Your move, Republicans. I had. Yeah. I paid for it with the new Harriet Tubman twenties. The oh, dick removal surgery. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you. That's great, Seth. And I understand. I st- it's crazy how long Nick's taking in the bathroom, but I understand that you had I hope, something. You know, I hope. I hope he's getting beat up by a trans person in there. Oh yeah, that's what you want. That's what I want. I want all the bathrooms to be filled with trans people, and they're yeah. all free, and you don't have to tip. <laughs> great. Well, that's good to know, Seth. And you want them to commit acts of violence against cis white men? Is that correct? Absolutely. I think. I think that's the only way to restore justice. <laughs> Is if, uh, you know, how about we start uh, lynching these, oh, these straight lynching. white guys out here. Lynching what do you a little consider extreme. yourself to be? I, a hero. Us? I consider myself a hero. You but if you're talking about your my gender identity. identity. Oh, I, well, I'm, I, I love girls. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I love them. Oh, I want to, I want to kiss them and hug them and take them out on dates. What are your pronouns, Seth? Uh, uh, Seth. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, him, her. Uh, he, him, she, her. She, oh, she, oh, him, oh, they, yeah. him, her. Sort they, of a fee. mixed bag. So yeah, whichever yeah. you know, whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Which you, uh, here's what I do: is I go into the movie theater and I say, "Do you have a military discount?" <laughs> And if they ask for the ID, I say never mind. <laughs> so I guess that's what my identity is. Wow, I see. That is a a very intricate gender uh, construct there, Seth. But let's. You mentioned the movies. Let's get right into it, Adam. Uh, we're not yeah. just here to gab with Seth. Oh, he, Seth. Seth's a big uh, film nut, right? You're a big film. Uh, buff. Absolutely. <laughs> Your, Absolutely, I am. What's your favorite movie there? Seth? Feminist Ghostbusters, hands down. It's not even out yet. <laughs> I'm so excited it? about it. No, I mean it doesn't come out till this summer. How do you People, know it's your favorite movie? Well, because I've been blogging about. I've been talking about it for for. Uh, wow, well, let's see. When did they announce it? Seven and a half years ago. I think so. Yeah, I've been talking about this <laughs> this movie. That's going to change everything. <laughs> We're going to get. I, I mean, I used to like Hillary, and then I found out that it's cooler to like Bernie. So that's okay. that's who I support now. But okay. feminist Ghostbusters all the way. Great. What it, I think we should remake every movie, but with girls. <laughs> girls, huh? They should make a what girl are your favorite, version. What are your like? What are your top five? Girl movies Titanic. That they should do girl Titanic. Girl Babe Two Pig in the City. <laughs> girl Sex in the City. Girl HBO's Girls. <laughs> So you don't think there are enough women in HBO's girls? There should be how many are there? There's four. There should be seventy two. And about then it sends a message. What's that? To the terrorists. To the terrorists. <laughs> well, none of them are versions. What about so. Girl Gary, Girl Ross? <laughs> <laughs> that would be my favorite movie. Girl Gary, Girl that. Ross. I think David Mamet should be sent to prison <laughs> for using cuss words. You know what I call him, Seth. <laughs> But using such <laughs> using cuss words, huh? You know what I call David Mamet? <laughs> David Manet, because he, he doesn't use who is right. it. Is he that Zosia put... Mamet's father? Uh, yes, that that's, 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 <laughs> that's how I. That's the best. That's how I would describe him. Yo, did, you, did you guys hear Eric Trump's dad is running for president? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know Eric Trump. Are you talking about uh, what was their fucking name? Ivanka. Ivanka. Okay, oh, well I, I want to fuck. Ivanka I have to so go, bad. everybody. I'm Seth, late, no, I'm Seth, late for an impromptu bris. Would you fuck <laughs> Ivanka? Uh, I I don't. I would never fuck any woman. <laughs> you know, I mean, I would respect a woman's vagina with my semi erect penis, <laughs> but I would never. Chopped off. I would never. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he chopped what your do cock you do off, now? Seth? How do you have sex now that you don't have a penis? <laughs> I just. You've had so many into the hole, and I listen to the sound of my own voice <laughs> echoing back out until sort I Sort of come. like a shell yeah. kind of situation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like listening to the ocean. <laughs> well, Seth, so not, Oh, is that Nick? Nick, well, are you back already? Oh, here I am. Oh, so you just missed uh, Seth. Oh, I miss Seth? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Me dude. and him are best friends. Yeah, I see Seth. Yo, uh, Seth's cousin's Dick here, though. Field. <laughs> oh, no, is he? Who's Seth's cousin? Uh, Def. 
uh, dick field. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. With the with them, then, <laughs> it's me, dick <death> field. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I just want to give a shout out to all the POCs out there, <laughs> <laughs> all my woke mutuals. <laughs> Dev, you you think it's not fair that you can't say the M word? I can't even hear the M word. <laughs> that was my dad's joke when I told him he he'd never heard the term plot synopsis before. <laughs> when I was explaining the plot synopsis to a movie, he's like, what the fuck is a plot he's synopsis? He's never heard the term plot synopsis. No, he's like, it, it's just what it's about. That's the, the what happens in the movie. He would never say plot synopsis. So I said it to him one time. And he's like, that sounds like a, like a Greek like film professor, like George <laughs> Plot Synopsis. <laughs> plot Synopsis actually does yes. town. At the top of the Empire State Building yes. in the new Anthony Cumia Studios. <laughs> yeah. We are live from the Baba Booey Studios. Yeah, in the torch it's, of the fucking you get Statue there of Liberty. You just, uh, the button to get to the new Anthony Cumia Studios is just an N. <laughs> I don't know if Dundalk guy would make that observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been on a train. Too many different yeah. kinds of Mexicans on there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got too many different types, yeah. Too many flavors, yeah. I know about Puerto Ricans, and I know about Mexicans, and that's it, yeah. I ain't learning no R- Uruguayan motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> <yo. laughs> <laughs> it's always That's funny when they have like spe- like when dumb shitheads like that always have like a like one or two really funny lines. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then you're like, how dumb are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly. Well, there's, that's Walt basically. Remember? Walt oh yeah, Walt. Oh man, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we bring up like um, I don't want to call him a shitty he, he a shitty comic because for for where he is. And yeah, he's he's shockingly talented. He murders. He fucking yeah. murders. This in, Dundalk, yeah, just Walt Ostrowski, bro. Yeah, um, uh, the guy looks like a fucking Twitter egg with a goatee. <laughs> if you put a goatee in the middle of the Twitter egg, and then you give him a Ravens hat and camo yeah. Ravens pants. The first time I met this guy, we did a show together at like in Federal Hill at some bar, one of those Color Me Funny shows. Oh yeah. And uh, I go into the bat. He used the bathroom before me, and I go into the bathroom after him. <laughs> And he had taken a shit and not flushed. Oh. <laughs> and it was just, just steakums yeah. floating in the toilet. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to do it like it's at my house. <laughs> I'm going to do it house style, take a dump. <laughs> and I, you know, but now, hold on. Not only did he not flush, no toilet paper next to the turd. Oh. So he just had shitted and then... You were dry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a lot I'm, of I'm going commando. That's not what commando means, Walt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it Rambo style. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. I was in Mexican City in, in Colorado. Mm. Okay. Pueblo, Colorado. Really? And this kid, Jerry Garcia, <laughs> moved to, uh, to Aurora when we were in middle school. And mm-hmm. he was like straight, stereotypical cholo. Like, blood in, blood out. Had the unibrow, uh, uh, hair slicked back, always wore wife beaters. Was oddly muscular in eighth grade, <laughs> yeah. like man body in eighth oh, grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, kids yeah. had hit puberty at like four. And he had a mustache, he yeah, had like a little shimmy mustache. He was like super into like fingering girls, like <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what am I into yet? Fingering girls. <laughs> no, but yeah. he'd be like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like Laura's <laughs> pussy gets all wet and shit. And I, I just had a big head, and I was like, I want to see boobs. <laughs> uh, I just want to see their boobies. Their lady parts oh, scare me. Yeah, dude, there were there were these like these kids were just talking in gym class in eighth grade. Grade, and they were like talking about fucking a girl yeah. and i was just like i was doing the cartoonish like leaning over way too close they were talking about sex and they're like hey yo he listening yo he listening he ain't never fuck yo and i was just humiliated in gym class i was like whoa no i'm not listening i'm not i've never and the girls laughing at me like ah, yo he, you yeah, ever fuck yo man i ain't even gonna bring my iq up because you wouldn't man y'all wouldn't even believe me if i told you <laughs> and i was like What's your IQ? He goes, and he's like, 472. <laughs> <laughs> what a dip. And I had nine beers, and then I took a beer. Somehow they just let me take a beer with oh, me cool. from the bar, nice. which is not, I don't yeah. know. So I'm driving, and Joe's trash, too, and I'm like, I have like a tall boy <laughs> on my lap. And then I I pass by this cop, and I'm like, immediately I'm like, fuck, shit, fuck, your cop, fuck. And then the cop's following me. I'm like, shit. And then I like, there's a red light, and I like pull halfway into it, like while the light's still red. I'm just like fucking up. I'm like, God damn it! And then Joe's like, Just take a left here, take a left here. And he's like, You know, in my ear. And uh, light turns green. I turn left. I've turned left onto like a divided highway. So I'm like going the wrong way down the divided highway. And Joe's like, Just jump the curb. Just jump. The, just jump the curb. And I'm like, I'm like, No, man. I'm like, This. I'm fucked. You know. So 
So I'm like, I'm going to jail, and I fucking just pull off in the first side street. I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I can't believe this, dude. I'm fucking. Wait, the cop light lit you? I pulled over first before he could light me because I had fucked up. So I put my emergencies on. And I just pulled over, and I was waiting for him. And then, you know, I you know, I threw the hazards on. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm fucking going to jail. But then the cop pulled up behind me and threw the hazards on. And then, like, somehow he comes to the window. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. And I roll down the window, and the cop's like, hey, how you doing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. And then, like, me and Joe were just, we did, it. first of all, a lot of it is just white privilege. But, yeah. like, uh, you know, immediately I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm sorry about that. Um you know, I'm driving him home. He's giving me directions and he's fucking trashed, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Joe's like screaming already, you know, <laughs> he's like just hamming up how drunk he is or yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. And I had, I had given the beer in Perfect. my lap to Joe beforehand. He just poured it on himself and crammed it under the seat. So the cop's like, OK, so you know why you're pulled out? I'm like, yeah, obviously he's driving the wrong way down the thing. He's like, OK, uh, he's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, I had like two beers, you know, um, I was like, I had one with like dinner and then another one, you know, just right before we left the bar, you know, but I'm not like drunk or anything. He's like, okay, well, can you get out of the car just so I can make sure all that smell is coming from him? I was like, yeah, sure. And then still in my head, I'm like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. And so the cop brings me around behind the car and he's like, just hang tight for a second. And then he like talks. Just goes, just beats the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to whoop your drunkard friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they talked to Joe, and they come back over to me, and the cop looked just like David Bowie. Oh, weird. <laughs> he looked like a butt, like a jack David yeah. Bowie. Yeah, yeah, Like a cop David He's Bowie. He's like Major Tom the Grand yeah, Control. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a couple of black guys wandering around the back of the bank. <laughs> Young Americans. They were black, and they were driving. Yeah. And they deserved it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so this cop looked just like David Bowie and like drunk part of my mind is like, tell him he looks like David Bowie. Oh, he'll think that's, man. he'll think that's like, cool. You'll ingratiate yourself to the cop. He's going to be like, oh, for real, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yo, I love Thanks, the star dude. child. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily I didn't, you know, he was like, okay, like I, you know, I do smell alcohol. He's like, you only had two drinks. And he's like, are you telling the truth? And I was like, yeah, it was two. It was like one with dinner and then one just now. He's like, okay. He's like, I do smell a little alcohol in your breath. I don't think you're lying to me. You know, if you'd said you hadn't been drinking, then we'd have a fucking issue. But, you know, he's like, uh, I'm going to let it slide. So <sighs> he's like, um, what you want to do? And he, like, brings me back to my car. And he's like, you just go around here, you know, uh, take a right. And then, you know, make sure you get on the right side of the road, you know, coming around. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, and then he, um, I'm, like, just sitting there with Joe. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I can't believe that worked. And as I saying that, the cop was like, <laughs> He was back at the window. He's like, yeah, you forgot your ID. You know? Oh. And I was like, thanks, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I really have no idea how I got out of that one. Holy fuck. Yeah. I was, uh, when I was 16, I was 17, we did mushrooms. Yeah. Me and my buddy did mushrooms, and we ran out of cigarettes. We just ate the mushrooms. We were like, we're going to need cigarettes, because when you trip, when I used to trip in high school, I used to love to smoke. <laughs> like two packs. Uh, you must have been cool as hell. Oh, you? dude, I was so much sk- pussy. Actually, I wasn't. <laughs> I had sex once in high school. And that dude. was it. But uh, nice, dude. Dry fucked a lot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I came in my pants a lot. We we figured it out that's I, what first base is. It's a walk. <laughs> if you come in your pants. Oh yeah, I walked. <laughs> it's a, a walk. Yeah, yeah. I walked yeah. a lot. Um, I didn't fuck at all. But we uh, so we ate. Um, we both ate an eighth of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. But I ate mine first. Like probably 30 minutes before he did and mm-hmm. i ate it and then he came over and ate his and i was like yo we gotta get cigarettes and he's like all right but I, his mom dropped him off he's mm-hmm. like i don't have a car i was like drive my car drive my car we'll go get we'll go get cigarettes he's like all right so we're taking like this back way yeah something something and i'm like oh, i'll take it right here and he runs a red light like barely runs a red light fucking cop right behind us we're like fuck pull us over that's how I knew the mushrooms started working because the red and blue lights uh, yeah. on the inside of my car. And this is like dusk. So it's just starting to get dark. And it's like uh, they were like hitting each other. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, he's like freaking out. My, my buddy Mike's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Right. I'm like, just wait. So it's, it's a, a lady police officer comes to the, to the door. I'm like, miss, uh, officer, I'm so sorry. 
this is my car. I'm planning on drinking tonight. And so I wanted my friend to drive it just so I could make sure when I was sober that he could, and I was just like mushroom talking. Yeah. yeah. Just like, yeah. And she's like, okay, can I see both of your licenses? And I was like, yeah. And we both give her our license. And she's yeah. like, okay. And then goes back and we're melting down. Mike yeah. and I are oh, melting Christ. down. I'm like, dude, I can't go to jail on fucking mushrooms. I'm going <laughs> to fucking die in there. I can't yeah. do it. And he's like, dude, it'll be all right, man. I don't know. Like, I'm going to, they're going to take my license. Like, she better not look at my pupils. We're waiting for like five minutes. And it's starting to get fucking pretty, like, are they, what are they doing? Are they calling for backup? Right, right. Yeah, you yeah. just don't know. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. And she comes back and she just hands us both of our licenses and she goes, you boys are having the luckiest day of your life. There was a shooting that we need to report to. So you guys are good to go. And Get like, out of here. Uh, yeah. Like he drove away and I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm so glad that four year old got shot. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, apparently there was something at the Batman movie. You're like, it's so woke. Yeah. I can't tell if yeah. she likes me or not. I love being woke. No, nothing on this podcast is woke. We don't do any kind We're of. We're the anti woke podcast. Yeah. You should no. call it the asleep podcast. Yeah. yeah my girlfriend. The sleepy boy. Yeah, yeah. Sleepy boys. <laughs> we ain't woke. We ain't never gonna be woke, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Sleepy boys. I'm on Xanax. I'm using slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Tell slur. St- I'm on it. The guy Your boy on Ambien. stories about white privilege get me out of conflict with the police. <laughs> but I'm acting like it's intelligence. You know what I hate is wiggers. I can't explain why, but there's something about them that pisses me off, just, man. Uh, when I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's how I think. I, yeah, I'm proud to be PC. A pretty cool guy. Yeah. So, uh, last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, uh, the ticket price for the movie. So, women that are raped will get the money for the Lady Ghostbusters, which I illegally downloaded at my, wow. to watch at my girlfriend's apartment. That's and, great. And... Uh, uh, it was great. Uh, I just, you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussies? Uh, <laughs> is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly you? how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah, because you know, what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe That's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. That's so he's true. not going to pay you in, uh, as much money. That that's is true. So fucking. And true. I, I just heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earned the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the eighties, yeah. and so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since 9-11. Like, do you, what, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I don't. I don't have anything. I just need to, people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get oh, like God, some medical my, professionals Oh, God, I feel my throat closing up. I feel, do you have I like, feel like I'm being persecuted. Contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my, oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin, okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian, R- Ralph Horowski. Okay, he- I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph, this what is. What the fuck is this shit, yo? Ralph, why, it's yo, me. why y'all fucking wake me up, yo? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was just in the other room taking a shit, yo. <laughs> Anthony Kumia is my idol, yo. <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yo. Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right you, now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut and I think I'm dying. Oh my god, this about is... fucking Tom, yo. Ralph, you yeah. are. A Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth, Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we call him that. <laughs> he ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but we don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be, doing, he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it, yeah, <laughs> to, have, to, be, to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't. You know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying Seth, these things. Seth, Seth you're yeah. back. <laughs> You're back. You're I'm all, back. I'm off the live. ropes, and I've had enough of this bullying from my yeah, from my s- my ethnic white 
white cousin. So, so Ralph, do you find yourself in this sort of a similar political bent? To yo, say? Uh, first of all, yo, I don't be doing no politics, yo. I'm a moderate, yo. <laughs> I'm on both sides. I see the, I see the good on both sides. You know what I mean? Like I, say, I say, honestly, yo, you want to get abortions, yo? Do that because who trying to wear condoms? I ain't trying to wear no condoms. Yeah. So you get them abortions going, but. You trying to be president after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> you cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits, but you can't be holding public office after you got an abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That baby could have played despicable. third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. I don't First know. of all, sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, oh my god, all take it back! Never, the A's, never. A's, Ravens. Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked at that elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for lady soccer. Shut up, yo! Wow, don't, don't. Wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch! You know, if, yeah, every time Seth be talking, when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, until he shut up. <laughs> Ralph. Screw you, pal. Oh my Even God. if he, he is doing whatever the Shut blackface up, is of Jews right now. Sure. And that's incredibly all, offensive to me. I ain't got no me. problem with blackface, okay? <laughs> First of all, that's history, yo. How are you going to take history out the history books? Okay. All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will. books. I hang out at the library and I meet First of all, yo. There. First of all, I've read. Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all see right. that shit? Yo, the apple, in one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, <laughs> but that shit's fucked up. Yo, that's a metaphor, yo. I'll just learn what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's okay, a truck. It's, 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 he's, it, Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after Yo, you I ate was, those I told you. I was, uh, I was he has at a the very Anthony fast Camilla car. Studios. I have a very fast car. Yo, that shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus, yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where do you a work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with just, paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Cuntown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Yo, yo, I took a couple branding and marketing classes over at SS Community College, <laughs> and um, it's got to be strong. Your branding got to be strong, yo. Yo, that's, why, that's why our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I, I don't remember that. Uh, I choose not to. Uh, I yeah, you don't I remember just... that shit, yo? Yeah? He would take us to the discovery zone. So you're and saying... whoever couldn't do the obstacle <laughs> whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you train I champions. Have... That's how you breed champions I out this fucking asthma. house. Yeah. Are you can't... telling me okay, look, guys, I here's my question. Okay, rain is Ralph, yeah. you're 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 implying that your cousin yeah. Was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yo. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't yeah. say that's incorrect, but you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. Right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something <laughs> wrong with that? Yeah, we Please would... explain to me in I know the, we're the least homophobic terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Cometown, but Ralph, I think you're really <laughs> heading into dangerous territory. Yeah, I'm just by spitting facts that about your cousin. First of all, history ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the Savory Zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> That's it. Is that like a... I would say so. I like wearing tight-fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, I don't yeah believe, pause, I, yeah. I don't, I pause, don't yeah. women should have to... Pause, yeah. My man gay still. <laughs> that I was, thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better, First yeah. of all, I love women. Yeah, I, right, it's yeah. Both sexually and politically. Yo, I bet you've gone down on a woman before. One of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. 
<laughs> My man like wearing two Ds. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Do you ballerina? Just talk? Yo, ballet, everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff. The shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other, yo. <laughs> That's how it started, yo. The prince of fucking Russia couldn't get hard, so he looked at men jumping up and down. Y'all think I don't know my history, my motherfucker? I know my fucking history, yo. Punching down, you know? They're punching... I know all about they're punching, punching up. down, yo. I know about punching punching Y'all punching. ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all only hear... Y'all only hear, like, fucking ten hits. You only punch down. You only hear ten hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're locked <laughs> unconscious, yo. That's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <clears throat> anyway, so, yo, this shit's fucking boring, yo. What the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here, yo? I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have Chicken peanut. bosses. Chicken box. Bosses. No, B-O-X-E-S, bitch. Bop. Bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box bosses? is? Like a boss of chicken? <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker, yo. There's too many Jews here, yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? I am. Seth is not. And it's... He it, might as fucking well Seth, be, I yo. just want to talk to you about this I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing, It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had... To, well, maybe not that far, but I would... <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could shit. never have to put up with that kind of... Uh, Do you guys uh, want to smoke weed real quick? I would love to smoke yeah, weed, smoke dude. Weed. <laughs> Always I'm smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <coughs> this is dank-ass weed, bro. Oh, that's good. Get this that binger out there. Dank-ass fucking weed. Get bro. that binger, dude. Get that binger popping. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> dude, you see the... <coughs> <laughs> Damn, Nick, stop hitting that shit, dude. Dude, Nick, look at Nick. that binger rip, Nick, dude. Nick, stop hitting that shit, Dude, one bro. time Nick hit a binger for a Hold week. Hold on. I'm not even oh, lying shit. to you. No, let me do, I'm going to do the joint on top of it. Oh, dude, you're savage, dude. Rip. Dude, Nick uh, is so savage, he just hit a binger and then hit a... <laughs> And then hit a um, J without even blowing anyway, it out, bro. Well, so I worked a job last week. Can't really talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> what kind but, of job? Uh, uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, there was some work. Yeah. Let's say I let's say I did a little thing where I had to wear a costume. He's and in pretend Ocean's 14. I'm in Ocean's 14. <laughs> um, I'm in Ocean's 9-11. It's the movie where <laughs> George Clooney and Matt Damon have to blow up the World Trade Center. <laughs> Ocean's 9-11. <laughs> that was the guy I worked with. He was like a black nerd. Incredible. Jacked. I had to like change with him. They're like, all the guys change over here, and everybody else is in shape. I'm like, can I just change with the women? <laughs> There's gonna be like a shitty body room. But he is, oh yeah, he's jacked. He's wearing a wife beater that looks like a Gold's Gym wife beater, but it says Goku's Gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got like a drawing of Goku in the middle where the guy would be lifting weights. And at one point, he goes, he looks at me and the other girl, and he goes, "Have either of you ever had the pleasure of watching Avatar: The Last Airbender?" <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but no, he would have definitely fucked me up if I even, you know, remotely laughed at any of the things he said, <laughs> right. which were all great. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Okay, um, so this is... Hey, Brandon. It's hey, us, your friends. Hey, Brandon Wardell. Is, so yeah. I was, because uh, we're boys, I was just wanted to work out new bits that I do. Oh, okay. Well, okay. this is, you know, it's kind of a conversational podcast. Sweet, but, dude. Okay. Yeah, and, and remember, this something? isn't Vine, so you have more than six seconds to do your jokes that you stole from oh, black no, people. Oh, no, no. That won't, that won't be necessary, my dear man. Um, okay. All right. And here's the first bit. Here's the first bit. Go ahead, um, Brandon. <laughs> so... So Drake, so Drake was, <laughs> please, here's my first bit. So Drake was, uh, took a, Drake had a Pokemon, and I said, what kind of Pokemon is that, Drake? And he said, it's a, it's a Charbander. And I said, Drake, you're savage AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're oh. savage AF, bro. Yeah, you got zero shit. chill, baby. But, like, this fucking guy, he's a piece of shit. His name is Haralambos. <laughs> Haralambos? Haralambopoulos. <laughs> Which is such a fucking stupid name. He's a, just one of the worst people I've ever met in my fucking life. 
uh, like a lesson he gave his son was the worst thing, <laughs> the worst thing a man can be. Number one, a gambler. Number two, a faggot. <laughs> I was like, as a teenager, I knew this uh, this big fat guy, Justin, that started mm -hmm. walking with like a cane with a skull on it. Hell yeah! And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yes. Oh my god! Yeah. Does he still have it? Well, people... <laughs> but it was a spell, Jason with a Y. Yeah, no, it was it was Justin, and oh, he, Justin. it had a secret compartment that he would keep cigarettes in, oh, in the cane. Fuck yes! But people made fun of him for it, obviously, because sure. yeah, they didn't know about the cigarettes. Obviously. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they didn't know <laughs> they about the secret compartment. They didn't know what it actually was. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so they made fun of him for it. So then he was pretending like he actually needed the cane because he was so fat. Awesome. And it's like well, it was like a slippery a slope. <laughs> like that's better. <laughs> no, like yeah. no no no, yeah. I'm not a douchebag with terrible style. I'm medically obese <laughs> and I cannot walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a grown man friend that plays Minecraft. <laughs> Do you know Blake Midget? Also, uh, oh hell yeah, one of that's the his real last name. Blake Midget. I think you should change it to little person. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. No, I wanted because I was thinking I wanted to talk. about about did you see the the story about the the swimmer kid at Stanford? Yes, oh, you got six months. I can't. I try not to see that story. And it's did you like, see the letters? Yes, from the, of course. God, it's, it's like every dead. woman I know posted it. Yeah, <laughs> read this powerful letter. This is a must read. Is it's, it? I well, no, it's great. The letter the girl wrote is probably the best thing that's ever been written on BuzzFeed. Unfortunately, yes. someone had to get raped for them to produce anything that's <laughs> hard. I don't mean actual retarded people. Mm -mm. I mean fictional retarded people that I've made up to laugh at in my head. Right. Yeah, of but course. who are really silly and goofy and are doing funny stuff. Yeah. You know, but they're not real. It's like a fit, like Homestar Runner. Like, remember how everyone thought Homestar Runner wasn't mean spirited because it was a cartoon with Down syndrome? <laughs> uh, a font of knowledge. His dad did have a tweet that was like, Brock is going to be enjoying a different kind of foot long yeah. in jail. <laughs> I actually, I did that tweet. <laughs> you did? Yeah, yeah. I did one today for the, the I was like, the, the uh, you know, the bright side of this whole shooting thing is that, you know, all the victims are up and have been enjoying a different kind of little. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. I can't help myself. You're going to hell. <laughs> You're going to hell. If I go to hell, will I be enjoying a <laughs> different kind of Different kind of footlock. <laughs> There's a guy, there's some old black guy in line at jury duty last time that was just carrying a PS4. <laughs> no, I like to believe that it was the box for it the was PS4 the box. he was using as a briefcase, that's, that's which what is it even was. funnier. It, it's, Wait, you know what? It's not funnier because it's it's so sad. <laughs> yes. He's like the guy from The Pursuit of Happiness, except the child died. Guy, yeah. well, he's trying to get that child back. Uh. It's Pursuit of Happiness too. I got PlayStation. <laughs> Yo, it was a briefcase though. He wasn't using. He wasn't like playing PS4 for. It, it was the PlayStation 4 box that has like a handle on it, and he was oh, using God. that as a briefcase. Oh, oh my Can God! Can you imagine be, whatever, whatever <laughs> like court case that is to have to be the other side of that when you're like actually. He should go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want to do? I wanted to print out my own Gravedigger shirts with Gravedigger on them and uh, like go to an event, like a monster truck event, and set up a little table and start selling them and see how long it takes before they notice and shut me down. But it says Gravedigger on it. Or, well, it's got Gravedigger on it. The picture of Gravedigger, and then it says Digger Lover. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you see how many you can That's sell. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to be racist towards Chinese anymore. I'm, I'm leaving China. Are moving? Where are I you going? Me, I'm moving to bed -Stuy. You're going nice to that bro. place? Yeah. Uh, bed um, I like a pretty cool bed guy now. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm yeah. in bed -Stuy. Oh, yeah? Dude, this is... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't really consider myself one of the gentrifiers because it's like I'm not the one paying the rent. You know what Dude, I mean? <laughs> this is where they did do the right thing. And by the way, I disagree. I don't think they did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, there was like a shooting a couple blocks from my house the other week, so it's still pretty lit in my neighborhood. It's still like it's still a pretty cool place to gang live. Gang shit. Gang shit, bro. The gang shit. Uh RIP to Pop Popcorn two seventy. Oh, I miss him so who's much. Who's in jail? Dude, I, I sent you the DMs I sent him right before he yeah, went to yeah, jail. Yeah. Wait, who? Uh, you know who discovered him is uh, uh Will uh Will from Chapo Trap House. Oh, well shouts out. Yeah, that is Will, Will I've, the I've, greatest I've, I've evangelized Pop. Popcorn for Popcorn a while. Popcorn 270 on Instagram. This like fat, this little fat white kid. This Eric Cartman in like, Kentucky. He's, you know what he looks like? He looks like Eric Eric Cartman with Glenn Close's hair from Fatal Attraction. <laughs> and yeah, he's like all of his videos are like, 
me and my niggas hanging out smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's like, he yeah. was like some other moron and a white beater. <laughs> he is very, plays very fast and loose with the N-word. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. it's, <laughs> it's so funny. And anyhow, he he just got arrested and he's doing 10 years. What? I read, I'll read the DMs yeah. that I sent him. I'll, you just yeah. have fucking nacho cheese yeah. sauce all over your my lips. Favorite, my favorite Lotarian Milton uh, video is like, I think the third one. Where they're interviewing him, and he's gotten so used to the news in his house that he's just going about his business in the house. He's like, because I like doing bad shit. Leave me alone. And they follow him around the kitchen. And while they're following him, he's making Kool-Aid ice cubes. <laughs> oh, fuck. You showed Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't so know if I showed you. Funny. Somebody sent me this. This kid uh, who listens to the podcast. Shout out to him. Shout so, out. Who? Me this. So, okay. This is on Trump's page on Facebook. Some woman... Terry Terry L. Beavis Guthrie. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked. It's, I'm pretty Is sure that it's real? real. I'm pretty sure it's okay. real. I mean, it's, as much as I can vet. Yeah. She goes, uh, she writes, Mr. Trump, I don't know if you read these posts or not. However, my son Matthew, who was born with Down syndrome, would be honored to tell Obama <laughs> and Hillary they are fired. <laughs> He will be voting for you, and you are his idol. He's been telling us since he saw The Apprentice that Obama is fired. It would be the thrill of his life to be able to stand next to you and tell them both, Obama and Hillary, you are fired. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awesome. And then I work on these commercials, and like the wardrobe assistant girls are always the worst fucking people in the entire world. They're like, I'm 20, and I kind of just... You know, find my way through life by positive thinking, and uh, so I don't really pay rent. I just fuck people to stay at their place. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I would the, love to do that. Always, yeah. I saw this girl that I was dating a few months ago, and she said to me, she said, um, "Yeah, after we stopped seeing each other, I realized that I can fuck any guy." that I want. <laughs> so there was really no reason to go out with you because. As a woman, I can have sex with any man. Yeah. And I feel like that's the Da Vinci Code. They should, I mean, if they all realize that, then it's over for us, right? No, I don't know. This is... Us this personality is, boys? This is getting into, like, shitty black comic territory. Because <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, the pussy... You, got, got, a, you yeah. got a scholarship sitting underneath <laughs> your legs. That was one of Aries Spears' bits where he's talking about, how are women, <laughs> a woman not going to go to college? You got a scholarship. You sitting on a scholarship, girl. <laughs> and he's basically saying, fuck your way to college. <laughs> Use your pussy to go to college. <laughs> uh... When I was like in middle school, me and my friends were talking about like, imagine how sweet virtual reality is going to be. You can put on a helmet that'll plug into the Nintendo and then another machine will suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> and you can fuck fake women in virtual reality. Like it was just, we never even considered that you could fuck real women. Yeah. <laughs> Technology is good. When we're adults, we'll be able to fuck robots. <laughs> it just never. Somebody made that. that what first. age is that though? Uh, like 11. Because <laughs> the age immediately after that 13 is like when you become the most misogynistic you'll ever be. Uh, like I was Before pretty... you've actually touched any anything, that's when you like see a, another t child like at school and you're like, go to your boys, you're like, yeah, I would fuck that bitch in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Some girl is wearing like a training bra. Yeah, it's like a child, like another child at yeah, school. Yeah. She has a bar. Yeah, I would shirt fuck on. her in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was in first grade, I had a piece of paper with a mark and like a marker. I had written girls I would fuck, <laughs> and then it was just a list of girls in my class. Are you, wait, then, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. And I like folded it up and hid it somewhere oh, in my man. room. And I remember my parents never found it, but I imagine if they did, they would just have to be like. Yeah, I guess we just put this back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want to have this conversation. <laughs> idea. Somebody, I forget where it was. I saw it online. There was some comment section where, or maybe it was like Yahoo Answers or something where like a woman was like, is it normal for like, uh, like her boyfriend kept a cup of water next to the bed to dip his dick in after they fucked? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> to give a bath? <laughs> to give a penis to <laughs> You'll reach your cock off in the fucking bathroom, it's like dude. a dick cup. That's terrible. He's like putting his dick in. Sick. It's not my fault. Yeah, I don't blame. We ran out of shitty comedians to talk about. <laughs> there's really, there's, you know, there's like three of those guys. All right, and there's actually, you know what? You ever, you remember Tom Flood? 
I don't. Tom Flood, I well, I don't even know if he... I wouldn't really classify him as a shitty comedian. He was like, oh, fuck. Mike Diesel. Ooh. How have we not talked about old Mike Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm glad I remember... Tell that fucking story, though. <laughs> okay, so... Mike Diesel is this little fucking... He looks like... Uh, he looks like... Uh, you remember that show, U.S. Acres? It was the no. a, it was part of Garfield and Friends. Oh no, I don't remember. Remember this. Garfield and Friends, the TV show? It was the yeah, Garfield TV that. show, yeah. and then it would cut yes. to the farm scenes where there was like, you know, the uh, Roy, the chicken, and yes, yes, Sheldon. yes, yes, yes. And then yes. Orson was the pig. Yeah, hell yeah. And Orson had three older brothers that were like bully <laughs> pigs. So Mike Diesel looks like the bully pig older brother. <laughs> he's this like stout fucking like. I think his real last name is Cucarini. He's just like stout fucking. <laughs> yeah, Mike just real. Diesel yeah, yeah. His stage just name. Real, and it's great. If you, if you do a, a Bing image search for Mike Diesel, the first like three pictures of him, the next one's something like guy deadlifting 600 pounds, and then the one underneath <laughs> that is like three dudes sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, Diesel was fucking. Uh, did you not? You don't know Diesel, Adam. No. Never no, met no. Oh, you you met. I, I barely met, but I only I barely came. I only came oh. I did once at an open mic. Yeah, well, he was great. He was like a pathological liar. And, uh, and he, but he would tell these stories where they were harmless. You know, he was like that much of a liar where you never right. had to worry about the stories. But he was telling, you know, his act was fucking, he was so happy when the Iraq war started because like, you know, he, he would go on stage and he would start doing his Iraq war bit about like, yeah, hey, you know, George Bush and Saddam Hussein, blah, blah, blah. And then halfway through the bit, it would some at some point he would be like, and you know Ross Perot's over there like, hey, and he'd do his Ross Perot impression, and it's like, oh, you wrote these jokes ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just cycling these back. Wait, yeah. you Perot. were doing comedy like at the beginning of the Iraq? No, war? no, no. I started in 2005, so you know, two years in. Okay, we're two we're years into the war. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So Diesel, he would tell all these fucking lies, and one time he tells this story about he's like, oh. So I'm at a bar, right? Uh, I'm at a bar, and uh, say anything you want to me. You know, say whatever you want to me. I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not going to have a problem with it. You know, he's like, do that one, the thing that guys do where they do the tough guy thing where it's like, you say whatever you want to me, but if you come after my friends, I'll fucking kill you. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. He's like, say whatever you want to me. I don't care. And there's this guy at the bar, and he's talking a bunch of shit. You know, he's like a shit talker causing a, you know, a ruckus or whatever. I'm not thinking about it. But then... He steps on my wife's foot. And, uh, and you know, that's just a line you don't cross. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I say, you better fucking apologize. And he's refusing to apologize. So I, I grab him. I get him a headlock and I take him down to the ground. And I get him down to the ground and I, I have him there. And I, you know, I can feel his life slip out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He murdered someone? <laughs> because, because, and so, like, you know, uh, people are just listening to Mike tell because he bullshits all the time. They're like, go on. You know? Right, right, and he's right. like, yeah, and you know, the wait staff, uh, they said, Mike, we saw what happened. We'll take care of this for you. And so he told a story about how he murdered somebody at a bar. And the way stepping on his wife. Yeah, yeah. And the bar was like, hey, that's Mike Diesel, famous comedian. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to fucking let him go. Doesn't he have that other thing about the advice? He oh got, yeah, he told another story about one. yeah. He told this another is... story about being at a fucking bar one time. He's always at a bar. He's always got these like bar stories that he tells. Was it this was a headliner he was working? Yeah, with, he was a, right? a, no, he was working with a young comic, comic named uh, William, <laughs> uh, really good comic. Everyone knew this guy was going to be big, and uh, you know he says to me, he says Mike, if you just took the impressions <laughs> out of your act, you would be the greatest comedian I've ever seen. <laughs> And that was Bill Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, he still has impressions in it. Oh, yeah. uh, you did take Bill Hicks' advice. Oh my God! Uh, I had a teacher. I had a teacher in high school that was a former LAPD vice cop and a pathological liar. He made up stories. Like we we would fact check a bunch of them. But one of them actually we thought was a lie ended up to be almost true. What, what was it? He. Basically, he was saying that during his time in the LAPD, he worked security detail for like movies, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, you know, I, uh, I was a big fan of Cosby. Uh, you know, we smoke cigars together on set. You know, and uh, 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 I was like, whoa, you worked on movies? He's like, yeah, I was in a couple uh, movies, and we're like, what? 
was the name of the movies that you were in. And he was like, uh, Disco something, uh, Disco something or other. And we're like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't remember the name. <laughs> he's like, uh, and I was like, do you have the movies? Like, oh, my fucking ex-wife, she, is, she, she has uh, the movie, you know. But yeah, I, we, I, had, I used to have it on tape. But, uh, and then I, it was the first time I'd ever used IMDb. Uh, I looked it up, and there's a movie, there was a black exploitation movie directed by this guy, Fast Black. And uh, it was called Disco 9000. And he was a vi- vice cop number two, Richard Warren. He was <laughs> well, in, that's, that's weird. He was it's in like, this movie. This is pathological yeah, yeah. liars, they'll have one or two stories that are real, but then you, they sound like bullshit like the other ones. Well, right. he, he used to tell us stories that were like, he was like, oh, and then she died in my arms after after dropping charges from the scumbag, beating and raping her. Uh, she, I finally came and it was too late. And I, I'll never forget that day, uh, April 31st, 1968. You know, and then we're like, so the, my friend was like, yo, there's no April 31st. That's not a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Mike told it. Mike, I forget who told me this story, but Mike had said this, said, uh, I think it was Rob Mayer. He told Rob Mayer at a party, he was like, you know, he's like, hey, Mike, how you been? And Mike goes, uh, ah, pretty good. Uh, went fishing with the Clintons on the weekend. So <laughs> he said, he, he, you know, him and his wife went, ah, me and Patience went fishing with the Clintons. And uh, so I guess, yeah, Bill and Hillary Clinton are good friends with Mike Diesel, the booker of Wiseacres Comedy Club. <laughs> the defunct for yeah. six <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wiseacres Comedy Club. Yeah, so they went fishing. And then at the party later, he sees Mike's wife and his like ah i was hanging out with the clintons uh, all weekend and mike's standing right there and she, you know his wife looks at rob and she's like what are you talking about <laughs> and mike just like you know in the simpsons when homer like is talking to flanders and his brain just like disappears yeah, 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 or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah mike just fucking stonewalls him and pretends <laughs> like it didn't happen <laughs> mike one time he invited me to uh he goes uh he's like I want you to... I throw a party every year. It's the only time I do cocaine with my wife. It's at this party. It's called the East Coast Comics Convention. And basically, every comedian on the East Coast is going to be there. <laughs> Which is like... <laughs> Mike, that's like 45,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> is it East Burning Man? East Coast Comics yeah. Convention. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, it's at my house out in... Uh, he lived out in West Virginia somewhere. And uh, I did I did a show at Fish Head Cantina. Is oh, that it? Yes. Yeah. It was in like Rivera Beach or some shit. No, Fishhead was in the fucking uh, Arbutus or like in Catonsville. Yeah, that's where it was. It was Arbutus, and uh, I so the party was at Mike's house. But after that, and okay. I drove out there. I followed Mike Stork and Cat Malone out to this fucking party, the East Coast Comics Convention. <laughs> And, uh, you know, but I know Mike's a liar. So when he says every comedian on the East Coast should be there, I'm like, okay, like a couple of guys I'm friends with. It'll be a right. party, you know, uh, I hang out and have fun. And I get there. There is literally no one. There. <laughs> no, that's sad. It's, it's that Mike. is sad. It is, it is that's Mike sad. Mike oh. on the couch. He's he's got oh. he's in his lazy boy with his fucking legs up, and he's got a fucking afghan draped over his legs. And he's petting a shitty old dog, and his wife's like, um, "Oh, uh, come on in," you know. And Basil White is asleep upstairs. And there's a fucking cat eating like uh, part of like one of those long catered subs oh, on the table. Oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> and I, you know, I mean, I had driven from like Baltimore yeah, basically to plus. West Virginia. Yeah, it was like an hour and a half. We drove out there, and that was the night. Uh, yeah, so we're all like getting high and shit, and it was me and Mike, Diesel and Stork, and then <laughs> I think Basil woke up, and we're like. You know, uh, you know how Stork is, where he'll like, yeah. go, you know, like just go off and he's talking about like neurotransmitters yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're talking about like therapy and shit. And Mike, uh, Mike says at one point, he's like, "Yeah, you know, it took me a long time to find a good therapist, and I, uh, you know, I had a lot of people who tried to be nice to me, and it really took someone <laughs> to just sit me down and say, no, Mike, this is what happened to you, okay? You were fucking raped.'" And, you know, immediately I'm like, fuck you, asshole. And he's, like, reenacting like, the Whoa, scene from that's... Goodwill Hunting or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. fuck you, you know, I, because that's why. Because fuck you is why, you know. Right, right, but right. eventually I just had to accept it. And, I mean, I know Mike's lying. He wasn't fucking raped. <laughs> wait, he, you think he's that's also He's just casually alive? mentioning <laughs> being raped. Yeah. As... No, <laughs> wait, 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 shitty wait, 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 He was doing a scene from a movie? <laughs> well, he's always, like, all of his, because re- he's a liar. So yeah, all of right. his reactions to things are 
or like shit he saw in movies. Right. Yeah. That's you know, he's like, and then they tried to say my coupon wasn't invalid, and I said, you can't handle the truth. You know, it's like always this dramatic <laughs> interaction with people where he's like, you know, coming out on top. But yeah, that was the best part of this. Oh, and I went down to his basement to get like a soda or something. And so he's this big, fat fucking piece of shit, but he's one of those fat guys. It's like, <laughs> he told Andy Klein one time, somebody was talking about working out, and he tells Andy, he's like, yeah, I've been working out a lot. I'm actually down to 0.4% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> like Ray Lewis in his prime had 6% body <laughs> yeah, fat. Well, like, and Andy's like, Mike, we can see you. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> was, he, was, he, was fat. he was fat as shit. He's <laughs> fucking bigger than Stavros. He was like twice the size of Stavros. Point, He's a point point four. Four percent body fat. Uh, that's so like a the, fucking Auschwitz victim. That's like not even a percent body fat. Yeah, like peak athletes are at eight. But yeah. that's not that's that's a that's not even like believable. Uh, yeah, no, I mean that's very kind of bad. Shit you, yeah, I'm down to 04 percent body fat. So yeah, I go down to his basement and he's got his little workout area, which is like a bench, like an adjustable bench, and then just two fifty pound dumbbells. <laughs> 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 the only thing, just, whoo, just doing like one fucking swinging curl with his fucking piggly arms, and that's his whole exercise <laughs> regimen. Uh, uh, well, that, I'm good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, I'm we glad I remembered stuff. him. We'll save Tom Flood for the... I'm glad... You know, it's funny. I was trying to, like, pick my brain trying to think of, like, a, a, a shitty comic I haven't shit on yet. I'd love to... Maybe next episode we'll get into really deep into Dave Schofer. Yeah, Dave's He's good. a fucking... Dave's gem, always dude. been nice to me, but, uh, oh. you know, apparently people fucking hate Are you him. you kidding? Oh. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, uh, Uncle Dave Comedy? Comedy? Uncle Dave yeah. Comedy, dude. Well, Tom, Tom Flood... Why I brought out Tom Flood is because Tom Flood... And it sort of ties into Diesel... Tom Flood was this guy with like who was severely autistic. He wasn't high functioning autistic. He could like barely communicate with you, and he pushed carts at like the Safeway down Route <laughs> Seven or something. And he would come to Wiseacres uh, for the open mic, and uh, you know he would go on stage and do his time, but it wasn't jokes or anything, and everyone would laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> and like, but people, so half of it was people being like, we're being supportive or this is avant garde. And it's like, no, you're laughing at an autistic man. Right, this is right, exploitation. Right. That's all right, it is. Right, for right. sure. And uh, like one time he went on stage and he fucking like dragged, he spent the first two minutes of his set dragging tables onto the, from like the audience onto his, the stage and he lines them up and puts four chairs behind them. And he's yeah. like, oh, the, 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 uh, 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 the 1984, uh, NBC four afternoon news, uh, broadcast from September, uh, you know, 13th. And he like, he's like, and, uh, like, uh, Mitch Douglas sat here and, you know, Kate, and he reenacts <laughs> some afternoon news broadcast from like 1984 that he remembers. Members, and it's not jokes or anything. Hell yeah! And I remember Mike Diesel, like he was like, "I'm telling you, if you brought that act on the road, it would <laughs> kill." <laughs> He is a genius. And it's like, uh, no, Mike. If you brought that act on the road, Jesus it Christ, would kill. <laughs> that is Andy Kaufman level genius. It's like, no, you're you're just fucking laughing, and disabled. Man. Oh God. Yeah, he's so dumb, dude. Twitey, so, Twitey met him. I, re I ran. I saw Twitey at a party. And he was like, do you know this uh, Mike Diesel guy? And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I know Mike. And he's like, yeah, I just worked with him. He's like saying he's been a comic for 30 years. And like, he's like, I only got four teeth left. But like, you could see all of Mike's teeth. So <laughs> Mike was literally lying through his teeth. Um, which is great. Uh, just two of us today. I'm sorry, seven. Episode seven. Episode seven. We're just, just two of us. We're a little... Our uh, our leader, Nicholas Mullen, is not here. He's actually at a uh, rape joke convention. <laughs> uh, with, yeah, there's a keynote. Uh, Daniel Tosh uh, keynote. Tosh will be in there. Uh, Brock Turner, I think, is Skyping in. Nick is going also to an N-word convention headlined by <laughs> Kramer next week. Yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, so Nick isn't here. So, but listen, you're gonna want to stick with us. Hold because, up, hold up, hold up. What's up? We them boys. That's right. We yeah, them boys. We Sorry. are them boys. Uh, guys, without further ado, Doctor Evil is here. Woo! Huh? Thank you, Stavros. Thank you, Adam. It's oh. a pleasure to be here at Come Town. 
Oh, we're so happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, so I mean, I've been a fan for years, really. For I, years. Yeah, you're too kind. I didn't know you were a real <laughs> person. I thought you were just from movies. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people make that mistake, Adam. <laughs> they think I'm a silly character, but no, I'm real. You're a real person with I'm, a faint Canadian accent. A very faint Canadian <laughs> accent. Yes, uh, a faint Doctor Evil accent. Some people would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's almost true. like I I've think... forgotten my own personality since uh, 2000. Three years. <laughs> what have you been up to? You've been trying to take over the world and stuff? Still trying to take over the world. That's nice. Really? You haven't That's made a nice. lot of noise. I've gone into startups mostly. Uh-huh. Evil apps. Perhaps you've heard of Grinder. It's <laughs> like <laughs> Tinder, yeah. except it's for spreading AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, you're Dr. behind Grindr. We make a noise. We them boys, dude. Wow. Online, online account yeah. uh, who I'm mostly worried about. Yeah. Uh, it's this guy, uh, Woke Bastard. <laughs> oh, Woke wow. Bastard. You know what? I would love to hear about Woke Bastard, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, stop. So, yeah, we're in the middle of an interview, Dude, man. I know. It's very unprofessional. Stop. You can't leave us. I oh have to go. God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to go. I should be back really soon, though. All right, so. DR. I'm sorry. You know, DR, I was wondering, your voice sounds a lot like Caitlyn Jenner. I was just <laughs> thinking. <laughs> we had the same kind of surgery. <laughs> On your voice? I take the hormones because I like the flavor. <laughs> Oh no! <gasps> Not wow. this guy! <laughs> wow! Oh no! It's, it the, it's it's the woke bastard. It's woke bastard! I'm dead sexy. No, I'm you're not woke bastard. No, you're not woke bastard. Yes, there's nothing sexy about you. There's okay? no place for that body negativity here. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Evil. You're, you're too fat to be lovable, okay? That's not true. Being hot is everybody type. <laughs> Don't listen to what the patriarchy tells you. Wow, I didn't... Well, that's true. That is... Yeah, that's a good point. I'm what? hot. I'm dead sexy. <laughs> what I don't understand is the difference between fat bastard and woke bastard. <laughs> I'm pretty yes. sure they're the same person. I think Fat I Bastard used... is more uh, like less accepting of his body. Well, exactly. Let me explain. Yeah, yeah. You might not know because you're not. A, even though they weren't, you weren't in the scene. There's a very emotional scene where Fat Bastard's sad about being fat. No more. <laughs> now I love my body. I love my curves. I know that just because society says I'm disgusting doesn't mean I'm not lovable. Yes, yeah. it does, actually. Take it okay. back. What you should do is get a tiny clone of yourself that might weigh a fuckable weight. Oh, are you talking about a baby? I, yes. <laughs> so everyone is going to get a clone in your socialist utopia? In my oh. socialist utopia, oh. yes. Everyone gets oh. their own baby. Now they're going to be cool. baby-sized. <laughs> I'll tell you something, guys. If I had a clone, I just would not stop 69 with a clone. <laughs> Answer the question. Are they well, going to be baby? That's <laughs> why you get a tiny clone. Oh, because oh, you can't reach. It has oh, to suck your disgusting. dick, but you don't have to suck like it. Like the size of a baby. Oh, like a shrunken clone. I love eating babies. So, is Austin Powers still at large? Did you, did you win, or did he, he win? I don't... Austin <laughs> Powers has actually been replaced... Uh, there's really? A, I have a new uh, foe powers. by the name of Autism Powers. Autism <laughs> Powers. So. Yes. Wow. He sounds pretty cool. Adam, don't you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I don't have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I can go to the bathroom. I have oh, a call, look. actually. I'm getting a call. Oh, wow. Adam's really good at improv. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> going to the, I'm getting a call. I got to go, and then... I'll be right back in one second. I just don't want to be the only host here. Well, just go. We'll okay, hold I'll down go. the fort. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, no. It's autism it's power. Autism power. <laughs> Do trains make you horny, baby? <laughs> Yeah, he's a light, lot like Austin Powers, except he's uh, mentally retarded. <laughs> and I have absolutely no sexual desire for women, baby. That's that's essentially what the character is. But you're lovable. Just because just you're retarded doesn't mean you can't have love. Well, hold on a second, woke bastard. You're not allowed to say the R word. <laughs> I'm doing it uh, uh, ironically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because I'm woke, it's okay. Yeah, baby, that's not very woke of you, baby. I mean, you might want to, you might want to stop that, what baby. The woke is. You barely know how to tie your shoes. Can I? T uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, baby, I, 
I was at home memorizing every line to every episode of Goon Moogles <laughs> when I heard my arch nemesis Dr. Evil was on the Come Down P cast. And I'm here to, to arrest you, Evil. Uh oh. Yeah, arrest him for yeah. his crimes against the blogosphere. I, frankly, I've done nothing against the autistic community. I don't understand the hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, baby, sister. it's Caitlyn Jenner, baby. <laughs> Surprise, girl! <laughs> Here I am, it's an easier impression to do. <laughs> It sounds a lot like Dr. Evil, baby. I guess. Maybe it's very similar, but I'm, uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Caitlin, yeah. you're a hero. Thank you. Can I just say you're beautiful? Uh, I agree with that. You're a beauty. I've had a lot of surgeries to make this happen. Thank you. I'm attracted to you sexually. You know okay, well, I have to go now, too. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, I thought I was getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Well, I, I, I have to go, uh... I have to go fuck a train, baby. So, <laughs> wow. So, so I'm going to go. Too. But, uh, uh, woke bastard. Uh, it's me, woke bastard. Yeah, keep it, keep it 100. Uh, I will do that. All right, bye. Oh, hey, guys. I'm, I'm back from the rape convention. <laughs> oh, it's Nick Marlin. <laughs> uh, and woke bastard is also leaving. I've got to go now, <laughs> even though, because I hate. And because I hate Nick Mullen. Fuck, I lost the accent. <laughs> and a scene. World War Two. They killed a ton of GIs yeah. from laughter. They died well, that's, laughter. that's that yeah, yeah. move is actually how the Russians won the 1980 Olympics the gold <laughs> gymnastics. <laughs> yeah, they coordinated it. Um, Svetlana Sharanka, she, you know, she put out the banana peel, and everyone's like, "What is she doing? This is going to be fucking ridiculous." And she did. And then, uh, and then, yeah, she she pulled it off with her partner. Uh, Igor, uh, fuck suck kids up. off. Igor <laughs> 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 uh, suck kids off. Igor suck kids off with a V. Uh, at the yeah, end. with a V. Yeah. It's it's pronounced off, but it's a v- suck kids That's what off. I said. I- yeah, Igor, yeah. My name is Igor suck kids <laughs> Oh, Igor's here. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> they they wow. skyped me into the. <laughs> The audio I, fidelity in my <laughs> headphones is just perfect. Uh, oh no, Igor's gotta go. <laughs> oh, oh goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon the characters are just gonna be one second, like just the name, and then yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, good night, everybody. I'm retarded. See you later. <laughs> Who's that, that was guy? The Australian retard. I've got a good one. Hold on. I gotta go. I've got the trans hatter. <laughs> Hello, I'm the trans hatter. <laughs> You're not allowed to call me ugly anymore. <laughs> it's Caitlin, here. bitch. Here I am, bitch. Here um, I am, bitch. Here we are, the real trans wives of Target bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality show, one bitch. We're all here in the bathroom for a big birthday bitch celebration. We're cutting Miranda's balls off. There's like a family coming in. They're like, get out of here. We're having mimosas. <laughs> and Target has to sponsor it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the well, rape joke convention was great. Uh, Bob Cosby goes to jail. It's like he would be the king there. There's no way that they wouldn't. Abs- everyone in prison would love Bill Cosby. <laughs> that would be the greatest time. Of, uh, his life would end beautifully. People would be bringing him cigarettes and Doritos from commissary or whatever. That'd be great. Hey, Bill, how's it going? You're the reason I almost didn't end up in here. <laughs> well, if you just stop with the cuss words. Oh, my yeah. God. Bill Cosby's here, everybody. <laughs> I was at a restaurant oh, with Christ. my wife. Restaurant? Uh, and she said, if you just stop with the cuss words and the raping, God the women, damn. and the jalom, the oh, no. pudding. Bill Cosby had to I go. had to go, yeah. I mean, Cosby, okay. It's um, me, everybody, the oh, other yeah. Bill Cosby. That's better, yeah. The, 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 I'm more at the Cosby that you remember from growing Liar. up as a kid. Oh, Why oh. are you doing an impression of me? <laughs> Right now, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, uh, Joke Jokar uh, Tsarnaev, he the got Boston. not guilty. No, I just don't think he's guilty. Dude. Oh, oh, just oh. Some, I you're, thought you you're... meant they had a trial and he was <laughs> no. somehow. I missed that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, uh, no, he were, oh, he's not guilty. <laughs> it's too beautiful. No, first of all, you can't be a stoner and be a terrorist. It's not possible. 
That's just are you going into a Tom Myers <laughs> are bit? Are you now? working out bits? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. are you talking about? No, hey, let me yeah. ask you this. Did, did J- Jahar have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> I mean, you'll be. You listen, you're telling me he's going to hit the bong and then get up and <laughs> do plans? I don't think so. You're telling me my man's going to take a toke? <laughs> yeah, on his way to the, on his way to the, the blueprints, he's going to see a bag of Cheetos, and that's it, my friends. <laughs> the most good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Myers. I think someone that's never smoked weed talking with authority about weed <laughs> yeah. is the funniest thing in the entire world. Just, just smashing his massive foot against the ground, like fucking up the recording equipment. That Tom had to ask his parents to <laughs> rent for him. I'm a, like, listen, guys. When Bernie drops out, we will be one step closer to Tom Myers eating that pussy. Yeah. Well, I'm That's writing, the only reason I'm, I'm writing over. that in on the ballot. Tom Myers has to eat the pussy <laughs> away from Bel Air. But still. Yeah. Any, I mean, anything longer than it's the one fact, block. The fact that Tom Myers has a fan. Yeah, it's but just, it's like, that makes sense. That That's who would be. The, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just the most off-brand Reddit guys. <laughs> like, not even cool in the Reddit world. Yeah. Would he? <laughs> Like, he, you, he's intimidated by guys that wear Bazinga shirts. <laughs> like he's like, oh, they're looking at me. I hope they ask me to sit with them. <laughs> Holy shit, imagine being on the low end of that totem pole, dude. <laughs> oh, my God, that's the worst. Oh, remember that Mexican Reddit guy we <laughs> yeah, saw yeah, at the yeah. pool hall? Yeah, 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 he was uh, wearing a fedora and a Bazinga yeah, shirt. Yeah, we were shooting pool like a year ago, <laughs> and there was this fucking guy. Uh, it was like a Mexican guy with another Mexican guy, and he's wearing a Bazinga shirt and he's got a fedora on. They're speaking Spanish. And to I think each he other. was vaping. Or he was. There was another element. Yeah, there was a third element. Like suspenders like vaping or, or vaping. Or yeah, something. yeah, there was a third Reddit and stuff. Was like, this is just like a Mexican Reddit guy, <laughs> and we're, he's just speaking Spanish. So the whole thing's like, yeah. eh, los feminismo es eh, cancer. <laughs> El feminismo. <laughs> It was awesome, dude. This is like cancer. And the guy with him was just like in a like just Mexico <laughs> soccer t shirt. Like it was just he was clearly just I don't well, know. Mexico, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, he got bullied out of Mexico. Yeah. That's why he came here. He, he had made fun of so hard in Mexico he had to come across the border. Teens harass people. Oh, the best. I was on a a um a bus when I was like seventeen. And uh, there was these three black teenagers uh, harassing this middle-aged black woman who was like kind of overweight, and they were just making fun of her feet. Oh, and, geez, you know, yeah. like, and so they're like, uh, "Ah, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a, wo- a, a woman they just wasn't talking. Yeah, to wasn't her talking about. Oh, like, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> your toes look like fucking rotten grapes. Oh. And she's sitting there and just like you know stoically looking ahead, trying to ignore them. And there's like tears streaming no. down her face, like Holy Denzel shit. and Glory. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no. And that was like a classic moment of bullying. <laughs> That is some fucking very good shit. Like Scarlett Johansson, they cast Scarlett Johansson. All these idiots on Twitter are like, "Um, here's who you could have cast instead. That's actually Asian. Uh, Bob uh, ba Bing Lao, uh, Ling Zhao Junja." And it's like, <laughs> who the fuck any of these people are? It's like, see, yeah, it's like, I know who Scarlett Johansson is. Maybe I'll go see this stupid fucking anime movie if she's in it. I don't know who. Oh, uh, Ching Chang Sally. It's like, I just, Ching Chang <laughs> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was on a TV show in Korea in 1992, <laughs> so she should be the star of this blockbuster movie. <laughs> yeah, that one's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we should just send that directly to your girl, Sadie. Yeah, Sadie should find out about that. You need to apologize to Sadie about being racist to Asian people. Yeah. Do you know the rule with, like, uh, Mary Cohn and Cabron? Mm-hmm. There's, like, the two of them. It's a Peruvian guy told me, like, ten years ago, but he's like... You know, like, if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them cabron. Like, that's like a term of endearment or whatever Mm -hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South American or, like, other Spanish-speaking people cabron. Because, like, cabron apparently just means, like, top faggot. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, I want to be a cabron. Right, right. And then maricon is, like, the bottom one. But that's only, Oh, you mean top, like, top and bottom. He's, like, top and bottom. So it's like, you're like a pimp if you say it to a Mexican. No, I don't I didn't check any of this. (laughs) Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name... At a bus station no i worked with him i mean we took the bus together but i worked with him so maybe he did tell me at it the bus was station. on a bus it was on a bus it was a peruvian as a fat peruvian kid i love it and i swear to god his name was nick nolte <laughs> 
told me he wrote that down as his name on a thing, and I was like, no way, that's hilarious. Like, you put that down. That's a good reference, dude. That was that's a cool. Bad. That was yeah. a solid reference. Sexiest Cape Fear, I love it. And then he was like, what? And I was like, that's not your name. And he was like, yeah, it is. And he was also a pathological liar. Mm. And he, we were, I think we were talking about that the other day. It's like pathological liars. About, yeah, they about have all these bullshit stories. Diesel. And then the, one of their stories will be like real. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real? He's got like pictures of him and the chimp. He's got blood all over his face. But yeah, no. So he pulls out his ID and there it says Nick Nolte. Spelled the same way. Spelled it exactly the same way. That's and awesome. It, yeah. And I was like, that's insane. He's like, like, yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Pool with like things you should do in the pool versus things you shouldn't do in the pool. So it's like someone running and it's pointing at the kid running and it says not cool. And then it's like a guy holding his baby and it says cool. Uh, but every one of the not cool ones is a black person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is it a real picture? Or is it like no, it's a brown cartoon? cartoon? Yeah, that's. It'd be great so if it awesome. was just because then you couldn't complain if it yeah. was just a photograph someone happened to take of a pool, right? And all the black people had to happen to be doing breaking all the rules. <laughs> you can't help that. That's not the Red Cross's fault. <laughs> The cartoons were all brown. <laughs> it's the white guys were not more breaking any of the rules. Did and you know what's funny is like Shackleford man. Hell yes, so all baby. these people are mad at the Red Cross. There is absolutely no way in hell that was on purpose. Right. No way. There's no, no way it's at all. Deaf, yeah. yeah. But what's so funny so is, is funny. that they were like they probably did one draft and they're like, ah, put more black people in there so people don't get mad at about us for like not being, you know, diverse yeah. enough. And then uh, and then that backfired. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if it was some guy who was like, this is how I get him. <laughs> this yeah. is how we set him back. Finally. This is his yeah. last day. Their favorite place, the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. This is like when that, that, guy, that guy tweeted that picture, the, the United Airlines account tweeted that picture, the woman with the, with toy, the, pussy. the toy plane yeah. in her pussy. With the, oh, the plane You remember that pussy. shit? Yeah. That was oh, awesome. That was incredible. That's the best way to quit your job. I love the auto fucking... When someone has their shit set up for auto retweets, and it's just like, the Beatles fucking suck dick, yeah. and then the Beatles <laughs> the thing will just retweet it. Yeah. It's the best shit on earth. Yeah, I love seeing that uh, shit. Corporate man. Twitter accounts are still figuring it out. Remember that? What was the makeup account? There's some makeup company uh, when the Aurora shooting happened in Colorado, <laughs> oh, and they yeah. were like, "Aurora's trending. That must be our new Aurora makeup." Line. Oh <laughs> my god. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, Hell and then the yes. makeup they tweeted. Guess what, guys? It was the Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> they tweeted the Joker makeup. They tweeted out a tutorial of how to do your own Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Sit around. If you like freelance or something, mm -hmm. it's great. You bring your laptop. You can like just write. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't really have to do shit. You're in like a scene for maybe like five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Do they feed um, you? Yeah, you get free food. You know, you uh, get sucked. And then ten percent of the people there. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, like 89% of the people are, you know, just like, just... They drop. know what's up. 10% are, uh, you know, trying to be serious actors. <laughs> and then 1% are like batshit insane, <laughs> of Mentally course. Ill just yeah, like, yeah. there was this one time I was in, in holding for a show. And there's this woman with like aviator sunglasses on, rail thin, like anorex. It's like very tall, lanky, you know, just veins everywhere. Just a very vascular, creepy yeah, woman. Yeah. She's like hunched over like a fucking gargoyle on her chair. And some guy was like, uh, oh, well, my friend uh, David Richards, he's a writer. He's like talking to somebody quietly. And from across the room, she goes, oh, yeah, I know him. He raped me. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking uh, Yeah, Christ. I know him. He raped me back in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jeez, I don't know. What are we fuck. supposed to do with that? Yeah. And then they start talking. She's like, oh, never mind. This must be a different guy. And it was like uh, somebody with the same name. or she Was confused. he a manager at a Chili's in Newark? <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, set job I've had is the one you got me when yeah, we were truck yeah, yeah. boys. Truck boys, dude. Uh, well, didn't you have a good extra... 
Well, I was about to oh, tell. Okay. I was yeah, about yeah, to tell yeah. an extra story. I forget what the fucking lead into it was. I think we were talking about that. Oh yeah, the Jesus allegory thing. But there was this one guy at that Friends of the People thing who just had like '90s asshole hair. You know, Hell like yeah. both. Yeah, yeah. Like both of his parents were named Zach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking like always wearing eyes odd. Like like penis eyes haircut. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. '90s penis yeah, yeah, haircut, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly yeah. which is a very like like a very nicely shaped glands <laughs> helmet of hair. <laughs> And like nice. anytime they would call cut, he would immediately turn and face the camera, and you could see him on all the monitors, and no one's paying attention. Oh my god! He's just trying to fucking ignore him, and uh, and then I had to fucking listen to. Oh yeah, so I went into. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot what. Okay, yeah, we're sitting and holding, and one of the producers comes in, and like they tell us, like, okay, guys, so basically the sketch idea is like. I don't want to shit on the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, but like they're just telling you the pitch of the sketch. So mm-hmm. it's like even even if the funniest show in the world, they just tell you like here's the idea. You're like okay, you're not gonna laugh at yeah, it, right? right whatever. Right, right. It's just yeah. the you know they're just telling you so so you know what's going on. It. Yeah, yeah. So he, she's like, uh, okay, so basically the setup is like uh, you know um, they're throwing a house party and the president shows up, Barack Obama shows up, and he eats all the food. And, uh, <laughs> and again, I don't want to shit on the show, <laughs> but you know so why. Why are you prefacing that? And then that? this guy, he like leans in. He physically leans in and he's like, oh, wow, that's so great. And I had to like, <laughs> you know, step out of the room for a second to like, you know, call him a slur under my breath. Yeah. And like laugh at him. And I come back in and the producer's talking to him and she goes, no, uh, President Obama won't actually be here. <laughs> 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 he, like, oh my he, thought, God. he thought the president of the United States <laughs> was going to pop in. He's going to do a quick drop in. Or, you know, spend a day shooting a sketch where he eats too many Cheetos. <laughs> right, for True TV. For, for True TV. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, no, we were leaving. Uh, That's so good. We were in like a van back to the city or whatever at the end of the day. And like somebody was talking about something. And, and you know, he's like, well, what is your favorite film? And they were like, oh, The Matrix or something. And that guy goes, you know, that uh, that whole story is actually an allegory for Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm going children. union, man. Yeah. No way I'm going union, bro. <laughs> I've raised nine kids on this. That's so fucking On this funny. parking game. Yeah. Holy shit. No, what jobs. is he feeding those fucking kids, dude? I don't know, man. But production is the funniest job for meeting those kinds of people. Oh, it's the best. The other, the other extra, I did extra work on Blue Bloods. Oh, one yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tom Selleck? Did you see Tom Selleck? No, but I saw Donnie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. I saw Don, uh, and there was this fucking guy there, this older black dude who was like in his like, mm, probably, he was probably in his early 60s. Okay. And, um, you know, he clearly had taken elocution lessons <laughs> or at least knew how to approximate them. Yeah. Because, you know, he's like always had his fucking eyebrows vaulted, you know, <laughs> like speaking in a, you know, very... Like erudite way or whatever, but then bull, bull, bullshit. It was right, always right, bullshit. Right. And uh, like the minute I saw this guy when we're sitting and holding, I'm like, I'm gonna listen to every word this guy has to say. Yeah. For, uh, also, a lot of the extras <laughs> they have their own cop outfits because they do extra work so much. They oh wow. Just, they go and buy New York police officer <laughs> outfits. I come with my uniform. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what they do because it's like you can get a job as like. Uh, you know, a, yeah. uh, the guy that's permanently a police officer on the background of like CSI or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So we're there, and he finds this girl. Um, I forget her name. We'll call her Gabby. And she was like younger, like kind mm. of attractive, but not TV attractive. Yeah. You know, like or she's like, yeah, I'm trying to become an actress. You know, right, like, that's right, what right. I want to do is I want to be an actress. Mm-hmm. And it's like. You know, I mean, whatever. She's 19, so yeah, yeah. she has time to, She's like, figure out that, you know, don't She's do that. She's not going to be an actress. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this Lawrence guy immediately hones in on her because it's someone that he can spew all of his bullshit oh, to. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, like, I'm trying to remember a couple of the hits, but, you know, there was a good one in there where he's like, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I show up on these sets and, I, you know, I'm ready to go, you know. And I, I <laughs> the one time they say to me, Lawrence, you know. We need you to move up, and we need you to speak a couple of lines in this one. And I say, I'm ready. I can do that. You know? <laughs> uh, but they uh, they give me just my sides, and I say, well, I'm going to need the whole script. I need to understand my character's motivations. Oh what is he feeling God. in this situation? You know, <laughs> like, and the line is like. Yeah. Um, has just anybody seen we- the coffee maker? You know, yeah, like yeah, she yeah, just pokes yeah. her head in or whatever. Yeah, it's never. They went ended. that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I need to know my motivations. And then you know, it's like everything's like, 
uh, just filled with all this like bitterness. There's like a, a, a subtext of, course. Of, of, you know, jealousy and anger. And there's one time he was like, I just heard him and he's talking to her. He's like, and I told her, you know, you know, I mean, next time you're going to be working for me. I'll be producing on the next one. I'll be directing, you know, you're going to be working for me. So, you know, no, you can't talk to me that way. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, I forget who said the line, but my, one of my favorite lines is, uh, I'm going to show them who's never been boss. <laughs> yeah. And I think that applies. I think that applies to Lawrence, but but so he's going off about, you know, the whole time. One time he's saying, uh, you know, I've been here since season one. I've been working here on this project together since season one. It's like, you know, you've just been booked as an extra yeah. for seven years. Yeah. On the show. On Blue Bloods. Yeah, yeah, on Blue Bloods. The show with 19 granddads where everyone has a mustache. Yeah. The mustache granddad show. Uh, yes, yeah, no, you know what? So it's like Tom Selleck is supposed to play the major, uh, the patriarch on that show. Yeah, he's like yeah, this yeah. like cop granddad, and then his son like has a son, so he's like the great, he's the granddad, right? And then Tom Selleck's dad is on the show too. So there's another grandpa. Jesus Christ, yeah. really? There's like it's there's like, that um, many grandpas? Nine generations of Irish cops, but the guy who plays Tom Selleck's father on the show is only like three years older than <laughs> yeah, Tom Selleck yeah, in real yeah. life. <laughs> Because the math shit. doesn't make any fucking sense. But so yeah. after like a whole day of Lawrence going off about how much, you know, everybody loves him or whatever, he's talking, he's like, you know, me and Donnie have been working on this project for years together. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg shows up. You know, nobody's seen Donnie yet. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's Donnie Wahlberg. And he walks by and Lawrence sees him and he goes, good morning, Donnie. <laughs> and Donnie Wahlberg takes one look at this man and goes, been seeing too much of you around here, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> just walks away. <laughs> Been <laughs> seeing too much oh, yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's completely oh, annoyed. My God. And then he goes, uh, he like turns <laughs> to that girl and he's like, we play games with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like to joke around with each other. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Okay, so if we're talking about like career extras, <laughs> I feel... I mean, Tommy Myers is coming up again. Have you guys seen his acting reel? It's the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His acting reel is the incredible. absolute best. He's it's like, like in the investigation discovery. Yeah, shows. it's like yeah, he's yeah. a priest uh, and like an investigation and discovery. He looks surprised. He looks like he learned emotions from like uh, emojis. Yeah. <laughs> he learned how to react to things. Whoa. From, okay, well, I'm supposed to have dollar signs in my eyes right now. Yeah. <laughs> what is the dollar sign tongue emoji all about? I, put your money where your mouth is, dude. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. It took me years to figure that I, out. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you, man. So, um, so, Tom, your motivation in this scene is uh, I want you to imagine that your character is confused. He's just been hit with all this information about this missing girl. I, it's almost like I want you to imagine that you've just had like a bong hit transplant. <laughs> like that's, that's what you're doing in this scene. <laughs> Is it just a, okay? So Tom, you're so this you're is in a, the hospital, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you're in the hospital. You just had a bong hit transplant. <laughs> and the EKG is beeping yeah. next to you. Okay, so there Tom, were complications this, during your bong hit transplant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tom, I, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, being a part of the reboot of West Wing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. So basically, in this scene, you know, it's a walk and talk scene, and you are there next to Madam President, <laughs> and you're walking down the hallway of the West Wing, and. Uh, uh, and then, you know, you have to eat her pussy. <laughs> if you can do that for us, Tom. She wants to get revenge on Bill. <laughs> Tom, I want you to imagine... Okay, so pretend like you've smoked pot before. <laughs> imagine you're Paul Revere and you're on pot. <laughs> I think the British are coming, dude. <laughs> the British are coming, man. <laughs> so the... The Brexit. What do you guys? Oh, think? yo, the, you know that old joke though about the guy that goes to Africa to kill the lion. No, so is it poor, uh, poor old? He thinks it's a Cadillac. Is it that one? No, no, no. He goes oh. out to kill the lion, and and he sits back and he, he unloads. He unloads on like, bang, 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 bang. The dust settles. The lions. The lion's still standing there. He, and the lion goes up to him and he's like, um, you know, you missed me, so I'm gonna give you a choice. Like either. You, uh, I'm gonna eat you, or you can suck my dick. So he's like, "All right, I'm gonna suck your dick, right?" And then the next, the next, you know, season, whatever, he goes out, he sees the same line, bang, 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 dust settles. He's like, "You missed me. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna eat you, or you're gonna have to suck my dick." And then like the third season, obviously, yeah, he's like out there, and he's like, "Uh, yeah." Um, the line like comes up to him, and he's like, he's seeing his life flash before his eyes, and he look, looks him square in the eyes, and he's like. You must really like sucking my dick. 
Yes. My grandfather told me that. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make any fucking <laughs> yeah. sense. I thought the punchline was going to be something like, uh, you want to just skip it? I don't know. I don't know what. But I thought that was like a very well-known old joke. That's like, no, no. I've never heard that. My grandfather told me that joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. That was like, there used to be a joke about wife it, or something. like a genie when I was like in middle oh, yeah, school. Yeah, and it, yeah. didn't, it was like, what was you get two wishes. The first one was like, I want to suck another guy's dick. That's what Mike asked for. That's like the punchline is like somebody... Being gay, being gay, yeah. yeah. But there's a genie involved. Oh yeah, oh, I remember there was uh, there was a fucking yeah. I there was a, another one where it was like a gorilla. It's like we'll give you. They told this poor zookeeper we'll give you uh, eighty thousand dollars to f- get fucked in the ass by this gorilla. And he's like, or he's like for eighty thousand dollars get fucked in the ass. And he's like, all right, I'll do it, but uh, you're gonna have to give me some time to come up with eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> and it's like that was like a fucking <laughs> joke. Good. I used That's to tell on joke. buses. On, on that one, uh, uh, R.I.P. Oh, Rahman. R.I.P. Rahman. 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 You, can't, you gotta plug that. I'm sorry, man. This picture of uh, it's like SpongeBob SquarePants, but his eyes are all red, <laughs> and he's got a bong and like pot leaf behind him. And it's, you know, it's like sponge bong hemp pants, yeah. <laughs> sponge bong weed pants, and they're dying yeah. laughing. And this one kid goes, uh, oh man, I got to show my dad this. <laughs> <laughs> my dad will love this, dude. <laughs> it's like, that sucks, man. That's like worse than if you, he was just like, yeah, my dad molested me when I was a kid. It's on par with that. Is that how much of a slip up that was? My dad loves proto memes. My dad loves sponge bong weed pants. <laughs> Shooting happened. Uh, the Matilda girl. Uh, oh, yeah. Mara, yeah, yeah. Mara Wilson was like posting on Facebook. She's like, by the way, guys, I'm queer. I don't know if you know that. She like used that day to be like, I'm uh, I'm queer. Not gay, queer, which just yeah. means that like, you know, You're I got my hair cut too short one yeah. time. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh man, I was at Pride the other day, and nice. I saw. You know what I love? Sucking off guys. Uh, well, yeah, it's Pride, dude. Not uh, Prude. It's Pride. You gotta have fun, man. Fleet Week. Uh, Fleet Week is the real Pride. That's the Let's real Pride. Honest. That's real Pride. Yeah, that is. Those are the most prideful men. <laughs> semen outfits. Pride. They're called semen. They're literally there, called. There semen. There has to have been a hat comic that made a joke about like people thinking that it's like white pride or whatever, right? Um, uh, no, but not, I'll take it. I, don't okay. think so. I call that one. All right, that's yours. That's all Thanks, yours, man. You guys see these Donald Duck racists out here? They're all dressed like Donald Duck and they're white supremacists. Uh, so. <clears throat> yeah, no, I was at Pride, and there's, you know, like, it's all, like, people that are naked or whatever, and they're, like, yeah. kissing mm-hmm. each other. It's, like, ex- like yeah, expressing yeah, yeah. sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And I swear to God, I was walking down the street, and in the middle of, like, the parade, and, like, one of those, like, East or West 10th, there's a fucking, like, probably homeless older black lady, like, in her, like, you know, early 70s, <laughs> rail thin, you know, like, kind of like a, an emaciated crack yeah, body. C- correct. And she's in a wheelchair, and she's got her, like, jeggings pulled down over her, like, you know, the diameter of her legs was mm-hmm. probably, like, four inches each. It's, like, beanpole Jesus legs. Christ. Uh, and she's got her, her jeggings pulled down. She's masturbating with both hands. <laughs> and oh. she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> Oh my fucking god! And she's fucking just rubbing her pussy, and everyone's just trying to ignore it, <laughs> like shielding their eyes and trying to ignore it. Like, why doesn't she have her own float? This is, <laughs> yeah. this is what should, this should be in the parade. That's Can we get so her? Great. Can she she's be the just... grand marshal? <laughs> This is the the most powerful display of sexuality of anything here. What, we're supposed to be proud of some fucking hot 20-year-old girl with pasties on her perfect tits? Yeah, yeah. To give this woman a fucking TV show. Some yeah. ripped jarhead guy with, like, ultimate warrior, like, yeah. like rubber tassels. bands around tassels, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, that, I love that, too, because she's probably just beating off to all the gay dudes. Oh, yeah, that's what she was doing. Yeah, yeah. She was just staring at all these men and masturbating. Just looking so. incredible. Yeah, Seth Dickfield, unfortunately, was... He was on vacation in Europe um, last week, and he, oh, he was visiting Auschwitz uh, just to see the sights and take it in. And he slipped on a banana peel and cracked his head open on one of those novelty oh. penny-smashing machines. Oh, no. And he died. I can't, uh, I can't deal with this, man. And I know it sounds like that's a very funny way to die. Yeah, especially considering he's not even Jewish. He's not even... 
but it, it's it it's the actual way he died. I know that like like that guy the from Star Trek that died. You know, like everyone was pretty chill about not making jokes about the ridiculous way. <laughs> yeah, like, don't laugh yeah. at it, dude. I'm sorry. Up, There's man. nothing funny about Anton Yelchin being crushed by his Jeep while trying to check his mail <laughs> by driving over himself. There's nothing funny about yeah, it's this. Not funny. I can't do this, man. This, and it's this, not funny to that there is a <laughs> steakhouse themed. <laughs> there's a there's a Holocaust themed steakhouse. That's not funny. It's not funny that Seth was there and that yeah. he, guys. I can't. This tone is well, too light. I can't do this, man. I don't want to disrespect the dead. Well, I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm, luckily, I'm luckily we have. Uh, we have someone here to, you know, send Seth off. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, uh, what's up? Everybody, please welcome Ralph. Ralph Orowski, <laughs> Seth Dickfield's cousin. <laughs> My beautiful cousin, Seth, yo. <laughs> Yo, yeah, this is the saddest day of my fucking life since the O's lost to the fucking Kansas City Royals in the fucking AL Championship Series. <laughs> yo, they, the fucking good ones always go early, yo. You know, um... That's true. The goings always go early. The goings, the, al- the goings always go early. The goings, yeah. the, the goings. goings, yo. Please do not the- fucking antagonize me right now, yo. I just lost <laughs> my fucking grieving. baby cousin, yo. Nick, I will not have this right now, yo. He's grieving. I'm grieving, yo. What are the fucking seven stages of grief? Fucking sadness. Denial, beating up a fucking Jew that talks to you funny. You know what I mean, buddy? And right now, I'm getting close to number three right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me mourn sorry, my fucking Ralph. cousin, yo. I'm sorry, Ralph. We're here for you. Yo, I don't know, dude. It's tough, man. This is tough now. My family, now we got to find a new gay cousin to make fun of, yo. <laughs> yo, I think it's going to be my cousin Mark who cried during 9-11, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, that's not the kind of family we are, yo. We are vengeance family, yo. We find some Sikhs and we beat them up afterwards. We don't fucking cry about that <laughs> shit. So Mark is, but it could be, you know, it could be who knows, man. Is there is there going to be a funeral for Seth? Yeah, there's going to be a funeral. Um, we're gonna um, <clears throat> we're gonna um, stuff his body up into a uh, crab cake. <laughs> and we're are gonna, you getting him taxidermied? Yeah, we're gonna get him taxidermied, and we're gonna actually um, we're gonna put him just in the den, uh, in Uncle Mark's den, where uh, it was his favorite place to visit, and we're just gonna. <sighs> We're gonna put Steeler, put a Steelers jersey on him, and we're gonna give him the finger just for like full time's sake. Um, that's how we want to remember him as uh, a guy we fuck with. Was he a big Steelers fan? Um, no, no, he wasn't. We would actually hold him down, and we would toss Steelers memorabilia onto him, and yeah. then we would send him out into uh, uh, we would send him out into the streets of Baltimore. And we would tell people he loved the Steelers, and then people would commit acts of hate uh, against him. And also, yeah. we would tell them he was gay. <laughs> and could um, you? I mean, I know it's tough in a tragedy like this that you didn't. You obviously feel like you were robbed of the opportunity ro- to absolutely. say goodbye and to say, yeah. If you could say something to Seth right now, like what? What would you say? I would say, Seth, yo, don't be doing no gay shit in heaven, yo. Because I'm about to be up there and I'm about to be finger popping some bitches. And if they hear, if Marilyn Monroe hears that I got a gay fake Jew cousin, yeah, <laughs> that might fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's who you're so. going for in heaven, Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. well, no, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. This, um, yeah, this fucking uh, cross-eyed black girl from uh, Dundalk High School that was killed in uh, junior year. Uh, <laughs> oh. Her name was Mar- Is there a different Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, yeah. She sucked my dick out back behind a Mars once while I was eating fucking burger cookies. Oh, you're... <laughs> You know, you go back for doubles. Yeah. So I'm going back. So don't be fucking my shit up with Marilyn. I know she got that good heaven body up there now, Seth. What do you think Seth would do if he had one more day on this earth? Honestly, yo, I think he would probably get on Grinder and then message a guy <laughs> and then uh, be about to meet up and then uh, delete his account real quick because he realizes he's still in the closet and it would be tough. <laughs> he didn't know what he would do if anybody ever found out he was gay. I think if he had one last time on this earth. Do you think, do you think Seth would get bullied off of Grinder, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I could see that get definitely going down. Someone might, someone might make fun of Seth on Grinder and he has to delete his account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that, dude. Because he got PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's gotten PTSD before, yo. Um, but but you gave it to him. You gave, gave him PTSD him. by, by yeah. teasing him. Yeah. Well, well, that's how that's how that's what family does, yo. That's so, the kind of family we was, yo. But. So I um, 
I actually, when I heard the news about Seth, I reached out to my friend who lives in Silicon Valley. He's an app developer. Oh my god! And so he developed Seth this. Seth loved gay shit like apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he developed. Um, he developed an app. Oh yeah. That it's basically they can create a facsimile of your loved one oh after they die. Oh my god! So you, you can just click on the Seth app. Oh my god! I got him to make a Seth one. Are you serious? So man? we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to hook Seth up to the soundboard right now. Yeah. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to say goodbye. Oh, my God. To your yeah. cousin. Yeah, okay. Does, is you. that all right with you? If, if you're not ready, if that's weird if to you, ready. I don't... I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but... um. Okay, so I'm going to just click him in. I'm just going to... Okay. Uh, Hello, everybody. It's Seth? me. Yes. Hello. I'm not dead anymore. Seth is so good to fall and He's talk to inside you, the phone now. He's in a phone, yo? Yeah. I live in the phone now, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. I can always have him in my pocket, yo? <laughs> Seth, yo. Hi, it's me, Seth. Seth, do you know how you died? I'm not dead anymore, everybody. <laughs> Seth, yo. One big-ass question, yo. Are what? these coins in the lost and found for anyone? <laughs> Seth, listen to me, yo. I'm trying to ask you a serious fucking question, yo. Hello, it's me, Seth. Seth. I'm not dead anymore. Seth, you fucking little slut. Shut the fuck up, yo. I'm, oh, my God, yo. Yo, have you seen my coupon for half-off steakums or, or what, yo? Can I bring my own coupons? <laughs> Yo, this fucking app sucks, yo. There's some more you yeah, fucking Yeah, I don't know. They... Hi, it's me, Seth. I'm not <laughs> dead anymore. This is... Yo, honestly, I'm oh, part man. of this shit, yo. Fuck. It, you're ruining the fucking tone, Well, Adam. I think you're making a mockery of me and my I'm fucking family, I'm not making family, a mockery. Yo. I just thought it might be nice. I think you're nice. fucking my shit up I thought right it now. might be nice yeah, if dude, you could Adam, see Adam, don't cousin. use that app anymore. Okay, that's... I'm gonna... All right, I thought it might be nice if you could see your cousin. No, again. that's disrespectful. I mean, even I wouldn't do that. Dude, don't you ever do that. I'm, I got half a mind to slap your ass over this fuck. You're lucky I respect Anthony Cumia in the studio too much to do that to you right now. But I feel like... Well, you better calm down because I'll tell you right now, everybody here in the Anthony Cumia studio has a concealed carry permit. Yeah, and I'm all well, all, all the way 100% up there with c carrying your own fucking arms, yo. I think, honestly, I take my own gun, my gun to a paintball, yo. We only got, <laughs> Just we only got three amendments we care about here in the Anthony Cumia studio. Yeah, yeah. Number one, free speech. Number two, guns. Number... Twenty-seven podcasting, <laughs> right to podcast. Yeah. Hey, Mark, listen, I think, I think we need to send stuff off, yo. I think we need to say goodbye. I think we need to. Well, luckily, um, beautiful we, ass piece of music. Seth left us a song um, that he wanted us to play, and we're gonna we're gonna end it on that note and let Seth himself take us out. I will miss you, Seth, yo. R.I.P. Dickfield. R.I.P. You. We'll never <laughs> forget you. We'll miss you, Dickfield. Come okay. town, episode eight. The I don't know. The, the, the eighth <laughs> episode. That's what this one's gonna be called. Goodbye, Seth. I love you, yo. I fucking love you, yo. I'm sorry, yo. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Seth Dickfield. Hi, it's me, Seth. And now I am dead. And I'll complain all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day fighting Republicans. And I'll complain all about it to none of my friends. I don't have any friends. Goodbye, everybody. I've had a great time here on the podcast, uh, telling everyone about all my various uh, circumcisions and political opinions. And uh, it's been so much fun being woke. But I'm in heaven now, uh, where you go if you're perfect like me and beyond criticism. You know, I, I know I've complained a lot about uh, the Bernie bros and, uh, and the MRAs, but, you know, we're all people. I, I don't remember exactly how this song goes, and I'm not looking 
at uh, the lyrics. So um, I just want to reiterate uh, that I'm dead now. I slipped on a, on a banana peel at Auschwitz, uh, uh, and my head hit. Uh, oh, oh, geez, it hit one of these uh, penny machines. Oh boy, and here comes the loud part of the song again. You know what I can't stand? Loud noises. Some of us have PTSD, folks. Some of us got PTSD from being teased as children. I was bullied relentlessly by my 32 older brothers who uh, all hit puberty before me. I have actually never hit puberty. I still don't have puberty. Now I'm up here in heaven with Harambe the gorilla. And he's been having sex with me. He's been demanding sex, and I have to give it to him. Because, first of all, it's right to refuse sex uh, if you're a man. And uh, also because he's stronger than me. And with that, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye once and for all. And I don't know what... I don't remember this part of the song either. Goodbye, everybody. or odd coming in I mean it's just it's not that uncommon with the fucking web well, yeah they, well it's mostly the, because like I'm screaming in the kitchen or whatever yeah, we're like, just, she got she got mad at me because Adam <laughs> said that like Adam told this story about uh, he's like the other guy we do this podcast with Adam was like watching uh, well fuck because now his friends listen I can't I can't tell his okay. <laughs> well whatever he said he overheard like some girl he's watching like Game of Thrones with some girl and the episode ends and the girl was like it's just so cool that we like all get to be a part of this like cultural event together. <laughs> it's like a cultural movement. She was referring to Game of Thrones as like a cultural movement. And then, you know, we were like making fun of her in the kitchen or whatever. And I was like, yeah, like, you know how like Dr. Martin Luther King wrote Game of Thrones. <laughs> and the receptionist is, it was like, uh, she's like a black lady. Yeah, yeah. And I saw her like fucking snap and look at me as soon as I said Dr. Martin Luther King. You're just taking free cereal. It's 6 p.m. You're loading up on their yeah. breakfast cereal that yeah. they have there and eating and drinking All coffee. special K they have yeah. there. And she asked me like three times. She's like, who are you here with? Does he know you're here? Yeah. And I almost kicked me out. That's they do. You, you get nourishment yeah. like that. Yeah. That's the way you eat things is by sucking it off. Classic. So what? Uh, Speaking of getting sucked off or, or jerked off, somebody has a little story. Oh, oh. yeah, tell the story. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody got their little. Should I? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I already told everybody. So <laughs> you said it during the first half. No, no, no but no. I've been we telling should've. people. Yeah, I got a <laughs> massage. Uh, <laughs> full service massage. <laughs> What happened, dude? That's when you get Tell jerked off in Jersey. Yeah. It's a full service massage. Yeah. yeah, they actually <laughs> don't let you jack off by yourself in Jersey. Yeah. yeah. It's a big problem they have. The union is too strong. The union is too strong. The union is too strong. I had a slight headache. I was walking down Canal Street at about five in the afternoon a couple of weeks ago. And I saw, and I had a, my back hurt because I had my laptop in my backpack. And oh, I saw sure. a massage $25. Night. So I was like, that's 25 bucks, 30 minutes. We're good this deal. Place? Tell me off air. On Canal. Canal and what? Uh, we'll talk about there's it. There's like the 35 of these places on Canal. There's like 100. Yeah, yeah. Every I, single one of those places where we'll they have like a, a discount massage, they'll jack you off. The, be <laughs> the best part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, give us the, the whole The best experience. part of it is like, she's like, you want hard or soft? And I was like, hard. And so she just starts walking on my back and it hurt. It's Ugh. like very uncomfortable. It was a terrible massage. She actually fucked up my back for like four days. That's hilarious. But uh <laughs> but, but she jerked you off. She like So wait, turns you go me there. Over. You think you're gonna get beat off or no? I didn't re it really wasn't in the front of my mind. You had an inkling though. I was uh, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. <laughs> Listen to this motherfucker. Oh, I don't know if this <laughs> if this twenty five dollar <laughs> massage place will beat me off in the basement of a fucking Shoe store, yeah. This Next is like a, that Jim Carrey movie where he can't say no. <laughs> yes, yeah, Adam's <laughs> version of it. <laughs> liar, liar. No, yeah, no. Yeah. There was another one that was just like yes, basically man, ripping yes, off man, liar, yeah, liar. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. How did he make that movie? It's well, I mean, I, I consider him. liar, liar, the Quran, and yes, man, like the Hadith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it expanded yeah, on yeah. the lessons of that movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, the best part was she's like, okay, hand or or mouth with Ooh. condom, and I was like, I don't. 
My sister listens. Okay, whatever. It's too late now. It's too dude. late. All right. When I was 19, I was in Israel in a strip you're worried club. About, you're worried about your sister hearing about sex on the cum <laughs> podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I was in Israel at a strip club. There's this Russian woman with braces and fake tits. Nice. And she had a necklace on that said sex on it. Oh, uh, <laughs> where do you get that <laughs> necklace? <laughs> it's just a fuck. Sex. <laughs> and I was there with like. It came boys. with the braces? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got the I was on my occupation tour with my of friends. Of course. And uh, you were there to boys, steal the rightful right? land of Palestinians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, uh, and uh, lap dances were were twenty shekels, I love which it. is like five dollars. And we're getting like a ton of lap. I love dances. that you're so complaining a, about yeah, the price of. No, no, no. He's talking about what a bargain it is, dude. Oh, Incredible. Right. He's Incredible, chewing dude. it up even further. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was no way, 20 no way, shekels. <laughs> yeah. There's no way a Jew can complain about or it's mention the cost of something without it sounding like a complaint. That's, <laughs> that's where that's where all that like Sheldon Adelson money goes. It goes to subsidize strippers. <laughs> <laughs> birth, right? uh, that's we'll actually, pay for $15 of the lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty smart. Oh, uh, I know. I was. Anyway, yeah, she's like, uh, you want private room? So I went, and she was like, blowjob with condom, 200 shekel. Ooh, and I was nice. just like, which is like And you talked her down? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, had I don't like, know. <laughs> I had my meal stipend thing for the month. Like, uh-huh. the program gave us a meal stipend. Yeah. And I had literally had an envelope of cash in it. And I like fumbled through it. I just like handed her the cash, (laughs) (laughs) and I got a blowjob with a condom. Came in three minutes. That's maybe less. Maybe less. Okay. And well, because the braces, the braces tear it off immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Smart. She knows what she's doing. It's less time than it takes for the Iron Dome to block a missile. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Same technology. Yeah. (laughs) That's what. uh, That's what actually they call that braces blowjob. (laughs) (laughs) Iron Dome. That's her nickname. There he is. There's the mole dog. (laughs) Oh god, this is so extremely (laughs) online. This is so good. (laughs) Yeah, I love getting Iron Dome. (laughs) Yeah, it was Iron Dome. (laughs) I love getting Iron Dome from retarded girls. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, she mouth retarded. Her mouth retarded as hell, dog. (laughs) Left left my entire meal stipend for the month. In in this girl's mouth? In that that strip club. That's hilarious. I starved. Literally for a month, I would eat at 5 o'clock. Once a day, yeah. I'd st- I'd wait to ironic. Eat. That's like Ramadan. I'd eat at five. <laughs> 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 it was like my Jewish Ramadan. Um, anyway, I felt horrible about the whole thing. Yeah. Fast forward. Fast forward two weeks ago, she turns me over. She's like, uh, fifty. So you're fully nude. <laughs> She pulls it. No, not yet. I'm in my box. Okay. She, th- that's the point of the story. That's the funniest po- part of the whole story. Which uh, which is person Barry look Lee, like, by the way. What's that? How are we looking? What does she look like? You know, I don't want to do the accent, uh, but <laughs> do the she's accent. A Chinese woman. She's do like, it. but is she hot? Is what I'm getting at here. She was uh, attractive. I know yeah. that people can't see this because this is a podcast. But Adam just put on a straw hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's <laughs> really stretching yeah. his eyes. <laughs> all right, he's got tape all over the place. <laughs> yeah. All right, gong sound. Do 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 do. We're in the massage parlor. <laughs> so she says, "Do you want?" to... Uh, do you want to touch me? And I was like, uh, okay. So she takes my hand, puts it up her shirt, and I'm just like squeezing her boob. I'm like, okay, that's okay, cool. not bad. And she was and hot. She's like, yeah, she's like, okay, hand or mouth. And I was like, I'm not going to go for mouth with condom. I think I'm going to go hand. And there's an expert okay. practitioner. I see what you're saying. Uh, you're thinking she's much better at. I've never gotten a good hand job in my life. I'll agree with that. Either, from, yeah. Not even from me. Yeah, I abuse my shit. I'm re- you don't have a good technique. She did. Down? She did a b- fifty million times better than I've ever done. So she's that. a pro. Incredible. Oh, that's. But great. the best part was I was wearing my boxers. <laughs> she pulls out my boxers and she looks at my dick and then she looks up at me and she goes, <gasps> like, it <was> <laughs> 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 like it was the biggest dick she'd ever that's seen so in my funny. entire life. And I was like, <laughs> oh <laughs> come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. please. I and hate she's that. Like it's so. Dude, a girl I, I like, hooked no, up it with is not. A girl like that was doing the same shit. She was like, "Oh my god, it's so big." <laughs> oh Just like pretending to choke on my. It's like, listen, I've had my dick for a very long time. I know exactly how big my dick is. Ugh. It is not a big fucking dick. She was doing fake gagging, dude. It was so <laughs> embarrassed. I was embarrassed for both of us. She was actually just gagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From repul- yeah, yeah. Hey, what the fuck? Disgusting. Anyway, I left. 
I came so she, super quick also. She was she beat you off. Like she beat me off. It was it was amazing. How much did the whole shebang run you? It was uh seventy five dollars. I left and I was just like so mad at myself. I was like, New York City, you've done it again. You just fucking <laughs> vacuum seventy five dollars out of my pocket. Whatever, man. Like that could have been a decent pair of pants, could have la- lasted true. me a couple years. That's true. And I just fucking paid for <coughs> sex work. Nothing not not that there's anything wrong with that. Right? <laughs> that was, a, that's legit. And then I told the girl that I was used to be dating. I'm not dating her anymore. But uh, and she was like so mad. You at me. told the girl you used to be dating. That you got beat yeah, off. Yeah, we had like an yeah. open thing. That you like, paid. That you paid to get jacked off by someone that looks exactly like her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she was like, <laughs> <laughs> what her life would be like if her parents didn't. But come I over. thought like it was yeah, like yeah. this progressive thing where she's like, yeah, I want to fuck other people too. Yeah, that's totally a Bernie Sanders move, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <Bernie. laughs> she does cam work so or she did cam work so i didn't think that it was like a big deal to her and she's like you're disgusting <laughs> that's disgusting yeah, yeah. Yeah. there was a guy i saw on chatterbait one time who had to be <laughs> like 89 years old he looked what, like what a start of a sentence <laughs> yeah. there was a guy i saw on chatterbait one time he's this old ass man <laughs> wait how does chatterbait work <laughs> it's you just people just, just jack off on get camera with yeah, people yeah, jacking no 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 yeah. that's chat roulette that's chatterbait right. is that's like also it's a linkedin gallery. premium yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like a it's like a gallery you can choose somebody to watch masturbate so you or whatever watched an 89 year old man beat yeah up. i was like look how old this man is <laughs> I mean, there is there is a market for everything on camera. Oh, yeah. Like that's well, half of bodybuilders support themselves by like jacking off on their stuff. That's how they buy Anna. Really? Is that no you gave her pay stuff? Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 There's actually a separate room in GNC where you can do all that. <laughs> <laughs> for supplements. Yeah, 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 like yeah, that yeah. guy, like with Walt the, Whitman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like Walt Whitman. Um, Walt Whitman fucked kids, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Less Boys. of less of a sexual deviant than the actual Walt Whitman. This was just a guy that jacked yeah, off yeah, on yeah, camera yeah. instead of on little boys' faces. <laughs> right. And he's, so he's got uh, and he's got like this distended belly, and like Hell you know yeah. just like an old fucking ass man. He's got nipple clamps, and he's like Ooh. beating, uh, hitting his dick with shit, and he's jacking off, <laughs> and uh, he just he seemed to be having like a great time. And I'm like, you know what? Good for him. Right. He figured out the computer. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, living an active life. This isn't like it's not deviant if he's like, you know, like his family's probably like, yeah. Grandpa loves the computer. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he's using the camera to keep in touch with friends from the war. He's Skyping all Yeah, yeah, he yeah. loves Skype. He's just on <laughs> Skype all the time. Uh, he doesn't really use uh, any of the email software we got him, but it's, yeah, he loves that camera. So, you know, he's holding out. I mean, every comic. Um, but, yeah, no, this guy, Big Ron, he came in, and he's like, you know, immediately like, I don't write down shit. I never write down shit. It's all, you know, Imp- improvisational you know <laughs> I'm like saying things off the top of my mind and uh, so he goes up and it's like a nice restaurant and then he's talking about like you know in jail you know you think that <laughs> hearing people being raped would be bad but it's not that it's when you hear a motherfucker getting stabbed that's the fucked up part <laughs> there used to be this big motherfucker and he used to jack off to to the little Michael videos when Michael Jackson be coming on the TV pull his dick right out and jack off to Michael and, uh, <laughs> you know, people are just trying to, like, eat dinner. Or <laughs> and, then, oh. and then my favorite thing about that guy is he handed me my bi- his business card. I was, like, talking to him afterwards. And he had, like, a business where it was a detailing service, but just for Lincoln Town cars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yo, I do not do fucking uh, Escalade. Yeah. Only thing I touch, Lincoln Town Car. <laughs> on Pride last year, did I mention this? I mentioned. I said. This was there a the, Chabad float at Pride? I don't well, think you said it on the. Podcast. I, I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but last year at Pride, I was walking home and I walked through Pride, and there's a protest. There's a counter Pride protest, and at first it looks protest? like they're well, yeah. Protest? At first it looks like they're Hasids, and I get closer. And they're Mexican guys <laughs> wearing the outfits. <laughs> and they're holding signs. And they're these, like, you know, tired, you know, that, like, five foot one Guatemalan type. Yeah. Where you can tell underneath the hat he's got, like, a faux hawk. Uh, yeah. Like those guys. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This looks like Hasid's just hired day laborers to <laughs> protest pride. 
and it didn't like make sense. It was just too absurd to make sense. Right. And then the next day, I saw in like the New York Daily News or something that uh, yeah, Hasid's hired day laborers <laughs> That's to go protest Pride. I guess it was you know because it was Shabbos or something, or <laughs> they so couldn't good. they couldn't be there, or they just didn't want to go themselves. So yeah, they hired God. day laborers to dress up like them and protest. I did the opposite of that when I was a kid. There is a like you had sex with day laborers. <laughs> 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 no, there was like a Puerto Rican Day Parade Pride or Puerto Rican Day Parade in Chicago, or yeah, like yeah. some type of Latina parade. And like my mom knew the person who was organizing it, but for whatever reason they couldn't locate Latino children to do it. <laughs> and I was eight and. I was like I was way darker as a kid. <laughs> uh, I I'm glad really... things worked out for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it was a scare for a moment. You yeah. prayed every yeah. day. Yeah, thank God. Uh, but I bleached like yeah. one of the <laughs> reggae singers. Yeah. But uh... give me the asshole kind. <laughs> 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 I need the extra strong asshole kind. <laughs> and then uh, he's like four percent African. So he's like, here's the results, everybody. I'm one percent African, four percent, no, no, one percent Pacific Islander, four percent African, ninety-five uh, percent. Who cares? <laughs> so he was. And very... also, Did those, see... by the way, are like that's the that's within the margin of error. Yeah, that four yeah. percent. Like I was like I was like six percent jewish or something and it's like it's no, not, not I swear to God. yeah yeah stop it's, immediately got on the phone and said what's going on with this it's the march of error my money <laughs> <laughs> did you see that there's a thing yeah we were at that halloween party with those giant m&ms we were listening to uh, fleetwood mac oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we uh, we met up with tommy and then he was in the bathroom for like four and a half hours oh yeah do you ever do you ever uh, do you have a blow guy yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, holy shit. That, we were trying to so, find... Oh, my God, dude. That, that's so, <laughs> so funny. funny. <laughs> this is a completely separate story. But I was, we were trying to find Coke, and uh, I went up to, uh, to our friend Tommy, my friend Tommy, and he's sitting there, and I was like, hey, do you got a blow guy? And I said that to him, and it was like kind of loud where we're at, so he like reflects for a half second. He's like, nah, but I fucked a tranny once. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? And he was like... Did, Did I ask? ever blow a guy? Yeah, he's yeah. like, you asked me if I ever blew a guy? And I was like, no. I said, do you have a blow guy? But why is that your response? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, there was this dude in college that was like, his whole persona was he was a total alpha. Yeah. He was like a Long Island, Nassau County Jewish, like fucking blowout. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, looked like a Jersey Shore Guido. Mm -hmm. And my friend, uh, my fr it was always strange because he had a Leonidas from Hell yeah. 300 poster of just this jacked ass Gerard Butler, like yeah. six feet tall in his bedroom. Nice. We were like, why does, why does Brian have that in his room? Dude, and then my, my friend, for some reason, who was his roommate, like took his laptop to go on Pornhub and then like, Saw the last ten searches. It was like guy kisses guy for first time. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, totally fucking closeted. I, straight guy, guy fucks straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> I Two do love straight that. guys fuck. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, a yeah. real problem. I, she wants to reestablish the caliphate. <laughs> I got friends that they got a dog. Um, and they named it Strayvon Barksdale after. First of all, any kind of dog pun name or cat pun the name. The worst. You, you're an idiot. Avon right? Barksdale isn't bad, but not Strayvon. Well, it was a stray dog, so yeah, it was yeah, like uh -huh. stray. I mean, yeah, Avon Barksdale already works, so you don't yeah, need to. Yeah, you get it. Exactly. Well, they changed the dog's name to. The dog's name was Strayvon Barksdale. Mm -hmm. And then, like, two weeks later, the George Zimmerman thing happened. So the dog's name is Strayvon, oh, no. and it's this like black oh, lab mutt God. or whatever. It's called no. something then, else. It doesn't know. Yeah. yeah, well, then you can't bring that dog to the dog park. <laughs> yeah. If I had a dog, he'd look like Strayvon. Oh, come oh, on, man. Man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Rambi Ebert. Yeah. Yeah. His face was fucked up as hell. Yeah, that poor motherfucker bad, almost had a. Did we? Didn't we talk? Yeah, about this? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. That his his body rejected, rejected the jaw. jaw. Yeah. yeah, what a so sad shit deal. Yeah, imagine having to fuck that dude like with that weird. Chaz did it, face. dude. Yeah, she she, she, grit, she a lot of doggy. You think? You think she's looking at him in the eye? <laughs> oh god, she's got to be. <laughs> she can't be looking at him, right? That'd be terrible. Nick, your thoughts? <laughs> on who? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's played by uh, 
by uh, his wife. Jada Pink. Jada Pink. Jada. Jada to the Willow. Yeah. Yeah. Stink. Oh my God. His yeah. daughter. He has Willow Smith. <laughs> Willow. We, all, we yeah. all, before we said it, we all locked eyes and smiled before we said Jada two in the pink. <laughs> One in the stink. <laughs> Damn, I love being smart as hell. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Where there was a group of people doing cocaine, and I the first it. thing I heard in that room was this guy saying, Bro, Staten Island smokes the most weed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Hey, hey, can I get a ball for my fucking kid, please? You know, and the guy ignores him, and he's like, yeah, keep doing steroids then, you fucking faggot. <laughs> right in front of his son. <laughs> his son's like right there, and he's like, Fathers are so important in a young child's yeah. life for moments like that. Yeah. <laughs> keep doing fucking steroids. Yeah, keep doing fucking steroids. <laughs> like, he knows about that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like he's reading some yeah, blog <laughs> accusing him of yeah. just wearing like an FDNY shirt with a smoldering Twin Towers on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They never, really have not forgotten it. Yeah. Well, they haven't shut up about it. They, they cannot That's stop. That's the other slogan. Never shut up about never it. Never shut the fuck up about it. Hey, yeah, you're listening to 9-11 podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a fucking podcast every week about 9-11. You want to say goodbye? Uh, yeah, I I just appreciate you guys for listening. You're probably not listening at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been close. No, I just want to see if I can get to a full hour. Oh, How um, close are we? we're like five seconds away. Oh, hell okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Anyone want to say the N word? Anyone be brave enough? On three, we all say <laughs> the N <N-word. laughs> word. Two, two, three. Ah, and... oh, shit. All right. Well, the final episode. We did it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Up with the gay. Because I am secretly gay. What? Oh, Can the, you edit that out? Yeah, we'll edit that out. So there is no. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just I've hoping been it won't be. His Wikipedia a lot because I know some of his. To be honest there. with you, the only thing I've seen that he's done is run, Ronnie run. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is, but. Uh, saw, no, he was in. Uh, and you know what? That sounds like I picked the like the most obscure reference, but it's uh, it's actually true. I've seen yeah. Run Ronnie Run like yeah like three or four times. Oh, is that's he good? A lot. When I was like 15, I yeah. thought it was hilarious. He's in Pootie Tang for a second. Is he? Yeah, we should ask him. We should a- ask him, you know, whatever we... What that was. Like. Was he in the Smurfs? We got to do... We got to do... Was an, he Gargamel? <laughs> we got to do an hour with him, so... We're doing a full hour. Full hour. We're going to aim for that. Okay, yeah, I'm down. If it goes much shorter, if he's, like, mad about the setup, I don't even know... He probably doesn't have a lot going on these days. He hasn't... Been. Well, we'll talk about Sorry. that with him. <laughs> Uh, we got a minute left if you guys want to plug anything. I have like half of an apple <coughs> that I'm thinking about eating. I'm celibate night. from now on. That's what I want to plug. Um, Stop sending me t- pictures of your titties. Which right. I get uh, a lot of. I'm, I'm going to call him now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, call him a minute early. It's fine. All right. Then you know what? That'll seem professional. Yeah. He'll be yeah. like, oh, these time. guys are yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. professional radio we are, guys. We're professional radio guys. Oh, shit. Guys. Now it's 530. We'll just Fuck explain to him asshole. that we can't. All right. Well, I'll tell him that we were going to call. Is Are it ringing? <laughs> what if he just... Is it ringing? Gave you the wrong number. No, it's not ringing. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking oh idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there it is. That was probably the problem. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. <laughs> Announcement for 404. Four. Location. What that? All right, hold on. His phone's off? No, no, no. It's, it said the call cannot be completed as dialed. I did something wrong here. Come Welcome on. to Verizon Wireless. We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative, Please hang up and Just dial star six one one. Announcement three five zero zero. Location eight zero five zero two. No, I don't hear. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen. This is so funny. How fucked up this is. <laughs> Listen to what happens when I try and call him. <laughs> this is our waiting for Godot. <laughs> this is this is I think the cell phone tower is down. Oh no, there it goes. We got a ring. Oh sick. Yeah. Okay. Get those headphones on. Take it out, bitch. It's ringing? It rang once. 
<laughs> no, I I legitimately oh. think I legitimately think the fucking cell phone tower's down. It's like there's a problem, and then they give me some error think code. This is a bit. He, he it's not yeah. a bit. I don't know how to Fuck. fucking make this. We're shit. so fucked, dude. We Fuck got. This. <laughs> I don't know how to. We make... could legit edit this part, like I've for ranked. real. Uh, maybe you gotta be fucking question. kidding me. No, I think the storm knocked out a cell phone tower or something. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. To We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative, <laughs> please hang up and dial star 611. <laughs> Announcement 3500. Zero, zero. Location 80502. Zero, zero, <laughs> should we try? Yeah, I guess I phones? should call customer service. And we should ask them. Should we call you try Adam's phone? All right, yeah, we can try Adam's phone. Give me your phone. Cool. I'm going to save his number. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You talk for a second while I plug the wires. All right. Up. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we're just sorry about that, folks. Um, <laughs> this really sucks for us more than you. I know this is probably not this, very good. Listening. Honestly, we could just edit this. There's no shut, reason to talk right now. Up, dude. I don't say that we as if I'm... Nick, you don't have... I'll a edit it, bitch. You say, send me the fucking falls, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut the fuck up. How are we looking? It's ringing. Sick. But you might not pick up because Vegas, man. It's not a trustworthy number. We could try mine next. Hold on. But my phone's fucked. I'm so nervous. All right, uh, maybe this will work. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can hear you now. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That, that, I'm assuming that was you who called earlier. Uh, yeah. Did it not? Uh, I was getting some like uh, I'm like dead serious. There was I guess there was some like like cell phone tower error code. Every time I called, it would tell me to hang up and call customer service. Holy shit! This, uh, this is David Cross. This this is <laughs> this is customer service. Oh shit! Uh, what? Uh, is it David Cross at customer service? This is customer service for David Cross. Yes, oh. uh, I'm employed by David Cross. Was he okay? Uh, well, it's we got David Cross's customer service on the phone. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Um, well, that's just as good. That's fine. Um, I, I I mean, uh, we'll we'll work with well, that. I have to just let you know up front. Um, uh, I, I'm here. My name is Nick. Uh, I spoke with uh, uh, David, and we we planned on calling around five thirty. We I actually did. Uh, dial the number at 5.30, but then there was that error code. So I apologize that we're uh, a couple minutes late. Uh, but I'm here. Uh, my friend Adam is... Hi, hi, hi uh, David. How's it going? Well, it's not David? It's customer it... service. Oh, hi, Custy. No, no, it, it is... I mean, it is me. I'm acting as my own customer service representative. Oh. That's just oh. the way uh, oh. I save some money. You know, I try to do that Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's uh, okay. Wow. That's, if you call on Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get uh, Desi, who's the regular customer service. Well, I guess I'm regular because I do it five out of or three out of five times. But uh, uh, but Desi acts as the customer service rep when I'm not well, doing it, so or vice, vice versa. I guess. Well, I thank you. Thank you for taking the call. Um, so I, I, I mean, I, I do have to like apologize. How can I be a service? Yeah. And I, what what. Uh, do you have a complaint, or is there something you want to register? Was uh, uh, well, I don't. It's it's not a complaint about about you, but I guess we do have like a bit of a communication issue. We unfortunately only have one set of headphones to plug into uh, the four track. This is mostly uh, you're. you're I've, got, a, I've got two with me. If that helps. Uh, well, we would need them here. That's the problem. Uh, okay. Um, I could. What's he saying? Let me think here. I am. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm upstate right now in, in New York. Uh, capital. So uh, it's not the best direct route. I mean, I if I left, well, I can't. I've got. Um. Well, Jesus. All right. We were gonna. Can, we were gonna get. We were gonna. We only have like an hour to do our podcast, and then there's a frozen oh, yogurt can't, place can't in Astoria. Get, I can't get them to you. Yeah, uh, in that kind of time. I mean, they'd have to be like helicoptered in, and then the helicopter couldn't even land. They'd have to literally like hover over where you are and drop them from a height, and they might break. So that this is that's not going to work. That okay? Well, we actually plan to only use the one set of headphones. 
Um, but it's, oh well, then what's uh, the plan? Well, you, what's the I, problem? oh, sorry, I was just explaining the the, the plan is where, where I'm going to use the headphones, and then Adam is here. Adam uh, Friedland. Uh, if yeah, if you, can you hear Adam? You have to scream. Hi, David. Uh, nice to meet you. Can you hear him? Uh, yeah, it's a little uh, muffled because of the yelling. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's on the other but, side of the room, and then. Uh, so, well, can he come closer? Yeah, Adam can come closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, and, hi. But then we have a third guy hi. here. Hello, big fan. Stop. My name's Stavros. Stav. Yeah, Stavros uh, say, th- is also thank here. Did you say thank you? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, so, am I supposed to wear the headphones or not? No, I see. I'm wearing one one of the ears, and then I'm I'm going to share the other ear with Adam. And Stavros, um, and uh, we're we're really just expo- I think with as far as us goes, the four of us, this will sort of work seamlessly. It'll take a couple of seconds to figure out, you know, the ins and outs of how this will work, and then it's mostly just right. to so ex- there, explain. So there's four of you guys there. There's three of us here, but then you is four, and uh, this mostly got it, got it, got yeah. It. The exposition uh, is is all for the audience. This is um, you know, so they wait, under- am I supposed to be? I'm not supposed to be there with you. No, no, no. We we wanted to do it over the phone. So this actually, it's uh, okay. Got it. Yeah. All right. Then then, then there seems this seems to be going. Because to be uh, honest with you, uh, you're you're our first phone guest, and we wanted to like sort of have like a dry run with to someone s- that was small enough to like. Hey, come on, come on, dude. That's fucked, dude. He can hear you. Yeah. So we just yeah we we want to like uh, just see make sure it works, and I I mean it's going well. So um, yeah, you don't want to shoot your yeah, wad on like. You know, a, a Seth Rogen or something like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, we don't. I get it. This I get is. It. I get it. This is actually not even really much of like a comedy podcast. We have last week we had on um, uh, uh, Amber Frost, who's she writes stuff and uh, she's my roommate. She, I, I pay rent to her, but she's like a journalist and. Uh, so we got the Brexit. Yeah. So yeah, we did like a whole episode on Brexit. like on Bre- on Brexit. Uh, so yeah, it's have like you heard of that. It's like the political stuff we do. Uh, the shampoo. Uh yeah, I guess we could talk about champ like the shampoo cri- like if there's a shampoo crisis, uh anything anything yeah like political stuff. But you are like this. It's an honor to have you on. Um, we're all f- um, you know we're all fans. Me and Adam and Stavros, big are fans, good. big big fans. I think I think uh, I think you're doing great. I think Seth Rogan will respond to that. That's a smart thing to say up front. Do you have his uh, number or something? Um, say what? Let's go ahead, Adam. Do you have his number or uh, email? Yeah, yeah. It's 213-698-1842. Okay. okay. Thanks, oh, thanks, man. Thank yeah. you. What was that? What did he yeah. say? Um, he said his no- Seth Rogen's number. But let's, oh, nice. Dude. We should intro you for I love our, Pineapple Express, man. Uh, we should intro you for our like our guests uh, on the show, or I mean our, our listeners who listen to the show who, who may not be familiar. Uh, David Cross is... Um, you know, uh, probably like our our biggest our biggest uh, guest so far. For he's, sure. Um, he's been on television. He's been in uh, feature films. Um, do uh, you have you do you have a book? Radio, radio. I've done radio. He's done radio. Um, have you uh, authored any? Uh, any I've done pe- feature radio. I've done uh, feature podcasts. Um, you know, PSAs. I did a PSA. Uh, okay, so you're no stranger to the the podcast format. Mm-hmm. So uh, in the upfront, you know, you just intro the guests and uh, tell us some of your like your your biggest hits. What's yeah? What are your yeah? What are your like your big hits? Uh, we in what in what sense? I'm not sure. Like if they did, hits. if they were like here's, if they were like here's the guy, and then here's like. Play the hits, you know, and then they pointed at you, like a, a presumably like an audience of some kind. Well, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not, a, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a musician. I don't have, I don't have hits per se. Um, like top, like I, as a, as a comedian, I don't, we don't kind of rank our, jokes that way there's no like chart uh hmm. I, I guess hmm. if that if that's what you're that's yeah, really interesting I mean, i'm just i'm just gonna yeah, yeah so there's yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. he said hit. that he said that he's not a musician and as a comedian um you're like your top 10 lists mm-hmm. they don't they prefer comedians will oh. prefer not to do top 10 lists who's so, your favorite band then well yeah. no that's not that's not 
what I said. I, I, I didn't say we don't prefer to. Do, I, I just say they don't chart. There's no. You can't. Um, you can't really keep track of a. You, you don't purchase. You don't. Uh, uh, a, a joke isn't like a commodity that's so you don't sellable remember? or. You don't. Like, you don't remember your top hits then. No, he's saying he re- no, we, he we, remembers them. He just they don't. You don't rank them. It's like if you had children, you wouldn't be like, hey, you know, John's the best and Stevie's the worst, even though, you know, Stevie has, like, uh, you know, mental d- disability or something. You would say they're the same. Mm-hmm. Even both though of, in your heart. I love both of them, even yeah. though one of them is, is better. Is yeah, better. I guess that analogy would apply if you were to re-rank your kids weekly, but it, uh, we, that doesn't really happen. And I, I guess unless there was an introduction of a, a new kid every once in a while. I, it, yeah, that's not the best okay. analogy, really. But, um, but yeah, just to go back, there's no. I if I would, you know, I I probably just sort of give them a, a funny look and say, "Would be talking about." Okay. If somebody asked me to name my top hits. Um. Uh. Let's talk for a second about. Uh, Stop guys, car story. Well, we'll talk about that. But it, uh, d- uh, many people might be familiar with you from uh, a little thing called Mister Show. And uh, I would be lying if I said that I haven't seen a, an episode or two. And I'm, cer- uh, I'm certain that uh, um, my friends here... I've watched a lot on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen a lot on YouTube. Uh, yeah, we're, we're fans of the show. Uh, but for you know, listeners that may not be familiar, why don't you, uh, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about that? Uh, sure. It was a sketch show that ran for a couple of years with uh, Bob Odenkirk and uh, a bunch of other talented, funny folks um, back in the mid-90s, mid to late-90s, I guess, oh, yeah. uh, on HBO. Um, and, and HBO, that stands for Home Box Office, is that correct? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't really checked in, but it used to. It, I don't know if that's changed. Um, I know they have uh, Game of Thrones on now, so I don't know if that. Yeah, it might be like one of those, uh, like with like a KFC situation where it used to be right. Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then you know the government actually made them change it because is that true? The chickens are so genetically modified that they're n- legally that they're not chickens. They're legally they're not allowed to call them chickens anymore. Did you I, know? Did you yeah, know that like, before? It, I saw. Um, I you know I, it, it could be on one of those sites that I visit when I get drunk uh, websites. I, I I thought it was. Kinder, it's not Kinder Fried. There's Kentucky okay. Fried. There's Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then there's Kennedy Fried Chicken, and they're right. Uh, but only good. one of them is KFC. Mm-hmm. KFC was the one that used to be um, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then they they shortened right, it. Right. And now they brought uh, Colonel Sanders, who was their um, you know their mascot. mascot. They brought yeah. him back, and now sort of to come full circle. They have comedians playing Colonel Sanders. Mm-hmm. Is that something you would be interested in doing? Uh, you know, it. De- I mean, it totally depends. Uh, um, I I doubt it, but um, you know, uh, I think if things progress the way they've been progressing, uh, given time, I, I might have no other choice but to. Accept that offer if was that was that? to be made. Now, when you're um, saying, but I, I mean, I could also I'd hold out for Kennedy fried chicken. I'd be that mascot too. I I, I don't agree with all of her uh, uh, points, um, and I haven't seen every show she's done. I know she's on Fox. And whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, maybe I'd hold off. No, I don't. It. I don't think it's. I don't think it's named after her. Uh, Kennedy, well, but her name is Kennedy. Yeah, and she's the only one that's still alive. Is she a part of that right. family? Do you know? The you Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, oh, Kennedy is Kennedy. Is she one of the ca- probably? You know what, Kennedy folks? The probably oh, the oh, only you Kennedy. Mean the political. Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only Kennedy that uh, should be murdered. Am I right? <laughs> she's the only Kennedy to not be murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess a brain tumor counts as a type of murder. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if yeah, I mean that that now he is. Uh, you know, God is a murderer in a, in a sense, sure. Yeah, hold, hold on one second. 
Adam, we're talking about Kennedy from mm-hmm. Fox News. Adam, mm-hmm. uh, the currently the, the earbud situation is I have one and stop. I have one now too, yeah. I have no earbuds. Adam, so I can't hear anything uh, yeah. you're saying, Dave. Adam has uh, at no earbuds, so we were just uh, catching him up on that. So uh, obviously you're uh, not a big fan of Fox News. Um, How about are you uh, are you like a Bernie Sanders guy or? Uh, yeah, I was. Um, oh, you, uh, you gave up on him, or? Uh, well, I don't think he has any uh, viable course to become president. I, it's not like I gave up on him. I'm I. Uh, because I'm, um, I'm thinking about voting for him still. Okay, well, you—that's your prerogative. Um, how about this? Tr- how about I this would, Trump guy? You know, uh, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, what do you, what do you what do you think about him? Um, you know, I mean, I I mean, I wouldn't. It, who's, so, who's your second choice? You're going Hillary then, if you can't get. Do you tell him I got a dog? No, not yet. Um, he, I think I, I mean, honestly. part of me is. Interested in Kennedy, you know? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Maybe that's what I was getting at. Yeah, you know, a a sexy lady president. How about that? Yeah, like a kind of a a, a female contrarian. uh, Yeah, that would be cool. A sexy lady. You probably do. You probably do pretty well with the honeys as a (laughs) a celebrity. (laughs) Well, uh, I'm married. So, oh, but bef- uh, yeah, like, but before you were married, um, you know, I certainly uh, Does he fuck? hung out with a bunch of honeys. Who's the ho- who's the hottest woman you've ever fucked? Come on, Stav, don't be gross. I want to know, man. Everyone wants to know. Well, we're having a political, you know. You kind of started tones. that, honestly. I just I made a comment. You know, there's. I'm doing like you didn't even let him answer. You know, I'm sorry. Go, uh, go ahead, Mr. Cross. I apologize. Uh, it's all right. Um, uh, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, Ask him if you ever met Michael Jackson. really get into that. I, I, okay. I have okay. too much respect okay. for um, the women in the past. Uh, um. What do you, when you know, say Alyssa women Milano? in the past, you mean... Oh, Wait. Alyssa Milano. Nice, nice, man. Yeah. That's... Whoa, sick. Hell, wow, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I beat off to Charmed all the time when I was younger. <laughs> Charmed. What's the one... Uh, Embrace of the Vampire. Have you seen that movie? Uh, no. She it, is... I, she's I, I didn't hear exactly what you said, but I heard the word vampire, so I'm definitely... Oh. Uh, I haven't seen that movie. She's in a movie. I think it's it's Embrace of a Vampire. Oh, yeah. Her She's completely out. nude. In oh, that those movie. are awesome, dude. You can see her tits. She's also um, underage in the Joey Botafuco movie. Nice. Which, is, that's just a, a tidbit I happen to know about her. Not that that adds any appeal. What's he saying? He's sure, a, sure, sure. He's, he's not saying anything right oh, now. Okay. Um, Adam's got it, by the way, guys. I don't have it. I can't hear it. Hi, David. Um, I just got a dog, um, and I don't know if I should change the dog's name. What is the dog's name currently? Isis. Um, I, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, is it named after the terrorist group or the, the old TV show with the lady? I don't know. I, I just, she, she's from bedside. She's like. Used in dog fights, she's a pit bull, and my friend rescued her, and then he had to get rid of her because his landlord wouldn't let him have it. So I took it to my apartment, and I just call her Icy, pretty much. But you know, I don't know. I I feel like if I change it, then the terrorists sort of win. You know, so I don't I don't really know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's also going to give the dog a complex too, and it right. teaches the dog, you know, uh, exactly that that the that you, you know say? fear and terror work up, so dude. um you know you can maybe get another uh, get a, you can maybe figure out a way continue to, make to call her isis and then you know if people I mean? get upset you can say you know when when the dog is out of earshot you can say oh no uh her you must have misheard me her name is mysis mysis yeah because yeah. i was in the dog park and i said uh i got a phone call and i said i'm training with isis right now Right. Yeah, you can you could probably see how that did might I, come off. Did I but, uh, he did, dude. Uh, Not yet. 
Uh, David uh, thinks I should keep better. that in. Nice. Um, thank you for the input on, on that. Uh, I that's apologize if that's sort of unrelated. Um, that's going to car. Oh, yeah. uh, we're not going to ask him about fucking Stav's my, car. My car got stolen we, recently, and I don't know. Have you ever had that happen? Could you please respect? I'm sorry, but we have hand signals set up so that uh, Adam and Stavros understand when it's appropriate to speak or not. And uh, he's just not. He's not. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Ask him about. I'm sorry, Stavros. Ask you a question about his fucking car. So we'll do that. Uh, my car got my car got stolen recently. I mean, I didn't want to, but Adam kind of put me on the spot. Um, so yeah, my car got stolen. Did that, did that ever happen to you? Uh, yes. It sucks, right? Um, yeah, it wasn't the uh, wasn't the greatest thing to to have happen to me. No. What kind of car was it? A Honda Civic. Holy, Holy shit, shit, dude! That I had a <laughs> mine was a Honda Civic too. Yeah, Fuck. stop does Honda Civic boys. Dude, this is a big podcast. Uh, what what color? It was a silver. Uh 98 All though right. maybe it was you know mine was a 98 did you when when did yours get stolen i had an old one um right? y- y- this would have been uh probably 95 oh. no but what year 96? was the car oh shit i don't know a 93 oh, maybe oh fuck all right well okay well we were hoping it was right. the same year whatever man yeah. that, that would've been cool if you guys had the same like imagine if you guys had the same exact type of car and they both happen to get stolen yeah and we i mean we could go to those meetings together i guess what what kind of car do you drive now uh toyota highlander toyota highlander that's a great vehicle that's good a lot of room thank you um well you know what thank you so much for uh coming on (laughs) um you're, you're an inspiration to us and, um, you know, did he have any questions for us? Well, uh, yeah, if you have any questions for us or if there's anything you want to plug or anything. Um, I, you know, I have, uh, zero questions for you. Um, <laughs> no, and I, and I, let me give it a second. Uh, he said he has zero questions for us. <laughs> no, I don't have any, I don't, I can't, uh, I don't anticipate ever having Okay. Any uh, questions for you? Uh, uh, that's all right. It, like it could be like I've general. A, it could be general. No, it doesn't have to be specific. It's, it's okay. Um, but yeah, man, thanks Thanks for coming on. Um, we look forward to hearing and seeing um, all about uh, stuff coming up. And, uh, you know, sorry about the, the tech issues or whatever, but we're trying our best. And, you know, I mean, sometimes in life you just got to – you. I think it you good. just make it work. That so, was, you know, I, I th- thanks for uh, hanging out with us, and we'll, we'll see you on yeah, the flip side. Sure. I am, I'm happy to be part of the experiment, and uh, I, I truly believe you when you say you are trying your best. I, I believe this is. What did he say? Quite literally the best that you can do. He said he All right. That thanks, man. Uh, I actually don't. I don't know how. I can't hang up the phone. So. Um, no, you hang up. <laughs> yeah, we're doing like a no, you hang up no, sort you of hang thing. Up. He probably won't even. He probably wants to keep talking. Oh, he hung up. All right. Well, did you hang up? Nope. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, um, at it's Adam's phone. So if can you tell? It's here, Adam. Can you can you help end the end the call? Thank you. Yeah. So I just David. I, they said thank you for on it, being on the podcast. I just want to say thank you from me. Just they didn't say that I was saying thank you. So. Um, uh, I I just I like how um, they're mean? not uh, emotionally capable or physically capable or maybe even legally capable that? of hanging up a phone that's not theirs. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking. He's it's talking I don't. It, he had to do the uh, the pin the pin number before I could get to the button. But we can hang up now. But uh, oh, okay. yes. Yeah. So uh, whenever you're ready, we'll, we're going to hang up the phone. Okay. Oh yeah, you have my number now. So if you want to text me, or and I'll just I'll just shoot you a text uh, on Adam's number. All right, all right. And then see, I'll give you, see you later. Th- thanks for coming in, man. Okay, we did it. Oh uh, yeah, man. Ooh, Hell yeah. Up. Yo, that, that was fucking tight. Yeah, I think that went good. Think. Yeah, dude, that yo, went great. Hot, yo, sick. I love you guys, man. We fucking. Killed this is that. honestly. Yeah. I didn't think this was gonna go anywhere, we but that. we did it. Um, we talked to him. I think he he seemed a little mad at the end. He was doing a bit. I think. Was he? He's people like that are always on. You know. He's on. He was. He's always on. He's always on. Oh, okay. You can't, you know, yeah. Um, that went great. Yeah, I think we had a great time with that. 
Uh, and like we're it's like we're we're building relationships, you know. It's kind of cool. Connections in the industry. in the industry, man. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're gonna take a break and then uh, come back with the second half. Um, yeah, just like a recap. Talk about the coop we, in Turkey. Yeah, we got to talk about the coop, and then we guys not to fucking get your hopes up, but we might give a little minister David Cross a call back. <laughs> 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 See what else he has to say. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, all right. All right. Later. Uh, Stav is like literally <laughs> shitting himself. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, but he's gonna shit himself. Off mic. And he's wearing he's wearing cargo shorts. It's, so. They ain't got no fucking cargos. <laughs> yeah, you keep the turds in them pockets. <laughs> you got all them extra pockets for the turds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. How about I? I heard they ain't even eat ice cream. That's space. really like yeah. Why are they so smart, dude? If they just NASA. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, they just had fancy mattresses and like, you know, shut up, NASA. Stop. <laughs> And yo, and NASA, <laughs> stop fucking listening to my phone calls without my permission, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. All right, yo. Oh, yeah. So they got this place called NASA. NASA, they like listen to phone calls, this, this, emails, dude. There's a brother named the, N-Word Snowman. The meta- <laughs> 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 My man, N-Word Snowman, be telling people that NASA, <laughs> yo, for real? <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Hey, yo, my, man hey, my, I'm about to, <laughs> my man opened in my heart, yo. Yeah. Paul Mooney, 2016. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Paul yo. Mooney and Ralph should have their own TV show. Yo, this is some good shit, yo. Yeah. And my man, what? it's okay if you if you doing a voice, <laughs> go ahead and drop the M bomb. That's, that's <laughs> yo, man. Somebody found on Twitter it's today. It's a character. This is a good search. Yeah, you go yeah. on Twitter and then you type in, you search for N asterisk 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 A. And it's all fucking white people being like, where are my n- niggas at? And they, like, <laughs> use Astro, they censor it. You know, like, so the they word. like know it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, but then they do it anyways. That's pretty good. That's some extremely good shit. It is. Uh, a lot that, of, I have never listened to Two Dope Girls, but I do know queens. that two it's... Two Dope Queens. Re- two Dope Queens, but I know that it's remarkably popular on the iTunes oh, comedy yeah. list. Well, w- uh, women listen to... That's the problem. Is it's women a listen women to listen to podcasts. That's we gotta, we gotta take Men the, do we gotta sports. Take the podcast. <laughs> Men do sports. Men do yeah, sports. we should do sports if talk. The woman just stays in the kitchen <laughs> and the man plays the video games. That's the rule, bitch. <laughs> that's why I don't understand why people are mad about Michael Vick he's like let a man kill some dogs <laughs> yeah, yeah oh yeah and Steve Harvey is the best comedian he's the, the number one yeah. he's, he's so our fucking favorite. funny what the hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking he just has the worst takes and it's, it's the it's, worst opinions it's possible the worst, yeah he's yeah. talking about like he's like they mad about Iraq they mad about Afghanistan saying they shooting babies over there shit send me I shoot the fucking baby myself <laughs> He's like, a baby come up on me. I'll be like, kak, 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 kak. Lord Steve Dunn shot the baby. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a real bit? Yeah, is that like a real bit? He had a bit where <laughs> in the Steve king's Steve Dunn shot, shot the, the baby. baby. It's fucking- Chinese nanny recently. And like my the first place my head went was like, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Sheffield. No, I was about Mr. To Sheffield, say. please. No, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> uh, she's a fresh. She go from Frushy, <laughs> the nanny named Flan. <laughs> fucks those, there, there's a certain type of drone that fucks the queen, <laughs> and that produces everybody in England. I thought it was just a it's bunch just a of... just a chimney sweep, yeah, yeah. a specific kind of chimney sweep fucks the queen. Yeah, I, think I like how they, they named, like, bees, they named, like, the queen, they're like, oh, that must be the royal one because it's the biggest, and then it's just the biggest whore. Yes. <laughs> it's just this sex slave that lives in the middle of the hive. Oh, no, she's the fuck. queen because she's the boss, dude. Uh, she's I think the they boss, just all dude. fuck her, right? They all just fuck. She's just a big fuck hog that lives in the middle of the beehive. <laughs> that sounds pretty chill. Yeah. Imagine dude, if we could just go every time we want to fuck, just take a train to like to yeah. the queen, the middle of I guess <laughs> Midtown or yeah. something, and the then top just of the fuck Empire State Building, the Anthony Kumia Studios. <laughs> there's a there's an 1100 pound woman <laughs> that everyone has sex with. There's some good pussy underneath <laughs> that stomach, boy. I will tell you what. <laughs> It's House in a cat. bodega. Hey, see, yeah. too. Me and Stav are doing the Anthony Cumia show next week. Which, oh, hell yeah. Which, yeah. by the way, seems like an error on, like... Their like booking? No, 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 like, political season to be on the Anthony Cumia yeah. show. Are they, like, <laughs> Trump? Oh, boy. 
Uh, oh yeah, are they dude. Trump? Oh so, yeah. So uh, you know, and, and like just last week was like you know at that shooting at that nightclub in Florida. <laughs> as soon as it happened, he's on fucking the Twitter. Teen, the teen club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. He's, he's on social media and he tweeted, "I guess black lives don't matter." With like the black lives matter emoji, and it's oh like, oh my god, what do you stand to gain? In this exactly. <laughs> what is the point? You're just happy that black children are dead. You're happy that black teens are dead. <laughs> Staten Island is basically a police station. <laughs> the entire island is like a police station. How do that if built how, on top of garbage? How does the economy work if everyone is a firefighter there? If um, it, literally every single male in Staten Island is well, FDNY. every ten years they have a nine eleven, and <laughs> that brings in a, a lot crop. of business. Yeah, just think about all the pins and little flags that they. Yeah, it's they not sold. just firefighting. It's firefighter memorabilia that they produce. Yeah, yeah. That night. <laughs> oh, yeah. They also make little, yeah. Fire, little hats, little yeah. helmets for the tiny hats. To wear. Yeah. The good prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, uh, like, you know how Buddhists have like Aum? Yeah, yeah. And, like that's their noise. That's his mantra. That's his Aum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Namaste. And it's like he has yoga, but it's to make your you less flexible. <laughs> It's so that you fucking slip a disc trying to pick up, you know, your wallet when you're 40 years old. Oh, fuck. I want to be a jacked fucking fat guy, dude. I want to be a fat guy with big ass arms. Um, well, you're not. He was like, uh, he was like, yeah, I guess you like them uh, Amazonian girls, huh? Because his girlfriend's like 5'9", you know? <laughs> and so he's like, I guess you like those Amazonian girls. And uh, Sess was like, you know, watch it, buddy, or I'll knock that coffee cup right out of your hand. You know, and, it, <laughs> and uh, Harlan's mood immediately changes, and he's like, yeah, that'll be the last fucking thing you ever do. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Seth was like, uh, oh! <laughs> he's like terrified. Oh my God. I love there's that aggression for no fucking reason, just always hoping to get into a fight in yeah, the back yeah, of yeah. your fucking mind. I'm God. so scared of those kind of guys, though. Yeah, but everybody wants to be those guys. And that's what, what the good you? prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> Doesn't Jinko sound like like an Australian racial slur? Uh, every Australian word sounds like a racial <laughs> Look slur. Look at those fucking Jinkos over there. <laughs> hey, so fuck, this, you, they're fucking big You pits. let him stick his didgeridoo dick inside <laughs> of you? You know their cum has got AIDS in it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that, it's got that didgeridoo bog semen in it. Where? Remember when we saw in Heather Graham? West Village. And she looked at us? <laughs> yeah, she wanted to fuck us dude yeah. Heather Graham <laughs> Nick and I walked past us on this past Heather Graham on the street and she like literally just wanted yeah, to fuck both of us she did she no, looked at I us. actually fucked her before she saw you and she said she didn't she was way skinnier in real life yeah she walked I by thought. and I was she like I fucked you six times <laughs> I fucked you six times I fucked you six times that's the best cat call yeah I fucked you six times cause it confuses <laughs> we already <me>. fucked <laughs> yeah. we already fucked and it wasn't that good I fucked you six times just start yelling that at women I already fucked you and it wasn't that good I fucked you six times that should be, we should start doing that. <laughs> oh, that's good. All guys. the cumboys out there, take videos of you doing that and send us vines. Yeah, at yeah. Brandon Wardell. We're catcalling women to raise awareness for ALS. <laughs> uh, just run up to a random woman on the street, honk her tits, and then ice bucket her. <laughs> and say, "Dicks out for Harambe." Brandon yeah, Wardell made Brandon me do Wardell. This. Did Brand, Brandon yeah. made? Okay, guys, I don't if you're in talk college, to him about it. Brandon made that? that up. What dicks out for Harambe? Yeah, I don't, it's like a big deal. Man. I don't know if he I made mean, it up. Dicks out for Haram. I mean, did he get behind it, I've, dude? Who well, knows? Brandon's never made anything up in his life. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know who Danny Trejo was. You know, what you forget because yeah. he's a celebrity. How much of a fucking Guido name Leonardo DiCaprio? I know. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's such a blue-eyed like spaghetti de, de pasta sauce. <laughs> Guido Bolognese. Yeah, yeah, Guido Bolognese. He confronts him and he's like, "I've got a dossier on you." Like, I, you know, he's like. uh I can expose you at any time and right. I want and he's like well what do you want and he's like I want you to tell me about you know what it was like to kill people or whatever Whoa. and then they have this weird sort of homoerotic relationship where they never actually fuck but then there's this extended like showering scene where like boy, young boys are showering in the movie and they called in a bunch of extras for that scene and uh, 
they filmed it and then like you know he was directing he's like all right now take off all your clothes or whatever because they were supposed to be in like bathing suits and like you know you, the, a film production is like such a high stress thing right they have the cameras pointing at them they're like they're just gonna do it because there's all this pressure not to fuck up the, the shot yeah, yeah. Or also you just they're little kids right they were 14 oh, okay and yeah, then their moms were all like behind the camera yeah, like yeah, yeah. take your fucking shit yeah. do it <laughs> Michael moms. we need another boat do it do Michael it. show your dick to that man <laughs> so we can dick, get Michael. mommy needs a Ferrari <laughs> so they you know they and they, you know they, then there was a a lawsuit and the lawsuit got dismissed or whatever they're like no it's not it's, it's art. art it's not exploitation and then like years later it came out that yeah Brian Singer was like molesting people so is he is he still fucking and sucking off little kids or apparently yeah. there's like a ring of powerful powerful Bill Clinton's uh, a part of it dude yeah. Bill Clinton yeah. is part of this child molestation yeah, it's true What's, I never even like read anything about that the pedophile the Lolita Express that plane that you just fuck children on what I don't know you know what I'm talking about I the Lolita know. Express no. that guy Epstein that runs like a child fucking service or something <laughs> yes Epstein <laughs> You know him, Adam, right? Yeah. All aboard the Lolita Express. Flight logs reveal. This is why we need a producer. Mm. A good ass Somebody could read this to us. Flight logs for Jeffrey Epstein's private plane, dubbed the Lolita Express, were mm. published for the first Welcome time on Thursday. Yeah, it's a sex slave ring. <laughs> uh, alleged victim, Virginia Roberts. That's a good victim name. Yeah. Uh, says she was recruited as a slave when she was 15, Whoa. and she was forced to have sex with both Prince Andrew and Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> Harvard Law <laughs> Professor? What? Yeah. So, that's, that's why he couldn't be in L.A. for the O.J. trial. Yeah, yeah, because he, he was, was busy in, on, the, in the, on the kid fuck plane. <laughs> Dude, we prepared a lot for that interview. People, people uh, can tell, and as we can't give that effort. I read every, every word of his Wikipedia. My page. little Absolutely. sister, when I saw her at my dad's birthday, took me aside and said that she thinks that we spoiled a really big opportunity for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Everyone says that. <laughs> Do you, uh, and my roommate said I had to turn it off. That was another <laughs> review that the critics of it. <laughs> the, the critics of it. What are it, they uh, talking about? That was a great interview. I yeah. thought it was hilarious. Personally, we should be on NPR. No, it was good. But, it wasn't hilarious. And I said this in the first hitting. half. Apparently, what people were most upset about was that after we hung up with him, we were all stoked. That yeah, we're dude. all excited about. Yeah, yeah we just interview. talked about having to, a good interview. That's what we, we just did. talked to Daniel Cross, the <laughs> star of HBO's Veep. Yeah, people or are whatever so, he such did. fucking idiots, dude. Um, yeah. Well, yo, what you know? I was thinking about is like, you don't hear about bronies much anymore. They had like a big <laughs> year in 2014. You don't. Did they just realize they were wrong? I went to BronyCon. I told you. Oh yeah, Eric. that's right. Yeah. When and my ex girlfriend Joyce, yeah, uh, oh, Joyce, back, who was back, back also. Uh, <laughs> gong. <laughs> anyway, um, BronyCon was weird as fuck, and there was this, there was this kid. There was a circle of kids that were just chanting and screaming, and like I didn't know what was going on in the middle of the circle. I sort of fought my way through it. There were in the middle. It was uh, just a boy with two My Little Pony stuffed animals that were just putting the private parts of them, like, smushing them together. <gasps> oh, and just all these kids yes. are, like, cheering and just being like, <laughs> ah, ah. It was the, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And Holy this dude was, shit. like, purple. His face was purple from, like, that's, just that's being incredible, so dude. intensely, like, uh, I don't know. That like so just good. Just having a n natural hand. I wanted to get Tom Sizemore guy. We get Tom Sizemore. Sizemore is the number one goal. You no, just want to Tom Sizemore no. got arrested for beating his wife yeah and, and that's why we can't get him on the podcast well, so I tweeted I tweeted I was like my good friend Tom Sizemore wouldn't do this these allegations are lies and he favorited it <laughs> <laughs> Tom got back on Twitter to favorite uh, my great. defense of him well it's true so Tom if you're out there you owe me one form conservative no orthodox and my dad's like he like took me aside he's like and then he went from Al to or Alejandro to Eliyahu and then my Hell dad was yeah. like, uh, you know he had three circumcisions. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, what was <laughs> left? Yeah, because they do it differently. What Each was type left? does it differently. 
No, he said that the second time after they take the force, he had an adult. He was an adult man oh, who had geez. a circumcision, which is fucked up because all those tools are made for babies' penis. It's true, <laughs> so it's, true. it's very difficult to get an accurate cut on a man's penis, especially when he did it orthodox style and he had a grown man suck the blood out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you actually have to get a baby rabbi. If you're a grown man and you get the circumcision, <laughs> you get it. So yeah. It has you get to a be baby. a baby rabbi. It's that sucks only your fair. Penis. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah. Your dick, it's like only a well, pacifier. It's it's a sin if either party, rem- you know, one of the parties has to not be able to remember what happened. <laughs> right. Then there's plausible deniability. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how it works in the eyes of God. <laughs> you get a cannoli, you get your dick sucked by a 17 year old named Giuseppe. One of my favorite Little Italy moments. I was at the San Gennaro Festival like two or three years ago, and I was just walking with my cousin. And some, like, like just this complete stereotype. Like, this yeah. fucking, you know, we- like a guinea, wearing a guinea tee, you mm-hmm. know, like fucking wiping his mouth with a <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> and he's just got this fucking white handkerchief, and he's just wiping his fucking mouth as he comes up to us. And we didn't say anything to him. <laughs> We're just, like, you know, standing on the corner, and he comes up to us, and he's like, you know, sucking his teeth, and he's like... You want to have the best fucking thing you ever had? <laughs> you go down the down the block halfway. There's a place called Cannoli King. They got a thing. It's not a cannoli. Looks like a cannoli, but it's not a cannoli. It's got it's like an ice cream cone with the cannoli filling in it. You try one. <laughs> Start off with one. <laughs> See if you don't get a fucking other one after. <laughs> Is that when you started your alt? No, that was actually when I was just in Secaucus and I couldn't stop saying Secaucus in that voice. <laughs> Secaucus. Hey, Secaucus. When I see caucus, I suck caucus. <laughs> uh, well, they no. were really chill yeah. towards Muslims for a really long time. Yeah. That yeah, fucking so welcome. That truck thing was insane. I mean, I really had no idea. They were like, he killed a hundred people with, with truck. one truck. Jeez. Yeah. And it was like, what, the truck explode? They're like, no, he just ran over people. Holy, that's he's just playing Grand Theft yeah, Auto. And it's like, just. Get out of the way of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, watching you can dodge a truck if it's coming at you. Well, it was a, like it was a parade. He just drove through like a mile oh, worth of holy. like a parade. Oh, my God. Yeah, so. That's so funny. Me and Adam just clearly show that we've never even looked this thing up once. Yeah. I, well, you, yeah. Know what, you know what's funny? It's like, <laughs> oh, my God, really? That's this shit happened like a month ago. No blacks on the TV screen sketch. Did we talk about that? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. <laughs> you remember that? That Chris Rock, like, no blacks on the TV screen? No. And it's like, uh, uh, yeah, he goes through every network and he's like, UPN, underpaid Negroes, oh, uh, yeah. ABC, anything but collards, <laughs> uh, WB, where's the brothers? Oh, no, I was talking about the yeah, shirt. Yeah, the Warner Brothers shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the Warner Brothers font. Warner like Brothers. When you yeah, see yeah, the police, yeah. Warner Brothers. That was a good one. Yeah. That's a good that was one. back when police brutality was still funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before camera phones yeah. had to make it too <laughs> real. Yeah. Everything. Ugh. Yeah, I remember that was like a like people are like, "Wow, can you believe the police unfairly target black people?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's we knew that, didn't yeah, we?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kind of just sort of laughed at it. That it's was, like, yeah. Now we, that was the trade off. You get to be cool, <laughs> but the police are going to kill you. But it's you're cool. Right. You are really cool. You're really it's cool. A fact. It's- uh, one time, uh, it was my great grandmother's hundredth birthday. Is she dead now? She's dead now. Hell yeah, fucking bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> that old bitch dead as fuck, babe. Um, I have a little so respect. that old bitch. I'm about I'm to teabag so her happy. fucking coffin. She's I have a little dead. respect for the I'm dead. I'm so what, happy. Uh, what cemetery she d- buried in? Christ. Uh, I want to dig it up and piss I don't know. in it. I mean, she went into the towers and her body vaporized, so. <laughs> she actually We're not going to have a funeral with no body. I mean, <laughs> she died. She, died she was 100 years old. Uh, she actually yeah. died in 9 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a tragedy. <laughs> she had so much more life to live. Yeah. Well, she was a firefighter. Yeah, she was <laughs> a first responder. She was a 9-11 firefighter. Uh, my grandmother, Steve Ranazzi. <laughs> you see how the hell he be, took on How funny it would be, if, if I was like 100 years old, I would go around lying about being in 9-11. Hell yes. Dude. That would be the funniest 100%. joke to me. If I was like 100 years old, I'd be like, I was one of the first people in the towers in 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I carried 30, just in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to Been done dying. Dialysis since 1979. <laughs> I carried 15 people all the way from the top floor 
down to the ground floor. <laughs> and I saved them. Actually, one of the towers didn't fall down for, for a while because I was holding it up myself. <laughs> Is this Mr. Jack Lemon? Are you here yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh what you do God. is, see, you get it. I tell you, I get her right there, and I bend her over, and then I, I, here's what I do. I fuck her. That's what I do. I, <laughs> Jack Lemon describing how he would have sex with a woman is <laughs> it's a bit we do on the train, me and Adam. <laughs> pretend we don't know each other, and then we uh, go up and pretend to be Jack Lemon. <laughs> just whispering how he would fuck a woman in the other person's ear. You would see what you, yeah, have you heard about this? What you do is you bend her over, okay? Right, right when she least expected, you jam it right into her fucking pussy. And I tell you, I had her right there. 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 She was sitting right there, and then I, I, I just, I, 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 just I closed. Her. <laughs> I, I closed. I tell you, God damn it, I tell you, Shelly still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, I still got it. I still got it. Um, um, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, 9 11. Your it's grandmother, so funny, your dead ass, oh, yeah, ass yeah, grandmother. Yeah. So she's telling a fucking story. We're there for like 100th birthday. Ugh. And I, uh, well, yeah, no, it was d- disgusting. But like, so my grandfather, her <laughs> son, she's is got sitting all that there. Old people shit on her mouth. The yeah, yeah of her she's, mouth. she's sitting where you're sitting, and mm-hmm. my grandfather's sitting where I'm sitting, and I was sitting like over where. My uh, this helps a listener. My yeah. Milwaukee seven and a half inch tilt lock uh, power <laughs> yeah. saw. Nick's got a saw for some reason. Yeah, I got a big fucking saw, bitch. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was sitting over where the saw is. Keep, and yeah. my grandfather's like watch, like he's like you know like listening so intently to the story and leaning forward. And one of his balls <laughs> is just completely <laughs> like jackass. Bitch. It's like one of his <laughs> fucking balls awesome. is just completely hanging out of his shorts, <laughs> and it's like a fucking tennis ball. He had this <laughs> huge ball, this giant ball, just That's hanging awesome. out of his fucking out of his shorts. Anyhow, the story she's telling why this why this is a good anecdote that'll eat up time is uh, you know I guess she lived she was living somewhere in in D.C. off Georgia Avenue I guess when she was like a kid and she was like and we lived uh, on the corner of Georgia Avenue and I remember we would go outside in the afternoon and there was this Chinaman. That <laughs> That would sell apples, and me and my friend Suzanne would run up, and we'd pull his tail and steal his apples and laugh and laugh and laugh. And I'm like, my, family's, my family's just, like, laughing at this story. I'm like, that's a hate crime. Yeah. Pull his pull tail? His yeah, she meant, like, his cue. His, yeah, like, yeah, boxer yeah. rebellion right. cue. They'd pull his fucking hair and steal his apples. This poor Chinaman. Oh, that's just trying to hilarious. live his life selling apples. Which, by the way, what a hilarious Chinese immigrant business. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, you bought apple. <laughs> oh, apple, too, sir. <laughs> My grandmother had severe Alzheimer's yeah. uh, right before she went, Hell and yeah. we were in the nursing home. And she's an old South African woman in in Las Vegas. She completely lost her mind at this point. And the nursing home was only for Alzheimer's people. So oh, that must the, have been the funniest fucking the best. place. Yeah, so ever. it's just like it's it's scary. How many N words get said in that fucking? Well, place? <laughs> this is the oh, story. Sorry, not to step well, she, on it. No, 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 she didn't say the N word. But um, this old, uh, this older uh, black woman in a, like a muumuu that was like see through. You could like just Hell see her yeah. nipples like three. It, it clearly been washed like a thousand times. She <laughs> she. She sat down at the table. She just starts blabbering at me and my mom, just not even in like in words. She's just like shouting at us. And my grandmother looks at her and she looks at me and my mom and she's like, "The natives, oh yeah, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the natives." <laughs> That's all. Her good. native. Yeah, my grandfather yeah. one time referred to black people as the Negroid contingency. Oh god. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing I've ever. Negroid <laughs> contingency. Yeah, I have no idea. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, where? He, well, how well, are no, you? That's, that's like one of those they... scientists that claims that fucking skull size is smaller. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what they call phrenology. It. Yeah, phrenologist. Yeah, that's, they use the word. And that's, that's, old, there's actually some truth to it. That was the old terminology uh, for the three major racial classifications. Yeah, Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, and Mongoloid. Yeah, yeah. Which is, what, uh, which is um, now a hilarious word for like retard. the Devo song. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, actually, that's where, and I think I've definitely mentioned it on the podcast before, but the, uh, the, where the term Down syndrome comes from. Right, right. You have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, my grandmother, my mom was reading a book about, like, Greece, Greek immigrants in the 30s in, like, Russia, and the, my mom read a passage where the woman said, oh, I can't believe it, you know, 
it was like a predominantly Jewish area, and all the Greeks were scared of the Jews because they drank. They were told that they drank Gentile blood on oh, yeah, Passover. Yeah, yeah the and blood Bible. Right, right. So yeah. my mom's telling this story, and she's like, huh, "We're all la- it's me, and my cousin. It's like yeah, the holidays. Yeah. We're all together. We're all laughing." And my grandmother just has the most confused look on her face. <laughs> she's like, "Why is everybody laughing?" And we're like, "Grandma, isn't this hilarious? People used to think that Jews drink blood on Passover." And she's like. Yeah, they they <laughs> do. <laughs> it was just like we just started laughing at her, and then she, it was so fucking. Well, I'll tell you, nobody believes the rabbi dick sucking thing. That yeah, they're giving babies herpes. I tell people that, and they're like, "Shut up, man!" I'm like, right. "It's fucking it's real. True, yeah, it's real." Coming from you, it's tough to it's believe. True. I don't that know. Ra- you say the phrase "rabbis are sucking children's <laughs> dicks," and they're supposed to believe yeah. you in your Mountain Dew shirt, <laughs> in your fucking it's just self-made your cut-off fact. House of Cards T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, there was another thing people didn't believe. <laughs> you know, Coco the gorilla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Coco the gorilla, when they would introduce new female researchers to the gorilla, Coco would demand to see their breasts and play with their nipples, and the handlers would be like, "I mean, you got to do what she says. She's an eight hundred pound gorilla." And so these uh, multiple women were like sexually assaulted by really? by Coco the gorilla, and I've told numerous people that, and they're like. That's not true. Is well, that true? You for told real? me that dolphin story. I was like, Nick, what just, dolphin story? The thing about that, they were trying to like, they filled a house like. Oh, the CIA. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, that's a great story. Yeah. Well, it wasn't CIA. I looked it up. No, it, was, it, was. it was somewhat CIA. It was some funded. government. Thing. It was like it was a government thing. Yeah. There was government funding, but it was like a. They reason, cut the, it was a they cut the funding something. when they put the dolphin. Uh, okay, so the, for the listeners, <laughs> here's the story. In the 1950s, and that's important because this is after. Like we won World War Two. <laughs> right, oh right. yeah, yeah. This is after. <laughs> There's no reason for any kind of like bizarre, you know, right, right, right. experiment. No, we like were this. riding high. I mean, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. like, let's fuck well, around with we, the Ruskies were coming out yeah. next. So okay, so this is like the era where there, you know, like there was that plan to freeze bats and attach fire bombs to them <laughs> and like uh, that was like another plan uh, <laughs> 9-11 bats yeah they're, they're gonna freeze bats <laughs> and then uh, like attach fire bombs to them and drop them so that they would wake up mid-flight and then you know start spreading fire everywhere that's hilarious or, or you know sorry that they would nest they would nest and then explode or some shit I don't know right something retarded yeah so there was this uh, experiment where somebody hypothesized that Dolphins were intelligent enough to speak English, <laughs> um, and the pro- the problem is because is, they have advanced hearing. Yeah, like, they have advanced hearing, and they're also you know they have smart. They're they're, they're emotionally smart. intelligent. Yeah. They rape but each the other. issue was is like you know you don't know how to teach a dolphin English, so they thought like the answer was just complete immersion. So they developed this house. It's like a specially designed house where it could be flooded about the waist height. And they put this woman who agreed to, like, you know, be in the house. She was a research assistant. Okay, yeah. yeah. So a research assistant, um, which in those days, indistinguishable from magician's assistant. (laughs) Pretty much the same fucking job. Sometimes you'd be working with graduated cylinders. Sometimes you just get cut in half. Uh, So uh, they had this research assistant volunteer to, to live in this house that's flooded halfway with water with, like, a dolphin. That and they were like, yeah, just talk to the dolphin all the time, and you know, let us know if he starts speaking. <laughs> and that, that, was, was the- <laughs> that was the plan, and so of course nothing happened. Of course, and uh, well, the dolphin's also a young dolphin, so it started going through adolescence. W- all right, well, th- nothing happens. So what they do next is they're like, all right, uh, and then again, this is the 1950s, and it's like I think I'm pretty sure it was attached to the CIA. It might have been an independent study, but there was like CIA money or something involved in yeah. it. Yeah. And uh just say it was CIA. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. This so is they're, fucking CIA, man. So it's the fifties, so of course they were like, Okay, well, we're gonna put you on acid. We're gonna <laughs> give you L S D and then we're gonna see what happens. And the fucking uh eventually they're both on acid and the dolphin starts like rubbing against the woman's this like is legs. Where you're wrong. What do you mean? So the dolphin is like uh, an adolescent, right? So it starts getting horny. This is before they put them on acid. Okay. So he starts making it sexual. No, they ab- put the put the, them on acid, and then they started fucking. No, they didn't fuck. I think she jacked him off. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, she <laughs> sucked the dolphin's dick and jacked it off. I mean, she sucked him off. So the dolphin was like started getting horny, and started taking a liking to the research assistant. Of course, she was. So hot. at first, he he'd like just titties. bite her ankles, and he found out that that would piss her off. So then he was like, "All right." 
you know, I can't go in so aggressive. So he started <laughs> trying to be sexy with her, uh-huh. and, like slowly sliding the side of himself off, like against her leg and stuff, uh-huh. and trying to be like real sexy. Did you read like, the like erotic novelization <laughs> of this fucking story? No, it's true. It's like a paragraph long. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Because no, you told me when you were like probably blackout drunk, I was like, Nick made up the stupidest story about this lady <laughs> jacking off a dolphin. <laughs> and then I looked it up and I'm like, holy shit, he's absolutely right. So remember, okay. remember when Andrew Bucket admitted that he was molested <laughs> in junior like, high? Are we talking and then, about this on the podcast? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he admitted that. Yeah, yeah. I think well, he was no, doing he a did bit. A, he did a joke, oh, but he was doing flat. a bit that he, fell he, flat. He, he, he no sold it, and then we were like, "Did you get molested?" And he's like, I, I, "I don't know." And then we didn't talk about it for a year. We just assumed what was he had the been bit? molested. So we were like, "Yeah, we we're getting high." <laughs> we we're like at my old apartment. We <laughs> Wait, a pot. bit just in the room, not on stage. In the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just sitting around okay. talking. We we're smoking weed, and then he was like, um, "He's like, yeah, w- it's yeah, weird how gym teachers are also the school nurse sometimes." <laughs> and we were like, that's not true. And he was like, well, you know, they would like make you do like a testicular exam every day. And we were like, every day? No. What are you talking about? And then he was like, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what Craig told me. My gym teacher, he used to let me call him by, by his first name. That's yeah, gotta like, be a bit. Oh. He didn't even, yeah, I mean, he he was joking, but the way he told he it. He sold it so He was well. fucked up, but you know, he's always yeah, oh, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was after 7 yeah, p.m. Yeah, we were like, that's not normal, dude. Were you fucking molested? No, and I think we changed the subject because yeah, we yeah. felt so bad. Yeah, we just had to change oh, the subject. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Damn, so Bucket might have got molested. Shouts out Andrew Bucket. No, because he <laughs> asked him. Adam asked him about it after. I asked him about it after, and I think he said he was doing a bit. But how much funnier would it be if he got molested? Hopefully he did, and we just talked about it on the podcast. No, cause that's what we were talking about. Yeah. No, we were talking about how they used to do um, scoliosis testing. By yeah. putting a couple thumbs like, in your ass? Making the, the nurse would make you bend over in front of her. Yeah. And then she'd like look at your spine and see as you bent over. Like, if it was and it was so not. embarrassing if you just had diarrhea in the nurse's face. <laughs> <laughs> and just spray diarrhea all over the well, my friend face. got suspe- suspended because he he told the nurse he did like a retarded voice he goes scoliosis in my butthole <laughs> 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 no sense that's a good bit yeah that's was, a classic elementary school yeah, bit yeah, yeah, you know they had like extra good. clothes in the nurse's office in case you like shit yourself did you know that no, oh yeah know. well you'd wear pe clothes when well, you shit yourself I, I i mean i remember that they had extra clothes, clothes in the nurse's office in elementary school for people that shit themselves mm. Um, but those had to have been just clothes that someone else pr- had pr- previously, previously yeah, shitted yeah, yeah. Got so bleached. and then they've cleaned and then you're just wearing secondhand shit. You take <laughs> off shitted clothes to put on other shit. It shitted keeps clothes. refreshing itself. There's this kid we went to second grade with, this kid Eric Ross, who shit his pants. And um, literally everyone from that second grade, like he is a, he's he got an MD PhD, which meant Holy he went shit. to he went to Law- medical, medical school medical. for four years and then. A PhD in science for four years and literally everyone I know it was like a small private school I keep in touch with some of them are like oh yeah you mean Eric who shit his fucking man <laughs> <laughs> like no matter how accomplished he is in his life he'll always be the dude That's that shit his funny. fucking pants and then cried about it like a bitch dude <laughs> like, like, well, um, so there's this guy Scott that used to I mean I think he used to date my sister or my stepsister I can't remember did he fuck her I mean I'm sure I don't know <laughs> Nice. But, uh, well, I don't know. I knew him. I knew him. Me and Adam high five. I knew him. We had like a, a mutual friend circle or whatever. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, so he was at a party one time and I wasn't there, but he was at a party and he like went into the bathroom and he was all fucking drunk and he like locks the door. This is in his house. He like locks the uh-huh. door to the bathroom and people are like pounding on the door and like trying to get him to come out. And he won't come out. And eventually they just knock down the, the door to the bathroom or whatever. And he's in there and he's completely <laughs> naked. And he's ripped off. It's like one of those sliding doors to the shower. He's ripped the door off the shower and he's using it to cover himself. Oh and my the God. toilet's all backed up because he's tried to like flush all his clothes down the toilet. Because oh, no. he like shit himself or whatever. And they were like, just go home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so like, he like, destroyed this bathroom, destroyed their toilet, shit himself. Very embarrassing embarrassing and then like i don't know two years after that there was one night where me and and like all my friends are hanging out and scott's there and i was there with uh yeah my friend like danny and danny was trying to like hook up with this girl alexa and we were all hanging out and uh we were walking around and scott was like really hitting it off with alexa oh really and danny's there and he's like bummed about it and uh we're like walking and danny just says to me he's like I got, 
I guess you just have to do it. Uh, hey, Scott, remember when you like shit your pants at that <laughs> party and then fucking like left? And Scott's like, yeah, man, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I just love the way Danny was like, That's hilarious. yeah, I guess I have to do the it. The nuclear option. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I black out for a while and I remember like people shaking me awake. I'm laying down on her deck smoking a blunt that I don't know where it came from and they're, and I'm holding a pop tart in my hand and they're like stop did you shit and throw up all over the bathroom <laughs> and I was like no it wasn't fucking me and I'm holding up a, a strawberry pop tart there was a trail of pop tart from the bathroom to the deck wait you're eating while you're shitting I don't I mean I don't fucking know That's I just so I just know that I was like no it wasn't me and there's a like car Cartoon trail of Pop Tart <laughs> yeah. to this fucking it's deck, so and good. I still denied it. And then I just threw, and then I, I just woke up in, and then all I remember is waking up in my fucking parents' house in jorts, which uh, no underwear. And then Anna found the, my underwear was in her neighbor's tree, covered <laughs> in throw up. <laughs> just fucking, I just thrown it off her fucking deck. Yeah, I've never shit myself. I've definitely thrown up all over myself yeah. numerous times while drunk, but I've never shit myself. Yeah, dude. Uh, and not only did funny. I do that, but when I when in her bathroom, I like I was holding onto the shower or something, yeah. and like grabbed the pipe. And it was there was a the only reason they even saw the bathroom is because their her fucking downstairs <laughs> started flooding because <laughs> I fucking ripped a pipe out of the wall and I ripped oh the shower God. curtain and I was just laying on her fucking deck. <laughs> I did that in my mom's apartment when I was like fifteen. Shouts out to I was like all fucking like drunk or whatever, and like tried to take a shower and just. Just trash the bathroom. Just rip the fucking. It was like the shower curtain rod was yeah, one of the yeah. ones that attaches to the wall. I just ripped all the drywall out. <laughs> <laughs> just destroyed. Knocked all the shit over. She was like, "Were you drunk?" And I was like, oh, "No." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just had trouble getting into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing that for fun. I was just destroying the house because I felt like it, bitch. Get off my fucking back. Uh, I have hey. ADD, mom. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. ADHD. <laughs> I'm fucking... The I'm school ADHD, system mom. says you're not allowed to be mean to me. I don't have to do homework. <laughs> they put me in a special class for people who don't have to do homework <laughs> because we have potential. <laughs> I'm in a special potential class <laughs> for kids that don't understand how to read. <laughs> I was in one of those they took me out of electives they took me out of electives and put me in like a fucking uh in this like please do your homework class yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah we just sit there they would literally give us candy if we like didn't like did our homework yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember I, it was like eighth grade and i remember there was one time there's only like 10 kids in that class all, pretty much all of them had emotional problems right. one kid was just like he spoke Spanish. And yeah, <laughs> I, was yeah. like, I was like, he was like, well, thank you. He was like, he was like 12 and he already looked like one of those Home Depot day right. laborer contractors outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three foot two, yeah. faux hawk. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing like Oshkosh, Bagosh, full Junkos. mustache. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and like, so there was like sixth graders in gym class. And, like, it was, like, you know, the windows face, like, and they were, like, walking somewhere, and somebody just started going, like, fuck you, fuck, and then everyone was at the window, like, you fucking faggots, fuck you faggots, you fucking faggots, and we're screaming, and the teacher was, like, guys, 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 calm down, and just all at the window, screaming, like, dogs, <laughs> like, dogs, and one starts barking, and the rest yeah. of you have to fucking chime in, <laughs> faggots, fucking faggots, <laughs> I yeah. sometimes wonder about you know people get fat enough where they can't wipe their own ass properly. Yeah, I, um, I've heard of some stuff like that. <laughs> it's probably a wives' tale though. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> I fucking deserve that. Oh yeah, cheeseburger and fries. So I'm, our new character is. Uh, oh, that's good. Is, uh, dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I fucking I, deserve. I this. don't suck cock ever, <laughs> but I also love sucking <laughs> cock. That's my duality. Okay. It's mean? all unemployed contractors with like forearm autism, hmm. where they know a shit ton about screws and they have no social skills. <laughs> and any anything anything you fucking ask them for at Home Depot, they're gonna try and use it as an opportunity to tell you why you're wrong. I went in there looking for like um, 
like a like a pocket hole jig, like a like a, a jig to drill holes mm-hmm. that you know mm-hmm. it went smaller than like a quarter inch for like smaller than quarter inch drill bits. And the guy was like, "I'll tell you, I've been in hardware for, for uh, twenty years. I'm not saying you're lying, but I've never seen anything like that." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you're yeah, lying. Yeah. Well, nothing's going on. I've been watching. Can we get flashlight to spoil spot on HBO? Yeah. Real good. What are, you, what are you talking over me for? What were you saying? I stopped talking. I said, can we get Fleshlight to sponsor us? Probably, actually. They Let's sponsored try. Moon Tower. I got a free Fleshlight. Did I ever tell you that story? No. <laughs> I got a free... Everyone who did Moon Tower a couple of years ago got a free Fleshlight. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to bring it back on the plane with me, and I thought, like, they probably see these things all the time, so I just put it in my bag and didn't think about it. Uh, it completely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> they they pulled me aside. TSA? They took my bag. TSA. Oh, they took yes. nine agents and they brought the fucking manager over and they pull oh, it out. Oh, that's incredible! And they're like fingering it. I'm like, it was free. I just did this festival. They gave them to everyone. I didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, I don't fucking. Oh, you took it on your carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I only ha- I only ever take a yeah, carry on. Yeah, I don't yeah, ever yeah. check a bag. Yeah, and, you know, go like out of town for bucks, a fucking yeah. week. I don't need to. Right. That's for women, I think. If you go on vacation, they're like, you, yeah, know, yeah. you yeah, have to no. bring every piece of clothing I have. Yeah, they bring a hair on. dryer. Like wherever <laughs> you're going, is it going to have a hair dryer? I don't even bring a toothbrush because uh, most hotels they yeah. just have them at the desk. Mm-hmm. They have little shitty ones. Yeah, but then you know if you bring a full size tube of toothpaste, they make you throw it out at the fucking right, airport. Right, right. Unless you keep those travel things. What happened with the flashlight, dude? Oh yeah, so it was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> um, did everyone? Were they know. just laughing at you when they found out? Uh, no, I mean they were like smirking or whatever. I'm sure that made their fucking week. Yeah, of course. Fuck them. I hope they get. You didn't? Did you take it with you? Well, yeah. I mean, I was like, I just like I ran with the. It, it was inside out, so the vagina part is like flapping around <laughs> while I'm like running to my gate because I was late for my flight, and then ended up fucking the thing like one time. And uh, it's great. Yeah. But as soon as you come, it's like, oh, uh, like the amount of shame. Absolutely. It's almost like you had just what fucked your sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that kind of feeling. <laughs> like that, this incestual feeling. Yeah. When you ejaculate into like a contraption. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just coming in general. The second after you come, no matter what. No, you feel like just bad. beating off like regular. Because I, I always go dry, you know. Of course, I'm there oh, with yeah. you. Dry jack. I don't think I've used lubrication to beat off. And like, I'm a dry jackman probably myself. Probably twelve years. And, yeah, I did uh, it a couple times. Like when you're little, because people always say you have to. Yeah, but I'm dry. Yeah, dry um, every time. Yeah, and so I was so ashamed, and I put it in this bag of shoes <laughs> in my room. <laughs> <laughs> that I just like shoes I wasn't wearing anymore. <laughs> you, you didn't clean it. They just <laughs> no. I mean, there's oh. no. There's a way to. There's clean a baby. It. There's I, didn't, a baby I wasn't going to go dig up. the instructions out of the fucking. Can you just run through water? Or something? I'm not going. I live with nine other washer. people. I'm not going to go into the kitchen <laughs> to be like, oh, it's thermos. For, it's for soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, so just, I put it in uh, that bag, and then I like went to go help my mom like uh, remove the flooring in her apartment. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I came back and I was like, I feel like there's something I forgot. And then she like called me like uh, two days later. She's like, did you leave your fucking pocket pussy here? (laughs) (laughs) And that bag of shoes. That's so fucking funny. And I was like, yes, but don't uh, don't touch it. (laughs) (laughs) So your mom has your flashlight? Uh, She threw it out. Oh, Oh, what what a a bitch. bitch. You know, it's, it's hard to decide who's more disgusting, the French or the Italians. Oh, the Italians by far. Really? Uh, I yeah, think darker the skin. F- <laughs> That's true. Damn. No, nah, I've been using the N-word a lot lately. You have been, dude. But soft A N-word. Always. It's, it's because I figured it out. I thought it was because I was in a, it's in a group DM that somebody labeled... Uh, I'll just say it. Think, well, <laughs> so, I think we can imagine. Somebody name. changed the name to, to, to gay niggas up front. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so funny to me, like uh, like how we say like or uh, right? Yeah. Whenever they have like a beat or something that they can't fill, they say nigga. Like they go, oh nigga, nigga, uh, go to yonga, what was your job? I love how it's just double racist. Yeah, it's like well, no, racist. they say it. I it's swear Chinese. to God, dude. No, I know, but your yeah. impression is double racist. Uh, I also used to work at a Dairy Queen that Here was owned go. by these two Chinese brothers. 
uh, uh, Charlie and uh, Henley, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> Henley. His name might have been Henry, but I wasn't gonna like be like, "Oh, you're saying your name wrong." <laughs> is that, is that, oh, yeah, Charlie fuck. and Henley they own the Dairy Queen, and you know they add like an A to the end of like everything. So yeah. like, but they say, but so they would say my name with an A at the end. Oh, so they'd yeah. be like, "Nika, you live or work?" And I'd be like. <laughs> You can't say that, man. <laughs> I'm also like the only white guy that works here. You don't say that to anyone else. <laughs> the Bolivian girl. I was thinking I about. I think you uh, can say it if you change Nick Mullen to Nick Mullen. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Probably. I don't know. I've already. I already feel bad. About I can't it. believe I said it. No. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm the only one who hasn't said mean? it on the cast. Yeah. Right. So that's the thing. It's like, let's not pretend like we don't all say it in private. Everyone did it, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I I feel like we grew up in the era where beating off was just so out in the open. Oh, yeah. I talked about beating no, off Maybe all in the your time. household, your weird Greek household. No, I mean, not in my house, but amongst friends. Yeah. I did beat off, though, in very close quarters to my family. I would, like, the, the computer was, like, right next to the fucking family room. <laughs> so I just, like, beat off. And there's no lock on it, so I would just beat off with my foot holding the fu- like I'd beat off like f- one just with a wide stance with the foot holding my the compute the fucking thing <laughs> and I just beat off and I remember one time my mom found me I don't know why I was beating off to crackhorrconfessions.com but it's like once you like go through every So porn, you beat off to crackhorrconfessions.com you're going to say you've never used the n word. No, I've, I've never have. Yeah, I was I beating off to the white crack horse. No, all right. I uh, I was thinking about remember that show on TV One that I showed you, uh, oh, black, black black men, men revi- exposed, black men revealed, revealed. It. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the best show. Yeah, of all time. black it's, men revealed. It's gold. Yeah, it's it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I've, I I was like in San Diego at my like cousin's house, and they got this channel TV One. Mm, yeah, and it yeah. was just it's on. Like public and it's access. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's basically public. It's access. not public access. Isn't that like the black channel? It's like a new black channel. I, I don't know, man. But it's like roundtable format, and it's like uh, <laughs> four or five middle aged black. Guys. You can get it on YouTube. So you, you can find yeah. it on YouTube. Oh, hell yeah! And then they just you know they it's basically a podcast. Uh. But then they got a coffee table that sometimes has dominoes on it, <laughs> <laughs> which is. It's great, and like the one episode I saw, they're always talking about women or whatever. Hell yeah, uh, like but, Steve Harvey level. Yeah, wisdom no, of there's women. like one yeah, where yeah. they're like, "I don't need some black bitch." <laughs> <laughs> like, I've seen just, that one. Yeah, yeah, they just fucking berate black women. <laughs> and like, well, no, like half of them date white women, the other yeah, half yeah, yeah, like yeah, don't well, date white. Oh, women. Yeah. it's like a debate, open forum and, debate. And, show. Well, there was one episode where they were talking about pussy hair. And the, <laughs> And this guy, this one guy, he he's got his fingers tented. He's got like tight braids, and his fingers tented. And he's sitting there, and he's like, yeah, well, "See, I prefer a woman to be uh, au natural, as they call it, you know." And uh, as soon as he says that, right underneath him, like you know, like the lower third or whatever, it pops up, and it says, uh, "It says Alonzo, uh, teacher." <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Fuck. Has gay has being gay ever come up on that show? I don't know. I mean, I, I I've only seen like two or three episodes. I'm sure it has. I'm sure it has, and I'm sure they're very very. You know what probably has uh, the DL. <laughs> yeah. That's like a big issue. Brothers on the DL spreading AIDS in the community. Missed. There's a lot of gymnast stuff. Oh out yeah, there. I've seen that. Before. Yeah, I was, I was at some bar the other night, and I was watching like beach volleyball. I was beach volleyball, stand, yeah. And some guy came up, and he's like, yeah, "I could beat off to this." <laughs> it's like, why? Why yeah. would you? <laughs> why would you beat off to it? What are you in jail? <laughs> Just download pornography like a fucking normal human being, yeah, right? Like the president or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah. And you, if think, I, you, know, you think you could still be the president? Well, I did talk about having a sex slave beat me off on this podcast. <laughs> That's fine, dude. It's so, all out there. Trump, Trump's so Trump's had a fat Howard Stern. That's the thing, man. You just stay problematic, and you never have to worry about it. That's what Trump taught us. Yeah, you might be president, Nick. <laughs> I know. Trump might be president. He's not. I mean, you say that with such confidence. Yeah, no. I have no confidence. I wish the I did. The math, the math doesn't work. 
Oh, the math anyway. doesn't work? Yeah, the math. Do you know the math? math doesn't work? I don't, I don't know, folks. Maybe six million, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's crunch, the Second Amendment people can take a look at those numbers. Let's crunch those numbers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm Chelsea Pierce, and I'm rich, and I just love shopping and having sex. And then her friend is uh, Madison Square Garden, <laughs> and then they have a Korean friend, uh, Kim Park Slope. <laughs> <laughs> Who, but she just she just looks Korean. Kim she's Park Slope. she's like I'm a real New Yorker, just like the rest of them. She has like a normal voice, <laughs> right, right, right. But right. she's Korean. That's I mean, always funny when you're in Chinatown. And you see like a, a Chinese cop in Chinatown, yeah. and then they just talk. They're like, "Hey, what the fuck are you yeah. doing?" Well, no, there's a lot of like there's a, a lot Chinese of old guy. school Chinese Chinatown guys that are like. Hey, who's this guy over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they're like wearing like a fishing vest and yeah. aviators. And they're yeah, still Chinese as shit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm trying to play Mahjong this afternoon. <laughs> you know, a place where a fella could hang out. You know what I mean? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but they still fuck up the LRs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah this, you want to get to this, Williamsburg, this you train, take the R this train. train. This plane's 40 minutes late. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this plane? Uh, do you remember when you, me, and Jake were, <laughs> were laughing about a girl using twi- uh, having the LR problem using oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Tinder? Yeah. I was trying to do that Swipe as a bit. A that was me and Jake. I was trying to do that as a bit on stage, but it was too racist. <laughs> it's like I kept matching with Chinese girls on Tinder. And it was like, I was joking, it was because she was using like the, the series speech commands. Speech commands. And she's yeah. like, swipe rift. <laughs> swiping like, right. Swiping right. No, <laughs> swipe <a> rift. <laughs> the what? funniest name for any show I saw ever, there was a show here that was just called Dog Shit. <laughs> and that's so funny. You know, my favorite dead. movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And mm-hmm. yeah. Roger Rabbit is chained to Eddie Valiant. They're handcuffed together for about mm-hmm. an hour. Yeah. And then they're in that back room in the bar. And uh, Eddie think- finally Eddie finds a hacksaw and he starts hacking through the handcuffs. And while he's doing that, Roger Rabbit just slips out of the handcuffs and he like starts watching him. Oh, and yeah. And Eddie says, you mean to tell me you could have taken those off at any time? And he goes, no, only when it was funny. And I sort of live by that code <laughs> that oh, anything man. can be justified if it's funny. And so uh, I'm not responsible for hurting Seth's feelings. And he's a bad guy. But uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you said you had nothing against him. I don't have anything against him. I mean, I'm just saying objectively he's a bad guy. <laughs> God, uh, that's even better. Yeah, not that you don't want Seth. you don't want uh, me to just uh, let Seth speak for himself here. This is know. a recording you're playing, right? Of yeah, Seth yeah, reading yeah. his I, post. Yeah, play the recording. He went live on Facebook Live. Uh, Finish the video. I don't know. Well, if 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 you're gonna have a problem, continue. No, it's it's, you already said. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just a big bully. <laughs> 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 I guess everybody just thinks I'm just a fucking asshole. <laughs> and, like, I love that through all of this, he's sort of kind of angry that he didn't go viral under his own terms. Yeah. Like, what he really wanted to go viral for is, like, people... Being a, lo- being oh, a woke wow, hero. This white guy that wants to die. A good what point. a fucking hero. <laughs> and then that uh, Seth eventually did uh, block that guy. Jesus. And uh, then that guy messaged me, and he goes... Uh, you don't know me, but I went to high school with Seth Cockfield, and he just unfriended me because I called him out on some of his whiny, pushy, leftist <laughs> bullshit. Where can I check out this character you created about him? I would love a good laugh over this. This is incredible. <laughs> Seth is getting us <laughs> listeners. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I've never seen some. He's Dude, like, that's a hilarious. Getting yeah. owned by just a guy who barely knew you, and he's yeah. like, look, man, <laughs> like we don't really year. know each other. <laughs> I'm the closest to an objective observer here, yeah, and I yeah. gotta say, and he was even kind of like, well, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is Seth was even like, I'm happy to talk about <laughs> my, I'm happy to talk about my tweet with you, but not about your. Uh, fucking objections to how I'm behaving. I won't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, No, Seth is just like Damn. constantly stepping on rakes and having them smash in his face. That's I have this horrible. fantasy in my head I'll do where like, uh, you know, like someone will ask me to get out of the seat and then, uh, where I'm just like, uh, you know, I'll like be like, well, um, 
yeah, that's fine. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm like a veteran. I was like, and, <laughs> and I lie to them that I'm a veteran, and then people find out somehow, and then everyone on the train beats the shit out of you me. Steal Valor. It's like I have a, like a fantasy I have that'll play out in my head. <laughs> of trolling yeah. gone wrong. Just, yeah, you just like want your life. Kid. You just want your life, your way of life to end. <laughs> you just yeah. want to be freed of this prison <laughs> you made guy, for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Some guy, uh, some guy pretending to be a veteran on the train so he doesn't have to give up his seat to a pregnant woman, and then people find out and beat him to death that's how i like i think in my head that would be honestly uh, yeah if i heard that's the way you died i would feel so happy for you yeah dude. that's no, going that's out the, the way most, you would have won the yeah, mullen yeah, yeah, way yeah. dude give you any credibility when it comes to making sandwiches <laughs> yeah, yeah. firefighters aren't known for their sandwiches <laughs> yeah you're just trying to cash in on the fact that you're generally sympathetic yeah yeah which is yeah, so dude. funny well, it's, it's like, like why are you so busy the bit was why are you so busy making is that why we lost both of the towers <laughs> yeah because you were busy sandwiches? fucking around with meatballs. <laughs> Get in those towers. <laughs> Put the fucking sandwich knife down. That's um, a good bit. Yeah. I do love... And it was great when it would tank and then I was like, oh, it's because it's a 9-11 joke. And then people were like, what the fuck is Firehouse Subs? Yeah, it's hilarious. You were just being mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love... Firefighter is a great... Like, if you're a racist, yeah. just be a firefighter. Yeah. Instead of a cop. Or just be a racist and do whatever you want. No, I don't be. Like, that's what I mean. If you were a racist, though. What do you mean, though? Like, in terms of feeder occupations for racists, like yeah. blue you collar be, racists. You could be a racist computer programmer. But, but I mean, your if boss those... come in like, ah, Jeremy, uh, no, great work, but why are all of your variable names uh, <laughs> just slurs? <laughs> I don't know anything about programming. I just context clues laughed at that joke yeah yeah thanks guys no worries well adam uh, didn't adam's, adam's not even holding the microphone to his face yeah. anymore what do you mean well i know man it's been 51 Sorry I didn't minutes laugh it's... at the racist computer you're program fucking bit. better dude dude are you a sleepy boy you've been very yeah. woke this podcast i gotta I'm be the... honest with you listen and i don't like it i don't like it at all i'm say something offensive right now yeah say it right uh, now bitch Say rape is good. Say something. Say all offensive. that rape stuff you were saying. Tell the story. No, I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't tell it. Damn, in the context of what we were just talking about, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, you have to say something offensive, though, for real, right now. I don't. I don't like uh, identical twins. I don't trust them. Okay, that's right. That's, that's just more of a. Uh, I think fraternal twins are worse because there's one of them that like clearly got fucked up, the fucked up genes. Really? Yeah, no, there's I always one that's got cool. like red hair and like can't dance or sing. <laughs> I feel like if I had an identical twin, you know, Dalmok at Tanagra, and he just says shit like that, and like Picard the whole time is like, yes, but what does it mean? <laughs> and I was like laughing with people on Twitter a couple months ago, where, like instead of like the stories, the aliens are just being like. The pussy, the asshole, and the vagina. <laughs> and Picard being like, yes, but what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> the asshole. The, woman, the woman's asshole and pussy. What is that? Some kind of warning? <laughs> uh, fuck. The woman's asshole and vagina. Pussy. The pussy entrance. <laughs> what is he trying to say? <laughs> this yesterday. Demanding. White people... Asking black people not to use the N-word so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> my it is the best. Thing in the world. Yeah. And then, it, oh, could you also just not use the water fountain either? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it offends me. <laughs> well, they used to drown people like you, so I'm a, a little bit worried about you using the water fountain and then also the bathroom just in case. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, Springsteen mm -hmm. is... Uh, by, no, Billy Joel. Uh, Billy Joel yeah, yeah, by right Billy now. Joel. Uh, 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 Jewish Elvis. Well, I'm on the Down syndrome, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> and then my hands are up on her tits. Whatever you change it, but then you put in the uh, the Atel, um And they say she's slow, but them titties ain't retarded. <laughs> yeah. What a great joke! Yeah, Classic man. Bit. I changing all those. I had uh, everyone at the office. I I got, I got them with the. Uh, well, I'm the kind of guy that fucks his yeah. mom and dad. That's, That's perfect. That was making the, the rounds. One. That might be the best one you've yeah. done. My favorite one is dad, dad, fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, 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 fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, my dad, I fuck my dad. Yeah, no, that one's a good one. That's great. I think that's a good way to close, boys. Yeah. Oh, no, the other... 
down Easter Alexa one was, uh, oh. uh, uh, well, I'm busting inside the <laughs> vagina. <laughs> I think this podcast is about to be. Right. And do you know that, uh, what's the, like, I, I don't know if it's like a Doors, I don't know that much about the Doors, but there's like something that's not on a Doors album, and it's just Jim Morrison yelling, uh, you got a fucker in the ass, and it's like a, <laughs> a song that he recorded. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's some Jim not real. Like, no, it's real, dude. Where he's just like, you got a fucker in the ass. Oh my God, my favorite poem. I mean, the, the Doors music is already so fucking stupid to begin with. Uh... Uh, Felix retweeted this thing. Did you see it? Uh uh-uh. It was like uh, three photographs. The first is like, this is a, f- this is a drawing made by Jim Morrison. Um, someone, I saw Gary, uh, Randy Quaid. You know that guy? Yeah. He, he posted a picture that. Look, okay. You know forget that? about Randy Quaid. Look okay, at the text. Sorry, yeah. Look, um, look how obnoxious that is. Sh- <laughs> Wait, first of all, this is the guy from Futurama doing the like squinty, sarcastic. Yeah. yeah. It's Fry. It's the Fry, fry. meme. Yeah, the yeah, Fry. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure if I if an early call time helps me get out sooner tomorrow or screws me over with turnaround. Yeah, and look at look at look at. Look Not at, sure if we're wrapping at three p.m. or three a.m. <laughs> yeah, imagine having to deal with that all day long from that guy. Are you fucking having a coworker me? that will only communicate with you through memes? He's the worst person <laughs> in the world. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. That's egregious. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, should we should uh, we talk about wh- what Aleppo is for uh, our Gary uh-huh. Johnson? I feel like everybody, everybody listens to this is voting for Gary Johnson. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like we definitely have some li- libertarian. Yeah, what's a libtar like? A lot of them, yeah. but I have the time to do it. Of course. And then after what year are you at right now? Um, well, I it's like spotty, so I just pick things. Okay. Because I've seen like the entirety of like the 1970s, most of the 1980s, uh-huh. and then 90s and 2000s. Did Out of sure. Africa win Best yeah, Picture? Yeah, it did. Have you seen that? I haven't. It's bad, right? It's I don't like know. Not, it's not that good. Right? Well, it's got Africa in the title, so my hopes aren't high for that one. <laughs> um, but more like Stay Out of Africa. <laughs> That's a movie I would watch. I didn't know uh, uh, Namibia used to just be part of South Africa yeah. until like 1990. Yeah. That it was just West South. Oh, those cunts. They're talking about. They're talking about like uh, is Whoopi's like a new study says that sex. On average, only last seven minutes, and then all of them are like, "Oh Ooh. hell no," you know. And then fuck, like you know, two of them are hot. I don't know what they always have. Like one woman a on the show, a hot conservative. Yeah, they got yeah. a hot conservative Latina now. Woo! Yeah, uh, honey child. Yeah, and so Oprah's sitting there, and she just looks Oprah. like yeah, hey, Whoopi. Whoopi's sitting there. I call her Oprah as a joke so much that <laughs> now I do it on <laughs> or by accident. I. Uh, is Goldberg a stage name, by the way? No. I've always been too afraid to ask. No, that's uh, she's Jewish. No, I'm pretty sure that's a stage name. It has to be. Yeah. Um, God, if you could choose any last. So name, she's sitting there, and they put her on the end of the table. So she looks. She always looks like a pile of like the blankets that they give to people that survive a disaster. Oh yeah. Like she's For just sure. this lumpy mess covered in blankets of clothing with. <laughs> Usually, like, uh, nice sneakers coming out of the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, she's wearing Yeezys. Yeah. And uh, she's like, 45 minutes at least. And it's like... That's how long she fucks? Yeah, no way, dude. No Who's fucking she? way. Who's she, fucking you that long? Ted Danson. Yeah, right. He was for a while. I Can think. you imagine that? I just imagine her sitting there with, like, you know how, like, uh, Jabba had Wait, Princess she has Leia a tit chained tattoo, up? tattoo, right? That's what everyone was going nuts about at the Oscars or oh, something? Oh, yeah. Everyone, but now I can't remember if it was her or Oprah because somebody got in trouble for calling her Oprah. And then I was like, that's so funny. Who did? I don't know. Some, how do you confuse them? Uh, because you so often confuse them as a joke as that a you joke. eventually do it on purpose. I guess so. Yeah. Um, like Joy Behar, I call her Reba McIntyre as a, joke. as a joke, but then I start doing it on purpose. The Fred Armisen impression of Joy Behar that he used to do on SNL is so fucking I don't funny. think I've ever seen it. It's very funny. Oh, shit. Can you guys hear that? It's the police outside. They heard that there are two white men in an apartment in bed so, um, so what do you think? Uh, Winita Broderick lying, telling the truth. 
wait, was that the the rape in the eighties? Yeah, the Bill Clinton rape. Oh, oh, I thought that was like the woman that was on the um I thought it Downey was, Jr. show and Al Sharpton was there and there was that they did it at the Apollo. Yeah, every time, you know, honestly, for a second, anytime I hear Juanita Broderick, I think it's like uh, some like Mexican woman that Matthew Broderick illegitimately <laughs> knocked up. That's my like my the snap thought in my head. And it's, then I have to remember. That. So wait, when was this from? I don't fucking know. Arkansas. He raped a woman. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he raped someone. You don't. You know. You always believe. Oh my god, dude. We have to. We have to stop doing this. <laughs> we have to fucking. We have to stop doing this episode as soon as possible. This is the worst episode oh comes out of all dude. time. What you do you guys say? Do you call low. it checkers or rallies? Uh, <laughs> right into the show. Let us know. We're going Carl's Jr. Hardee's. What do you guys? Carl's think? Jr. Hardee's. Chipwich or cookie sandwich? You know, it's kind of annoying. Or ice to cream me. sandwich. Uh, how like I'm from the West Coast, but like how people talk about In and Out, like it's the best that place fucking sucks people do it's that with all every right place people it's do okay that with every, everybody has like shake shack here shake shack shake sucks. shack's not that good it's not that good there's no such thing as a good burger what do you mean there's no such thing as a good burger? it doesn't exist red You've never had a good, good burger before somebody just got shot dude did you hear that <laughs> there's literally no it's a firework no dude. there's gunshot it's not firework it's september what are they celebrating the end 9 11 <laughs> 9 11 is the closest it's holiday tomorrow at midnight we should podcast until midnight when it becomes 9-11. It's September 10th right now. Oh, holy shit, dude. I forgot. This is like the 9-11 bonus episode. Yeah. It's the That's pr- why it's a disaster. That's, That's why it's going yeah, so bad is yeah, it's a fucking yeah, homage to 9-11. Yeah, yeah. So for the 3,000 people that died, that's why this has been literally the worst one we've ever done i know i say that every time but not only is it bad we don't know when to quit this is like you know when somebody's bombing and this is a hostage light. situation yeah yeah, yeah. what's is, the best new york city meltdown you've seen at an open mic uh oh you were there with that one guy yep. at the pit that one time where at he's like pit. you go around everybody wants your fucking dollar and it's like those are homeless people you should feel bad for them they're not trying to swindle you they live outside i live in a bunk bed in bushwick yeah. with eight other guys yeah so does everyone yeah these are all comedians you paid three dollars to be on stage right now just move home yeah just move home you have to have that as an i love that mark Marin and john Stewart hate each other i was gonna do that vogue birthday party the anna wintour thing and the only joke that i wanted to do i was hoping there'd be like a fat fashion lady there so i could call her nutella deville (laughs) i've been looking for a home for that joke for probably weeks now (laughs) I don't know who to call Nutella DeVille because you know what you it is? Anytime there's a like a fat, fabulous woman, everybody's like, ooh, that bitch Ursula. Look, it's Ursula. <laughs> Ursula, that's they always go, the Ursula, first one. Yeah, yeah. Which Nutella DeVille is great. So it's guys, better. if you have an opportunity, let's get rid of Ursula. Let's swap in fucking uh, Nutella DeVille. I feel like that Randy character, that could that could sort of make up the for films, the last. The films, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> My name's Randy, and this week I watched Five Easy Pieces, starring Jack Nicholson as Jonathan Five. Is that your favorite movie? Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Well, you know what? It was my favorite fireworks. <laughs> it's for 9-11, I, dude. Come on, man. Those are actually coming from Staten Island. Are they? They're firing them across the Verrazano. Yeah. But they do that every day. They we celebrate 9-11 when the clock hits it. We should go to Staten Island for the 9-11 parade tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the number one holiday at Staten Island. They love that shit, dude. Um, all right, so I guess I. All right, that's off putting. I don't like the, I don't like those fireworks going off. Yeah, I don't. What like if there were, What if there were veterans in this neighborhood? You know, you can't even make popcorn around veterans. You can't do fireworks. What's your favorite war? My favorite war? Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. What's yours? You tell me yours. Uh, my favorite war. Um, I don't know. I don't have one. Hampton used to. Oh, never mind. I, uh, to I think the. Uh, I was. We're here. How upset he'd be about this. <laughs> Fam, I'm crying. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I could have uh, just used this time to riff out the. That's right, folks. If you were trying to listen to the other show, well, I've got bad news for you. It's the Dickfield Takeover. That's right. I've got my own podcast now. And I can say whatever I want, and I don't have to apologize for it. So get ready for some very liberal takes. 
some of the, oh, you are not even going to believe these takes, how good they are, how liberal they are, and, you know, this is going to be a podcast oh, that people can agree with. That's going to be people's reaction to this. They're going to hear what I have to say, and they're going to think, ooh, that Dickfield guy knows exactly what he's talking about. And if you disagree, if you disagree with me, well, that's harassment. So, if you're sitting there at home, not even interacting with me, but you happen to dislike anything that I say, that's a form of harassment, and uh, I'll be sending the police to your house. And I would like to uh, invite uh, my co-host of the podcast to introduce himself. Go ahead, Jahoon. Uh, go, go ahead and uh, say hi to the people. Yeah, Jahoon is... Uh, He's from China, and uh, well, I haven't really figured out why I chose a Chinese man to uh, co-host the podcast with me yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll work in that dynamic later, isn't that right, Jahoon? Okay, yeah. I don't actually know what he's saying, but I felt that if we had a, a POC on the podcast, which... For my listeners that don't know, that stands for, um, well, it stands for people of color, but I like to use the term prisoner of color because in a lot of ways it's so, it's, you know, it's like being a prisoner in America to be of a a certain hue. And, uh, I, in, you know, I don't respect the troops. I have no respect for them, uh, but I do respect the color troops, uh, you know, people, prisoners of color. Because in my mind, they're the real veterans. Having to go to war every day with advertisements that only have pictures of white people in them. Uh, people like me. And it just disgusts me every time I see that. When I, when I have to see another white man on the TV, it's, it just, I can't wait until they're all extinct, to be frankly with you. Isn't that right, Jehoon? Okay, well, he's, he's got a turtle, and he's ripping its head off. So I, I don't know um, if, we're, you know, that's his culture. If he wants to... Okay, that's fine. You do whatever you want with that turtle. That's completely up to you. Uh, folks, I have to tell you about an experience I had this morning that was deeply upsetting. Uh, and this is, this is going to be the kind of stuff that we're going to cover, uh, mostly here on the Dickfield Diaries, uh, which is the name of the podcast, by the way, if, if you had any uh, interest in knowing what the, uh, the podcast is, is going to be about. It's going to be stories like this. So I went into Starbucks uh, this morning uh, to get a, a coffee. And uh, usually, I, I, well, I like Starbucks because they have that tip jar in the front of the store. But, you know, <clears throat> they're not, you know, they're, they have reasonable wages, I feel. And so you can just take money out of the tip jar to pay for your coffee. And they can't say anything to you because the customer is always right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The benefit of corporate stores is that you can get them fired by tweeting at Starbucks if they say anything that... You know, you dislike. So, usually I'll pay for things out of the tip jar. But today, I, I just wanted to use the bathroom in there. So, I went up to the front counter and I saw Don't the barista know. and I said to the barista, uh, Excuse me, but where can I use my pussy? And well, and I have to be honest with you, folks. Uh, you know that might be confusing to some people who aren't as woke as I am. But I I don't believe that uh, genitals should be, you know, uh, fixed to certain genders. I don't think that the uh, names of uh, people's genitals uh, should you know something gender related with that. So you know when. I say, uh, you know, I don't ever say uh, my dick. I, I, that just sounds wrong to me. It doesn't look like a dick. It doesn't feel like a dick to me. It's, you know, and I guess penis is maybe a little bit too clinical. It may, ooh, ugh, it makes me sound like I'm sick or something, you know. Uh, so I, I, I just like pussy. I like referring to it as my pussy. I like to be a pussy. I feel I, I identify more by saying that I have a pussy and it's, you know, it's a very uh, limp pussy most of the time, but sometimes my pussy, again, doesn't get hard. I like to think of it as wet, even though it doesn't really resemble anything wet, but instead of saying my, my you know, and I have an erection, I say my pussy is very wet right now. And I feel that that's, you know, very uh, uh, a, a very gender-neutral way to refer to my genitals. So when I 
you know, go into a business and I say, uh, where can I use my pussy? Obviously, I just mean, where can I use, where is the bathroom? And I said that to the barista and he says to me, excuse me? And I said, excuse me? Uh, first of all, you don't even, you know, know my gender, so why are you calling me sir? And he said, I'm not calling you sir. And that, I'll be honest, that was my fault. I did initially think that he had mentioned, you know, a gender, but he didn't. But, you know, and he says to me, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, the bathroom. Where is your gender-neutral bathroom for me to evacuate all of the urine, the gender-neutral urine, out of my pussy? And he... Uh, you know, apologized and showed me where it was. But, you know, an apology's not enough these days. So I said, I think I'll be having my coffee for free today. And you know what he said to me, Jahoon? Don't wawa. He said, I can't do that for you. God. And, I, oh, you should have seen the look on my face when I realized I wasn't getting that coffee for free. Okay, well, he's completely killed the turtle now. I don't know. Why he even has that? Oh, oh young Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, he's fucking the turtle now. I guess that's, oh, young guy, yeah. that's part of his culture. If he wants to do that, that's fine by me. Well, you know, I don't really understand. Okay, you know, that's fine. So, let me follow up with this. Okay, all right, never mind. We're just going to drop this issue, and uh, we're going to move on to something else, if that's okay, with my co-host. Okay, good. Did you have fun? Okay, well, normally I don't support animal cruelty, but if that's what you want to do, that's fine by me. Okay, all right, please don't eat it. Okay, yeah, If well, he's eating the turtle now, so I guess that's... It's going to be lunch for him, which is good, because I was worried I was going to have to buy it for him. Uh, well, okay, folks, we need to talk about this fainting scandal, this Hillary Clinton fainting scandal. First of all, let me say this. If you're not voting for Hillary Clinton, I'm not even addressing the people that are voting for Donald Trump, because those people, first of all, if you are voting for Donald Trump and you're listening to my podcast, guess what? That's rape. It's a form of rape. You're raping me, and it's harassment, and you're going to have to talk to the police pretty soon. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to the people that aren't going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Maybe there's another candidate that reflects your views more. Guess what? Uh, that's a vote for Donald Trump. You're basically, if you're voting for Jill Stein, you're a rapist. You're a, you're a male rapist. You're Brock Turner if you're voting for Jill Stein. You have to vote for Hillary. She's the only person you can vote for. I'm, hashtag I'm with her. And, you know, first of all, fainting uh, is not a big deal. I faint maybe two or three times a week. The other day I thought I saw a spider uh, in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom uh, wiping my pussy. And I, it turns out it was just a shadow. But I immediately, while I've been trying this, somebody recommended to me they have these stools now that you sit on while going to the bathroom. And it's supposed to help you. Uh, you know, actually, it's how they go, uh, they go potty in China. Isn't that right, Jahoon? Bonga ora. Jonga. Yes. Uh, well, he, no. Oh. Bonga. Uh, no, don't do it now. What ora? You don't. Bonga. Please, just, p- please keep your pants on, do not go to the bathroom in, in my apartment. Okay, thank you. Sorry, folks. Uh, I was using these stools they have now that help you go to the the bathroom. They're supposed to be better for your bowels because I have a a, a medically tight anus. It's uh, it's tighter than a normal person's anus, I, and I know that that seems uh, like it would be a good thing, but it actually is very difficult for me to go to the bathroom unless I have diarrhea. So I have to get one of these stools, and uh, I was sitting on the stool, and uh, what do you know, a piece of uh, lint comes by, and I said, Oh no, a spider! I'm being raped! Somebody help me! I'm being raped in the bathroom! And I fainted. And I would have bashed my head against the sink. Luckily, my nose got in the way. And, uh, you know, I was saved. And I I woke up, and I was covered in feces. And, you know, of course, I realized my mistake. And I had, you know, a bit of a laugh. And then I tried to 
figure out a way to blame it on on somebody other than me because you know something like that certainly can't be my fault. Gonga uh, yoga. Gong. Well, yeah, th- okay, I I disagree with that, uh, Jahoon. Jonga but uh, uh, you know, I just uh, I wanted to blame it on somebody else, and I couldn't really find it out there. So. Uh, I, I faint all the time. It's not something that you should be embarrassed by. Uh, it's it's completely normal. And I think we really need to remember that uh, Hillary is strong. And she's, you know, stronger than I am. I bet if I had a push-up contest with Hillary Clinton, uh, I would probably uh, shit myself. Uh, I do it pretty often, folks. So we can't really uh, judge the president to be for, for something like that. So in okay, uh, Jahoon here is uh, he seems to be uh, uh, turning very bright red and okay. He, all right, on his iPad he's pulled up the Wikipedia page for uh, turtle fucking poisoning. So I think I might have to uh, uh, see if he has enough money in his wallet for me to call him a taxi. Okay. No, I understand that you're sick, but I just, I don't have $8 to loan you. So you're going to have to figure out how you're going to get yourself to the hospital, Jim. I'm sorry, but if you want to go in business with me, you have to understand that, you know, I mean, there's going to be costs, and I'm not uh, taking responsibility for any of them. So, we're going to have to cut this one short. Uh, I was, you know, planning on doing a, maybe a, a, a you know, three-hour, maybe four-hour podcast where I defend Hillary point by point. You know, because really, all of these things that they say, oh, Hillary's, you know, she had a she had private emails. Everybody has private emails. So are your emails not private? What does that matter? Who does it matter to? What does it matter? Who does it matter? It doesn't who is this? What is this? Where where is it matter? I don't none of you can answer that question. And there's anything that she does, Donald Trump has done a worse version of it. So, you know, if she, oh, pri- she has a private email server, guess what? Donald Trump has a private email server that's filled with the N word. It's only got N word on it and uh, you know, bad stuff about uh him 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 Hispanic uh him Mexican Chicanos. Who I respect. So, uh, in uh, closing, okay, Jahoon, you're really going to have to pull it together for the last five minutes here. I have no patience for this. Okay? I understand you don't feel well, but you're hurting me on an emotional level. And emotions, uh, you know, more important than physical feelings. That's something that I can't stress enough. Uh so, uh, you know, uh, thanks for listening, oh, folks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this has been the Dickfield Diaries. And uh, Jahoon, do you have anything you want to plug? Okay, great, folks. So check out Jahoon's oh, yeah. stuff. Uh, we'll be back, uh, you know, whenever uh, I can get back here in the Anthony Kumia Studios when, uh, you know, they're having a discount on uh, equipment rentals. And, uh, you know, I'll see you folks around. Thank you. Scary. Um, fuck Season who five. else? And Mike Diesel is on the show. <laughs> yeah, Mike Diesel. Mike Diesel is in the gay club that Rawls goes to in the background, like chatting with some guy. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He's no, an extra. He's on, yeah, he is. He's an extra on the wire in the gay club. Wait, the one where you find out Rawls is gay? Yeah, like, that was yeah, so awesome. That's yeah. awesome, yeah. Every HBO show needs a scene where one of the characters, you find out they're gay, like five seasons. It's in. pretty yeah, yeah, tight yeah. that they never reference it really again. I know. Although they have him in, like, the office looking at porn. You know, they they have like subtle references, but they never really it never comes. But he's up. not why is he is he gay porn? No, no, no. Well, the fat guy Landsman's looking oh, at porn, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. into Landsman's office to yell at him, and then he like picks up the porn and looks at it. And he like nah, it's like pretty good porn, and right. like, puts it back down. Well, it makes sense. The guy yeah, yeah. is trying so hard not to be you know yeah, yeah. seen as gay. Barry it's Levinson so- sets all his movies in Baltimore also, and like he'll right, put baby. like a regular guy in there, and it again, it's like jarring. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they they can't act at all. Yeah, there were so many people in the wire that just could not. Yeah, act. yeah, yeah. Okay, right. I'll agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was like, because, you know, they have, the, like, I watched uh, Injustice for All, mm-hmm. you know, it's got Pacino in it. And then all the characters, they just, you know, the actors, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like an East Coast city, so just sound like you're from Brooklyn and nobody's going to give a shit. Right. Or whatever. But then there's one scene where they're, like, in the courtroom, and then they he's like, 
Me and my, I need to go brief my client back in the jail cell. <laughs> you know, so he walks out, and then they have some other guy come up, and he's like, my client has never uh, <laughs> done anything wrong before this, so you should probably just let him go. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Okay. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I love Wait, it. But uh did you did you guys ever run into what's his name? Uh John Waters in Baltimore. Legendary for like showing up in the he's like Bill Murray sort of he's, he's like, like the gay yeah. Bill Murray. He's Apparently all Bill the bar uh bar owners in East Austin fucking hate Bill Murray. Really? I heard this from Jake who, you know, Jake and Blake who work in the service yeah. industry in the on the all those East Six bars, but like you know, Bill Murray will just go show up in Austin and then walk behind the bar and start bartending. <laughs> and no matter what people order, he gives them like a tequila with lime or some shit. Uh -huh. I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah, like, Let me get a Bud Light. And like, yeah. And he'll do that. But then he doesn't charge anybody. So he'll just give away thousands of dollars <laughs> worth of, you know, drinks or whatever. He really is just like hipster Chuck Norris. That's all Bill yeah. Murray has become. Did you hear his voice? Oh, hello. Uh, I'm doing George Takai. You think so? You yeah. think. I am gay. <laughs> I'm Tis, gay. Hmm, grumpy cat, I'm a faggot. <laughs> George Takei? Yeah, that's, that's not a particular George Takei. <laughs> that guy is just... I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> and also... I am a faggot. Also cock. Yeah. I can has penis. Ha, ha I am a faggot. <laughs> Dude, how does that guy just become rich just by stealing? For me. Everyone's mad at the yeah. fat Jew, but... No <laughs> one cares that George Takei is... Yeah. Exact same fucking thing. Yeah. He's uh, just gay and old and Chinese he's just or whatever. A nice or gay old Korean. I fucking Japanese. despise him, dude. When I was working at the BSO doing fundraising, mm -hmm. uh, which was the funniest job. Yeah, it's just you and a bunch of old, old ladies. women, and then like one like really fucking ugly guy named Craig. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I, he was probably like twenty eight or twenty nine. Uh, maybe in his early thirties. <laughs> just hideous. Like he kind of he had. You know, like his eyes were sunken way into his fucking <laughs> oh, head. His God. skin was all shitty. He was balding in a shitty way. And then he had these like shitty, I think you call them middle school glasses, but those like rectangular mm -hmm. glasses everyone had in like 2001, right, 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 but right. he's still mm -hmm. wearing them. And uh, I guess the BSO had George Takai there and it was like on the schedule and they handed out the new schedule or whatever to everybody. And he's just in his chair, like, reading it quietly to himself. And he's like, oh, George Takai! <laughs> oh, great! Oh, wow! You know, and, like, had to loudly exclaim, you know, how yeah, happy dude. he was. It's so <laughs> annoying. It's, he's for people that fucking suck, dude. That's what my problem with him is, is yeah. that it's just, like, if you very love, you love bacon, you know yeah. what I mean? You go, right. Also, we do Somehow we about worse than the bacon people. Uh, but he, they're the bacon people after. Yeah, after like bacon. After yeah, yeah. Bacon. If you're a bacon guy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, but we, we, I think we talked about this off mic a little bit. Why have dogs become bacon? Have you seen that shit? Now everyone's yeah, like, no. He sort of looks like Obama, but he like has the cadence. And bop, but dip, did it, and it, and it, but he's, he's like speaking gibberish. gibberish. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait we to see We should it. book him on our on Funny Moms yeah. on our show. That's the funniest thing. Cause like, <laughs> we should book him on this podcast. It's funny to do fake languages, but like to have somebody from another language, you know, another country do fake English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best version possible. That's I how mean, my we fucking, do my that cousin with... in Greece. Hey, man, hamburgers, hot dogs, man. <laughs> That's him <laughs> trying to do an American accent. <laughs> hey, Jackie, <laughs> like, New York City, man, black people. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin yeah. Klein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just... yeah. My Israeli cousins are like that, too. Adam, you are like a Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> You are just like a Chandler from the Haverim show, the Friends. Have you is, seen Is that these? what Friends is called in Israel? Haverim. Yeah. Haverim. How awful does that theme song sound? <laughs> uh, it's good, dude. That's my favorite song. No, in, in Jewish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there for why do, you. Why do you, I don't think they fuck good, man. Because, just because of like the Marquis du Sade? Marquis de Sade and Pepe, and Pepe Le, Pew. Le Pew, who was yeah. a rapist. Yeah, but who's a Pepe rapist. Le Pew follows Marquis de Sade. I mean, that was like, the, you know, French people already had that reputation. That's why they had right. They made That's it. why yeah, Pepe makes because sense. Because it wasn't like nobody thought Mexicans were sleepy until Sleepy Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. Speedy so, Gonzalez. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wait, Sleepy <laughs> Gonzalez is... I think it started with... Sleepy Gonzalez is his cousin. Oh, is he? Or the, the other mice. The other oh, okay, mice are okay. like... They have a Sleepy... Yeah. 
I think Speedy's I think, sleepy too. Sleep, I think Speedy's the, always napping or running. I think the French got the fucking thing when Benjamin Franklin took a boat there for a seven months. Just so. arguing with the uh, the cashier at GameStop. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin invented that. Shotgunning tall boys. Yeah, the blockbuster gold card. <laughs> <laughs> that was invented by Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, people think it was a key that he Benjamin held. Benjamin Franklin. It was actually a blockbuster gold yeah, yeah. card. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin was the first mystery Pua. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. ever was. <laughs> Yo, if we un- that's fucking hilarious. Uncover the Benjamin Franklin Pua manual. Don't Yo, that's a bit, thing. dude. That's oh. sketch. That's I did sketch, write a sketch dude. about Benjamin Franklin who was just eating pussy. At, I mean, legitimately. I wrote a Chinese bitch uh, where mm-hmm. I used to live who? in Deep Zip City. <laughs> who does the uh, main character? The show opens with uh, him, Clive Owen, having like, sex with, having sex with uh, Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, and doing opium. Nice. Yeah, never seen it. Yeah, he's a he's a drug addict. Yeah, is it's that a, a pew? No, it's a feather. It's a feather from the stops filled with feathers. I thought you pulled a feather out of your shorts. Just I did. Now. My dick is nothing but feathers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a series of feathers glued together. Is that what being a male feminist is? Yeah, a male you feather, a feather dick. Chief yeah. feather dick. You know what I I tickle bitches till they come with my feather dick. You know what being a male feminist is? Hmm. Buying a fleshlight but not fucking it, only eating it like <laughs> pussy. <laughs> That's male That's feminism. That's fucking great. I was thinking about this. Yeah, I have one, but I only do it to practice eating pussy. <laughs> yeah. By how he might have been molested again. Yo, did I tell you that he like texted me after that? I was like, yeah, I've had to explain to everyone how I was molested. <laughs> it's been a, it's yeah, Adam, been a really Adam hard texted me. He me. was like, yo, I think Bucket was is serious about this. I'm like, he's fucking with you. Yeah, he's like, I don't think he's fucking with me. I'm like, he's absolutely fucking with you. The president of trolls, Nick, like sees the text one time. He's like, no, he's fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can sniff out a troll. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's pull one over on me, bitch. <laughs> Untrollable. I love it. Well, hopefully he really was, and this sets off another round of him being upset He could get it. molested now. You think so? Is it molestation, though, if you're a fucking grown man? Um, or isn't that second? He's timing with them. There's a knock on the door, and it's these two young girls, and they're, it's like pouring rain. And they're like, yeah, we're looking for the party. And he's like, what party? You know? Yeah. And uh, they're like, is this... Uh, and then they pretend like they have the wrong address, and they stay there all night. And, like, you know, he's like, yeah, I'll call you an Uber or whatever. And they're like, do you mind if we, like, put our clothes in the dryer? We don't want to, you know, go to this party with dry clothes. Or wet clothes. And then they stay there, and eventually, like, you know, they're going to rob him or whatever. Right, right, right. And they f- eventually they force him to, like, you know, they corner, like, they they go in the bathroom or something, and he's like, I have your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> You're done drawing. Yeah. It's you know? <laughs> a good and, then, and so he, like, goes into the bathroom, and they're completely naked, and he's like, what are you doing? Right, right, right. I'm... Married, <laughs> you know? and they're like, "Come on, fuck us!" And he's like, "I can't," you know. And then yeah. they like force him to fuck them, you know. They rape him essentially. How? They, you know, they pull his dick out and start sucking it, and they pin nice. him against the wall. That's cute. And then they don't leave in the morning. And then you know, the, the rest of the movie is like, you know, them fucking up his life. They never ever ever want anything. They don't establish why they targeted him. They just sort of destroy his house They're and like mean. continue to rape him, you know. And the end of the movie is them posting a video of them raping him, like on Facebook or whatever. What? Yeah, this is a new movie that it's, is Uber it's and Facebook garbage. It's a fucking really bad movie, and it. Why I did you watch it? I don't know. I was just looking for something to watch. <laughs> uh, Do you see their tits? Yeah, of course. Nice. Uh, but it's like, imagine if you made the like gender swapped version of that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Just some woman, she like her husband goes out of town, and two men show up and rape her for two days, and then they're like, "Peace, bitch," and then that's the movie. It's a scary movie. <laughs> what is scary? Uh-huh. It's scary. Yeah. And then they post the video of them raping her yeah. on Facebook, and like everyone's like unfriended. And they How dare her. you? Yeah. Jesus. How do you rape him though? I mean, are they stronger than him? Couldn't he punch them? Uh, Whoa, no, they knock him out and they tie him to a bed and shit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, knock knock. The name of the movie is Knock Knock. It's got a thirty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Who that's are the two girls high. in it? Do they um, have big titties? Oh, it's weird. It says uh, 
uh, Mrs. St- Stav's mom. What? Sa- yeah, everyone's saying, saying she's that she's dying. dying, right? And then like, it was like, Kumi oh, LOL, this is so funny. Like, Sam Hyde thought it was really funny. Yeah. Posted a bunch of shit about it. And then she actually kind of is dying. Yeah, yeah. They're right. I guess they're right about Yeah, if they're right about her having a body now, double, it's going to be so funny. That's oh, the be body t- double thing? Like, oh, of course she doesn't have a fucking body double. And then they find out she has a body double. It's like... Wow. So one woman is brave enough to have someone else be them, but she can't brave her way to a brave, proud, powerful, female, influencing victory of strength and integrity and woman style. Avoiding rape by being strong. The strongest way a woman can. It's like, are you even saying anything anymore? You just turned into all superlatives <laughs> halfway through that argument. Br- she's so brave, strong. I can't even. You when a woman has to. This what is a woman her, does. This is her fight song. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a, that video? The what? The fight song no. video? The Hillary Clinton fight song oh, video? Yeah, oh, my oh, of God. Of all the celebrities, like, singing it? Uh, no, it's, but it's oh, a music it's video very embarrassing. for Hillary Clinton. By who? That... That, by this some is retard. your yeah, song, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. song. This is this my all right song. <laughs> um, what? what? If, I mean, if, if she fucking if, sucks so much, if, if she to put them in the man home for the criminally retarded. I, I remember one time in elementary school, we were playing kickball, and some girl <laughs> <laughs> like got tricked by a retarded kid <laughs> like like he like stole a base somehow or like she got outwitted by a retarded <laughs> guy and then she was like you're a f- you're retarded <laughs> like she just made and he was like you're a retard <laughs> and everyone was like, and everyone was like ah <laughs> and was like high-fiving him just, just, just one of the best and this girl got bested twice Roasted. by a retarded Roasted. kid that's awesome that's oh, so man. funny <laughs> he Roasted. called her a retard yeah. That's awesome. You're retarded. You're retarded. <laughs> You're retarded. I love him. She just got so fucking... And she was racist, too, and the kid was black. It was awesome. Have you ever seen the documentary Jeff Town? Jeff Town? Yeah. I think you told me about this. It's about a guy with Down syndrome who's, like, in his 40s, and he lives with his, like, 97-year-old grandmother who has this, like, awful edema in her legs. Ugh. And so she's just, like, wheelchair-bound. And, uh... He's, he has Down syndrome, he works at the movie theater, but then he's, like, aware enough to exploit people mm. um, by, like, taking advantage of the fact they feel bad for him because he's retarded. Yeah, yeah, Then yeah. he's also, like, racist, and he, like, <laughs> he just gets drunk all the time, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, like, there's one scene where there's a girl he likes at the movie theater, and her friend shows up, and he, like, hasn't met the friend, and the, the girl that he likes, she hugs the uh, her friend, and uh, he gets furious at her. Oh, God. He's like, why are you, why are you hugging her? And she's like, because she's my friend. He's like, you're a fucking lesbian. <laughs> it's not okay to be gay. <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's like homophobic. It's a great documentary. Damn, that's they awesome. They just found like the biggest piece of shit down syndrome guy in the world. <laughs> This is one scene where the girl's like talking to him and she's like, Jeff, are you still buying prostitutes or whatever? You hang out with that prostitute? And he's like, no. And she's like, why? And she's like, you made, she made me feel bad. And he's like, she's like, how did she make you feel bad? And he's like, because she put, uh, put, put the drugs in my arm. <laughs> and she's, he's like doing heroin with prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just a badass. He's just oh, like, yeah. That's a cool ass fucking down syndrome yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, Damn. you know, being homophobic and racist. Yeah. <laughs> no, this has got scenes of him. He just goes to the bar after work and he orders like... Uh, you know, there's like yards of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he's just drinking, <laughs> downing that yard of beer. Oh, man, that's incredible. What you could do without any yeah, of the like. Sounds it like used to be on Netflix. Netflix is Muhammad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit's it's it's like free speech and very funny. Yeah. It, like, do you get free speech automatically if that shit just sucks? Like, Well, they don't have free speech in France. You, the United they States don't. is the only the United States is really the only place where you have like a guaranteed you know uh it's written into the law that we you know have a protection for freedom of speech other other places they just have like a an idea of freedom right, of speech right, 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 but then right. they can still pass laws that you can not do that well, shit Well they uh, in France they won't let you wear a fucking hijab on the beach just yeah. fucked up Yeah that's hilarious 
They're just like straight up Islamophobic. You need hopefully, to be like a sexy air if you come to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like a sexy guy. Abroad. Oh, yeah. Did she teach him anything? Yeah. Hey, hey. this fucking whore. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Did she teach him how to eat pussy? Hey. Whoa. Did she teach him how to eat asshole? Whoa. They thought about how to eat an asshole. Um, <laughs> no. Second, 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 I'm thinking of pussy. And like he legitimately thought when he came back that like his opinions on things were... Partially from the French perspective, <laughs> it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> just like having that. <laughs> okay, Star Wars. Problem number one. It's his dad. Just call him up. Sort it out. You don't have to kill all those people. Remake the movie. It's two and a half minutes long. <laughs> he just loves Bing short bang, movies. <laughs> he wants every movie to be short. His biggest problem with movies is the length. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time to watch all these fucking movies. I gotta do the long. Yeah. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. Just wake up, stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? Ew. You're having a dream. You're seeing... It's a talking line. Why do you think you're awake still? <laughs> you know, you know. when I'm having... I'm taking a nap at work. I'll start dreaming something ridiculous. I'll, okay, I'm dreaming. I know. <laughs> why Why was so... Why did so many fucking movies just end with, like, think people waking up? It's just such an easy device. I don't think uh, <laughs> Hollywood in general, uh, mm -hmm. the tech industry, <laughs> the, tech the industry. entire Microsoft Corporation, mm -hmm. Apple stores. What do you think they're doing behind that genius bar? <laughs> that, you wonder why they don't let you see behind it. Uh, actually, it's pretty accessible. Shut to go the fuck behind. up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, that actually, one, you know, sir, you can come right behind here. It's 100% true. When you try to apply for a job at the Apple store, they take you in the back. A guy unzips his pants, pulls out his Stugats, <laughs> and he makes you suck on it till the phone Did that happen to you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. No, nah, I don't even use computers. <laughs> you can just, let me see your uh, phone. I use computers because they're filled with pictures of naked men. <laughs> Every computer I've ever seen filled with pictures of naked men. <laughs> Never used one in my life. <laughs> ah, fuck. God damn. <clears throat> I love fucking being in gay in the army. What about you guys? Uh what is the Navy is the gay one? Yeah, the Navy's gay one. What does that even mean? Did they really uh, he's <laughs> got a couple of great N word jokes <laughs> <laughs> and he's been dying to try out. Itzhak Itzhak, how do you say that shit? That's Yitzhak? perhaps Yitzhak. the most Yitzhak. Jewish name. Yeah. Or is, is Shlomo a real Jewish Shlomo name? Is, Shlomo yeah. is real. My that favorite so fake funny. Jewish name that I used to use is Shmuley Shlomo. <laughs> I would comment Shmuley's on articles good. and... Yeah, like, well, were the pennies okay? <laughs> was, was the Shmuley was the Shlomo was the first guy to die in the Holocaust. Yeah. <laughs> he was like in line for the trains yeah. to go to the camp. Yeah, I'm going like, to get in line first. He was, he was like complaining <laughs> Don't about me. Don't cut yeah. me. You know, he's, this line is taking forever. <laughs> but well, it was before they were really serious about like the genocide like, thing. Fell on they were like, look, anyone that's willing to pay $25 isn't going to get Holocaust. It's <laughs> like, $25? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally worse than the Holocaust. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> there you uh, go, Shmuley. Yeah. Um, fuck. Well, Shmuley. Yeah, after dark, we're all pretty tired. You had a decadent Italian meal. I did. I, I mean, I just got off a fucking 48-hour... Yeah. You know, because you don't know if you're serious anymore. I mean, I'm like that with, like, Kmart graphics tees. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. I wear them, and I'm like, do I... What am I... Do yeah, I like you're this shirt for real? talking mm -hmm. about... Yeah, you you do. By the way, that's why like guys that are do. <laughs> yeah, they're great. The homeless people love that eat my dust shirt. And they can, none of them can read it. They all try to read it, and then they, it's happened. I swear to God, like three or four times, I was outside the bodega, and this homeless guy was like, "Eat my guts." All right, man, I like that. Okay. <laughs> I was stuck in traffic on Canal Street, like bumper to bumper on Friday, leaving town. And uh, there was like this, there's this homeless guy whose ass was coming out of his pants. Hell yeah. And traffic was so bad. He had this like, this walk where he was going so fucking slowly 
that we were stuck like a couple blocks down and then we saw him slowly pass us <laughs> he was going like one mile an hour <laughs> and we're like with literally this out. guy is beating us right now the guy with his ass out <laughs> I would love it if he was the reason all the traffic was fucked up <laughs> and some guy with his ass just rubbernecking <laughs> everyone's gotta see this guy's ass <laughs> I would love nice homeless ass probably a lot of caked on shit on that ass right yeah I mean it was it was there was a lot Did of uh, a wear and tear it was <laughs> leathery I'll you, say that you know what I wish I had the ability to do is uh, like do showtime like do mm-hmm. showtime yeah. on the trains but go on mm-hmm. the trains and be like what's up everybody this is showtime and I start doing showtime and then shit myself <laughs> halfway through <laughs> just have like violent diarrhea my pants fall what? off it starts spraying all over the train as I'm doing backflips and shit <laughs> that would be the ultimate New York City experience. <laughs> that you got mean. if uh, one of the Showtime guys has you, diarrhea. Did you hear the cricket bees in Chelsea? Oh, Where was think? the bomb? Oh, the bomb. Yeah, it was in Chelsea. What was that? What the fuck happened with that bomb? Um, well, it was a, a very Muslimic style attack. One hundred percent connected to uh, an Islamified individual <laughs> or a group of individuals who were acting in the name of the H- Holy Quran. <laughs> Uh, their pedophile god Allah <laughs> and pedophile Muhammad they uh, proscribed in, in uh, uh, any kind of uh, peace mm. you know so uh, it's actually it's a Muslimic duty it's actually called one of the pillars of Islam you gotta blow people up during San Gennaro especially if it's a queer neighborhood <laughs> that's my favorite shit on Twitter people are like Chelsea a queer neighborhood blown up by Muslims and it's just like some guy in the middle of Texas. <laughs> we got so for him. It's kind of like a push. Yeah, he's like, ah, who cares? Yeah. Well, uh, Trump said that in the at the RNC, he was giving a speech, and he goes, uh, "Who's talking about how Muslims are mean to the LGBT community?" And then he goes, "Not good." <laughs> like, he was like, "Try to." This say is really bad, folks. I'm <laughs> telling you. That, look. The L, first of all, L's, that's the best part of the whole thing. Uh, GBT, maybe take it or leave it. But the very, look, these Muslims, they're coming here, they don't like them. Try, and I love them. I love them, frankly, but they hate them. <laughs> Not good. Um yeah, I was there. I went up to Chelsea. It's actually not even really Chelsea. It's like 23rd Street right by Madison. Guy that just downloaded a bunch of child pornography. And then his defense was like, I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I just like downloading it. It's all numbers to me. What if, yeah, what if he's just <laughs> listening to, eat, to it? Does Does that I think count? it's still it's possession. possession. Yeah. But what if it's, if it's pictures? He's like, this has no use to me. There's really no reason to put me in jail. And they're like, why'd you do it? And he's like, because I could. <laughs> it was the perfect crime. Yeah, the perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh, officers, welcome to my home. <laughs> Twirling his mustache. <laughs> they just beat him up and take him to jail anyway. It's like, well, this is not a perfect crime yeah, yeah. at all. You download it, you blind idiot. <laughs> he's got like braille drawings of little kids getting sucked <laughs> off. And he's like uh, running his fingers over. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, wow. Pedophilia. Pretty fun stuff. Pretty funny. Well, um, that's the kind of content people check in for. Us this is the after dark. <laughs> this is the after dark. Is anybody special? Sav and I, porn star and a gay porn star, and the straight guy. <laughs> the game was if the gay guy could make the straight guy come by sucking his dick <laughs> on television. <laughs> like they put him, they put yeah. he, he was in a little box, <laughs> and, the, yeah. and the gay guy got on his knees, and you couldn't see him sucking dick, but you just like it would cut to the straight guy <laughs> making like pained faces, <laughs> like oh, oh, yeah. no. I play that game all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is on, dude. It was like on television. There's people in the audience like clapping and watching yeah. the guy suck his dick, and the the gay guy would like pop out and like wink at the audience. Yeah. And, like, they had a game <laughs> show where one of the games was like they put all the contestants in a room, and then they it's like a classroom, and they have like a retarded guy that's trying to read. <laughs> And if they laugh at him, they're like, like, and you like leave. Oh so there's people God. like, I'm out of that yeah, game right like, yeah. away. I he's don't like, stand. Oh, don't go, don't, 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 don't. And they're like fucking dying laughing at him. They just like, lose the money. 
<laughs> Don't uh, Rafu at the retarded guy. <laughs> Please, Fuck, uh, man. How do not uh, laugh at him. Could you not laugh? If uh, a Japanese retarded guy <laughs> was reading? Yeah. yeah. We stopped there. We went to a big K. They had big a big K, K, K a across the street from a Walmart superstore. So we Came were really out time. there. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we got any Lehigh Valley fans out there, please uh, go out in your town, uh, smash some windows at local businesses, <laughs> yeah. write Come Town Rules, uh, <laughs> fucking write Jim's a faggot, all of, just everywhere. Yeah. Uh, please Come destroy his rules and Jim's a faggot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. <clears throat> <laughs> I love that dude One of our fans Just are fucking <laughs> Just <laughs> causing Civil unrest And they're dumb fucking, There's a A fucking fire In eastern Pennsylvania <laughs> That burns down The whole town <laughs> They told me to do it <laughs> I was we, just doing What they said On a podcast <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck I would love to have Like those fucking hearings We go in like Twisted sister What a bad band To die for well, to ah. die for maybe, but you just priest fucking rules. Ah. Uh, Rob Halford, dude. Yeah, priest. He's is hilarious. Yeah. I think yeah. we've talked about that already. What? Well, that he's, he's just gay, like gay as hell. Yeah, and, like all metal is like he's just gay as shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You take a man and put him inside your body. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, it probably means like with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this guy's fucking badass, this dude. You guys have seen heavy metal parking lot, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just like Maryland trash that are just like it's like filmed at Meriwether Post Pavilion. Oh, in, really? In the parking lot of a I of seen a pre show. Yeah, in oh, the eighties. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's some great. of the best Maryland Fuck accents really? yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's this girl. She's like, I'm from Glen Burnie, <laughs> and yeah. uh, they're like, What would you do if Rob Halford was here right now? She's like, I'd probably jump his bones. <laughs> I jump his bones. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big one. Also, this dude with like a terrible mullet, like uh, peach fuzz mustache is like with his girlfriend mm-hmm. and uh, they start making out and then he looks at the camera he's like I'm going to the army next week I'm 18 years old and she's like I'm 13 <laughs> 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 holy shit that's incredible I jump his back when two men are in love with each other <laughs> <laughs> like, Hell yeah, dude. He means like brothers in arms. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> and then I found out I was HIV positive. <laughs> that means like hell, inferno, fucking <laughs> virus, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that means like it's something badass is what he's talking about. You have to understand the nuance of metal lyrics. This sure makes you think. That's why I like metal instead of punk rock. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the layers. Yeah. The layers. The it's about being pissed off but instead of hating your dad you get along with him and work on the car together <laughs> that's like that's what metal's about dude <laughs> I, my fucking dude my cousin in Greece l- listened to the fucking corniest metal bands because Greece I guess there's just no yeah. higher like you just listen to all of it he listens to some fucking band called <laughs> no sorry he was flying to Australia and there was an Australian guy flying back to Australia sitting next to him he's like yeah just uh had a holiday here in the States. You going to Australia? You know, and he's like, yeah. Haven't been before. He's like really excited. He's like, yeah, this is my first time in America. <laughs> and then um, my dad's like, oh, cool. Did you like it? And he's like, well, I'll tell you, you got a lot of niggas in America. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus like, On the plane. <laughs> he's like, can I move? Can I move seats? <laughs> there are so many Australians in New York City because... Apparently what happened was because they supported George Bush in like the war on terror. Yeah. They got like this visa deal where they can like, you know, to be a racist Australian and doing commentary yeah. about what, like watching what the What the hell is that? <laughs> like the yeah. basketball teams playing each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hey, look at these, these bad beans. He's grabbing <laughs> all the rebounds. <laughs> they actually the big monkey hands. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are you going to compete with that? <laughs> yeah, they're great. Extra, they got fast twitch muscle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got an extra muscle, don't they? <laughs> uh, I would love to fuck an Australian woman. Uh, why? Because she's a woman? So she puke <laughs> on you afterwards? <laughs> I want to hear that dumb voice. Uh, I got head in a field this weekend. That's actually. what I'm talking yeah, that sounds about. Sounds like a Terrence Malick movie. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. I just didn't have. I was splitting a hotel room 
with Bobby, Bobby Kelly. I was on the road in Vermont with, and I didn't have anywhere to just uh, fuck this girl from Tinder. <laughs> so we just so like, you laid. committed the crime from a time to kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just fucking picked a grassy yeah. ass. Who sucked your lake. dick, Matthew Shepard? Yeah, it was Matthew <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> oh my god. Nick. <laughs> Uh, it was great, dude. I loved. Um, out in the field, huh? Out in the middle of the field, people are walking. Um, it's by a lake. I'm on all fours eating pussy. There's like wind blowing <laughs> in my ass. It was fucking <laughs> just whistling in. Wait, you were completely nude eating I had, pussy in a field? My dick was out. My my boxes were out. So yeah, I just kind of. <laughs> That's know. such a hilarious mental image. <laughs> <laughs> just wind just blowing in, in your ass. ass. I'm Imagine all you're fours like eating pussy. You're just on a nature walk. <laughs> You're, and you're like, yeah, we should, we should walk outside more. So, oh my god, we are never going outside again. If you want to know what it looks like, listeners, for stop to be naked in a field with wind blowing into his asshole on our all fours, you can go to at Stavi Baby <laughs> right. on my Instagram. Instagram. I just put on a nice pic of my ass, my my ass, <laughs> looking real good on a ladder. <laughs> that's Stavi baby. Uh, but yeah, it was really, it was really, fu- it was wild. Too. So was this girl Australian or no? Just uh, just Vermont. A girl that I had sex with. Yeah, from Vermont. A real waltzing material. When people believe a dumb troll. Oh yeah. When I was like twenty, I had on my Facebook page it said I was like a uh, like a widower, and there was these two dumbass girls. This girl, Eva, she was like, uh, hey, do you mind if I, like, just, if I just ask you what happened? And, you know, I mean, I'm a fucking idiot now. Of but course. M- me at 20, like, I mean, I'm trying to compare myself to then as if really anything's changed. But, like, you know, <laughs> basketball shorts. And I'm pretty sure I used to just shave my head and I had a dollar You're sign. You're literally wearing basketball yeah, shorts I right now. I yeah. had a dollar sign shaved into the back of my head. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, God. and what? Uh, so you're cooler. Basically. Well, I, I just <laughs> do shit like that while I was drunk. Yeah, you know, uh, fucking just drunk constantly. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and she's like, uh, w- "Like you know, with your wife that died." And I was like, "Oh yeah, my <laughs> wife uh, who died. Uh, yeah, her name was uh, Skyla, Skyla Dust." <laughs> And she was stung to death by bees. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yep. Uh, can't be around bees anymore. And I told her and this other girl, and they both believed me. And then fucking Cubis was like, you believe that shit, you fucking idiot? Yeah. And then she was like, why did you lie to me? It's like, because you believed it. That's yeah, not my yeah, fault. Yeah, because it was fun. Do you believe something like that? <laughs> when you first moved to Baltimore, I remember, you pretended you had a son. Oh, yeah, remember? yeah. No, that was just like a Facebook joke. Right. And then a bunch of people took it seriously. I told people I had a son. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. What was the guy's yeah. name? Ronaldo Fink. Ronaldo Fink Mullen. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that, that kid sort of became Nicole Mullen's kid. Yeah, sort of. It's funny to have like a kid that you don't take care of. And then the best part when he died, I remember he linked to what was that fucking song? All right, oh, yeah, all right, all right, we just <laughs> killed the club. <laughs> You're like my son, Patron my baby boy. The- you yeah, fucking yeah. wrote this like two paragraph thing about your son dying, <laughs> <laughs> and then you linked to R. I. P. <laughs> like, R. I. P. R. I. P. <laughs> and people were giving R. you R. sincere <laughs> congrats, like sorrow, <laughs> like so, like fucking apologetic Jeez. messages. What the yeah, fuck? Where am I looking for? Dude. It was so funny. But that people was before so that was before I had a big internet presence, so like people didn't know. Yeah. yeah yeah, yeah. Half my Facebook friends were like people who didn't fucking know me. I remember people at open mics would be like, God, it's terrible what happened to Nick's son. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? You know him How in person. That work? You know he doesn't yeah. have a fucking son. He's drunk always. <laughs> He's fucking just drunk driving every night to the apartment uh, where he uh, lives I with think a I was fucking in my car. raped yeah. clown. <laughs> you think he's got a child somewhere? <laughs> and then I'd say I said he died in a beer fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was no investigation. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Ty, Tom Myers. When I went to go to that album recording of his, <laughs> oh yes, uh, I saw him, and he was like, you know, eating his free meal, and he's like, oh, uh, congratulations on your son, by the way. I was like. <laughs> 
Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, fuck. You want to be his godfather? That would be awesome. Old, old Tommy, Tommy, my, Tommy, two mys. Fuck, Tommy, er, I, I need to, I need, I, have, I need to, I need an update on Tom Myers. I got to go back to Baltimore. Yeah, dude, I Check emailed him. him. I was like, "Will you do my podcast? I promise I won't make fun of you." Did and what he say? No, he didn't respond. I'll ask him. Yeah, I can ask him too. <laughs> I'll ask him. I won't tell him it's your podcast. Yeah, of course. I would never. He'd probably do it if I, I don't know him. why he's fucking mad at me. I did like I didn't make fun of him any more than anyone else did. He literally does not know that two thousand like five, two thousand six. That's all you cared about the first six right. months. In I do remember for some reason starting yeah. out and being fucking hacks, terrified. Dude. You know who I hate steal my shit. is hacks. Right. Hacks are the fucking that I'm going up. It's like, what if you like fingered a baby? You know, yeah, 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 exactly. Awful I had a joke. I, I was afraid people would steal my shit, and one of my jokes was like. Uh, I knew I was getting fatter when I started having trouble wiping my own ass. And then I was like, yeah, uh, a couple months ago, maybe I wasn't in the best shape, but my asshole was an incredible, was incredibly <laughs> clean. That was the joke. Yeah. That was like my big... That was a big closer? Like, yeah, that was like a big... It was, it was a tent pole in the middle of it. Oh, okay. Uh, God, that was so... F- Dude, I have a fucking... From EJ's Landing, I have a hilarious Tom Myers thing. I was in a contest there. There was just this terrible seafood restaurant where Irwin... We haven't talked about Irwin at all. Oh, my God. Who dude. is a fucking That's going to be mine. the next half of the he's, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That should be... But, yeah. So, he's... It, it was, you know, it's this terrible seafood restaurant that was an open mic, and they would run contests. Are you good to talk for a second if I go get a coffee? Yeah, sure. Um, Nate, can you pour me, like, two uh, sips? So I fucking So uh, I'm in this contest And Tom Myers uh-huh. is on it too And my little brothers come To see me And my little brother Nick Just does an incredible Black guy impression Like he just does He has like Every register of black guy Like he can do He does a great James Brown uh-huh. He does just like a great Like what You know what? And so Tom Myers I go up by whatever And okay said It's my I'm six months into comedy Or whatever Right right Then Tom Myers goes up and he's just doing like jokes about Vietnam. Like he's doing yeah, jokes yeah, about like yeah. Charlie in the trees and just like the classic Tom Myers bits. Uh, and my little brother starts going like, oh, hell no. <laughs> just like as a black guy, he just starts going like, mm, no, no, thank you. Just like just heckling him as a black person for some reason, I guess probably being racist. Uh, but just like, and Tom is like a little flustered. And to the point where I have to tell him, please, Nick, you got to stop doing this. Yeah. Like, someone's going to come see, and it's going to be like, I brought the guy heckling, you know. Anyway, so that, so we do this fucking, uh, um, so that, so we do the, the contest is over. Tom bombs because my brother is heckling him as a black person. And he, again, he's got his jokes or whatever. So then I go up to him just like kind of making small talk. And I'm like, oh, Tom, this was, uh. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's kind of, you know, whatever the crowd stuff. And he's like, dude, these fucking urban crowds, you, smart material. He was goes, talking about your brother. These urban, with urban Incredible. crowds, smart material goes right over their heads. Oh. And it was just my brother doing a black guy oh voice, heckling God. him. It wasn't that any black, it wasn't like black people didn't get his fucking Vietnam jokes. It's like warmed over Bill Hicks shit. It, it wasn't was, even like urban crowds. It wasn't. The, there was yeah. no black people there. It was my brother doing a black guy voice, and that's how racist he was that he couldn't even just admit he was bombing. <laughs> it was a sixteen-year-old <laughs> white child yeah, yeah, going yeah. like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, oh, of course. Yeah. Tom. So Tom that night, he fucking. We were outside talking about joke death, and he goes. Uh, yes, luckily I don't have to worry about that because no one will touch my material with a ten-foot pole. And he says it with this like. No one has the courage right, right, right. <laughs> to do his like, right, right. to do his Kennedy stuff. <laughs> Which, uh, Tom, you were born in 1983. Yeah. What do no, you give Tom a shit about? Not, no, he was born the Jackass. You too. The, or the ja- maybe it was Wild Boys, or I th- actually I think it was Jackass too, where they just drink a horse's cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. man, that's not. It's not a, a prank. prank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, half of it isn't. Well, pranks. there was also yeah, the yeah. one thing where they just. Bam! Like got a gold dildo rammed up his ass really fast, <laughs> and it was like that's just gay porn. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not even. That's a specific kind of gay porn. That's solo yeah, yeah, gay yeah. porn. I love Jackass, man. 
Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's so funny. I will Party never boy. laugh at anything in as authentic a way as I laugh at Jackass. Those guys are so cool. Yeah, they're the coolest guys. They're, they're like so us cool. if you know we were less um, intellectual. You're good at talking, yeah, yeah. And saying yeah. shit, and fucking and knowing politics. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. And much more and being handsome yeah. and shit. But we're also as brave as those guys. Yeah, well, in a different way. Yeah. I mean, I would do oppression. any of that. I, that, that. Honestly, my my main gripe with Jackass is that, you know, it's like boring. I would do all that stuff. <laughs> I, would do all that, so I wouldn't even think to film it because it's like, yo, this is just me. I do. Yeah. It for, this is me being real. It's a lifestyle. Oh, yeah. It's not like for yeah. cameras. I, love, or, I, I love just do that shit to show girls how strong I am. Well, yeah, of course. My they're fucking, thing. They're dumb and you have to prove it to them. Oh, yeah. With that's extreme so sports. True. Well, or you can prove it by just putting a little mouse costume on your dick <laughs> and having a snake bite. That it. was, that was that's such a funny bit. <laughs> that was so fucking. Where they tied they tied the string yeah. so it was like a marionette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that shit is so funny. <laughs> Honestly, Fuck. like the way you laugh at that is oh yeah. That that's not the same as like seeing a good set. That yeah, and like, yeah, like going to a stand up yeah. show. It's so fucking funny. It's, That's why the MDE it's show a is visceral funny. laughter. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's the same funny. thing. When Sam's when Sam's like uh, answering that door and they're like the thing Buzzfeed got mad about. They're like he's in blackface and it's like yeah and he's got gold boogers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so funny. The American, so many the American Idol choices. sketch is. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I almost pissed my yeah, pants. When, I was when laughing Nick so is, hard. When Nick is like, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, I just hear your voice and I'm like. This person's gonna make a lot of fucking money one day. <laughs> <laughs> they make that one girl like sing for four hours. <laughs> she sings literally every song she knows. She's like on happy birthday by the end. She's just run out of songs. Oh <laughs> they just like make her. <laughs> There's just this. Oh my God. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, we've t- probably talked about it before. Gentlemen, don't panic, but I think there is a rat or mouse in the apartment. Oh, oh nice. And keep seeing a dart. What the fuck around. is your dumbass cat doing? I don't doing? know. Sitting on the table. Dude, the. There's a fucking go mouse. Get, go get go it. Go eat that go shit. Go kill. Eat it. You fucking threw up last time, bitch. Get, f- Go get a fucking mouse. Shannon and Elizabeth. Shannon and Elizabeth. You know Fire. how fucking the, AOL.com. The sound of like a VHS tape, like boom, 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 just yeah. for that, the, just to see those titties. Dude. Over and over again. <sighs> those titties were bomb, 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 bomb. <sighs> I want to I want to have these conversations, but with children at bus stops, like teenagers <laughs> on their way home after school. I'm like, let me tell you, American Pie. I used to beat off my dick every single day after school. Where are you kids Jack go? Levin. You know, there used to be a place called Funko Land. I'd go there sometimes, but mostly what I would do, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, it will just turn into it's Jack, Jack Levin. Levin. Jack Levin. Hey, are you boy? Have you boys ever heard of? Of beating off. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a home. pedophile. Yeah, he just yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. fucking well, educate just, them. Just, 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 just give me a second here. You <laughs> put your cell phone down. You don't need to call your parents. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> hey, this is going to change your life. You have to listen to me. Shelly, is your name Shelly? Are you Shelly? Which one of you is Shelly? Shelly, you pull down your pants, okay? <laughs> you get some Vaseline. So maybe some of your, your mommy's lotion from the bathroom. You wrap it around your dick and you just start tugging on that thing like you're trying to, like you're trying to rip it off. <laughs> oh, fuck I've uh, I've beat off to that all the time. I feel like I already said this, but Elijah Dushku in the uh, the new guy. There's a bikini scene that what I. What a retarded movie! I, hilarious. That, like he's no going sense. to a new school, but he, we want him. We want people to think he's cool, so we're going to turn him into a different kind of faggot. <laughs> right, right, right. Instead of a nerd, he's a goth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's got a big part. A big plot point is that his dick is crooked. What's like the his name dick of that? Is 90 degrees. <laughs> that's like that's how they identify him at the end. You see his dick and it's 90 degrees. And that was the initial incident that gets him so embarrassed he has to leave school. Someone bends his dick. <laughs> that's the fucking plot of that movie. So then he goes to a different school, becomes a weird guy, whatever he is, and he's people think he's cool, but yeah. he definitely would have gotten beaten up. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's because Eddie Griffin is like watching out for him or something yeah. like that. I don't think I don't remember Goss in my high school i think that like just ended right when i got oh uh, we had goths did you oh yeah like fucking parachute pants and like like i guess yeah. suspenders my older, like my older stepsister had friends like that 
Oh, man. And I remember there was a guy that worked at the Cinnabon in Lake Forest Mall that was like full on goth with like the moon. I started mooning people outside of like the dry, the passenger yeah. side. And he thought it was so fucking funny. Like there was this, he was, uh, he had the car and he was like uh, lining us up with this old black lady. So my ass is like two feet away from her face right, right. while she's like trying to drive and Andrew's like dying laughing and like you know gas yeah. break gas breaks and she's trying to speed up and then he'll speed up <laughs> keeping my ass like balanced with her face and he's like crying laughing and we finally I sit down and she's like I don't want to see your white ass and I was like oh sorry you know? and she drove off or whatever but he thought it was I, it was like one thing I did one time but then he became obsessed with mooning people so he'd be like, Mullen, you got to moon this guy. You got to fucking moon this guy. I'm like, I don't want to moon this guy or whatever. So then he started like every having, time you hang out. He made me like thing. drive That's him around thing. so he could do it. And then he, but he would, he just like didn't give a shit. You know, we'd be stopped at a red light and he'd be in the passenger seat and he'd be like, excuse me, sir. And like honking on the horn yeah. and just stick his ass directly in someone's face. And we'd be sitting there for like two minutes. Yeah, I mean, if someone mooned you, you would just be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, that's one of the dumbest, like, who really gets mad Was at it you, who, you were telling me you saw that, like, alt-comic girl, like, Bushwick alt-comic girl that, like, did a bit where she was, like, mooning the audience? Oh, yeah. But her pussy was... Yeah, you could sort of see her pussy, <laughs> and she was, like, two feet away from me. <laughs> and I was like, I don't... All right, if you Sounds want. Like, yeah. Sounds like a good bit. I don't I mean, do I support, stand up. Yeah, uh, I do. I do characters. I do <laughs> characters. This character is I show everyone my pussy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, that was at one of the the Lorelai girls shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I Lorelai's forget, funny. I forget who that girl was, but I saw her pussy. <laughs> and now the listeners of uh, of uh, C Town Premium, your location. Uh, um, your mother's pussy. Okay, and I need an occupation. Uh, OBGYN. Okay. You know, I was thinking about you so know how there's like was, ENTs, you know, ear, nose, and throat, and then there's yeah, OBGYNs. Yeah. It's like you know, you're already spending that much in school. Why not like mix and match, and you can be like an ENV, like ear, nose, and <laughs> vagina. Yeah, no throat, just yeah. vagina. No, no, just a throat. Ear, no, I do nose, pussy, titty. <laughs> <laughs> nose, pussy, titty. Yeah. Nose, pussy, asshole. You gotta have pussy and asshole. Yeah. I think. I'm a P. I'm a PA doctor. <laughs> I'm a I'm a throat pussy asshole. Yeah, I'm doctor. a belly button pussy asshole. An a- a- ASS slash P U S S Y. I was in school uh, for that on eight. a fucking <laughs> on someone's door. Yeah, someone's yeah. Fucking Dr. Periods. Jonathan Pritchard. ASS slash P U S S Y. <laughs> uh, that's a dumb as shit. I love oh, it. That's good. Seeing yeah. that on like a plaque, a uh, fucking a, a diploma. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, but we got to do this improv scene. So we're gynecologists in your mother, and we're in your mother's pussy. Okay. We're inside. That's the location. Yeah. That's the location. Do you need anything else? Where's this guy, Bill? Who, did I already tell this story or no? I don't think so. Oh, mm-hmm. man. So, Bill, yeah. Bill would just hear people say things and then repeat them like the Big Lebowski without understanding what they meant. Mm-hmm. And like one time he was like, uh, yeah, I'm planning on, uh, I, I want to put these games here, but then Forte, these other games above it. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, you just guessed completely. He's like, no context. Good. Yeah, it, it sounds sound pretty right. good. Forte it. Yeah. Yeah, one time he was like, uh, he was using the word preface wrong like mm-hmm. a bunch. Kept saying preface incorrectly. One time he just shit his pants. I know that. I was going to ask you about that. I remember you told me that story. What yeah. happened for that again? He fucking, uh, I came into work. Uh, first of all, this dude lived in Bel Air and the store was Bel in- Bel Air, like, Maryland. Yeah, for yeah, the listeners. And the store was in Rockville. Which, that's a two hour drive. That's yeah, very if you're far. lucky. Yeah, if you're yeah. lucky, it's two hours. It's a two hour drive, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's he, basically DC. Yeah, he yeah. would drive all the way down every morning that's and incredible. work bell to bell every day. He wasn't he wasn't an hour. He was a salaried employee. Right. He was a manager, so he got his like twenty thousand dollars a year <laughs> to manage the GameStop. <laughs> and so he didn't have to be there, but he would work seventy three hour weeks. And I remember asking him one time, I'm like, Bill, why do you do that? And he was like, Well, I'll tell you what. 
it impresses uh, the district managers are all pleased with me. All of the area managers are pleased with me. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that's important for moving up. And it's like, Bill, you don't have a college degree. You're never going to move past store manager. <laughs> right. They don't hire store managers as like district managers. <laughs> right. You're already you're done. You got to the top. <laughs> I don't you don't know think GameStop would let him would let him if he if he beat Zelda fast enough be a district manager. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. He also told me he's like I also do loss prevention for the district, which was a lie that <laughs> that they, they don't have that. I don't think I don't have a guy that just does loss prevention. Um, and then that store, I told you that story. That store got robbed one time. <laughs> or it didn't get robbed. They had this like A frame with all like Game Boy games in it. Mm-hmm. And this is already like I don't know. This is probably like 2007. So Game Boy was really you know, on its last legs. It was done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the games cost like if you wanted to buy them, they were maybe like three bucks a piece. Yeah. And the trade in value was nothing. So the entirety of this case was worth maybe like, you know, four dollars <laughs> worth of merchandise. Um uh, Adam, Adam just, just Adam got the mouse and he's putting it in his pocket, maybe to sell later at the market. <laughs> at Listen, the market. You temple. don't know <laughs> how much <laughs> these go for these yeah, days. Watch it with the fucking wires. I'm gonna put the mic down, throw it out real quick. Okay, yeah. all right. Tell the story. I, I want to hear this fucking so um, Game Boy A frame full of Game Boys. Yeah. So fuck. I should have drank some coffee. No, it's fine. Dude. This is a through. good story. I'm fucking it up. It's Adam's fault for stealing, for getting the mouse. It's just it was distracting me. To I'm make sorry. a yarmulke, it was out of distracting it. everybody. There's a fucking dead mouse on the floor. I can't see it because it's blocked by the table. It was it's, really distracting. I don't think we really have to call an exterminator for the uh, Anthony Cumia Studios. Yeah, it's fucking. We're, well, we're and 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 he got in a little bit of trouble calling exterminators. Uh, mm-hmm. They told him we don't do black guys and <laughs> just please stop calling. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> So he actually can't do business with any of those, <laughs> any of the companies in New York City. He called City. every single yeah, yeah. exterminator in New York and asked them to exterminate. Uh, how you get rid I'm of these sure you find people. one in New York. <laughs> yeah, it's a big city. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guy for how that. How big is he? Yeah. Oh, you said he was a rat. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. problem. Just murders a guy in broad daylight. <laughs> just goes to jail. Now, I'll be seeing about that $25 you owe me, (laughs) pal. (laughs) Yeah, so this fucking, this case with, like, these Game Boy games in it it was worth, like, you know, nothing. Yeah. Somebody had that, like, uh, it had, like, glass sliding doors in the front, but they kind of went those, like, like, you know, those locks with the teeth. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah. Somebody found that you could, like, wiggle them on the sides just enough to, like, steal... Like the sides of the, so they stole like ten Game Boy games off the side, and I like just noticed it. And I told the assistant manager John, who was like thirty four and wore like an Indiana Jones hat <laughs> and this oh like God. shitty face, yeah, like facial yes. hair and like this like shitty stringy Hell long yes. hair. And uh, I told John and Bill, and uh, you know I thought they'd just be like, oh okay. And they both come over and they're like crossing their arms and like huffing and puffing, and they're like. <sighs> Damn it, <laughs> you know. And uh, John's looking at it, and he looks at he looks at Bill, and he's like, "This was probably a professional thief." <laughs> oh, dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking yeah, Ocean's Eleven Daddy came Ocean. in here yeah. <laughs> and stole your fucking Game Boy games. He stole stole Doctor Mario for Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that shit was sucked. that shit was so fucking funny. Yeah, no, Bill shit his pants one time. I, uh, I like, went into the store and I had to, like, open with him. This is, like, the morning. I'm tired of shit. Like, yeah. I don't really want to be there. Yeah, of course. And uh, I go in, and uh, Bill's like, would you mind setting that up over there for me? Thanks. And he, like, turns around and walks back to the counter. And he, as soon as he turns around, I notice, like, on his ass, there's, like, shit splattered on the back of his pants. Oh, no. Not, like, on... There's, like, brown, sh- like, shit splattered. Right. But it didn't make sense, because, you know, if you shit your pants, you shit on the other side. Right. So, I don't know. He somehow shit on the back of his pants. <laughs> and It uh, just seeped through? No, I'm, I'm assuming he had, like, diarrhea or something mm-hmm. and, like, was rushing to pull his pants down and, and he shit on the back. He shit on the back of them while, like, trying to sit down and shit. Interesting, okay. Um, 
So I was like, <laughs> I was like, great, this is fantastic. <laughs> and uh, so as other like employees were coming into the store that day, I'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, hey, Jeremy, how was your weekend? Oh, by the way, uh, Bill shit his pants. <laughs> If you want to take a look, you can see <laughs> he shit his pants. And I called my friend Matt, and because uh, like you know I'd made fun of that guy so much. Yeah. And Matt's like, no way, he shit his pants. And I was like, yeah, he shit his pants. And then like two hours later, I was just you know like stocking the shelves or something, and I just hear from behind me my friend Matt's voice. And he's like, can I tell him? <laughs> I'm like, man, Matt had come to the store to see it. He's like, can I tell him he shit his pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude ran over a child on his way to work one morning. What? Yeah. What the fuck? He got to work like 20 minutes late and he's like, That's it? Sorry I'm late. And he, but well, maybe it's a little bit long then. He goes, He's like, Sorry I'm late. Uh, he's like, uh, Skidded on the ice and uh, my car went into a 14 year old girl and she got hit up on the roof. But the police said it was her fault. She didn't have the right of way. So <laughs> I was clear to come to work. And I was like, Bill, go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no reason for you to be here. <laughs> he just hit a w- fucking child. Yeah, he ran it over his, a child him. on his way to GameStop. That day he shit his pants was the only day he actually left when his shift ended. Yeah. He was like, wow, 3 o'clock. I'm, I'm tired. I'm beat. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, man, I wonder what that guy's up to now. I don't know. He I, he told me about like when I am interviewed for the job. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, he's like, well, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Uh, he was like, uh, I was, uh, enlisted in the army, uh, after the army, I, I worked at Suncoast Video and worked my way up to manager <laughs> and I was there for 17 years. And then I was like, <laughs> Jesus, how fucking old, but how old was he for real? Uh, he was like probably like 37, 38. Damn. Yeah. Um, but just, I don't understand why that was part of the interview process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just hoping he just you doesn't know friends. how to, yeah, doesn't know how to interview. Imagine that, working at a Suncoast Video. What a depressing store. What we never you? had those. We just had Blockbuster and Hollywood video. Suncoast video wasn't a rental place. People like will like lock themselves in their garage with their car running to kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. Put like a hose from the tailpipe into mm-hmm. the car. Just do that, but with your own ass. <laughs> so it's a hose that goes up your ass and you jam the other end in your mouth. <laughs> it's a you gentle... But it takes like four <laughs> shits for it to fill up. So I'm just, I'm like... You just sit in the library and leave a note. You just hold a note and you hand it to people. And you're like, sir, what are you doing? It's a gentle way Goodbye, to cruel world. <laughs> Put the hose oh, back oh, in your mouth. Oh. Fuck, oh, um, <clears throat> I actually do have something fucking funny to talk about is uh, I joined... I think, I don't know, I haven't watched that show with any kind of... Is is it been really regular... on for 20 fucking years? That's crazy. Yeah, I remember when it debuted. Me too, which is fucked yeah. up. It's fucked up. It used old. to be Barbara Walters, right? Barbara, Barbara Walters. Walters. Barbara Walters, um, Rosie O'Donnell. No, she came in and out. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi don't you mean there. Oprah? <laughs> yeah, I do mean Oprah. I did have to think about it. <laughs> How, you know, I think of it, sometimes I make myself laugh. I think about like uh, being you know, the gay. color purple, but then I think mm-hmm. I, I call uh, I call her in my head uh, the smell purple. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even know what that means, yeah, but it that? makes me laugh. <laughs> nice man, the smell purple. Uh, yeah, the yeah. smell of a recurring dream. That every window and door in my house, like, that led to the outside, if you open the door, mm-hmm. there was just a giant ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a nightmare that there was, like, a giant That's ass that was, like, jammed in there. of all time. Yeah, yeah, so you couldn't leave the house because there was these giant, like, asses being, like, shoved <laughs> through the windows and doors. Is this a dream or that a was fear? The, it was the dream. It I can't dream. remember. I just remember that was a prominent part of my childhood. And you just, felt scared of the asses. Yeah, yeah. But I couldn't. There was no way to leave the house because of these asses or whatever. And then... Uh, <laughs> Then that there was so this other good. fantasy I used to have that there was like an underground tunnel I could go in and I had like my own <laughs> panic room, like my own panic <laughs> control room with like, you know, monitors that mm-hmm. led out everywhere and I could kill people with like remote <laughs> machine guns. And those now, kind of now that sounded more like a, a, a you fantasy. No, I actually talked to a couple of people and like numerous people had that. Really? You know, it's funny. I, I bonded with a friend of mine over like a couple in, serial killers in junior high. I remember I used to fantasize about having like a, what was that movie like uh I didn't even think I saw the movie, but just like there was like a, they, it was like kids had watches that could stop time. 
I don't know. Mm. Not clock stoppers. I think that was the name. Oh of the yeah, movie. it was time, sto- yeah, time yeah, yeah. something like that. I didn't see it, but I was I yeah, understood the concept. the concept. Yeah, and I remember like in middle school thinking about like how cool would it be if I could stop time and then have sex with every girl. <laughs> I know, in, dude. In I thought class. that too. Yeah, I'm not yeah, even kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have sex with every girl in the class and then sit back down in my seat and then start time again and then you would just see every girl in the class suddenly just be like. Oh, <laughs> you know, and then not know what happened, and I'm just sitting there, just su- super relaxed. You just come, eight yeah, times. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just took like nine days <laughs> to work my way through the entire classroom. Oh boy, yeah, that was a uh, that was on. I used to think about that just stopping head. time and touching titties all the time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was fucking It's awesome. just rape. It's yeah. just, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> rape. That's what I was going to say. about rape. <laughs> You're Fuck. just dreaming of rape yeah. in your entire school. <laughs> nah, dude, time, it's it's time not time rape travel. if it's hypothetical. Because actually, you know, that is like a fun physics question about mm. would consent exist outside of a construct of space time? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what talk about on the boat? This is Irwin, dude. Oh fuck! Yeah, Irwino. yeah, we should oh, have. That's a how it closes. This that's a fucking good one. Uh, yeah, I just mentioned Mike Diesel, and I forgot completely about Irwin. Irwin, Warren. he changed it to. He did. Yeah. He changed- Why would you change your name to that? Uh, I guess he doesn't want people to know that he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Well, Irwin, and the way the guy looks, Irwin. Yeah, this guy looks like. Uh, he looks if if you've been following me for on Twitter for a while back when I was Eddie Cum my <laughs> a, my Abby was, uh, was Irwin oh, Irwin right. hanging off that swing set. Where did you that's find the greatest that? picture? That's ever such taken. a fucking. He takes the best picture. He's awesome. Man. <laughs> There's one with him just sitting in a chair and just at the back of a stage. He's, he's morbidly obese. Morbidly fucking obese. He has a mustache. Mustache. He looks like he, he's like I look like Ron Jeremy, and he does, but like. Looking like Ron Jeremy isn't a good thing. <laughs> right? Ron That's not a good looking guy. He has one good part <laughs> yeah. of his body. If it was and it's not his dick. He'd be an ugly, com- just some fucking guy <laughs> that never fucks. <laughs> and just like works at who knows where. Yeah. Yeah, um, Irwin is some fucking, he's, he's a, he used to run open mics in DC. He ran the EJ's Landing. Yeah. Kaleid- Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope comedy. comedy. What the fuck name is that even? I don't know. Yeah, I feel bad with Irwin because he's just like a guy that sucks at comedy. He's not like... Right. And I used to be really fuck. I used to fucking bully the shit out of that yeah. man. When I was like 17 years old, and he was 40, he did... He, I hosted the first open mic he ever did, and uh, he was like... Uh, what, how do you think I did to like me and uh, Jordan Owens? And Jordan's like, yeah, just keep at it, man. I was like, honestly? And he was like, yeah. I was like... You have no business doing comedy. <laughs> I was like, I know it's your first time, but like, you're just really not fucking funny. That's hilarious. Like, there's nothing in your you personality. You really said that to him? Yeah. I was mean as shit. That's incredible. Yeah. I was like, there's nothing in your personality that resembles like a funny person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like, under- you don't have like the prerequisite, you know, uh, sense of humor to be a good comedian ever. <laughs> there's so, so many people in comedy <laughs> like that. Though. I know, but I was like six, six seven months in, and I'm That's like, so funny. yeah, who's Junior over here? Right, right, right. That's his right, first right, open right. mic. Because I also remember that was like, I think Jason Weems was just getting started. Yeah. You know, he'd been doing comedy like one or two weeks, yeah. and he did that open mic, and he did like, 20 minutes and crushed what? yeah and it was so funny really well no one was there no one was ever at that i'm mic, sure but, but it he was, was all like funny incredible. Yeah, yeah yeah hmm yeah, yeah weems is fucking hilarious yeah Irwin is uh oh, well, now i feel bad telling i can't i don't know if i can oh you got a real good one that you can't I, yeah, tell yeah, yeah. I don't maybe know, it's i already said his name i said his whole name yeah and it's yeah. pretty <laughs> fucking damning story <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about another guy. Do you know any stories about a different guy? You oh yeah, guy? there's this guy Irwin Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> He's Seth's uh, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it. this. This guy, yeah. So Seth Dickfield has a friend named Irwin Dickfield, <laughs> <laughs> and they're related yeah, to each other. Happened? What happened to Irwin Dickfield? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so Erwin Dickfield one time. Yeah, this other guy we know, he has this, like, fucking 
this big idiot roommate, this guy Chris, that was like, <laughs> who never worked. He just was always on the couch in their apartment. Like, this guy was like 6'11", and he would just take up the entire couch, just lay down and playing like, uh, he was playing some like online, like Final Fantasy Online or something uh -huh. in the dark with the air conditioner set to like 50 degrees. <laughs> yeah. And he'd be like, what's going on, kid? And so he like, had this like weird accent. And he'd be like, yeah. what's going on, kid? How you doing, kid? And uh, he'd be like, Chris, what do you do? He's like, I sell beer for the Redskins. <laughs> this is the job he said he had. But At he the just, stadium? Yeah, but he never left the apartment, so I don't think he was employed. We're watching the Redskins on TV right now, dude. Right now? No, I'm like, he says that he's... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's on TV. Heck, you can't just fucking wake up to sell that bit <laughs> at all? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just, Sorry. Uh, what if he was like... Um, what if he said this? <laughs> so, yeah, I guess they were at, like, a, a bar one night, and uh, that guy had been hitting on this woman that was, like, obviously a lesbian. Oh, really? Yeah, and... I heard this story from like three other people, and it's about a fictional guy. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's about uh, this, uh, this guy named did Seth's cousin. Named Darwin Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, the roommate, had been hitting on this on this fucking this woman that was like clearly a lesbian. At the end of the night, she like goes home to do lesbian shit. He's like, ah, struck out or whatever, and. Uh, that fictional guy and yeah. his girlfriend are like, well, you can come have a threesome with us, I guess. <laughs> is this, oh man, I don't know, I can't, I can't. <laughs> it's, you're in too deep, dude. It's too late. It's, it's too late. No, we gotta, we gotta switch. This one's gotta be the premium one. All right. This all story right. is too fucking mean. I've told it to like maybe, and I didn't even know. I heard it like third hand, you know? It's that, too late. You tell it. You've heard the story. No, Nick, no, just, because it's already on, fucking it's gossip. Story. It's not my story. Somebody told me. Stop this. So story. they told plenty I, of. I don't gossip. know if this is right, but so apparently this guy Irwin Dickfield <laughs> invites <laughs> this uh, this giant mongoloid back to uh, his home uh, to have a threesome with him and his girlfriend, and uh, apparently Irwin Dickfield. Uh, with just beating off while uh this man just savagely fucked his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he, somebody said he couldn't get it up or yeah, something. Yeah, he just he couldn't so get hard. He was just diddling himself. So he was just corner. like <laughs> fingering, rubbing his penis like it was a clit while a man fucked his girlfriend. That's a well-known kink though, like the the cuckold thing. thing. Yeah. The fuck my wife thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's this so is something funny that, that this is something that Irwin, that Dick Field, Dick Field yeah. is into. <laughs> I feel so bad. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bleep his last name. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's do good. that. The anti-Semitic Cumtown fans account is gonna find him, though. I'm sure. Yeah, he oh, found okay. Stav's office. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know how he did that? <laughs> we, you like? You, you said didn't the name. even. Yeah, but he didn't even say it. Like he was he like, didn't? like, yeah. I, I mean, why is this fucking gay Jewish clown out here? <laughs> yeah, who got this fucking? You know, I look kind of like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see your dick then. Yeah, Are you fucking talking like you. The best was like when Irwin was on show posters and it was like six black guys yeah. <laughs> yeah. i don't know how he got in on that click but like it was just always like you know like did you see that video <laughs> james the comedian yeah yeah, yeah, J yeah. The uh, big fred i big used to fred. love all those guys all those like pg county comics yeah. the, like, fight, the, the fight the fight fight video mic? is the funniest rollo posted shit. a fight at an open mic in like pg yeah. county somewhere it was no that was that was erwin host that yeah, uh, it was some called? like Temple Hills open mic, and it's a guy who's like Lamarcus, way too violent, Jackson, <laughs> yeah. the entertainer, <laughs> the entertainer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess they've just they've been stealing Scott Joplin's name for eighty years. <laughs> some guy is something too funny. Yeah, too it's funny, too business, hilarious, <laughs> entertaining. Entertainment, that's I'm LLC. Gonna, that's the LLC. I love that shit. W way, on every way, real dark black entertainment. <laughs> super, super dark black guy entertainment. LLC executive. incorporated trademark sign. Yeah. International executive black yeah. guy. Or it's just N N Larius, but then the S is a dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs>
and Larius <laughs> Entertainment presents Two Funny Tuesdays. <laughs> two, no, what are you? Two Larius. Two Larius <laughs> Tuesdays. Two Larius Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Erwin Lord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tom Myers was just on one of those shows. Somebody those sent the me the posters. Show it's posters. him in like yeah, him in like the middle of Pennsylvania on some like urban show, and it's him in like three middle aged black women comics. That's awesome. They'll let those guys keep working. I yeah. mean, the Irwin and, and the Toms can like keep getting. Yeah. I mean, I was, I, I fucking love, <laughs> do you ever run across what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, come Detroit on, man. <laughs> I swear to God, this guy's name was Yeah, Detroit. my name's Caprice Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit is known for cars, too. Yeah. You know, it's not necessarily yeah. like a it's nautical awesome. type of vibe. Though. Yeah. He's on Lake um, Michigan. So he's trying to do his act. She's interrupting him. And he's like, is someone going to tell this bitch to shut up? She stands up as soon as she, he says, bitch. And... She just smacks him across the face. <laughs> <laughs> I was there the night the Detroit boat got, <laughs> got smacked across the face by the sister of a guy that was on Real World Two Los Angeles. That's so um, funny. What was uh, yeah? All those all those guys used to come hang out. They used to do Ian Salmon's open mic. I remember the guy. I forget his name. Chris something. He was the host of Rap City. No, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Oh Chris Thomas. No, 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 Chris no. Thomas. Yeah. Rap City the Basement was the guy that worked at the Wizards. So they're having a debate tomorrow. And uh In Ho- at Hofstra, right? Uh, yeah. We should go. At Hofstra. Ew. In and Long so, Island? Let's go. The way Wait, are they gonna have work. audience questions? Long Island people, are they gonna ask questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My question's for the bitch that's uh fucking a cousin. <laughs> Uh, did you get that uh, haircut in a dumpster? <laughs> yeah. ooh, 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 it's like a Jenny ooh, Jones ooh, ooh, Make America great again, baby. <laughs> it's like a Jenny Jones yeah, yeah, in fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so first off, Yo, I just want to say, uh, Hillary, you don't need Jenny Jones. Yeah. Like a radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And using them to poke holes in the back of like pie tins. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you shine lights through them and it creates like a, you know, it's like a fucking, like a display on the right, wall. Right, right. So it's like an art project. But because he like cuts himself off so often, the teacher was like, okay, everyone, grab a compass, except for Mika. You will not be participating in this. <laughs> <laughs> right immediately. And he's like, please, please let me do it. Please, please let me do it. And she's like, Fine, but if you cut yourself, I swear to God, I'm going to be so angry with you, uh-huh. you know, because it's a sharp object, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and he's like, I promise I won't, I promise I won't, I promise I won't, let me do it, you know, let me do it, and yeah. then so she like lets him do the project, and then this girl is sitting across from him, and we had this kind of desk that had like a cubby built in, yeah, 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 and he's sitting next to this girl, and then like halfway through the class, you just hear the girl go, Oh my god, ew! <laughs> and she's like, um, there's like blood dripping out of the desk. <laughs> and he had like kept his hand in the cubby area because he had cut it so bad that he just filled the desk <laughs> oh with blood. My god. And it started leaking out from one of the screw Jesus. holes. He was trying to like, hide it. He was trying to hide it. It's like pooling on the floor and the teacher comes over. She's like, my god. And he's like, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dude, like, poor guy. Oh. Go to the nurse's office. Oh, poor kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Weren't you telling me that? This wasn't on the pod. We were talking about it with Ian. Ian yeah. at a fast food restaurant. What were you saying? There was like a, or was that Ian's story where uh, a kid was trying to order? Oh well, yeah, yeah, did, yeah. No, and that was in. Oh man, so yeah. This no, my friend Brendan told me this story hilarious. about this guy. He knows it's like just the biggest fucking asshole in the mm-hmm. entire world. Yeah, yeah. And he worked at like some bagel place in D.C. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like a breakfast place. And this woman came in with her son, who was like he had Down syndrome mm-hmm. or something. He was like disabled, and she was trying to like encourage him to learn life skills. Mm-hmm. So she was like, you know. Just come on, place your order. Tell tell the man what you want, and he's like at the cash register. And so the kid's like, "Um, can I have a um, I want a ba- bagel with uh, cream cheese." And he orders, and the guy just looks at the kid, and then he looks at the mom, and he goes, "Ma'am, I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> have to tell me." He's <laughs> fucking ruining this kid's self esteem for ten years. Yeah. Like he is not coming yeah. back from oh, that, dude. That's so mean. Uh, yeah. oh, that's so mean. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's so fucking funny to me, though. Yeah, that's a great scene. Yeah, it is. That's like a you know everything you need to know about that man. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. <laughs> you just can't be a human being for thirty seconds. Oh, oh god. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I flew uh, 
one of those MIGs. It's classified. <laughs> classified information. <laughs> it's so funny how cool Tom Cruise thought he was. Yeah. He has the confidence of like a Down syndrome he's guy that so just got con- He's still so confident. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, say that again? It says he's, he's got the confidence of like a Down syndrome guy that just got a pair of Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> like those big wraparound ones. Yeah. Oh, that like, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. No, that's it's a very cute visual. Uh, I worked at a pizza restaurant when I was 15 and this oh. uh, guy with Down syndrome came in. <laughs> uh, Frankie, I'm trying to remember his last. Frankie Griffin was his name. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Well, I mean, it's what people are gonna find his his Twitter. LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, He's like Goldman. Yeah. Well, he came <laughs> in one time and he was like, "I'm here for a job," you know. And I was like, "Uh, okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Let me. Sure, uh, we need someone to sort the crayons." Yeah. Well, so I went to like the manager who was like this fucking like Albanian woman or Hell whatever. Yeah. And or you know what? I I think I I can't remember. I mean, this is already twelve years ago, but I was like trying to find a job application. I don't think we had any. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, we don't have any job applications in the back, but if you like write down your information, I'll, uh, you know, <laughs> he I'll just pass drew it off a picture of his house. Mm-hmm. Well, he's standing there and he's wearing a leather jacket. How he check. And, yeah. And he's got sunglasses on like check. cool sunglasses, a leather jacket. And then he's like, um, okay. And like, he doesn't know how to write or whatever. <laughs> so like he pulls out his, his while he was like, you can just talk to Sharon at the center. Like assuming I knew, you know, right, like, right, right. I'm like, okay, sounds good. You know, but <laughs> yeah. he like pulled out his wallet to, um, like fucking write down his information to like copy it over. I'm like, yeah, just your name and then your date of birth and then a number to reach you at or whatever. And, uh, and so, like, you know, he's, like, trying to write it out. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's just like that or whatever. But then in his wallet, there's, like, a picture of him wearing the same exact outfit. <laughs> oh, shit. Leather jacket. <laughs> 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 I fucking love that shit. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> he's just got a picture, <laughs> like, a little fucking <laughs> wallet yeah, size yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of your where your family goes. Yeah. <laughs> A picture of himself. In his yeah, favorite yeah. outfit that he definitely wears every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's awesome. I'm jealous so, of that, dude. Yeah, I want so uni- adorable. I it's know. so funny whenever it's you so hear cute. about, like, they're like, oh, Texas executed a mentally retarded guy, and that's what you picture in your head is, like, one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see the retarded guy. That <laughs> they're like, yeah, it's just <laughs> a very growling. dumb brute. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a scary... 69, but he's like, I'm trying to kill motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's like, yeah. okay, that's, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. that guy should be executed. Right, right, right. He's a scary monster, and he should be executed. Yeah. I'm sorry. I disagree. <laughs> Too late. Oh, Hilarious. He was so fucking mean to Tom. I used to just drive around dying laughing. Dude, we could probably find some of those and play those. Oh those my are God. funny as shit. He's like, now Tom is a comedian, but I know Tom because he sells me ice cream at the 7 <laughs> Eleven he works at. <laughs> when I'm on so my way mean. home. Yeah. That's so mean. So, what you know, now, Tom, was that? I don't want to be mean to you, but a lot of comics don't have any respect for you. The <laughs> uh, name that comes to mind is Joe Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would have Joe call in and Joe would be like, no, you must understand what I said was that Tom might be the greatest comedian oh, no. of all time. And in fact, uh, you know, maybe with uh, George Carlin as a close. Second. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Was it 98 Rock? 98, 98 Rock, 97, yeah. on, on Baltimore in uh, Baltimore. Whew. That's a great station. That was the best talk radio. And well, in now either. Schlegel's got the morning show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could close your eyes and imagine for a second. <laughs> did you set up what this was just now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. he did. Why did you just fuck it up? Now you ruined the fucking momentum. I'm all embarrassed doing idiot. a joke. No, no, twice. continue, continue. You're a piece of shit with a I'm little ass dick. Fuck I'm you, sorry. Adam. I'm sorry. Imagine a little girl playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a golly walk and then uh, two blokes come born a ute and they throw in the back of the ute and they take it out to a field out in the air back you know there's no rules out there mate and they bend it over they bugger they stick a didgeridoo right up a, a vagaroo and they blow their load through the didgeridoo and yeah now hold on judge I'll finish here in a second the magistrate's getting annoyed with me because we're getting a little graphic here but you gotta know it's going on <laughs> now they got big thighs, you know. These are these are bogan fellas. They got those big rugby thighs, so they're chafing. They're giving a third degree burns on a vagaroo. They're <laughs> hot. Their thighs are getting. Now I just want you to imagine that the little girl is an abo uh, defense rest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
And there oh, it fuck. is. I feel like it was more fun the first time. It was. But what it was. Do? It, yeah. You, you, it was a. It was a fun. Where are you saying that the Outback? That is hilarious. That Outback is just some fucking. Guys. Oh yeah, Outback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Psych. Psych. It's gotta be. You gotta be a dom. Yeah. Don't bring a dom. Stem. <laughs> no, a sub? dime. You a gotta dime. be a, a ten out of ten. <laughs> baby. The fuck me, bitch. You. <laughs> 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 Let me tell I love you. fat guys that have those standards. That kind of confidence is yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah disgust to be the woke one on yeah. Come Town, bitch. You're, you're being woke it. today. That's the problem. I've been accused of this multiple times. <laughs> you time to get sleepy, dude. Hit that bong again. Hell yeah, dude. This is a, a sleep, sleep, sleepy podcast. No, I feel like we kept the racism. Uh, toned down on this we one. did and we i did mean it's it was rough way. considering there's been three islamic style attacks in the last <laughs> week on, and a half what? <laughs> i didn't say anything bad about it i just said there's these uh islamic style yeah muslim style attacks that have been happening <laughs> muslim style <laughs> <laughs> uh, refer to any tragedy as uh, uh, Muslim style Are you counting the cops attack. killing <laughs> innocent people's Muslims? Those were yeah. si- double agent uh, cops. Eric Garner was uh, killed in a it was sort of a Muslim style <laughs> incident <laughs> with the police. Jesus Christ. Uh, Officer Pantaleo of Islamic, put a, you know, Islamic chokehold on uh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you gay ass bitch ass cat. Now nah, let him sit on that guy with the mutton chops and the other fucking idiot that said that they <laughs> listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, there were a couple cum boys in Boston. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Shouts out. Didn't get your name, but uh, I got a DM from someone that said that uh, they we're were talking about people at shows in real so, life, bitch. Shut uh, the nobody fuck cares up, about you your fucking bitch. DMs, retard. <laughs> Is this the new dynamic? <laughs> it's the dynamic when you say shit like you liked the lane when you were 10, yeah, dude. It's the dynamic when you wear a Brandon Ward L shirt to the end. <laughs> yeah, that's the It was problem. laundry day. The problem is that's the energy. You're wearing Brandon's shirt. Brandon, I'll take we, my shirt You know what I wear right on now. laundry day? Nothing. That's right. <laughs> I walk around naked. All right. We dominance. shit on Brandon too on the other one. I forgot. It was good. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. God damn. Uh, S-U-C-K-M-R-D-S-E-K-E. <laughs> Suck my dick. Uh, all right, Suck well, my dick. I think we're uh, we're good. That's yeah, we're good. We had a good one. All Man, right, is folks. This bonus is the regular. Who yeah, cares? no, this will be bonus, and then we got to do another one tomorrow. Okay, let's just do one every day until you go out of town. Cool. Yeah. I'm down. All right, bye, when folks. Maybe six weeks or something in college, and I at one point some girl was walking by in like a mini skirt. He was like, "These women have no respect, <laughs> no respect for themselves," and I was like, "Oh, this isn't gonna work." So. Like, I broke up with him two weeks later. I see him in a little bow tie passing out. Oh, no. He converted to Nation of Islam. You did it. Yeah, I'm the blue-eyed devil. (laughs) (laughs) He's just sad a white girl broke up with him. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to take it out on all white people. Do you guys think Nation of Islam guys are really into that song, I'm a classic man? That one. (laughs) Yeah. Oh man, I I feel like everyone was ass fucking, dude. We just had it. We just documented it. Yeah, you just you put know it I mean? on like you know. Yeah, the Japanese, walls. the samurais fucked boys for sure. There was always there was yeah. a website, uh, boys, uh, fuck boyschat dot org <laughs> or something. There was a website I remember. That's where I met really cool older friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, it was a Some website for pedophiles. Mentors. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was like a. I remember because I I used to spend a lot of time on Encyclopedia Dramatica, uh-huh. and they had an article about it. And then so, like, you go to this website, and it's a forum for pedophiles, like, open pedophiles, and they're mm-hmm. like, all right, guys, here are the rules. You know, you talk about whatever you want, but nothing illegal goes on here. <laughs> and it's, like, obviously, like, monitored by law enforcement 24 fucking <laughs> right, right, Yeah, it's right, a state right. operation. Yeah. Like, and that like, whole <laughs> thing was invented by the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> constantly, every time, every, like, week, there would be a post that would be like, well, uh, baseball seventy two just got locked up, so <laughs> you know, RIP to that guy. Uh, but uh, yeah, check out this deck I built this week. <laughs> yeah, and then there was one guy that I remember reading his posts. He was like in Spain or something, and he's like, "I rape all the boys, and no one can find me." <laughs> and he's like, they were jealous of him because like he lived in some shitty country where the, oh they couldn't get him. God. He's like, "I teach a soccer team, and I fuck all the boys." <laughs> <laughs> And they were like, I'm so jealous of you, Pierre. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> were you telling me? It's like an Italian accent. You say it's yeah. from Spain and you named it Pierre. I don't know. Because I, I, I wanted to keep it vague. I don't yeah. know which country he was from. But you should have some... done the lift. 
Like yeah. the oh, yeah. Yeah. Venezuelan? No, no, isn't that no, Barcelona? No, no, no. Spain. Barth- yeah, oh, Ibiza. 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 But the, the Venezuelans have a lisp too, don't they? Uh, maybe. That's from, a, uh, it's a ca- Caracas. Cas- Caracas. Cas- from Caracas. <laughs> Caracas. <laughs> I'm from Coxsackie. Yeah, that's how they talk. Um, <laughs> just like gay southerners. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias, y'all. Come <laughs> I'm from Caracas. <laughs> um, weren't you telling me there was one? Th- I think this is the website you're telling me about where there's one guy who's like looking for advice on how to jack off a baby. Yeah, that was that. That oh was my that website. God. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't advice. It, the post was like, can a baby have an orgasm? And the tone was like, or am I just wasting my time? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy like sucking off a baby for like 45 Gosh. minutes. And he's like, what is the problem here? They do get Come erections, on. Like, though. Like you Babies can't... do get random erections. Yeah. Like nonsense. Or, like, and no one tells you that. And then you're suddenly like changing a diaper. And it's yeah. the most terrifying experience you've ever had in your life. It's like a chronic birth film. And you want to like pour bleach in your eyes. You think a baby's trying to fuck? <laughs> you think a baby's like turned How on? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. The idea of a baby getting his dick sucked is so funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... And it's allowed here. <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. After a circumcision. Yeah, um, but it's just like that baby's got no like I read a there was like some mom got in trouble for sucking off her son, her infant son. And it's like, it, is that even bad? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that, I think I think that's bad. Yeah. Like, no, I remember what? some I remember reading no, some I'm fucked up story. On Thank you, Adam. I remember reading some fucked up story. Mother this used guy, to. <laughs> this guy that got arrested. <laughs> rationalize any reason for it though there's yeah. no like medical purpose well, that's, if she, if it stops after like six months come on dude if a if a fucking <laughs> if a guy like ate his daughter's infant daughter's pussy he wouldn't be like that's fine yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well boys are a little bit more resilient than girls yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true uh <laughs> they bounce. the point is yeah i want to get my son blue. i want my the son to get his dick sucked i want my son to be cool by the mom not my wife or whatever but a hot like uh, a hot lady with big fake titties. Yeah, you hire a prostitute for your <laughs> eight month old. <laughs> I ain't gonna have no fags, son. <laughs> Try and get him to be straight by getting someone. <laughs> Dude, in Greece, my cousin tried to get my, at the time, 11 year old brother. He tried to sneak him out of the house to a brothel. <laughs> the fuck for the first. Have you ever seen the just the, ever watched all those racist Disney? Of course, oh, they're yeah. so good, repeatedly. Dude. Yeah, they're still on, the Looney Tunes stuff. Yeah. yeah, they were still on when I was like really little. It's crazy. On, like, the local. Yeah. The local yeah, yeah. stations. Uh, Wait, it was Looney Tunes, wasn't it? More Co- than uh, Cole, Cole Black Looney and Tunes. the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah, that one. That one's the fucking best of all of them. When that tr- uh, she fucking calls Murder Incorporated. Yeah, and the, the, the queen, like the evil queen or whatever, she's like, "Hello, Murder Incorporated," <laughs> <laughs> which is objectively very funny. It is really you know? funny. I mean, they, they had it nailed down back in the forties. It's very, very. Yeah, have you ever seen yeah. like Japanese cartoons depictions of black people? Uh, oh, oh yeah, it's really shocking. Well, really? they they dig yeah. on Japs a lot in those old. They do, those yeah. Because in that one, she calls Murder Incorporated, and then the truck like comes by, and on the back it says. Uh, we kill anybody, $100, uh, midgets, half price, Japs free. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> midgets, Damn. half price is so good. Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah. That is a good joke. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the, I mean, the animation's good, too. Damn. The prince is, had, drives, like, some fucking, like, big Duesenberg or whatever, <laughs> yeah. and then the wheels of the car are just, like, uh, like shoes with, like, spats. Oh, man. They're, like, cool, Whoa. like, yeah, gators Rich or whatever. Guy. Yeah. Shoes. And his teeth are dice. Oh man, that yeah. is so racist. Wow. Hickory dickory dock. No, the most racist of all of them is that Betty Boop cartoon. I haven't seen that the one. The Betty Boop cartoon where she's like uh she's like putting on a talent show and she's like, Okay, we have talents from or the future stars of tomorrow. That's what it's called. And then so she's like, Give it up for and then it's like a Russian baby and it's doing that ethnic Russian uh, dance yeah, yeah, or the whatever. Bushka dance, that yeah, yeah. Thing. And then there's a Chinese baby, and it's like, ding, dong, ding, 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 you know, like that, the racist. And they're like, and our last act, the colorful three. Oh, and it's, no. Yeah, three, like, pickaninnies, 
and they're chained together by no. the diaper with one big diaper pin. No. So they're in like a chain gang and they're singing a song, but the song is just them crying. And they're oh. like they're like hotty 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 ha and they cry. Oh and then no. Yeah, and then it cuts to the audience and there's fucking the mom of them with another baby on the lap. And the baby's spitting watermelon seeds at the no. white guy's head. <laughs> and he's like, ah. No. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Jesus wow. Christ. This is a. Yeah. And then Betty Boop's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and so oh, the wasn't that ends. great? <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, it was like, what's the threshold for people to be like, man, that's kind of racist back yeah, then? Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Like, how fucking far would they have to go? Someone <laughs> gave you 500. I literally <laughs> fucked yourself. I wanted to clone myself and fuck myself. Nick, would you? If it's someone gave you a half a million dollars, would you fuck yeah. your steps? Is it gay to fuck a clone? Not of you, but like just any guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love your thought ethically. experiments yeah. about rape and They're gayness. Not, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, under what conditions could I rape someone and it would... Hey, I think this guy's wearing a fucking wire. Hey, is he wearing a wire? Yeah, hey, he's, he's wearing a fucking wire. He's got a big wire there. He's got a big meaty wire. He's got a wire balls. right there. Take his fucking pants off. Let me see that wire. Oh, that's oh, a there wire. There it is. Oh, that's a that's wire, a, oh, baby. Is it getting bigger? It's, it is. That's Ooh. how you know it's recording. Oh. Quick, oh. Frankie, suck all the electricity out of that wire. <laughs> you got to get to the to all the recordings. Oh, it tastes good, Mikey. <laughs> and that is a bit called Italian guys who <laughs> think some guy's dick <laughs> is a wire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just oh, stand at Rosh Hashanah. 7th and Bedford. I, I told Stav, I heard the best the best oh, thing yeah. about Rosh Hashanah on the <laughs> street. I was walking by and this guy's like, yeah, no, that's Rosh Hashanah. That's like, uh, it's like Jewish Hanukkah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's like... It's like Jewish Hanukkah. <laughs> what does he think Hanukkah? Kirsten yeah. Dunst. <laughs> the fake <laughs> nudes where it'll oh, be yeah, like just smiling so hard. Uh, they, oh they yeah, it, it's like it's like a clearly a red carpet picture, and then they're just <laughs> yeah. being like fucked by like nine people, and, like jack- <laughs> jacking someone off on their face. <laughs> the head is like not yeah. even centered on the neck. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like so shittily done. Yeah. Oh, I beat off to so many of those in yeah. my formative years. I, uh, wow, I didn't know the woman that played Doctor Quinn Medicine <laughs> <laughs> God, did Bukaki. hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> interracial gangbang porn just 12 black cocks <laughs> yeah, she looks so happy it's uh, a joyous experience that oh, must have man. been at the height of Dr. Quinn she is hot dude she, in fucking Wedding Crashers she was hot as shit Dr. Q mm-hmm. she's what she's also into the like jewels right she has a, the, a collection the with, open uh, hearts collection at K Jewelers K. every kiss begins with yeah. K KK Every heart has fucking pedophile. Oh, Nick's back, everyone. I'm gay. My name's Nick. <laughs> and I suck dick and shit. Oh, oh, wow, dude. That's weird. Why did you say that? Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I wonder I wonder that. If you're 12, shouldn't you be allowed to watch 12-year-olds fuck? That's that my, should be for you. That's my take on yeah. it. You should be able but to make your produced. own child porn. Yeah, it should be produced Four by kids. kids. Four kids, kids by like kids. Like those news. <laughs> kids Like in middle rule. school. <laughs> Where they would have news. This is kids, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow also a week and yeah. a half. <laughs> uh, well, that's you know what? I finish editing them almost immediately. And then it's like, it's a pain in the ass to upload them because it fucks up all the time. Mm. Um, but luckily we've been getting free hosting graciously from... Uh, our podcast host. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Congratulate. Who's, who's our podcast host? I thought we're the host. Oh, come on, dude. I thought it's, you know, the Puerto Rican rattlesnakes. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Wasn't it? Sometimes not all the bits go good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Sometimes you do good bits. Who's sometimes you do bad host? bits. Who's our host? Uh, <coughs> Shout Engine Hell is yeah. the name of the host. Shout Engine, baby. Yeah, someone was Shouts fucking up. Shout I emailed Engine. them and I was like, recently and someone was like, whoa, wow, that was like a deep cut. And it's like, what? Mimi? No. It's a sitcom. It was on for like seven years. It was on It was on forever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been more than seven. It was Everyone crazy. knows who the fuck Mimi Bobek is. Everyone knows Mimi, dude. If you don't know who Mimi Bobek is, you're a fucking idiot. You're the asshole. Who right, is that? No. I'm not. You don't know who Mimi is, dude? Mimi Bobak. Uh, uh, that was a Drew Carey. Di- that was a she was a former dictator of Romania, right? I she believe. was the first SJW. 
Oh yeah, yeah, Mimi with the, <laughs> with the eyeshadow. You know, Mimi was just on Tumblr on that computer. Oh my god! <laughs> Outside of Mr. Sheffield's office or whoever that British boss was. Yeah, it was, uh, it it was Craig was, uh, Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Holy shit, Mimi was the first Tumblr bitch. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, pig. <laughs> So do you not see yourself, me? Oh, that's incredible. That's exactly who the fuck she was. Yeah. Damn. That's a good one, boys. Yeah, that show was ahead of its time. They had they had uh they had like Tom like making a small talk with him. He's got a beer. I'm like, Oh, what kind of beer is that? You know, like just trying to be friendly. I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck is going Jesus. on. Jesus. And they uh they like back the car. They start like backing the car, and Beep. he like yeah, right. Beep. It's not, Beep. but it's like yeah, fucking. Yeah, but I know you you mean, know, like the guy turns around. They're like you know thirty, forty five feet away at the end of this like you know Jesus small fielded Christ. area. Yeah, and uh, the the guy's like uh, you know looking at the car, like he's you know he like sees them. <laughs> And so I'm like, <laughs> what is he? Is he asking you questions? No, I I played it where I was like, who the fuck is this? You know, oh, interesting. And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, do you know these people or whatever? Like, I I Smart. just turn it oh, up. Yeah, 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 good yeah, at crimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I also asked him what kind of beer it was so I could take the beer away from him so he couldn't fucking hit me with it or something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so I was like, you know, I did a couple of smart things. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. yeah a couple of uh, criminal things. Yeah, and then so uh, was he wearing a wire? Yeah, he was wearing a wire, and I <laughs> had, had a fucking wire. Yeah, yeah. This guy's wearing a. <laughs> fucking wire yeah anyway and then so they they walk up they like they walk up and like walk past us they just walk past us standing there like and they have like masks on their face but the kid sees the the guy they called him and he's like yo dale Jesus and then Christ. you know they kind of like stop for a second and then the guy i was friends with was just like all right, fuck this. And he like pulls out like one of those mini baseball bats, just starts like wailing on the kid's fucking head. Oh, with it. Jesus. Yeah. And then I just turn to that kid's girlfriend. I'm like, I'm like, give me your the money, I guess. And yeah, we like took their money. You and, took the money? <laughs> well, I mean, we came all that way. And it, they were going to fucking, I was like, I didn't, you know, this yeah, was yeah, yeah. How much money did you make? $40 <laughs> is what they got off that kid. For that guy having literally bleeding in his brain. Uh, they, I mean, they <laughs> dinged him a couple times, but he ran off. He was fine. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Yeah. Why the fuck were you implicate? You just hanging I out? I just wanted to ride. I was, I would get rides home from the guy. Right. You know, cause I didn't want to take the bus. Mm-hmm. Did you hang out with him after that? Yeah. I mean, he still had a car. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was, so, it would have been so easy for you to get, become a criminal. You were so close. Uh, yeah, well, that's a crime. Right, right, That's right. Like but not, I mean, like, uh, you know. Yeah. You were, you and were then, close. Well, and it was funny because that kid was friends with this other guy I know who's not like a thug or whatever, but he is like physically fit and kind of intimidating. Yeah. And uh, that kid like told that other guy that I know, he's like, yeah, these guys robbed me and like, you know, like said my name or whatever. And he's like, yeah, he wouldn't fucking do that. It's yeah. not him. <laughs> and then so like... Uh, he found out that it was those like cr- uh, the Crip guys or whatever. Right. So he confronted like the, the head guy, you know, the guy that's like made set me up to it. He's like, "Yo, so this is what I heard happened by this guy. So I'm just let you know, like, I'm not gonna come looking for you, but if I see you, like, you, I'm gonna fucking like put you in the hospital. Like, Jesus you're gonna be, like, Christ. Like severely fucked up. You like completely fucked up. You robbed the wrong guy. And uh, this guy was like, man, honestly. I don't want no problems with you. That was entirely Nick. That was 100% Nick's plan. <laughs> like, what? what? Yeah, so, like, uh, yeah, that guy, like, Antron calls me, and he's like, this guy's saying it was, like, you that did it or whatever. Jesus Christ, And uh, I was like, yeah, no, of course it wasn't me. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like, yeah, that's what I, I thought. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> but, you were, yeah. but that, if that guy's just No, a that guy was just person. a complete fucking, like, coward. He, like, yeah. you know, set up this whole fucking plan, didn't want to actually be involved with it. Right. But he was, like, a black guy. He said he was, like, a crip or whatever. So the fucking white guy I knew, who was actually kind of, like, a criminal. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, fucking was enamored by this, like, right. black guy that was, like, you can be in cool. That's Meanwhile, so he was like a fucking, you know, he was a joke. Right. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. Whew, race relations in our country, huh? Pretty. Uh-huh. Pretty. No, I felt I felt bad for that that kid, the the one that wanted to be in the gang. When he like, I remember there was one time where they, he had a falling out with that dude, and he had this like. You know, moment where you could see the disillusion in his face when he's like, mm-hmm. "Man, f- I'm more real than him. Fuck him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his whole like walking can't around even the believe in the Crips anymore. Yeah. My, my friend in college uh, had a high school friend that became like a.
The original title, Brown Sugar, was Black Pussy. Which <laughs> is <laughs> so funny. Uh, that's not a joke. Black Pussy! <laughs> that's not a joke. I know. Uh, that's, yeah. I mean, that's what the song is actually about. true. Yeah. Wait, the name of the song was Black like Pussy? Like, that, like... It, it, that black pussy was like the what originally Mick Jagger was singing, and they were like joke laughing about it. And then they're like, "Yeah, well, let's make it something." No way! Oh, oh wow, that's yes. awesome. That's a much better song. Yeah. <laughs> black pussy. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if everyone knows what you're talking about, what's the point of euphemism? They're good Strong at two, tech, guys. two yeah, specific that's what I'm trying movements. To get to be. That's all Olympic weightlifters do is two things. Really? And yeah. It's it's uh, they snatch and then they do the clean and jerk and those are the two lifts that they can. Oh, do. that's crazy because I clean and jerk when I see some yeah, snatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucked kids. If he fucked kids, we'd know about it. No, it would be the biggest thing. It would be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so funny. <laughs> if he fucked kids. <laughs> <laughs> if he got caught, that would be better than seventh heaven. Mm -hmm. That would. That's the one that could top the seventh heaven. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he. I don't think he ever penetrated a kid. But uh, you think they kissed? You could do, I mean, it's not illegal. Do you think if you're a you want to make out with kids? That seems weird. <laughs> it's not illegal. I mean, the whole thing seems weird, don't get me wrong. Unlike penetrating, <laughs> which seems <laughs> great. No, that's not. <clears throat> fuck, man. It's do you weird remember when we were kids? doing the Drake freestyle? Yeah. If it ain't penetration, it ain't illegal. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. That was a good, that was a good early, uh, yeah. moved to New York hang. Yeah. Doing the Drake Fitty pedophile. penetration ain't illegal, dog. Ain't, ain't no penetration ain't illegal, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that baby I'm gonna slide that diaper off. <laughs> Push the diaper to the side. I just love, yeah. I just love that, Push like, your, put your diaper the confidence this. with that fucking horrible legal advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just Bro, actively yeah. wrong. If it ain't penetration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the judge. Your Tell Honor, the judge I never <laughs> penetrated the toddler. <laughs> It was heavy petting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to suck the baby off. If it ain't penetration, ain't illegal, dog. Tell that judge any case, I'm going to beat it, dog. <laughs> I'm going to suck the baby off. <laughs> I'm going to suck the baby penetration, ain't illegal, dog. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. God, this is like weak. a minimalist beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Mud it on a beat. Yeah. Um, Mud it on a beat, ho. Yeah, it's crazy that people just... Want to fuck kids? And I know. Then, and then they have to live a normal life and be like, you know, what's really bad is people who want to fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. honestly, you I know what I've never want to do is fuck your kids. Yeah. Well, that's I like some kids at lunch going out into the woods behind the school to smoke pot, and a girl passed out, and they like shoved dirt and like <laughs> leaves and shit in her pussy or whatever. What the fuck? Yeah, and there were, and then they got. I think there was like Rock? the police got involved, and then it was they were like, it was a prank, dude. <laughs> We were, and that's the thing is like that's why like men and women can't be friends at least at that age because I can kind of understand where those boys were coming from. Like if that was your friend that passed out, oh yeah, you You'd know, put like, stuff in his ass. Think about like if you teabagged a woman. <laughs> oh then, yeah, like, look, that would be national news. <laughs> of course, right, right, they, like right, not that's... they didn't just fuck her; they put her their balls in her mouth. Yeah, but if you're if you like teabag a man, it's like you're gay, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time. There was this kid we all didn't fuck with. Yeah. It, there was like a basketball tournament. You like sleep away, and this kid just sucked. And then I remember some somebody being like, "Yeah, we teabag fucking me not this piece of shit." And I saw the video. <laughs> it's like three guys <laughs> taking turns <laughs> putting their balls and dicks in his mouth <laughs> for like 15 <laughs> minutes dude this guy was passed out it was sexual assault yeah. it was straight up yeah, they were, yeah at it was, camp yeah it was, that's like worse than <laughs> steubenville but it's like you watch that video and even a prosecutor would watch that and be like ha ah, they're right he's gay <laughs> <laughs> they got him <laughs> the they got him they I got mean, him. he deserved look it's written right on his face in sharpie it's <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> At camp, my my friend Tommy put he did this thing called the the, uh, the Egyptian goggles to this guy Dan Dan Ra Arabian goggles. The Arabian <laughs> goggles, yeah, yeah. Where you put either of your balls in their sleeping eye sockets and then their your dick on their mouth. <laughs> Do you guys ever do the um, ultimate? He, he woke up and slapped him right at the dick, dude. Oh, my friend nice. like just crumbled, like yeah. He, oh my god, it's a good bit though. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever do the uh, ultimate push up? No, or I'm sorry, oh, yeah, ultimate yeah. sit up. I've seen that. Where it's like, oh no, someone's doing a sit up, right? And you you do this thing where it's like you push. You're like, dude, let me show you the ultimate sit up, and you just do it. And they cover your eyes with their hand. They push up as hard as they can, and you're like, oh, and you really try and like push against the force and shoot up, right? Mm -hmm. And then so they see you do this, and then you're like, all right, man, your turn. So you cover their eyes and uh, make them 
you know, push up as hard as they can. And then it's just someone with their ass is standing over top of them. So they just like full force put their nose in your ass essentially when they come up on the on the fucking uh, sit up. Nah, it's that's one of the great, best though. ones. That's definitely the way to. See, girls sit up. Isn't have that fun sort like of that. just like there's no, there's no 15 year old girls hanging out tricking each other into drinking their menstrual fluid? Like, <laughs> no, Katie, it's cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah how like, many times you got her? You're fucking. You're a lesbian. <laughs> well, got owned, like, you fucking lesbian. Isn't that just like healthy gay experimentation, right? Uh, no, it's that bullying. actually, I don't think was gay. Yeah, that was bullying more it's, than anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not experimentation. There's no consent there. Yeah, yeah. and like, it's whatever. not sexual. Honestly, making some kids suck your balls <laughs> while he's asleep. <laughs> 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 it's still very funny. There's I one time I also my the only good one I had on this fucking kid Roosevelt was uh I was just like he again in a basketball tournament. I just straight up classic took the tooth took his toothbrush and just absolutely rubbed my balls mm-hmm. all over <laughs> it and then just put it back and he was <laughs> Just put it right back, and uh, and we were all sitting at breakfast the next day, and he had this fucking his roommate was this fucking idiot named uh, Nisi, and he would just fucking uh, he was like, "Hey Roosevelt, did you brush your teeth?" And he was like, "Yes." He was like, "Did you brush them real hard?" <laughs> And he was like, what? He's like, yeah, I brushed my teeth. He thought we were like making fun of him for not having. And we're like, yeah, Stav rubbed his balls. And he was just like, no, I never brushed my teeth. I never brushed my teeth at all. I had never did. And he just like, that was probably one of my finest moments. Yeah, I remember in like junior high, me and my friends were hanging out. And there was like a hat in like just on the ground that my friend Bernardo found. And he like just pulled down his pants and took a shit in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's and there's awesome. like this younger kid. He's like, "Yeah, put the hat on." <laughs> he's like, "No, get away from me!" So like, put it on. But then he just has a shitty ass he has to go around with, smelling like he shit exactly. himself. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. No, that shit's. Did hilarious. anybody put the hat on? I did. There was one night, like me and my friend Brandon were driving around drunk, and we stopped at this kid Kevin's house that we didn't like, and I uh, I took a shit on. They had like at the end of their driveway like a, a lit like address, like with the numbers to their address, but like yeah, it was yeah. backlit. And I just squatted over the thing and took a big fucking dump like right on top of it, <laughs> <laughs> just like That's laid it down. So, just so perfect and clat. There's yeah, no yeah, yeah. thought. Just, I'm gonna shit on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I got back in the car and it just reeked. Of shit because i couldn't wipe my ass right he was like what the fuck dude did you shit yourself i'm like no i checked <laughs> and then eventually the smell went away after like five minutes or so but yeah dude you don't realize how much the water absorbs the smell mm. yeah interesting interesting yeah that's why i never understood that prank where people are like yeah you get dog shit in a, in a, in a bag, in a bag and you light, and you light on it on fire yeah and it's like you know, just use your own shit. I don't know why you have to involve a dog. You also make shit. Yeah, it's true. Fuck, mm-hmm. man. I love the ones that aren't, like, thought out at all. Just shitting on stuff. One time I just took this kid's skateboard that I didn't like, and I just pissed on it. Yeah. And that yeah. was it. That was just I, a solid prank. I used to love pissing underneath the stall divider onto, like, mm. onto someone else's shoes. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> a classic. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do in that yeah, situation? Yeah, yeah. Like, oops, sorry, They're dude. shitting. They can't yeah. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> they just lift their fucking legs up. Yeah. Like, Fuck, man, just, chill. Uh, just piss all over their shoes. Yeah, dude, fucking soaking public bathrooms with your urine. That's like <laughs> a, that's a classic move. That'll never stop being fun. I did that in this Chinese restaurant one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was like, man, it's me and my mom went to dinner at this Chinese restaurant. It's a nice little Chinese restaurant, and we got to order like takeout. And I went into the bathroom, and it was like a very nice bathroom, and they had like. You know, nice wall, nice like paisley pink yeah, wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just started pissing all over the walls. <laughs> I just dying laughing. I was just laughing. Sorry, I pissed all over the mirror. <laughs> Suck the toilet paper. The toilet paper is the best yeah. one. To the leave funny, it on the roll but piss on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I got a drop of piss in the toilet. <laughs> The funniest part of that is you returning to the table, yeah, like, yeah. you know, like <laughs> I'm returning to the table, <laughs> like leaving, and like as I leave the bathroom, that she's like handing me the food. She's like, "Have a nice night." I'm like just crying, <laughs> laughing. I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> Knowing this bitch is about to walk in that bathroom and know exactly who did it. There's no mystery yeah, to no. that crime it's a, it's a fucking crime scene, dude. <laughs> they just piss all over the walls. And it was like soaking into the wallpaper. 
Fuck, man. That's so mean. Yeah, I wish I had seen her face. Well, that's so the thing, mean. man. That's just the meanest shit is when, when you get to, I mean, like, that's why there's a, a blowback against, like, edgy shit or whatever. But I feel like the reason a lot of, like, edgy shit doesn't work anymore is because a lot of the moral scolds are actually mean people themselves. Right. So it's not fun. Me and him would just rip people off. We worked at kind of like a shittier mall or whatever. Right, right, so, right. You know, most of the people that came in. Like, I learned occupational Spanish just to fucking sell legal immigrants. Like, <laughs> you know, $900 Nextel phones that they didn't need or whatever. Like, uh, hey, uh, uh, tienes uh, celular? You know? And then be like, no, no social needed. And then just fucking you know, sign them up for like, the most expensive plan or whatever. And, uh... Yeah, me and him had like a contest one time to see who like could you know rip people off the most with like uh, <laughs> like these ring- like somebody used to sell ringtones back when you could only put like five ringtones right. on your phone, yeah. and so we're selling them for like twenty a piece, thirty a piece sometimes. Just ringtones? R- yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were really good at sales. Jesus, you know, we would like talk people into it. Yeah, you know? they're like. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, we really, you know, we got to offset the cost of all this equipment. That's the problem. You know, this laptop is like $8,000. <laughs> like, just lying or whatever. It's so yeah, funny. The idea got... that a ringtone could But, cost like, did you keep the money or what yeah, was that? Well, we got commission on it. So, yeah, yeah. it was like, you know, like a probably, with ringtones, because there was zero overhead, it was like, you know, the store gets fucking 15% and then, you know, we keep, you know, whatever. We got like, uh, you made a shit ton of money off it. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, uh, so this was like, I was probably 18 at the time and there had been different iterations of like these kiosks that I had known these brothers through and we were working at one that was a different company. It was a little bit more professional. Um, and, uh, like, uh, cause like the, the one I met those guys at, there was no, you know, we lied right. to people, I'd show up <laughs> right. all the time. Right. you know, we'd fucking, we had like a monitor on the screen that we were just using to bully the Pakistani guy that worked there, <laughs> put a picture of him on the, on the screen. It was like, uh, guess how old this man is and when, cause he like looked like shit, even though he was 21 and people are like 50, he's 50 years old. And they'd be like, nope. And he'd be like, you know, the Pakistani guy would get all upset. And <laughs> That's like hilarious. Salt in the corner. Anyhow, uh, so, like, it was, uh, you know, one of the, now, uh, what you guys, you both phone guys now? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to book the show. I got another phone. All right. I don't know why I've been telling this story so long. No, no, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying listening. To, yeah. No, no, I'm serious because there's very little payoff here. <laughs> I, this started on the topic of like when you see somebody bully somebody. Right, it's right, really right. Yeah, funny. Yeah. Okay, so here's the story. So we're working at like this other kiosk or whatever, and uh, this woman came in, and she was like a return customer. Like somebody mm-hmm. had already signed her up for shit, and she was coming back with a customer service issue, which like we don't see any money from. It's right, right. our fucking yeah. time. We work on commission. So like nobody really wants to deal with this shit. Yeah. We, like, hate these people. And she was like 50, and she had her like uh, adult retarded son with her. Hell like, yeah. This like, you know, weird guy with this like weird like bird face and like, you know, just like weird posture. Just like, in, you know, in his pants. But he dressed like Adam, but like not ironically. <laughs> right, you know? right. He's getting Kirkland signatures for yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, and she's there with him and she just looks fucking worn out. And like, she probably got ripped off by somebody, you know. Right, of course. She signed for a fucking Sprint phone and her first bill is like literally $1,000. Because <laughs> yeah. the fucking cell phone companies used to just do that. To right, right, back right. In 2006 or yeah. whatever. And, uh and she's there with this, you know, her retarded son that just like he's like, you know, would qui- he would just he would quietly say to her like, I want I want to go to the game store, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just really want to go to GameStop and like, you know, just look confused. And she's like, we'll, we'll we'll go after this. I have to take care of this or whatever. And so the younger brother was like helping them or whatever. He's like, nah, see, that's part of the plan that's in the contract or whatever. And he's like, clearly like losing his patience with this. But I'm watching this and this woman's like strung out and she's like, I just, I just don't have the money to pay for the, you know, right, right, right. And then I'm like constructing this story in my head for this woman and her like poor son. And like, she's like, you know, you want to have a kid and then you have a kid and then it comes out disabled and that's going right. to be a fucking disappointment. But then it gets to a certain point where like, you know, she's up at night. Like, why isn't he dead yet? And it's like, <laughs> Don't think that, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know, like just the torment of like having a, like a 37 year old, Jesus you know, Christ, disabled yeah. son you have to take care of. And I'm like almost at the point of like, I'm like, I'm like You're almost work- about to cry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, like watching this woman. And I was like, it was like near the holidays too. Yeah. Of course. It's just like really sad. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It was like really fucking sad witnessing that and then eventually like you know you know they leave or whatever and my are the, the the younger brother or whatever i'm like watching them walk away and i'm like really sad and he's like he just looks at me he's like 
Yo, that dude was a fucking loser. <laughs> that fucking guy, dude, he's a fucking loser. <laughs> That's why he calls retarded people. Oh <laughs> my he god, like, he's retarded, he just wants man. to fucking yeah. And I fucking I laugh. That's so hard. That is so funny. It's so funny, yo. That guy's a fucking loser. Like just <laughs> that, completely read that situation. That's your reading of that situation. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> makes no, good, yeah. no empathy. And Zero. It just completely took me out of it. Me yeah. and him used to bully the fuck out of the people. There was this Indian guy that had a, uh, a store like a kiosk right next to ours and ours was enclosed right. but we would go outside of it to like you know right. nab people, Bark like, people hey man yeah, would yeah. you get like let me see yeah, what yeah. kind of phone you have you know and talk to them because we have to make sales right and he had a purse store called lucky bags <laughs> hell yeah there's this indian guy that had this indian this big fat indian wife <laughs> and he would complain to mall management because we would bark at people in the direction of his kiosk or right whatever. and he'd be like they are stealing my customers and it's like it's completely different <laughs> yeah, businesses you purses. yeah you fucking idiot <laughs> or whatever <laughs> and uh and so he would like constantly him and the wife would be like do not talk to people in the direction of our store you know or whatever and the, the, the wife would like she had this weird posture where she'd keep her back straight and put her like you know arms behind, behind her, it like, yeah, yeah. clasp her arms behind her back and like sort of patrol the store yeah and so i would like you know make eye contact with her and then just jerk straight and like mimic her posture <laughs> and, like, what fuck a fucking yeah, dick yeah, yeah. just do an impression of her to her face and just, then just, just hide shitty. on the other yeah yeah, yeah. no I was, shitty we teenager fucking mean yeah dude yeah uh he's a bully the shit out of the guy i like called up the mall management one time and i was like this is lb from lucky bags santa is stealing my customers <laughs> And, like, demanded that they kick Santa out of the mall as him. And they're like, yeah, okay, we'll look into that, Did sir. they believe that it was him? Uh, no, but they probably heard from him so fucking much. Right, right, right. They thought it was funny. That's fucking it's good, good to bully dude. folks like that. So, uh, you know, I feel like I've kept this shit going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, you, you had, really did went you in on that. bullying, Adam? Did, or did you get yeah, bullied? Yeah, I, I feel bad about it in retrospect. What did you do? Like my friend Tommy, growing up, I bullied him pretty, pretty what'd you hard. Th- what'd you do to him? Well, he was like, he was, he was like, uh, he went to camp with us because his mom was Jewish, but he was uh, not a Jew. His dad was Italian, so his mm. name's Tommy Giorgione. Hell yeah! His brother's name was Joey Giorgione. Hell yeah! And um, he's like a he's a mind freak now. He's a street magician <laughs> in Vegas. He does like magic. So he deserved to be bullied. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I feel like came we bullied, first though. We bullied him into being a street magician. Into street magic, street magic green. Yo, did we um, order pizza yet or no? No, we didn't order. Oh, fuck. you fucking idiots! God damn it, dude! But like, he that would sucks. literally do anything for money. So he had this massive chest concavity. So like, we stole like milk and cereal from the dining hall at camp. Oh no! And we had him like he eat cereal, cereal body out of his out of his <laughs> chest, <laughs> his own chest, <laughs> out of his own chest. And like, it was like he would just literally do anything for money. And like, um. We Did you make him suck <sighs> suck your dick? He was. We were like. I went on like a Israel. Did you guys all come in the chest cavity? <laughs> <cabinet? laughs> no, <laughs> I went on like. He's got a big old bowl of cum <laughs> on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> now let's make him breastfeed the gay kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's some great A bullying. He would literally do anything. Like at camp, we had like a climbing wall, and the front climbing wall literally went back. Like uh, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Like a uh, rever- like reverse cowgirl. Reverse yeah. cowgirl. No, like the the incline was like beyond ninety degrees. It was like a overhang or 60, some shit. 90 degrees. And we're like, yeah, Tommy, climb it without a harness for two dollars. He like jumped over the fence. We're like, you could die. You could die. It's like <laughs> halfway up. Oh, you like mean it was like it dangling over the fucking the yeah, abyss? Yeah, it was like uh, like you know the your feet would be up gotcha. in front of your arms. Right, right, right. right. You know? um, but we were we were <laughs> our parents sent us on this Israel summer trip. Shouts out uh, all of our all. Is that where you listeners. got sucked off by uh, the braces? Russian? No. Well, no. How many no, times no, no, have you no. been to Twi- uh, t- t- Twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Point of the story <laughs> is he didn't like taking his shirt off because of the chest concavity. So right. he went to the Dead Sea, which is like a natural wonder. Yeah. You can float on the water. But well, he yeah, didn't if you weigh 120 pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone Do can. A little twink. He didn't want to go. So he like went to the gift shop and like we get on the bus and he just bought like, I think four like 30 porn magazines <laughs> he like opens up his backpack and he's just pulling porn out and there's just like a like you know like a spread with like a like eight 
or like twelve inch dick like going into a girl's oh, face. Yeah. I'm like, yo, there are people around you. Yeah, put this away. And uh, we get to like the hostel. We're in we're the holy in. city. We get to Jerusalem, and he's like, we're like in our room, and he's like, Adam, I haven't beat off in eleven days since we got to this fucking country. <laughs> I have forty porn magazines. <laughs> I need the room. I need. I need the room. So like, I left and more like uh, Jizreel. <laughs> My, uh, Thanks, guys. Yeah, Remember, My this man. is a comedy podcast. That was good. So <laughs> you got to do puns. That's so, real big right now. So I knew he was jerking off in the room, and then I like, saw my friends. And I was like, I realized that the window to our room was open. They only the curtains were closed. Oh hell yeah! And then like my friends were like right outside our room, and I realized it was like leading into my room. So I told my friend, I was like. Um, Oh God! I told my friend I was like Tommy's beating off in there. <laughs> so my friend, my friend, uh, I'm not gonna censor this because we're immature kids. But right. my friend uh, literally like walks up to the curtains and he opens them up and he's like, "Got any crack, nigga?" And like Tommy, <laughs> Jesus, he Christ. just shouts it at Tommy. Tommy is completely flat on his back, just wearing socks, like holding <laughs> holding his dick in one hand and the magazine in the other hand. <laughs> And he just looks up at my friend Isaac, who says it, and um, literally his body like levitated like yeah, off yeah, the yeah, mattress yeah, yeah. and like did a one eighty, and he just landed like erection into the mattress <sighs> so fucking hard, oh. and there was just this shriek of pain because he oh. like literally broke in his bone or oh. like birds flapped away. It was like it was like oh my he was God. screaming because his penis hurt so much. Did he have to go? And to the then doctor? he saw me standing there. Everyone's laughing, you know. He saw me standing there and him. he just like went nuts and he started like throwing all my stuff out of our room. Was he naked? Just still yeah, naked he was completely and naked. He put my sweatpants on and he was like doing lunges, like rubbing his balls on my sweatpants <laughs> and stuff. And then, um, did he ever come like a week later? <laughs> yeah, did he come? <laughs> It'd be so funny if he, he never shrieked came. and came at the same time. He never came. And then like a week later I was sleeping and I felt like in my sleep someone straddled me and, and i opened my eyes and tommy was like above me holding a pillow and he's just like <laughs> looking down at me he's like adam fucking friedland you betrayed my trust oh man you humiliated me in public holy and, shit and if you ever humiliate me again i'll fucking kill you <laughs> <laughs> that's badass dude I was hoping he was about to beat off on your face, dude. Don't, <laughs> fuck, don't fuck with magicians, dude. Yeah. And now he's a now he's a mind freak a street magician in Las oh, Vegas. Jesus, can you imagine the degree in which Chris Angel was fucked with by other kids? <laughs> I mean, Chris I really Angel? think that if is he's the just, genesis if that's story. a low level Vegas street magician. Right, right, right. The amount of teabagging that happened yeah, to Chris yeah. Angel, where he's like, I'm going to fucking drown myself in front of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> now that's his job. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fucking lock myself in a box of water and don't open up for 15 minutes. And I'm going to be wearing eyeliner and jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not gay either. Yeah. David Blaine got molested into being a magician. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, David Blaine's uh, cool, you know? He is cool. The baseball team at my... School almost tricked a kid into sucking all their dicks. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> dude, I remember these motherfuckers boy? were sadistic, dude. Mm. This was like, so fuck. Was, was he a gay kid? No, no, no. Okay, so he was like the kid he'd been trying out for f baseball. He yeah. was like the kid who plays I like this. JV. I like this as the alternative plot to Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> Like, Dad, are we ever going to be a family again? Yeah. yeah, maybe if you suck all the dicks of the, you know, <laughs> the angels. California Angels. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this kid was like, so it was baseball, and everyone's like, everyone at baseball that played baseball was like football athletes on, you know, like a different, uh, half of them played, I think that was it, because it was, well, it was spring, right? So it was, either like, so it was like football guys. And just this one, like, white kid who loved baseball, who was just like a total spaz. He played JV. All, for three years and they were like finally his senior year they let him ride the bench on varsity and these motherfuckers dude it took them a whole season they like set up they were like so like the first part of the season they would be like he would they would he would walk in and like one guy would be on his knees and they would get up real quick and be like oh oh, oh sorry jonathan uh didn't want you to see it. he's like well what's going on what's going on he's like no don't worry about it so they like set the groundwork they made him like walk in on them fake sucking each other off Oh a bunch yeah, and black then guys they are so much better at everything <laughs> it's like fuck it literally at everything and they were like they're like yo dude here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make a play <laughs> it's gonna have nine acts 
<laughs> it lasts an entire year. Dude, it literally lasted the whole season. That's some like m- like fucking that is Shakespeare. That's it was Cicero, it yeah. was yeah. incredible, yeah, yeah. dude. And so and I remember and I was friend I played football, so they were like telling me I was like, This is crazy. They would like keep me posted on the shit. And uh <laughs> so and then one so then over the course of the season, like one of them pulled them aside and was like, All right, man, we trust you, dude. Here's what happens. If you're really good friends with someone it ain't gay if you suck his dick. That's teammate shit. It's like he's like, oh okay. Uh, he's just buying everything he's saying, and it's like, it's like, yeah, maybe one day, like, we'll let you in. He's like, oh yeah, okay, cool, cool. And then like one, they just towards the end of the season, they fucking, they're like, hey man, come come in here, and they take him to, like the fucking supply closet or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's like, dude, it's a big day. He was like, we trust you, man. You're our teammate. He walks in. There's like, fucking five dudes in there, and they're like. They have. They're about to get their dicks out, and this kid's on his knees. Oh, he gets terrible. on his knees, and then the coach comes to get a bat, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on <laughs> in here?" And uh, to this day, I don't know if they would have made him suck their dicks, dude. That's, that's the terrible. that's the weirdest part of it all. How much do you want to bet that kid is absolutely voting for Donald Trump? <laughs> 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 if that's the guy. <laughs> People are like, "How could you vote for him?" He's like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> Shut up. Stuff in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know like anything. Like saying Donald Trump is bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to see what he's going to say on the third debate. He's going to just. Well, he the might third say debate verbatim. Is, is Fox News, I didn't realize. He might say verbatim. Is it? That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, that's to his advantage. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. You think he. What's, <clears throat> what's the wildest shit you think he'll say? You think he'll say Bill Clinton is he's a racist? He's going to say nigger. <laughs> Jesus, that's on, the last dude. thing that's left. <laughs> you think he will? No, he could call. He could uh, say "cunt." On. First of all, let's take a second. That is the first time the hard R and that was super in the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that's, that's the, the last se- thing that he has to say. Second. That also violates the rules it's that pre- I set forth for when you can say the N word on this show. If when it's a quote, they? if you're quoting another white guy, <laughs> I'm quoting Donald Trump. <laughs> he didn't say it yet. He's gonna say it in the third debate. No. You're fucking. No, he's okay until the third no, debate. No, what's the, if he doesn't what's the say financial it? term you're leveraging here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah you're, you're, you're buying it on leverage. Yeah, yeah, unsafe assets. Yeah. Futures I'm, trading. Yeah, your future futures. No, dude, I don't want to create an N word bubble on this <laughs> yeah. show. I'm not trying to. No, listen. <laughs> There's going to be an N word collapse and the fucking value. I'm just saying the, the last thing left for him to do is is go no, hard. You know what? You're the Goldman Sachs of saying the N word right now, dude. You're the AIG. You're the NIG. <laughs> You're underwriting the N word <laughs> on my goddamn podcast, and I won't be privy to it. Um, I mean, the uh, what's the what's the SEC? What's the black version of the SEC? Oh, fuck. The, 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 the ask the axe you see <laughs> come <S-C-E>. on C-E. <laughs> that was harder than okay. SEC fuck what is it I don't know uh, well, there N-double-A- N-double-A-C-C. yeah sure S- how about this the N I double G all right all right all right all right yeah. <laughs> next riff <laughs> <laughs> and scene we have yeah. to cut that like a shitty improv yeah they had to cut me on red eye really in school where like a jock it's like you won't believe this story. Where in, you know, Shithole, Kansas, a small town of five people where a little autistic boy with no friends that was a loser that nobody wanted to hang out with. He he sucked, frankly. (laughs) When one of the jocks from the school made the brave stance of not bullying him and pretending to be his friend. (laughs) You know? And and then then they fucking... Like sitting with him at lunch. Yeah, Yeah, sitting with him at at lunch, yeah. And then so they bring him in and then they have the autistic boy there and then all the women, Catholic Giffords and like her, those other dumb women on the show, they've just been like hot cunts their yeah, entire right. life right. now they're rich and like mm-hmm. they can't relate there's no way they could possibly relate to this autistic boy and she's like looking at him and she's like and jonathan how did it make you feel when brock uh you know, <laughs> i don't know feelings yeah yeah and he's like i don't know fine and she's like but isn't it just so crazy that he wanted to be friends with you isn't that just make you feel great that you know somebody and she's it, just handling it so poorly right. and she's saying to him yeah they, they have the song from yeah, the guy yeah. and they, they had some guy they had some fucking guy write a song for the autistic boy and it's like and Kathy Lee performed yeah, it well, yeah no, Kathy Lee didn't perform oh yeah she, she sings did. the song she but sings the lyrics the song. of the song oh. lyrics of the song are like when you're a fucking loser <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no yeah, one yeah. wants to hang out with you <laughs> yeah. you know 
<laughs> and the, but then the kindness of a stranger, you know, and, then, like, and the kid, they come back, the kid, he's crying. And then she's like, why did you, why are you crying? He's like, it, it make me sad. You know? Oh my God. There's really? a really. Hudson was every cop in the eighties. He's a homosexual man. Yeah. Isn't he? Well, your name mm-hmm. can't be Vel Johnson. <laughs> 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 yeah, do you mean Del Johnson? Uh, no, I don't. It's Vel like Vel. <laughs> it's Vel. Bitch, don't I'm act Carl like you don't Winslow. know. <laughs> don't you know who I am? I'm Carl Winslow. <laughs> Just him pitching a fit at Long John Silver's. <laughs> I need my velvet lunch. <laughs> Just all day. Well, like that, velvet. With that, like, with that gay black guy thing. Well, they always sound like they got a cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where you gonna come over? How come you don't come over no more? You just come over all the time, God but damn. I ain't see, see you in weeks. <laughs> Fuck, they all sound like that. <laughs> so these three brothers are okay. all actors. But the second, the 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 Stephen Baldwin. Gotcha. Or maybe the Billy Baldwin of the LaPaglia family. Sure, Billy's second most, right? Uh, I don't know. After Alec, who gives a shit? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got you, buddy. Wish we could go back in I told time you, and I know not those hear that guys. story. <laughs> You can fucking Ian, leave. Ian, want. this is first of all. I are you really it. opening yourself up to that, Ian? Yeah. You no, want I us like to be it. ruthless to you? I like you it. Fucking piece of shit. I need an ally on this podcast. <laughs> first of all, Ian, <laughs> to our anti-Semitic fans, Ian, though he looks Jewish, is not. So you don't yeah, have to a hate him. Bit of a him. dick field situation, <laughs> but only in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not in the tattoo, certainly. Yeah. Ian's yeah. dumbass has a Phillies logo tattooed on his fucking calf. Big fan because he's <laughs> and it's a shin. <laughs> <laughs> a shin yeah. tattoo. Uh, to stop shins and calves are both. <laughs> when you're fucking, one landmass. When, yeah. When, yeah, when your fucking ham hock leg just terminates in a shoe and, <laughs> indefinitely. I have very you defined have, lower you legs. Have, Thank you. I have the best calves in the game. <laughs> Please check out at Stavi Baby to see my beautiful calf definition. <laughs> Uh, Ian also today just fresh off a butterfly tattoo on his thigh. That's right. That is actually I true. I didn't finish the story about seven days. There's right. a new one coming up. I never watched any of that Enterprise show because that looked really bad. Wait, you're talking about Next Generation? No. There was a show called Enterprise. It was like the last... Enterprise run a car? Yeah. Good, good job. My, uh, my, my, I have a friend. This who's is a very Robin Williams moment. Oh, Enterprise Rigor? Oh, Enterprise. Oh, Enterprise Rigor. Contest. Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla. Ooh. The... The Russian woman with oh, braces. Right, 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 right. And the sex and Israel. necklace. Were in these Israel. just hand jobs? No, I got a, a condom blowjob the first time when I was 18, and then the when I was 29 years old a couple months ago, I got a <laughs> I got a hand job uh, in a in Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> and let me you tell you something. The second one, she she was very good at at doing that. <laughs> there is a spot. Yeah. In uh, like 28th and Lex, and they get very angry when you do not have enough money to pay at the end. <laughs> 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 they are not happy, and I told them I would give their business cards to my friends, and that is not an Wait, acceptable form of currency. you got jerked off and you didn't have money for it? I had just enough to pay a modest tip, <laughs> and uh, when I left, they were like, next time bring more money. I was like, okay, <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> see you. Here's, here's one of his stand-up shots. Oh, I got here. White. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to figure out why sometimes my audio editor pastes audio by pasting it at the cursor point, and sometimes. Yes, you know, you don't know this, but uh, Doctor Evil came on our podcast. No one way. Time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That so thank you, cool. Adam. Thank you, Stoppers. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow, <laughs> Doctor Evil. Doctor Evil, thank you're you back, for man. dropping in. <laughs> yes, no, no problem, Adam and Stoppers. <laughs> Have you been well, harassing? Why, why are you being so rude to Nick and Ian, Doctor Evil? Um. I would rather talk a minimum amount if I could. <laughs> Not so much. Okay, you much. just want to sit in? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> okay, great. So Dr. Evil's just going to sit there He's in the corner. He's going to sit down. He's oh, there. Yeah. Cool. 
He's just hanging out. I heard he's been harassed. Well, my wife left me, so now I'll make Stolen Valor videos at the mall. <laughs> confront retarded kids. Stolen Valor. And fuck up and wear Call of Duty hats. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, we were just watching one that was awesome. Some guy kept They're saying. They're all awesome. Yeah. There's not a single bad one. But the one where the kid said he was, he was drafted when he was 16. <laughs> like, and the guy's like, when was that? And he was like, 2014. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was lying. That that kid's great because he's like lying. He's like, yeah, I was in the army. They tried to make me shoot, but uh, I couldn't do it. No, they, they tried, tried to make me a sharp shooter. Sharp shooter. Well, they tried <laughs> everything. He was like, he's lying about being in the military, but then he makes himself out to be like a really shitty. Yeah, yeah. He's like downplaying it. Yeah, he's a liar, but he's also very humble. That's weird. <laughs> It's bizarre. I think he was just retelling the plot of a movie he saw. Is yeah. what it sounded like. Well, it's so funny when they confront people like that, where it's like they're not stealing valor. This is clearly like a pr person with like a mental Men disorder. Yeah, no yeah. one believes him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they lie like children do. I remember my cousin one time when we were kids who used to lie all the time. But like mm -hmm. a lot of kids lie. Yeah. Right. And my cousin just he would lie like that, like to a bunch yeah, of children. Yeah, yeah. How dare you smoke pot in this house? <laughs> <laughs> and cut. I'm going to be in my trailer for about uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> if, uh, if, if, there's if, there's a, if there's a pair of Oshkoshes on the door handle, don't come and knock it. <laughs> I'm busy in there. Just little overalls yeah, flying yeah, yeah. out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> if, like there's a, if there's a play school trike parked in front of my trailer... <laughs> He's like taking his Don't tie off, putting in like a train conductor. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got finger paints on his door. <laughs> just fingers, on his pants, like, there's just yeah. two red yeah. little kid finger paint prints. <laughs> <laughs> right where the cock is. <laughs> they draw a frown. They're painting a finger paint and a frown on his pants. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yo, I think we laughed about kids getting raped on like the last seven episodes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, who gives a shit? It's funny. You know what my favorite? Uh, so I, I won't say his name because he, he listens. The worst thing. He listens to the podcast. <laughs> he a dollar pacifier. Thank you for joining us. You're listening to Fresh Air on NPR, and uh, today's topic: uh, Nigeria. Is there a funnier way to pronounce it? <laughs> our, gu our guest today is a uh, bunch of fucking. It's a bunch of gay fucking idiots to go out in the desert yeah. and dress up like retards and then <laughs> yeah. burn you know they burn, they burn some giant guy right yeah yeah some big statue there's right? like a pagan sort of ritual they do at the end do they all fuck like what's the whole what's yeah. the deal it's not sexual I don't think yeah I mean that's what the women say but <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're walking around topless there's a pussy out like I love how like there's nothing like creepy about this. <laughs> right. and guys are like, yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no way the like sex, sexual yeah. violence rates are low at yeah. burning. Uh, uh, pretty much, yeah. All the fucking every like guy that's like, I'm actually like a polyamorous, uh, <laughs> yeah. universe, sex positive. It's just a fucking creep. It's, right, uh, exactly. it's always of just course. fucking creep rapists <laughs> yeah. that like are only part of that community because they you know are coos hounds. Right. Hundred percent. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I like it's uh, real corny. I mean, I think that's what it comes down. I to. I was gonna do Fields Fest, which is like I don't know, just like a festival in Baltimore. Uh -huh. that the Wham City guys booked me on to do comedy, and they were like, and I just ha I had to get a real gig. I you know didn't pay well, so I <clears throat> I didn't go. But they were like, oh yeah, there was a nudity zone, and they're like. Like saying how awful, <laughs> dude. Adam, how, we, how, how about we got so today breakfast. at breakfast? <laughs> we got breakfast, and we didn't have that much fucking change for a tip. And Adam just goes like, "You know, you don't have to tip." <laughs> just you know, in so Europe, good. they don't tip at all. Yeah. And personally, I think the Europeans are more enlightened. <laughs> I think it's more of a continental thing not to tip. Uh, Cockfield did that one time. Not tip. Well, he, well, yeah. I mean, it's not tip plenty. But he said that it was a European. Thing? No, no, no. We, we were trying to pick a, a place to eat breakfast one time. We were all sitting on the porch. And, uh, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, how about Mama Mia's or whatever? And somebody's yeah. like, yeah, how about, like, you know, Red Suck River Cafe? Red River Cafe. And then Seth goes, uh, ooh, how about Black Star Co op? It's employee owned, so you don't have to tip. <laughs> And he said that, and we all like looked at each other for a half a beat, and then just burst out laughing in his face. And he fucking got up. He's like, oh, "Forget it! I don't want to eat breakfast with you anyway." To go upstairs. And have a what tantrum. a fucking piece of shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. These small business owners. Yeah, yeah. It's employee owned, so you don't have to tip. 
<laughs> you, you should still tip. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, they tell job. you, like, you don't have to tip. Oh, it's always okay. weird. Like, I go to Kanji Village sometime, and that's yeah. like, they, they pay a living wage, so they're like, don't tip. Oh, what, what's Kanji Village? Community. Thanks, man. <laughs> and you should take a picture of that cup. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, Nobody wants to see this cup. No, it's good. It's a good bit. Um, all right. Well, we're going to take a break. Uh, on this very casual Sunday afternoon, you're listening to Fresh Air on NPR on WNIG. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, I'm Terry Gross. <laughs> <laughs> this is NP- NPR WFAG. All right. <laughs> there. Okay. I am Kagino Aku or Kagino Shi, depending on the site. And this is. Uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse? Drug lords. <laughs> and now he's the guy that just owes people PlayStation. <laughs> um, if you're if you're joining us, this is uh, fresh fresh air on NPR. <laughs> w G A Y F A G G O T. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of that joke. That's a good one, dude. That's the only book you'll need. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reading's gay. Reading is one hundred percent gay. Reading rainbow. Take I mean, a look, you fucking gook. Reading <laughs> rainbow. This is certainly a gook heavy episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, <laughs> second G bomb. Yeah. Well, it's such a funny racial slur because I'm I still not even exactly sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like the songs I wanted to hear them in yeah, my house yeah. alone You fucking asshole <laughs> That's my thing Everyone knows me as the guy that's really into the Men in Black soundtrack <laughs> What was on that soundtrack? Yeah, it was like um, Nas and uh, The Men in Black song Yeah, the Men in Black was, was the Men in like Black Here Smith, Nas. come the Men in Black <laughs> That's right The Galaxy and the Fender. I mean, I don't know I've never heard I, I want to say like E-40 Ooh, was he? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to. Look. That'd be hilarious. Uh, uh, Rammstein. Mm-hmm. I uh, had... a lot of Rob Zombie. That yeah, was a, that was heavily in the movie. <laughs> a record that come man, I record that kill. <laughs> when the I had like, the uh, fucking having his memory erased. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you, when they're flashing Dude, it. That's what you. Rob hear. Zombie sucks so many fucking dicks. It's so crazy <laughs> that his music was so popular when it's always like, "Yeah, a really cool car going really fast." Yeah, by the way, the car's from hell. <laughs> that's, I guess that's a pretty cool song, Rob Zombie. Imagine listening to that and being like. Like, oh, that's scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm terrified. Yeah, spooky. Are his movies good? I've never watched them. Okay, I watched his Halloween remake. Yeah, uh, my aunt did the costumes for the House of Ten Thousand Corpses. She's a did she fuck him? costume designer. No, she's like friends with him. I guess. Do they ever hook yeah, up? Yeah, they fuck, dude. Just admit it. Man, fuck, dude. Just admit that your aunt got dude. boned out by the fucking <laughs> Zob man. <laughs> <I don't> know, <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> The Zob man was all up in them guts, my dude. Yeah. Dude, he's a, he's yeah, dude, a zombie. Yeah, part zombie now. <laughs> Fucking mom had sex with Rob Zombie. Dude, my mom didn't. Dude, yeah, your aunt called your mom and then fucked her yeah. together at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's why they call your mom Slob Knob Zombie. <laughs> She was down there blowing the whole fucking band. <laughs> they don't call her that. Rob Zombie, You're Clarence Zombie, Zombie, Zombie yeah, Frank. Glenn Wait, Fry was, Zombie, <laughs> Glenn Fry. <laughs> <laughs> the whole whole zombie band. <laughs> the heat is on. Um, I That's had, my favorite song. <laughs> what? The heat is on from Beverly Hills Cop. That's a good jam. I had the fucking uh, Space Jam sound. That's why yeah. I go have sex with men yeah. on my boat. I take a fucking... <laughs> I take floaties and I go out into the water mm-hmm. and I fuck on a it's boogie legal. board. I get it's fucked in the ass in a boogie board in international waters. It's legal to auto unlike in the United States. <laughs> Yo, yeah. dude. You'd be fucked if they caught you sucking your own dick. Yeah, but that fucking little parrot, I guess, like, the parrot loved her. and Because, you know, they're smart. Mm-hmm. And then she went on vacation at the beach for two weeks and didn't bring the parrot. And she came back and the parrot was like, how dare you <laughs> and hated her from that point on and really so, yeah so she just had this parrot in her like in her living room that just sat under a tarp it was in a cage under the tarp and they'd put food in there for it and they'd be like okay good night patty and like they would like you know put the blanket over him he just had a hole he would look out all day and he hated people and uh <laughs> They had this, yeah, just this fucking mad parrot. <laughs> yeah. He's been in solitary confinement. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was furious. He held a grudge for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's awesome. Uh, they also had this old as shit Maltese with like no teeth, you know. And uh, the Maltese had to stay in a cage all day long. And so 
they uh you know they would say to the dog like uh julep you want to go outside you know and then she'd be like rah, 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 you know and she'd you know, right. let her out of the cage and take her outside and so when the parrot was feeling spiteful you would just hear the parrot go like julep you want to go outside and then the dog would start barking and shit really like, julep you want to go outside yeah to, like make oh, the dog oh that's, that's awesome yeah. yo they're that smart yeah he was trolling yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that parrot was a troll yeah yeah that's Adam. pretty cool. Yo, what else did he know? What other phrases? That's pretty much all I remember him saying. That's awesome. Yeah. He would whistle a lot. <laughs> you know, he would like do that kind of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. That parrot is badass, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bully bird. You have consent to have sex with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, I think they just gave him to a Mexican woman, who I'm pretty sure prepared him as a, <laughs> a meal. Classic. Uh, <laughs> Classic street food <laughs> taquito. Mm-hmm. Classic. A bird cabeza. Oh, taco. He, he is so beautiful. He is going to be so del- delicious. <laughs> I was at a Mexican restaurant over the weekend, and they, it literally said El Menu on the fucking menu. <laughs> is you that guys how you say menu? Uh, yes, I believe so. I, I speak a professional uh, mm. level. Professional Spanish. Spanish. Um, but what, so you can hang drywall? <laughs> so professional Spanish is? No, so I can read, uh, you know, high-level trade agreements, documents. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, newspapers. Uh, that's, I mean, that's... Where, what were we talking about? That parrot, dude, that cool I'm just parrot. fucking pissed off that, you, that Nick just... It's pretty normal. You got a nice dick? Not nice. It's not, I mean, it's fine. But you also have no, no, nothing taken away from... Your dick right now is maxed out. What do you mean? Like you, if you it's, gained weight, this is like in Stav said that everyone has like seven inches of fat. Yeah, in yeah. Crotch. My dick is Wait, actually thirteen inches that long. Your yeah. dick is because you're fat. I thought if it's you're being fat, held you back. get more mass. You think so? so. You Why doesn't my dick. dick get fatter? Yeah. That's what I want to know. That should be a plus. That should be. Girls get bigger titties the fatter they get. Mm-hmm. Right. Why you does you get a bigger dick? Why don't too? I get a bigger dick? That's fair. I mean, that's fucking. Now you want to talk about gender equality? That's yeah. the first step. Getting fat guys big ass dicks. You know what's the funniest shit that happens to fat people is when they can't wipe their ass anymore. <laughs> so they just have to like have it's like a conveyor belt of mm-hmm. shit from their anus, which is like seventeen and a half inches <laughs> from the actual exit of their ass. Oh so, god, that's yeah. so fucking. So gross. they take a shit, but they're actually shit. You know, it's like how when you see a star, you're actually seeing it from like from it, years days ago. Years yeah, ago. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how like the turds coming out of a fat person's <laughs> ass are. Where they uh-huh. may be shitting, but they're just pushing old shit. Yeah, it's so true. They're actually shitting a shit from several years. It's ago. like a it's like a three stooges <laughs> situation yeah, yeah, yeah. where they all try to walk through the doorway at the same time. Well, it's more like a conveyor belt. So that's yeah, you know, they I guess sit so. down. It's like bum bum bum, but up but bum 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 bum, but up but bum bum. Dude, I don't need. Oh man, imagine getting that fat. Would be nice, dude. I, I don't know, dude. Keep going on to tour with fat. Bobby. I was close. Is Bobby trying to kill you? He might be, dude. One of us will die. God damn, dude. My man. Do you get his his wife if you die? If he dies? Yeah, I inherit his family. If he his dies. wife hot? Good looking lady. Did you fuck her? <laughs> That's we a, had an interview with the, uh, the any, band. Any given Sunday. Yep. Al That's Pacino. how you know I am out of steam. Yeah. <laughs> he just, just say a word. Robin Williams. Like, well, yeah. Whoa. Oh, wait, did we talk about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sketch. Just yeah. the... Oh, it's a rope. Oh, it's a necktie. I'm a businessman. Oh, look at me. Now I'm going to work. Oh, I'm a no. businessman. <laughs> closet. <laughs> Him improving his own suicide. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm turning purple. I'm the genie. Oh, Aladdin. <laughs> you, know, you saved the whole episode right there. Jesus Christ, that's really good. Fuck. Now it's become our I, best episode ever. Yeah, I thought we talked about that before. No, Didn't Robert we? Williams... Free associating through a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you make a nod, and another Jesus. nod, and another one. Oh, it's pretzel time. Well, how many pretzels would you like, little boy? Oh, I'm eating them. I'm eating them all. I put it around my neck. Oh, it's a it's a crown of thorns. Look at me. I'm Jesus. Oh, Dominus uh, Nabisco. <laughs> Uh, thank you for listening, everybody. Come to our live show. Yeah, please come to the live show. Come it's going to be good. to the show. <clears throat> Monday the 24th? Yeah. You put the tips of the dicks together. Mm-hmm. You do- you Am take, I docking? You Are you take, putting your dick in my force? I don't know what docking is. You don't know you what take, docking is? 
You That's what take... docking is. You just describe docking. You think you're inventing it because you're a fucking idiot. You've never no, had a I'm foreskin not... in your life, dude. You're a fucking poser. <laughs> I got mine removed as an adult because I wanted to make decisions about my own body, and I chose not to have that one. happened to my friend. You had yours removed like His a fucking coward as an infant. All right, Probably with anesthesia. I mean, I was doing a bit that I I had know. mine done <laughs> at, at a Pantera concert. <laughs> By Phil Anselmo <laughs> with his mouth, he chewed my foreskin was he off. A rabbi costume, yeah. Yes. And he um, said, "He said, now, now you're a cow man from hell." <laughs> and that was my bar mitzvah. That was your bar mitzvah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. What was what, now? What do I need to imagine? Oh uh, God, I was time? just doing a, a stupid bit. I, Nick is, anyway, you know. time is fucking. I don't. I don't buy any of that fucking shit. Yeah. Dude. I also you should warn. I should warn the listeners. Not only is the battery dying in this, I got to Don't worry. I got backup batteries. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we got food coming, so this might cut off abruptly at some point. Consider that the break. We're gonna hit you with some, some sweet cool tunes from the 1950s. That Which was the one? decade I grew up in, <laughs> back when I met my mm-hmm. wife. What was your wife's uh, name? Uh, I don't know, some shit like Trixie or what, what fucking dumb, yeah, Dot. My wife, Dotty. Dot, <laughs> used to bust down Dot's throat. Mm-hmm. But back then it was called Going Steady. Mm. <laughs> Coming into someone's mouth is what Going Steady is. Yeah. <laughs> You'd rip her po- poodle skirt off and hold her down and she'd say, my dad's a senator. And I'd say, mm-hmm. my dad's a fucking president. And then I'd do whatever I want. That was called Going Steady back then. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, oh, boy. it's like that movie Pleasantville. It was a simpler time, Pleasantville. Yeah, where the soda shop man's gay. Isn't that the story? He I finds out so. he's gay, and then he has color. When the yeah. color, when he, gets he turns color. completely pink. Yeah. yeah, and the wife learns about uh, masturbating. Yeah, that what a great awesome. movie. Oh, that's fucking lunch, dude. Yeah, it was the lunch. Get a dictionary, of the podcast. fucking retard. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Got him. Cooked his ass. <laughs> Wish your, little, wish your little bitch ass, Adam. Yeah, didn't you go to school for reading? Um, <laughs> you know what the fuck lunch means? I think everyone technically goes to school I didn't. for reading. No, nah, I went to school for sports. <laughs> <laughs> I got through... Uh, I went to the Finger t- Bombing Academy, personally. Finger Blast? Bombing. No, we're the bomb technique, not the I went, blast. I went to school. Bom- How do you bomb a pussy? Is that like when you do really bad and the room is just yeah. dead? No, no, no. Like, that's like, when, no, that's when you're even from the top. You take a dump. You got to take a dump in the pussy. That's the bomb in the pussy. <laughs> Either that or you Jesus, fill it with spray man. paint. <laughs> Oh my god! And then you huff yeah. it, yeah, dog. Yeah. That's how the fuck. There's we actually get down. a documentary about the the Chicano movement in the 1970s to mm-hmm. invent pussy bombing. Stand and deliver. <laughs> yeah, stand and deliver is about these. He yeah. has to reach the kids. Mm-hmm. Edward James. Edward almost. James. Yeah. Uh, the the poster boy of adult acne. Yeah, mm-hmm. his skin is fucked up. It's really like Eddie bumpy. J-O. Yeah. It looks like a Eddie lunar. J-O. Eddie J-O, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a great name for him. Yeah, Eddie J-O. Uh, Eddie J-O. I don't fucking know. Wait, so uh, Amber's back. Hi. What's going on? I'm high and trying Maybe to Maybe chocolate covered me. pretzels. I, barbecue. No. Well, yeah, what I want is barbecue. a glass. Maybe like a Twix bar. One of those, like first of all, it's Twix not bar. going to Stav's place. It's coming here. You can do it to mm. my place. I'll give. <laughs> message me and I'll give you my address that's, and you can just give it to me. Actually. Don't message him. Please message me. Don't uh, send him anything. Here's what we're getting is an uh, uh, iced tea container. One of those big glass ones with the, uh, mm, the a, spigot yeah. at the end. Ooh. It's going to have the, oh, with the, the, push the spigot's yeah. good. I want the spigot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fucking pour my iced tea like a slave. <laughs> Nick Mullen, I want full service tea iced tea. <laughs> I, want it so, I want my white gloves on. I'm going to spill a drop on my fucking gloves. And I will slit your throat <laughs> on this porch <laughs> with my fucking razor. <laughs> okay, hell yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah, so we'll Please take one of those. Oh, we also I want, also want a Vitamix and a PlayStation. I want a Vitamix. You can't copy me, dude. I want it. Why? I wanted the Vitamix first. Why can't I copy you? Stop. Do you, are you sure you don't want anything? Cash? <sighs> that lunch took a little bit out of me, but... Um, Can we talk about how... Bob the fucking drag queen regrammed some of my shit, dog. Congrats. The, the drag queens are on my are, are on my shit, dude. And I feel great about it. You gotta yeah, I'm you friends with drag queens. Do? Are you? Who? Why do you why don't you stop fetishizing the gay community, dude? Huh? I'm why celebrating you stop being a them? gay tourist. I'm celebrating I mean, their I think, power to be fair, and beauty. He's fetishized by yeah. 
the gay thing. I think yeah. the only way to if make anything. this not feel wrong, what you're doing, is it's if... to be gay. Well, no. If we get a vial of HIV positive blood and inject <laughs> it into him. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What <laughs> is on your mind today? A being fair <laughs> is on my mind, dude. <laughs> Justice. Can I just... Jeez. I don't want to think I want to do that, dude. Mm. What if I just sucked you and uh, Adam off? No. Why not? I think I think you. What's have the to have gayest these? thing you guys have ever done? Gayest That's sex with question. like six men. Yeah. What? No, seriously, it's a good question. It is a good question. Um, I don't know, man. I was just fucking naked with a gay man. Uh, dressed for a as picture. Mario. That's pretty gay. I went to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> but what do you mean? Only because there's. I it mean, I t- I'm, 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 I'm waiting matter. for election day yeah. so I can buy a Make America Great Again hat. That's right. Really yeah. yeah. That's put what. Put my new fucking card in. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite terms for women, uh, vulgarly? Everyone. Right? It's gotta be sugar walls. You think sugar walls? <laughs> I Mine think that, is, uh, once I heard it, I was like, I'm gonna use that word for the rest of my damn life. <laughs> Mine is. Uh, Holes, hole. Holes, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, that one just that sucks yeah. so it's much. I like, uh, I like floats. Yeah, where are these holes? Oh, floats, yeah. floats or tubes? <laughs> floats. <laughs> What's going on, floats? <laughs> I, I like the more familiar. Yeah. Like a tubes girl would is say, funny. How you doing, yeah, floats is like you need to know. Science, or I, I think so. if you want to go, uh, I, I think it's funny to call all women bones, like that yeah. show Bones. Oh, but yeah, 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 yeah. The or, uh, medical science uh, yeah. show or Midge. I think it's great to call every woman you know. Midge, Midge. is funny. You should start going with the Midge thing. Yeah, hey Midge. You're, you're very good also at Shelly when you do uh, uh, when Jack you do Lennon. Jack Lennon. I think the meanest w- name to call a woman is the N word. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like I the thought classics. it was a pet name. <laughs> it was the first time I heard it. I thought that sounds great. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like our thing, babe. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, I was joking it. around with my friend because, like, my dog's name is Isis. So I was like, "What if that was uh, my my new name that I gave the dog? Or if I just named the dog Hitler? Hitler's pretty funny." That's a cute name. Yeah. Um, but Hitler's definitely a boy's name. Dolph. What's your dog's name? Oh, it's the N-word. I can't really say it, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's I only really say disobedient. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't listen to me because I can't say your name. I can't say your name. I really need that. Um, I like trim and muff. I think those are some classics. I hate muff. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, trim. But that means pussy more than it means. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's more of a what, is sugar dush walls or a medicine? Sugar walls means woman. Which one is, <laughs> is woman? Which one is walls medicine? isn't pussy. Well, it's not. It's like sugar tits. You call them sugar tits. You call them sugar walls. And then it's. Oh, that's fucking gross, dude. Yeah, I know. So gross. <laughs> hey, what's up, asshole glands? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Sweet sphincter. <laughs> Oh, uh, candy taint. How you doing? Hey, let me get some of that serve. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to start saying candy panicking. taint. Swervix. Does anyone- Swervix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's soft a, cervix. You got you to hit the swervix. I want to I want a cone of soft cervix. Soft cervix. If you were in a bar... Amber and a guy just went up to you and <laughs> just like telling Come you, on, man. <laughs> yeah, that shit fucked my like it fucked my month up when I saw that. I didn't see the whole dead body, but I saw like a leg and a shoe. Yeah, Ooh, that shit was fucked. fucked. Up. And then it was just like a million people with their fucking phones out. Yeah, and oh, then we got terrible. and then everyone got <laughs> yelled at to like leave the platform. Yeah. And it was it just like on a personal level too, because like there was this one old Chinese man who would not listen <laughs> to the firefighters. Like, show some fucking respect. He's just standing there smiling. <laughs> <laughs> really? He was, it was trying to get most content. Surreal shit I've ever seen. That's nightmare. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah awesome. He he literally had the the like most psychotic smile on his face. He's <laughs> oh like God. he knew the guy. I was so happy he was dead. Oh, he knew the guy. No, oh. but like no, I was like, that's not just Chinese people are. <laughs> yeah, they're happy when death comes. Well, yeah, they have no etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. What are you talking about? Chinese people are like famously obsessed with etiquette. 
Uh, well, they're etiquette, you know. Which Chinese? The Chinatown Chinese? Because absolutely not. Okay, but you understand most You're applying Chinese Western people etiquette don't to live it. in Chinatown. Well, but where somebody's jumping in front of a train, I mean, yeah, that Chinese guy's probably a Chinatown guy. <laughs> I saw somebody taking a dump on the sidewalk in broad daylight. It was a Chinese guy. <laughs> and, oh, I saw that, that proves shit. it. No, you're right, I Nick. told you about that on uh, on Throop. I went around and uh, I saw this woman like <coughs> circling cars and leggings and like looking lost and right in front of that daycare she just pulled down her pants and just like a deluge of diarrhea oh, like oh, shot no. out I like, feel for her. that was probably an emergency it was maybe I feel two, for her this I, was they, a, were, they were smack shits she was totally like oh okay yeah she's like heroin's back baby well, it's the, the 90s there's this uh, oh, yeah oh, this man. Chinese Jeez. guy he was just sitting on the sidewalk heroin gives you the shits he was squatting yeah. usually it makes you constipated uh well, I think I it has coke something to do with something else. No, doing. coke makes you poop. Coke makes you shit. Really? Well, yeah. Well, if it's cut well, with a lot poop of times stuff. it's cut with. Well, this laxatives. Chinese guy, he's squatting there, and he not only was he shitting, he was. But this pulling, woman was like weaving. He was pulling like, the turds out of his ass with his hand. Yeah, that was awesome. That's an yeah. awesome part. Of yeah, the yeah. yeah then, you what? Told me that. Yeah, he was a Chinese guy pulling turds out of his ass with his hand. And I excitedly called Adam and told him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like this guy. Yeah. It's like he's never learned how to shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He just doesn't know that he can wait. All right, it's time to shit now. Just yeah. wait for. He's got to do it uh, Muslim style. <laughs> God damn. It. Well, that's what you it's called. Are, yeah, that's, that's what it's called. Where in in uh, all the Islamic countries, every single one. In of the them. Islamic countries, they call it Muslim style. They call yeah, it Muslim waving, style waving your your ass with your hand is called Muslim. In style. New York, they call it New York style pizza, even yeah. though we're here. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you got check me there. A <laughs> what, she's Good a work. freaking professor, dude. Yeah, dude. So no, I'm time to go back to fucking class. That's an own, dude. All right. So then, but then two days later, I see this Chinese lady, broad daylight, Canal Street. And her sons, her like five year old sons next to her, and the kid's got his pants pulled all the way down to his ankles, and the mom is holding the son's penis <laughs> and directing the flow of his urine all over the sidewalk. <laughs> But don't you just not need to really do that with like a baby if you can stand? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, on, he's never told you this before. Baby it's dicks. so funny, dude. She's just holding a little he's tiny dick. Holding this dick. <laughs> and he's he's pulling his shirt up. He's got like a ham taro shirt. The only on. reason I'm not laughing he's is Dick's <laughs> told this a million times. You've never heard him say this huh? before. I, I have, but it's this. fucking hilarious. It's so dude. funny. It's dude, the funniest thing ever. She's just, hold, she's just like annoyingly holding a little ass dick. Dude. Yeah. yeah. A yeah, no, little uncircumcised Chinese dick. Yeah. 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 My mom never had to hold my dick. Why? Because I knew how to hold my own fucking dick. Yeah, that's true. You're a human being. You have some like. Uh, uh, but you said uh, it was like a baby. No, it was like a five-year-old. Oh, listen, listen to the, to the whole one thing. time through, and I think they're okay. I think they're the, just for children. It's just, don't judge it. I'm by. just tired of fucking forty-year-old motherfuckers no, freaking out and going That's to the show. That's weird. I agree. That shit sucks, dude. Imagine going to a fucking concert to hear "I'm Fat." <laughs> <laughs> imagine going to a concert You're mad to right hear now. fucking yeah. He, that yeah. shit oh, sucks. Now we finally got to this rude old. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. It's, it's, it's not. You're bad at him. You're bad at him. It's not fucking. It's not, not funny. Big, Some people woman. have problems. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> glandular issues, and they can't. Fu- is that so funny? And you know, may, I used to like that song, but now I can't even listen to it without feeling offended. Yeah. The original, the Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm black. I'm black. Whatever it is, I'm black. I'm, I'm black. black. I swear I'm to God, really, really black. I swear to God, I'm black. Who's black? No, dude, I can't. I just can't think of them because they all suck dick. <laughs> now, did he drug for you? I know. I've been trying for it to be the right drug for me for for fucking seventeen years or something. <laughs> <coughs> um, you want some more? I cried it up. Yeah, out, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't cry it up, but it did. That did fuck. That me shit up. fucked me up, dude. The beginning where the, the lady dies. Come on. Oh, dude. the beginning of the. I was JJ high as hell too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was high uh, as hell. It's brutal. It was no, brutal. I didn't cry from that. I can't cry, cry from cartoons. I, I cried at the end when somebody okay. told me that the little boy was supposed to be Asian. <laughs> I thought he was white the entire time, and then somebody was like, "No, he's Asian," and then I. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I felt bad for enjoying that movie. Damn, Damn bro. <clears throat> uh. 
No, um, I cry like any time there's a dad and a touchdown and a speech and a comeback and a victory. I cry half did you, of did you half cry? the ESPN thirty for thirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you cry? Thirty for thirties. Fuck me up. Did you cry during the inch by inch speech? One of those hooded boys of looked at me wrong. the wrong way at the mall last week, so I feel it'll be yeah. fair. A bunch of fucking dumb rednecks, rednecks from Southern Oregon. Yeah. Oh God damn. Yeah. Fucking assholes. That's the that's so wild. But I'm you, sure their defense attorney wore like, like an oversized cowboy hat the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> the child's yeah. going, like, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just a frontier man like my daddy was and my daddy before him. In fact, I don't even know the law. I've only read the operator's manual for my 2016 Ford F-150. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Covered a note cover. section in the back. And in the note section, do you know what I wrote, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> From memory. And I stood up while I was doing it, and I will continue to for the rest of my life. <laughs> Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> Dude, you uh, should be a lawyer, a man. Yeah. I moved. Yeah, I'm yeah. crying right now. You just got a channel. Uh, crying. That was a time to kill. To kill. Yeah. yeah, you were like Matthew up there, dude. Right. Shit, it's good. Yeah, they pull up that truck, and they threw the pledge of allegiance in the back of that truck. And <laughs> the Constitution, and they brought the Constitution uh, out to a field, and they held her down in that hot summer heat. <laughs> They used her head for beer can throwing practice. <laughs> and when they were finished, they raped the Constitution. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that. Con well, hold on. I don't know what, how analogies work, but <laughs> imagine it's like a white girl or something. Thanks. Case closed. <laughs> Defense rest, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, shit. You know who sounds exactly like him? He's kind of a piece of shit, but he's like so, he's like so pleasing to listen to. Trey Gowdy. That's like the center of the defensive That's line. That's right, my friend. And uh, you better believe I, I fucked some shit up until a giant fucking 6'5", 380-pound kid just fucked my shoulder up big time. Yeah. Is that why you're fat now? <clears throat> yeah, ever yeah. since then. Ever since then, I got an fat. I used to, well, first of all, I'm an athlete. Thank you. I can run faster than everyone in here. I doubt and, that. Uh, I, I'm almost positive I could beat you in a foot race. And uh, I can also jump higher, and I fuck longer and stronger and better. That's not true. Mm. It is true. I don't understand why we have to like pretend that I don't. people aren't you know just dying. We're all dying, baby. Yeah, but I mean, you know, faster. No, I have, I have, I have extra energy f to fuck. Yeah, you've been reading too much Lindy West. <laughs> I get all my health advice from Lindy West's yeah, yeah. health, <laughs> health blog. <laughs> I love how fat she's gotten. I love how the, the, she's even bigger. <clears throat> oh yeah, she's she's enormous. like rockabilly fat. Uh, she's one of those rockabilly yeah. fat girls, <laughs> right? She's that's just like her cherry her, red yeah. hair curls. That's her dream is to be like yeah, it says pinup fat girls, but if you put their picture on the wall, the whole fucking house will collapse. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pin them. On that. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. I just pulled down. It's a load bearing picture. <laughs> Don't, don't hang don't hang up that picture Lindy West on a load bearing wall oh, yeah. whatever you do <laughs> that wall is structural <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, fuck. you're fucking up the structural integrity of the building <clears throat> yeah she's a huge bitch be a, be a <laughs> that would be a good uh, way to 9-11 some buildings there just hang up <laughs> yeah just hide uh, treats in them. Yeah. And then, well, while Lindy's around. <laughs> Do I smell treats that I deserve? <laughs> I smell something I deserve. She's just blast through walls yeah. like, uh, I earned this. Like the IDF <laughs> in Gaza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just uh, explode into people's living rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Kool-Aid man her yeah. way through America. Oh, God. Well, that's good. I that do love when, to when fat people shame someone with legitimately bad opinions for their appearance and not her. Fat you. <laughs> a lib Libertianzo. It was a gift from Italy. The Italians gave it to America for being second best. <laughs> the second best country after Italy where the women are 200 feet tall and they got the biggest fucking titties you can ever see. <laughs> but they got small pussies. They got small pussies. Pussies and you can fuck them. <laughs> I like this Pacino by the end. Yeah, well, I mean, he's Italian. Yeah, it counts. Yeah. Pacino. Apps. Yeah, yeah. This lady's by, <laughs> by Eric's house. So we're yeah. close to where the, those late. Eric should be on the show, out. I feel, personally. You talked to him the other day? Yeah. 
He came to the show. Did he drop any knowledge? Uh, nah, he just went off again about how the David Cross episode was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking retard. Dude, you guys fucking sucked on that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him on and bully Dude, him. Dude, I listened to your David Cross episode. That shit fucking sucked. <laughs> 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 oh, nice to see you, dude. Um... Yeah, <clears throat> I would. I would be. I would. I would like having our friends on and bullying them. We get Halloween episode. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, this one's going up tonight. Oh, okay. We should, the bonus one should be a spooky Halloween episode. Yeah. Um. Let's tell ghost stories. Well, we tell a okay. scary story. Adam, what's your favorite ghost story? Tell uh, us. my favorite ghost story. Um. <laughs> How about, okay, so there was a guy, a man. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this man. You know, he'd been living in this town his whole life, and it was a pretty quiet town, you know, mm-hmm. not a lot of trouble, you know, not that there wasn't crime, it was like any other town, I guess, sure. but mm-hmm. small things here or there, like any good, uh, any good citizen, he decided to join uh, his local neighborhood watch. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> And they said, no, George. Come on, dude. <laughs> Trayvon's been dead for 40 years. <laughs> oh. I know another one. I know another one. I know another one. Fuck. <laughs> so there's this, um, there's this woman. She's a, she's a day trader in Manhattan. Uh-huh. It's 1980s. She's making a lot of money. A lot of cocaine those days. <laughs> Wall Street. Money never sleeps. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that was the sequel. It was just regular Wall Street. Okay? <laughs> She's a successful woman. She knows what she wants. She thinks she could have it all. But she doesn't have a lot of time in the day. One of her greatest joys is jogging. But she has to do it in the middle of the night. Through Central Park. Through Central Park. <laughs> A couple of uh, spooky characters. <laughs> we had five spooky, <laughs> dark, and God spooky it, <laughs> boys. Uh-huh. Boys, they were. <laughs> they raped her in the park. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, I'm not doing this game. <laughs> <laughs> I got another scare story. Yeah. Uh, one time I was walking down the street and uh, this fucking dude came out of nowhere so I had to call the police and well, now he's dead uh, oh boy no, there was a there was, there was an once old a- neighborhood and uh, you know a long time ago it actually used to be pretty nice but uh, you know time goes on things change and uh, there was a, a specter they say a spirit mm-hmm. that discount cigarettes Ooh. He would scare Ooh. everyone by selling those tax free cigarettes mm. out of his backpack. Man, until one day, yeah. some heroes were alerted. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they found his weakness, asthma. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, All right, here's a scary story. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this game anymore, guys. There's a <laughs> three's pretty good. <laughs> there's a boy. There was a boy who lo- who 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 was wanted he, more than anything a toy to be in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. But no, not as the Dark Knight. <laughs> 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 but as Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> they say if you go into that theater late at night, you can still hear um, him uh, saying, you want to know how I got these scars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you want to know how I got these scars? My dad's dick was this big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just love the idea of the dad popping that kid's face open with his with his. It was dick. really hard, like that's, a huge dick. And that's what happened to the Joker's face. <laughs> his dad I was thinking he had a really. His sharp dad dick. stretched the kid's dick out. Do you know what the Chelsea <laughs> smile is? Yeah, 
What? Yeah, it's so the, like the, the Sons football, of Anarchy guy. Football hooligan. And Jason Statham did we, it too. We just beat up other men <laughs> to impress the football boys. <laughs> to impress we the think, young Italians. <laughs> we, think, we think that the football boys will be proud of us. That's why I can be the best at wearing a scarf. <laughs> you know that Tottenham, their, their like firm is called the Yids because they're like, they have a lot of Jewish fans. Right. Yeah. And so people like at uh, games, they'll like... Heil Hitler and they'd be like Oi Go to the fucking ovens You pieces of shit <laughs> And I think the, the supporters Like wear cartoonish Like Oh yeah The yeah. fucking hat And the fucking payo The yeah, curly yeah, shit yeah. Like I think they They uh, use Jews As like fucking mascots It's hilarious Like we do With the Native Americans Whew, It's pretty good man Yeah I'm Pretty conscious You know Well that was The ghost stories That really saved it I thought those oh. were good. Those were sort of like the generic. Start Italian, yeah. eating my ass. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Oh, hey, yeah. Can you hear them, boys? Look at them. What are they saying? Ooh, they're saying carpe diem. Make your suicide extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying, boy. <laughs> what if um. When they did the Oh Captain, My Captain scene. Me and Norman were just talking about that movie the other day. What a shit movie. Uh, <laughs> what a fucking awful it. movie. The about good, these like, the rich boys. <laughs> this is an essay by Teddy Roosevelt about what makes a good boy a goody good boy. <laughs> oh, God. And it's just ridiculous. It's, like, grown men back then used to be obsessed with boyhood. Like That's what the Boy Scouts yeah. came out of. It's mm. like, they have to be good goody boys who <laughs> learn how to be good and just. And they wear shorts and we can see their legs. <laughs> when they bend over, we know they're good. And it's like this ridiculous essay by him that I read. A I could find it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you even, find it and read even the Hitler Youth, you know? Yeah, same thing. Same thing. So the your shorts. dog looked over when you said Hitler Youth. She was well, looking out the window and then looked looked back when you mentioned Hitler. If you said it one more time, my she, dog programming would have kicked in. Mm -hmm. My dog's a. Uh, Adam got the dog from the little Trump. rascals. Yeah. <laughs> The one she that looks ended exactly up killing like Buckwheat. Dog. You know that's how that actor died? The pit no. bull on the show. No. Yeah, it tore his larynx up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I He's mean, lying. I wish. How funny. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Yeah, well, you know, the original Buckwheat. Uh, I mean, they would have back then they would have been just as mad to have to replace the pit bull as a black child. Hey, what's up they, with that dude that's just going to fight? The Twitter guy that's like in some kind of fucking army or some shit. Did you see that shit? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, piss pit granddad. What the fuck is up with that? Hey, join the YPG to fight for the Kurds. <laughs> that's, that's sick, dude. Fucking crazy. Well, yeah. yo, honestly, he's get his shit split, right? He's fucked. I mean, maybe, maybe if not. If you're honestly, I think I, I heard if, he has some kind of military training. Oh, okay. And that picture he posted, he's got like a with fucking puppy? dragon off. Yeah, he's 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 hooked up. That's like a heavy duty like sniper rifle, dude. Those fucking. I'm scared of Kurds though, dude. Why? They're fucking scary, dude. You're out in the Wait. fucking desert. No, shit. dude, the YPG are sick. They have yeah. like hot girls that are in the. <laughs> I have seen some of those. Viral they're they're feeds. like the they're, they're communist like the vice Kurdish communist militia militia. No, no, they're cool. But who the fuck are they fighting? ISIS. Oh damn, dude, ISIS will fuck that. Yeah, shit up, they're dude. mean to ISIS. It's cool. Yeah. Well, that's why the government. No, they're cool. Give but... a shit. There was a kid that. Uh, what are you fucking doing? I'm taking a video of ISIS on the podcast. Sorry. You're fucking... The brave, like, communist one against ISIS? That's... Yeah, that's the idea cool. cooler. The IDF fights children. I, yeah, I don't want to be like pointing a gun at a kid throwing a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. You know, yeah, that's why they have the best snipers in the world. I think I made that joke. Because <laughs> they have to train for children. Because they have to. The you know smaller how fucking targets? hard it is to pick off uh, a six-year-old, two hundred yards. Good, good joke. Great joke. Um, Thanks. The Greek army is fucking hilarious, dude. It's just like you just, it's have to just go naked, naked wrestling. Still naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're still naked. Yo, yo, yeah, there's we, one gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? They would probably actually win a ground war if, like, you know, the fucking... Let's say there was a war with Greece. Yeah. And, uh, like, the Marines showed up. And they're like, oh, we got to take this compound. And then a bunch of Greek dudes just ran out naked at them. And they'd <laughs> be like, whoa, 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 what the yeah, fuck? What yeah. the fuck, dude? <laughs> Don't be gay at me. <laughs> they just start the, shooting themselves, yeah, like yeah, yeah. kissing, <laughs> yeah. committing suicide. Yeah. <laughs> We've trained each other to fucking suck each other's dicks while doing cartwheels towards the enemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> the Marines just call their wives in San Diego. Just yeah. like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of here. That are yeah. Most definitely fucking like a guy that works for UPS. Of course. While they're over in Iraq or He wherever. just don't talk to me. 
I, yeah. I I I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this one. There's so many, <laughs> there's so many Greek so guys. many uncircumcised yeah. dicks that's getting the, sucked by that's men. That's the Marine special. You go to war and you come home and you marry a woman that looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all get married quick as shit for like benefits or some shit. Uh, like if you have a wife, you get more or some shit. I think shit. it's PTSD, dude. I think they're you think like, it's PTSD? well, it's time to have. Uh, <clears throat> yes, there is. There's a Jew Jew mafia. Mafia. You know what I've always wanted to be? There's uh, a Jew mafia. What are you talking like about? In Cleveland, though? Oh, in Cleveland, yes. Like, Cleveland. I, would, I would. I've always wanted to be a Kansas City businessman. <laughs> you know who's Cleveland? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chef Boradie. What do you mean? Chef Boradie is from Cleveland. <laughs> there are a lot of Italians in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chef Boradie actually used to be a real guy. He probably yeah. doesn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the 50s, he was like a TV guy. Really? Chef Boyardee, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Huh. Cleveland. His name was Chef Boyardee. Yeah. That's such a fucking dumbass name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Dom, I'm Tom yeah. Boyardee. <laughs> what's, what's better, Guy Fieri? Yeah, yeah. Boyardee is pretty yeah. garbage. Boyardee's yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. That sounds like a cartoon's name. Yeah, it's probably some French bullshit. Yo, shout out to Cl- the city of Cleveland, Northeast Ohio. Cleveland rocks, Cleveland rocks. <clears throat> Drew Carey must be so stoked with these Cleveland Indians in the series and LeBron getting his ring like this, dude. <laughs> uh, On the bottle? That's hilarious. No, it was an actual woman. She she was in blackface? She was like a 500-pound black. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. every... <laughs> Every black woman in... Uh, so you know, was Uncle Ben, right? Yeah, well, Uncle Ben was supposed to be a slave. Jesus and then, then people Christ. petitioned the company to change it, and the company was like, what? <laughs> uh, and they finally changed it in, like, 2012. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't Kentucky Gentleman, doesn't that still have a slave? I don't know. Giving the ma- it's like the fucking on lowest the bottle? grade whiskey there is. Yeah. yeah and bad. I think it just has, like, a slave giving the master a bottle of, of whiskey. And I think that's still the fucking shit. It's a whiskey. It was definitely that way in college, because my dumb racist friend showed it to me, like, isn't this fucking hilarious? <laughs> like, he's like, finally, we still get some fun stuff. And he's like, no, this is... You can't fucking do this. <laughs> he just thought it was it's the best history, shit dude. ever. That's how you used to get your whiskey. You'd have... <laughs> You have all indoor Jimmy bring it to you. <laughs> Do we talk about this already? I was talking about this with my friend Max the other day, but about how um, Trump said that um, Clinton is the is the most violent to women out of any president <laughs> of all time, and we were just joking around about how like. Thomas Jefferson like yeah, raped literally <laughs> raped his property yeah. multiple times. He created a last name. Yeah. It's like the most popular black last name. Hemmings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he repeatedly raped yeah. his human property, brought her to France so he could yeah. keep raping her. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just like thinking about how hey, many hey, pretty, how many black people have the same last up. name as the founding fathers and yeah. it's like whoo, 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 whoo. <laughs> whoa. Oh the Jeffersons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jefferson and like Washington I'm Letitia Big. Washington. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Um my name's uh Tanisha John Quincy Adams. <laughs> 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 Tanisha Quincy Adams, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh Le John uh, Quint- Quinchita. <laughs> yeah, Jackson was literally just a, an absolute monster. Yeah, he was. Yeah. A, but didn't. And it's like one have, of the most popular. Have Michael Jackson, if it weren't for no, Jackson. He wouldn't. Had he not. Uh... Did we talk about how my favorite president is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> one time I went on a camping, camping trip with that. my friends, and uh, my friend borrowed my other friend who didn't come with us' his, uh, sleeping bag. And he slept naked in his sleeping bag and had a wet oh, dream oh, that night. Hell yes. <laughs> so he's like, dude, don't say anything. I'm just going to give it back to him. Oh. Yeah, it was disgusting. Why That's did he hilarious. sleep naked? <laughs> I don't know. It's already <laughs> fucked up. Sleep naked in someone's sleeping bag. A, that's fucked bag. up. Yeah, and then B, he, he jizzed. He's like, he like my woke man, up in the morning. My man like, said, I got a bust I got to do. <laughs> also, what the fuck? I'll take one of them sleepy time busts. <laughs> he was with, it was just a sleepover? That's what no, I, no, I like to imagine. I like to imagine in The Matrix when like Neo's waking up in that tube. That's just all cum. Because think of how many times he beat off in the Matrix. <laughs> and he's like waking up. He's like, oh, because you notice there's no tube in his dick. That's so he's just coming in there and he's like, oh, no, I'm fucking 35 years and nothing. <laughs> Every time you've ever ejaculated, it happens in the Matrix. Just chase that mod. The machines are like, yeah, that's fucking gross. We don't touch that shit. These stupid humans. Yeah. He's like waking up. If you die in the Matrix, 
do you bust here? <laughs> and Morpheus is wiping cum off his mouth. He's like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really think that's cum you're drinking? <laughs> Damn, Joey Pants was such a fucking villain in that movie. Yeah. I love Joey Pants, dude. Ralphie Sopranos. Yeah. We gotta have. He a was a great. Yeah, episode. he was a great character. All right. Well, that's the episode. So was it? it? Yeah, fifty-two minutes. I guess we could talk. <laughs> we could talk day. another. That used to do tap dancing. That everyone beat up all the time. <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> That's pretty, That's pretty funny. funny. Yeah, he was like really into tap dancing, and he thought it was cool. And then he got the shit beat out of him like every Friday. <laughs> like what? he just waited for him to come out of school, and <laughs> yeah. they just kicked. I his never head did him. it. Yeah, but yeah, no, he got beat up pretty often <laughs> because of tap dancing. <laughs> Like I love how that was just like better not do anything gay or you'll get beat up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <It's> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. People just choose to beat you Remember up. Remember when yeah. they tried to make tap dancing cool again for a week? She's like, um, she loves Hamilton. Oh. Like she like tried to put it on like when we were just chilling, like in a social circumstance. She's oh. like, Do you guys mind if I put on the Hamilton soundtrack? Oh, and I'm like, No, boy. please don't. And so yeah. she was like, um she's like, guys, I'm really upset because Lynn Manuel from Hamilton. His joy in life used to be riding the New York City subway system, and he can't do it anymore because he's too rich and famous. <laughs> what what kind of subhumans of New York bullshit is that? Oh, Isn't that my. the most infuriating thing you've ever what heard? What are you That's talking awful. about? Oh my god, this rich guy doesn't have to ride the train. Fucking, he doesn't have to everywhere. sit next so to. So famous people ride the fucking train all, all the, the time. time. All the time. I saw I Helen a, Mirren on the train I the other day. I was standing next to Nick Offerman for like fucking nine. Stops. Hamilton he guy thinks he's too yeah. big for the MTA. That's yeah. funny. B the fact that she is yeah. sad about it. Well, a bunch of fucking <laughs> assholes. A bunch of people like her would accost him if he was ever on the subway. Yeah. That's the truth. She's the reason he can't ride the subway. Listen, he took. The experience of of sitting I would next love, to I would love to be drunk on the train with Lin Manuel. Like, hey, Jefferson, motherfucker! <laughs> Woo! I'm Thomas Jefferson, and this is my dance. I pulled my hand down my pants, motherfucker. That's you, right? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, come here, asshole. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what a fun riff to end. Fuck Hamilton. 1776, bitch. <clears throat> Thank right. you for listening to Come Town, everyone. Goodbye. I have a good time <laughs> podcasting in my car while drunk. <laughs> driving around podcasting. Um, this is the driving episode. We are all intoxicated. We just had a Shut fifth. the fuck up. I'm okay. explaining why, the, why we're not doing the theme song. <laughs> So he goes, so Lewis says, that girl that went to the Olympics for ice skating. <laughs> Tanya Harding? Uh, Nancy no, Harding? The Chinese girl. Oh, uh, Lucy Liu. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you, uh, Christy Yamaguchi. Christy Yamaguchi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Michelle Kwan, which one? Maybe, but I, think I don't Mich- know. Yamaguchi was, was earlier. <laughs> Yamaguchi yeah. was hotter. Well, they, they, you know, you could see they were like sparkly shit all over their pussy. When I was in third grade, that did like a lot for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just drew the eye to the yeah, pussy. Yeah. I wanted to fuck uh, <laughs> Kelly Bundy. Oh, of yeah. course. And you wanted to fuck Kelly Bundy. Uh, yeah, you know, I met uh, Christina Applegate. She oh, really? looked good? Yeah. Uh, well, she was older at the time, so no. What? Yeah, I wouldn't fuck her. Probably like <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> you wouldn't fuck no. her. <laughs> I mean, she, you could tell she wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was kind of annoying. It's kind of her ammo. It's fuck. fucking uh, just strangers that happen <laughs> to be in proximity to her. <laughs> Where did you meet her? The Kennedy Center. Oh, she was okay. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The Kennedy Center, fucking uh, someone, when I was there like, initially, mm-hmm. as like ballot options, because everything I had to tie into like teaching kids about democracy or whatever. Right, some bullshit. So, you know, there's a like different, and then there was like a write in option. So it was like, you know, either the t- uh, the principal kisses a pig or whatever. They get like, a fucking <laughs> pig from a farm and she had to kiss it. I think that was the one that ended up winning. The principal ended up kissing the pig. <laughs> but, uh, Stupid bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there was a couple other ones, but then there was this kid, Chris, who was like, uh, 
me and my friend Anthony, we were like friends with them. We were all on the baseball team together and yeah. we all like sucked. And we sort of, <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, Chris was at like the sort of the bottom of that pecking order in between me, Anthony and Chris or whatever. And uh, Chris was like kind of like, he was just like a dumbass. He was like aloof and like didn't yeah. think about shit. So they all had, they put out the, like the ballots of like what you could vote for to happen if we got like the box stops. And so in a write-in space, and these are anonymous. They just hand one to everyone. They're anonymous. And he wrote his name at the top for some reason. <laughs> And then in the uh, like uh, like other section, he writes down, uh, "Mrs. Vasilio should jump off the school and kill herself." <laughs> and then he, like, Jesus Christ! And then he erases his name and turns it in, but his name's still like clearly visible. Yeah. And then he got like suspended, and then they like write an apology. To the- <laughs> that one was probably so sad. She's <laughs> like some fucking yeah, yeah. overworked, uh, yeah. like single. Because he's up. There's so many. There's a specific type of like uptight Greek woman who's like yeah. 36, has never fucked because she's like. Yeah. She still lives at home with her fucking parents and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's probably just like trying to get through the fucking day. And then he's like, she sees this shit. Can't, couldn't relate to kids as a child. And then as and a now teacher. Has to be a teacher. And yeah. It's like, even now she's getting bullied. Yeah. No, like, I hated her though. Well, I had like, what I had was, a, was she? I had, like, a, was I had she, an offspring CD that she took from me. Oh, no. I wasn't even fucking like trying to put it on or anything. I just had it with me. And she's like, you can't have That's this. That's parental advisory stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a bitch. I'm like, my parents bought it for me. I would, don't know. Was she like, was she like, was she that kind of, was she like a spinster or do you think she, did she have a family and shit or do you know? Do you remember? No, I mean, you know, I'm six. So I'm just like, she's a oh, bitch. Oh yeah, six. Okay. <laughs> Cause I remember, fuck this bitch. I remember I had a fucking terrible music teacher who I was like, this guy fucking sucks. But it was clear that he was just a fucking loser. He was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. some. he was going through a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> I found out later. Yeah. He had a fucking terrible, I was like, why is this guy's hair so stupid? He yeah. had the worst wig you've ever yeah, seen yeah. in your fucking life. Oh, I, I had a teacher like that in, yep. in high school who taught government and he would wear suits and there was no reason to wear suits. Course, it wasn't a yeah. private school. And he had, he was also a magician. Oh. So he would like, you know, we're going to start the class uh, with a magic trick. We're going to do like one magic trick. You know? Yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> the guy. He was Christ. the guy I told the story before about who called the retarded kid professor. <laughs> I told you that there's a retarded kid in the class and be like, uh, who's got the answer to that? You, professor? <laughs> no? Okay. I told, did I told this story, right? I think so, yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, yeah. that's so fucking funny. Yeah, and he had this, like, piece of shit, like, fucking, Bu- like, a, like, a, like, a mid-90s Buick Regal with a trunk didn't close, so it was, oh. like, held shut by a bungee cord, you know, just fucking, like, boom, <laughs> oh, fuck. boom, boom, you know, as he, like, went over, you know, and uh, me and my dad ran into him at the grocery store one time, and, uh... He was like wearing some like shitty, you know, not not like a nice track suit, but that like uh, I don't know what the material is, a real loud fucking yeah yeah like, yeah that yeah, swooshes yeah, yeah. yeah that shit. swooshy fucking the nylon material. yeah, yeah, yeah. track suit yeah. And he had a shopping cart just filled with fucking Velveeta, oh, like mac and cheese. No, you know, dude, yeah. a grown ass yeah, yeah. man, a fucking. And you know, every that whole neighborhood is all just like people that have been divorced. Yeah, it's all yeah, like yeah. fucking, you know, just shitty. Half of them were like, you know, Section Eight condos, I guess. Uh. So he was probably divorced, and he just and he's like, oh, oh, hey, how's it going? And like yeah. he he had this instant reaction when he saw me, where he like didn't know what to hide first. <laughs> You know? yeah. So he was just like, oh, uh, uh, hello. He just punched you, know? you and ran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is every part of it was fucking embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I had a I had a teacher in middle school who uh, first semester uh, we could tell she was going through a divorce and then she like would tell us like, I'm not living with Rob anymore. Yeah. And then she'd be like, she'd start talking about um, her roommate. I guess it was like maybe ninth grade. She started talking about her roommate and then by the end of second semester she was in a lesbian relationship with her <laughs> with her construction worker roommate Jill. Hell yeah. And then, but it was so funny because like at the beginning of the year we'd like be reading normal books like I love the I love the lesbians that look like Playmobil figurines. <laughs> oh, this woman I had. Just, she's like, well, I'm a construction worker, so I always wear the boots. Yeah. She had a, never takes a utility belt off. She needs everyone to know how much of a fucking lesbian she is. She had a straight up Jerry curl, like blonde Jerry curl oh, mullet. Oh yeah, Jill. And I was on the debate team, so so Miss Roberts, the teacher, was also the debate coach. So that's how I knew about her personal life. Mm-hmm. And um, 
But in English, like the beginning of the year, we're reading like Tale of Two Cities or like, you know, the, the books you read in high school. And then by the end of the year, like every book was femlet. Like yeah, it, we yeah. were reading like the yellow wallpaper, uh, Kate Chopin's The Awakening. <laughs> yeah. It was all like, this is what men drive women to do. <laughs> they carry babies to term for nine months. <laughs> and, they, and then they always turn on you. And you know that there was no such thing as postpartum depression until very recently. And women were in their own prisons. And yeah, she was just like going absolutely nuts at us. And we were like, um, like, is this going to be on the test? Or- <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, yeah. I had an English teacher that, uh, very fat, very fat woman. And, uh, she, uh, <laughs> Dude, oh, fuck. Yeah. she fucking, uh, she had like, we had to read nothing but like, uh, uh, what's like, we read a raisin in the sun and we read like a lot of, uh, oh, Ar- August, August Wilson. Plays yeah, 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 and yeah. yeah. And, uh, but then she also had like an adopted black son. So she was like, this is like, you know, I mean, nobody said woke like 10 years ago, uh-huh. but she was this fat bitch. She's like, you know, and I have to explain to my son. But she was like, you know, a big fat de Blasio. <laughs> oh, she was so That's happy right. And me and my friend used that. to laugh, you know, because I remember my friend was black and we used to laugh about like just her at home, like painting her face black as she, <laughs> as she like reads these plays. <laughs> She's like, yeah, mm, this is me. I had, I had yeah, a teacher. Making her like adopted son kiss her face. I had a teacher like me, me and my friend Alex were like best friends in high school. I guess we were like disruptive uh-huh. and um, she fucking hated us and her name was Kitty Hair. So we just, we just, <laughs> We used to pussy call her hair? pussy hair all the time. Oh, like, yeah. yes. And we'd be like, oh, yo, we're in pussy hair's class together this semester. <laughs> like, we got the schedules. I remember we sat down one day. And she's like, I will not be having this. I will not be having you in the same class. She's like, gets like red in the face. And so she switched our schedules around. So <laughs> we just decided to like ignore the schedule switch. So we'd like come to class like in the same like at the same period every every week and she like literally lost it she got the administration involved and then we just lie and be like i i don't know what she's talking about she's <laughs> making this up how the fuck did that work how did just claiming a teacher lied work and you got to stay in the same <laughs> well class? i'm sorry mrs bitch but the children are saying that you're lying <laughs> pussy hair dude you fucking bitch yeah. yeah she she didn't she only had uh she had no kids but she had a dog named buddha and she just keep talking about her buddha she yeah, yeah. it's so like, funny how she's like talking about her pussy. the education system is like filled with so many just adult dumbasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because <laughs> edu- it's not to. a valued profession. Yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. paid as much as a doctor, we maybe had an assistant get, like, principal in middle school that used to like uh, be like, uh, I'd like to see uh, Omid in my office, please. And then he would he would call for this kid who would just help him with uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> 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 he would just play in his office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like during lunch, you know, you know, help him. Incredible, dude! Yeah. Holy the, fuck! The coolest shit. gym teacher in high school was this guy, Coach uh, Cobert, and like we fucking loved him. Everyone loved him. And then, like, uh, one day there's just fucking news trucks in front of the school. Oh, no. <laughs> and, yeah, he was fucking his teacher's aide. She was so hot, dude. I can't explain well, how. Well, what's, what's wrong, wrong with that? that? Yeah. What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong? His she was, teacher's she was 17 years old. That's oh, oh no, no. She was, like, a student. Like, oh, Yeah, yeah. Okay. She had, like, a period where she was... She was so fucking hot. And then, yeah. like, everyone was like, free Cobert. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it, too. Yeah, dude, there was there was this one coach who was just, like, the coolest, smoothest dude. Mm-hmm. And he was just, like, he was the football coach. He played for the, he, he, like, was in the league for a while, in the NFL for a sec. And then uh, he just, like, after, you, and he coached the track team. He played the, he was, like, a smooth jazz, like, keyboard guy. Just a jack, like, distinguished old black dude. And later you just find out that like almost literally every eight, every girl he coached on the track team, the, like literally the day they turned 18, he fucked them. Like he was just like, he had like a schedule. He dated like every single one. Why the hell wouldn't you? You know, that's my question. Right, I'm just saying it's pretty funny. If the berries are ripe for picking, <laughs> that's the, the, the old expression goes. We, one time I, I was a telemarketer in high school. I Where worked, I worked for this, listen. I mean, literally, straight up, aided the housing crisis. I worked for mm-hmm. a company, a company called American Government Mortgage. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> like it might as well have been called official real ass yeah. mortgage. <laughs> like they're straight up trying to trick dumbasses into thinking the government <laughs> wants them to refinance. <laughs> and so uh, I worked for them, and then I looked up 
the gym teacher's name, like this guy, fucking uh, Mr. Small, his name was Cleon. Yeah. And I was like, and I just looked up his number and I was just like, uh, just because I had gotten somebody else on the football team uh, a job there and I just got the most, just pulled the most childish fucking prank. I just, we just called his house and we were like, hi, is this, uh, is this Mr. Cleon Small? I was like, is this Mr. Small? And he was like, yes. And he was like, uh, we're calling from like, <laughs> I think literally like gaysex.com. <laughs> it was like, it was some kind of gay porn site. And I was like, you're, uh, I was like, you're, you're, and it was like, you're fucking, your account is mu- way overdue. You owe thousands of dollars to gaysex.com. And he was like, who is this? And I was like, how'd you get this? I was like, was your, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, is your username Master Cleon Seven, <laughs> and that was like the fifth. And he's like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> I think he literally said, "Like stop, Rose." It was like, like he literally said somebody's name. It wasn't mine, but he like yelled at students. He knew it was like a fucking student. And Man, then prank just, calling is so much fun. It was the best. I used dude. to do it a lot, but we'd never think of it. I mean, when he was in college, he, there was a every dorm they didn't have internet, but every dorm had a phone, and you could like call random numbers, and it was untraceable. And he called one girl up once, and it was like she like picked up and he couldn't think of anything he goes I'm gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> my favorite my favorite, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> my favorite Michael story uh, I'm gonna kill you <laughs> he told me it was like uh, when he was like 13 he was hanging out with friends in the woods and then they pulled out cigarettes and started smoking them and he like got scared and ran away <laughs> <laughs> like just sprinted away from the group of them smoking cigarettes, <laughs> <Because of> cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> well like running away yeah. Not just being like, no, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. I was scared I of weed. so much. Yeah, he's funny. Funny guy. Too bad he's dead. Yeah, he died, dude. He got killed by the police after threatening that poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that was Yeah, I should violence. do more prank calls. Yeah, why not? I yeah. would like a nice prank. Uh, none of them. No. Not a single one. I That's would, the funniest thing is like when you watch the are. state. When, when no, you watch there the isn't, state. dude. I mean, like we've gone I would kind of smack. I would kind of smash Nikki Haley. <laughs> I would do uh, I would do Giffords, but only like while in the emergency. Oh room my god! Immediately. Nick. Okay. Oh <laughs> Who's Gifford? What? The lady Gabriel that got Gifford. shot. Oh jeez. Yeah. yeah. And now she's like they like fucking parade her out every time they want yeah. to get a standing ovation. Um, They're like, look, oh, she's yeah. not dead. I only do, like, I only do it with her now. with her sexy new accent <laughs> that she has. She can't like. Her husband was a uh, an astronaut, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a different kind of astronaut. Oh, yeah. I'm about to blast off into yeah. where, though. I'm trying to... Yeah, the eagle has landed. And by the eagle, I mean my fucking dick and balls. <laughs> That's... I mean, w- when you... This is one small dick for a man, <laughs> one giant leap for my fucking criminal record. <laughs> when you watch the state of rape, <laughs> <laughs> committing rape with a woman who was shot in the head. <laughs> when you watch when you watch the state of the union though like it is first of all i don't i don't watch (laughs) i I mean i don't watch it every year sports and guess what i'm watching instead that's right this is so fucking transparent i mean i guess he always has been but that's terrible i literally have a that joke didn't he get a tat of the um female reproductive system with his dad they both got vagina tattoos together yeah yeah not vagina fucking uh like, like uterus. 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 Well, this, this uterus. is synonymous. <laughs> yeah. You want a fucking yeah. uterus? The uterus is actually a myth. <laughs> the vagina and the asshole are the same <laughs> tube. It's true. That <laughs> so is true. When when you some, come. It's like feminist bullshit, this idea that women have kids and they're responsible <laughs> for doing it. It's actually the man that has the kid. Mm-hmm. The woman doesn't do shit. They're just trying to take credit for everything. That this is, is an interesting true. Take. They just yeah. The man gets <laughs> pregnant and then the woman just decides to get fat as shit for nine uh, months because she's got an excuse. Oh, that was like one of my favorite jokes and the in middle stork school. Brings the baby. That uh, <laughs> the male stork, by <laughs> the, the way. Male stork. Well, the female. We stork used to be like uh, yo, having <laughs> wine with her stork friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not earning a living. He's out delivering babies. She's at home spreading rumors, <laughs> gossiping, staining her beak. <laughs> purple <laughs> fucking getting old as shit losing value in society <laughs> eventually nobody wants to look at her legs she tries to stay in shape but it just makes her look worse it's all sinewy 
Jesus. Like a pissed off skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> looking like, walking around looking like beef jerky. <laughs> this bitch got Slim Jims for lunch. <laughs> who the Go hell? Off. Who the hell dried out my Get cigars? Em. Oh, that's that bitch leg. <laughs> Look, he laughing. My man laughing because he knows. Cause he know. <laughs> he know. He sees us seen the bitch leg. Be looking like some fucking Slim Jim. <laughs> he laughing. Woo! Oh. Cause he know. Look at him. <laughs> look at. Look at. This legs so old, it look like they got cartoon stink lines on them. <laughs> he laughing because he know. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about this for days, but that's the fun. That's one of the best ones, dude. Uh, that's that's on there in terms of tricks. As like, look at that tight ass shirt. Yeah. He laughing because he know. Oh, we'll get a, a second laugh out of any any yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. crowd work. If you combine those two, <laughs> that's the yeah. that's. <laughs> <laughs> if you call someone's shirt little as hell, then say she laughing because she know to his girlfriend. Standing O. Yeah. Oh, How many more things do you think we're going to have to talk about? In on this to- podcast? On the totality of this pod. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Student loans. Yeah. My dog's starving. Some guy was like, how is this podcast making 40 grand a year? That's almost double my salary. And it's like... <laughs> Man, don't reveal you that fucking about yourself. broke bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was literally unemployed for the most of last year, and I still somehow made, like, as Captain Phillips. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a movie where one mm-hmm. man, one plane, one dream, mm-hmm. one question, one pilot. One pirate. Question mark. Pirate? Question mark. Two titties. Asian pilot. <laughs> is the pilot actually an Asian wow, pilot? Wow, I thought of a really funny <laughs> Asian you, joke just now. Well, it's like... Like, they can't tell the difference between pirates, pirates and pilots. That's what I was literally saying. Uh-huh. So you didn't think God of it. damn it, I'm dude. saying something. He just said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking abject retard, dude. Uh- it had at first I didn't believe Nick when he said that you did this. I did that <laughs> as a yeah. bit. I was like, "There's no way." I do it as a bit. It's a bit. <laughs> it's actually like a really. Adam will just repeat the advanced. exact same joke. You're like, we're making eye contact as I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, just thought of this. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't improve. <laughs> Anyhow, we got to review the movie. That's yeah, why I'm sorry. people are listening. They want to know. All get to be cops. <laughs> like, it just happened. Well, they, they were, like, yeah, they basically invented the police force. They all like, came over, just like the, you know, Italians invented uh, the American obesity problem. <laughs> That's true. They came over here and they're mm. like, oh, what if we uh, fucking eat too much? <laughs> what if we become like a fat piece of shit? <laughs> I, I feel like there aren't fat people in Italy. I feel like that's an Italian. Oh, yeah, it's yeah an but Italian they invited Ameri- bread, invented breadsticks. Something when they happened got over here. Uh, on the ship. Cheesy bread. No, basically, there was, there was one ship carrying all the fucking Italian immigrants to America. And. Uh, and the it ship, collided. well, it didn't collide, but mm. basically it got stranded in the mm. Bermuda Triangle on the mm. way here, and they all tried to eat the fat guy, but he overpowered them, and he <laughs> ate the rest of the Italians. Mm-hmm. And so he got to America, and it was up to him mm-hmm. to uh, repopulate, mm-hmm. you know, the, mm-hmm. create the Italian-American population. Yeah. So luckily, he, he, he was still digesting all the people mm-hmm. and uh, for a long period of time on the ship, because, you know, he didn't know how long he was going to be lost at sea. Instead of just outright eating people, he tied them down um and they, well you actually you know that's where the cement shoes came from he encased everyone's mm. feet in cement mm-hmm. and then he would suck off all the men and eat the cum ah. and mm-hmm. so he for was, sustenance well yeah, yeah. So he was living <laughs> off the uh, so be, that became like an italian it's tradition to is to live <laughs> off of semen mm-hmm. out on the so he was eating all the cum and then eventually he ate the people and he got to america and he had to create new people so he threw up all the cum mm-hmm. into a uh, pussy well his own ass oh which oh. had female reproductive organs in it, which is another feature of Italians, is that they have the, both. None of the men have actual assholes; they just have vaginas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> where their asshole should be. Uh-huh. So um, they they can't shit; wow. they actually just puke. So was out that their throw shit. up? Was that cum throw up? Was that what Alfredo sauce is? That is. That's what Alfredo sauce is, mm-hmm. and so that's where all Italian Americans come from: is this morbidly obese man barfing cum into mm-hmm. his own pussy ass? <laughs> yeah. And that's the history of Italians Wasn't it in America. Giovanni Ribisi, right? Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, Giancarlo Portapati. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the history of our wow, city that we dude. live in. Yeah, yeah. I didn't fucking know. honestly. That's I hadn't heard that before. Too. Yeah. So and then for, where the mafia? Shut up. Dude. I feel like the man of the people shut with my the tiny pimp. I bet your dick isn't. Here's something annoying. I bet your dick isn't even that small. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> it's I bet nice. it's it's kind of meaty. Unfortunately. 
It's got a little meat to it. Especially, well, you know what makes it look bigger is that I'm so skinny, you know? True. Yeah, I got to fucking lose weight for my dick's sake. I wonder yeah, if I could just... The perspective. If I could just lose weight around my dick. I was watching a video of a... Uh, you say you say if only I could, as if losing weight is like I not can't. a thing. People, it's can impossible. Do. I'm too busy. <laughs> I got too much on my. I'm too plate. busy eating. <laughs> <laughs> I have all these. Uh, it's like an alarm goes off in his phone. I was, oh, whoops! I gotta get her that new Gordito Crunch Wrap. I'm on. I can't wait till Hollywood is like run out of babies to play Spider Man. They're like, we need a, a bald one, and like Stav comes back six months later ripped. We need like a bald, it. nearsighted <laughs> Spider Man. I would love to fucking. Get ripped yeah. for a project. Yeah, it's funny. Is you would look pretty awful if you weren't fat. I think I would look very. Cute. I think fat suits you. Yeah, too. You, I just never not been fat. There's no. You way wouldn't to know. be. Yeah, you paper start, towels. Shut the fuck up, dude. I don't know if this is. How I want to start the podcast. Let's just restart, and if we want to do it, you no, can start we'll here. We'll do it. We'll start here. Ugh. So it's been a big week, guys. There's we been just a lot gotta of things. sit here with the puke. <laughs> yeah. on the floor. Yeah, we'll stop. Let's power through. Stop said he's getting sushi halfway through this one anyway. So. Uh, what yeah. does that have to do with the puke? <laughs> oh, we'll clean it up well, then. Yeah, okay. right. right. Uh, I'm going to order sushi halfway through, so it's here when I'm when we're done. I'm a pro. Mm-hmm. Well, we can trade the cat to the Japanese people to <laughs> yeah, bring the yeah. sushi. <laughs> and we don't have to pay sushi. for it. They're like, oh, thank you for <laughs> the delicious ingredient. <laughs> yeah, the, you're about the Chinese guy got a new cat. Guess what its name is? This is my popsicle stick joke. What yeah. is it? What? Uh, ingredient. Nice. Ingledian. Ingledi- <laughs> there we go. A little punch up. Yeah. <laughs> it works uh, on two levels. I'm going to submit yeah. that the weekend update. That's good, man. That'll Did you hear about you the there. Chinese guy that uh, you got a pet cat? <laughs> Guess what he named him? Ingledian. <laughs> perfect. Folks. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah that's that's some, a winner. Yeah. Some, uh, some fucking... Uh, so it was uh, it was raining the other day, and some mm-hmm. guy he was he goes, uh, ah, it's raining cats and dogs out here. And this Chinese guy ran into his house to get his mixing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. <laughs> Jeez, um, that's yeah. Hold on, one more. Keep going. Um, <laughs> so, uh, ch- a Chinese guy went to pet go, and okay. uh, he goes, oh, how much a uh, full buffet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not uh, yeah, bad. There right. we go. Cool. All right. yeah. That's good. We yeah. got three. That Dude, was I would off be, the top. I would, of the I would be killing with my grandfather right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much for the buffet? Is it shitting now? Like, people have been asking about him in particular. I've used this guy like three times. There's a guy uh, on uh, on YouTube named uh, Kage uh, Kage Noaku, <laughs> uh, and his display name is that sodding gamer. Which <laughs> my favorite type of nerd is the guy from America that uses British, British slang. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a bloody what a, what a bloody way to oh bloody hell <laughs> oh I can't be arsed to go to work today. <laughs> Saying oh lines what cues. a daft what a daft <laughs> fellow he is. You know uh, yeah right. I'm yeah. just taking the piss. Yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit. Well so yeah this guy that side and gamer who's who got went viral a couple of years ago because one of his videos is him sitting in his backyard and his mom's taping him first of all this guy's like 32 years old. hell yes uh balding horribly looks awful hell looks yeah. like absolute shit he looks like a fucking fat autistic klaus nomi <laughs> and uh and he's so he's sitting there with his younger brother who's got like an even more of like a basement rat sort of thing oh going no. on and he's like okay this is my katana unboxing and he has like <laughs> this weird accent he made up it's not a regional accent he just sort of ducks like this and he's oh, like, sounds like a Simpsons this character. is actually my first katana so uh you know there are ones that are uh, some 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 better quality maybe but this one is uh sort of a a, a mid-range katana uh you know I I do have one I think one I might have while. seen this video yeah and he's like you know they have some at, at flea markets but those are just could just complete crap you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, when is the real... quality of your katana ever going to matter <laughs> this is a real Hattori when he fucking kills yeah. himself <laughs> yeah after fucking 45 no, years of never 
gonna, having he's sex. He's just going to use that katana to open the packaging on more katanas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing you do with your katana. <laughs> the blister pack rating <laughs> yeah, on yeah. katanas should yeah. be That's the number one cut thing. Through, yeah, the How fucking... quickly can this cut through a sex doll's packaging? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How quickly can this cut through a real doll? <laughs> yeah. There's that. If and my then... real doll displeases me, <laughs> yeah. you know that guy kills his fucking real dolls? There's <laughs> that, and then there's the Game of Thrones swords guys that are like, this is like oh, the yeah. and steel. Guy, yeah, with the yeah. claymores and shit. Oh, the swords Jesus you can't Christ. even pick up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've used that guy a couple of times. But one of his videos is like, uh, okay, this is uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> apocalypse. <laughs> using only swords. Yeah, using only British expressions. He's <laughs> uh, like, uh, you want to conserve resources and, you know, you want to get a group together. That's one of the, like, the pieces of advice is get a group, which is like, I like to, to him, the idea of forming any kind of social connection with other human beings is only exists in an apocalyptic scenario. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> the idea right. of having friends is something that could only <laughs> <That's> be <why>. <laughs> <laughs> necessitated <laughs> by the world ending. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you just want to live with your mom and make uh, unboxing videos. Oh my God. That's why those people want fucking apocalypse is to happen because oh yeah be dude i used to hang to, out with them i used to do a bit about when i was like younger uh about like how nerds are just obsessed with like basically any nerdy obsession it, the the prerequisite for them to be obsessed with it is that it exists in a time that's just not now right so like yeah. they're like they love the renaissance because in their mind they would have been a knight and it's like no you've been the guy that the knights make fun of <laughs> right right yeah, yeah. like our, their modern day equivalents do now or star trek's like oh things would be so much better if we lived in space it's like first of all uh starfleet is like a military organization <laughs> right. yeah you they have You'd to, have do, to they, make it through basic training. yeah you couldn't make it through basic you, they wouldn't let you in space yeah no one on that ship is fat you know how fucking bad you would look in that uniform <laughs> <laughs> that fucking can, like Under Armour it would skin show type. every single you flaw. You would look like absolute <laughs> shit. Just like that fucking Pavarotti in a wetsuit. Yeah, uh, to be in space and appreciate diplomacy. Like you're gonna have some fucking asthmatic retard stinking up the sealed oxygen. You know, getting his dick sucked in the holodeck constantly. Which, by the way, they never address that on the show. Is like, oh my god, how much cum must be on the floor of the <laughs> holodeck? <laughs> And who has to clean that up? <laughs> that would be their job. Yeah. Their job like, would be to yeah, clean yeah. up the cum. Well, on that's the where they are trying to smash on that crusher, bitch. <laughs> There's a video. Wearing that blue-ass coat. <laughs> There's a video my friend Ari Stern showed me of the guy who plays Worf uh, doing Michael stand-up. Michael Dorn. Yeah. Yeah. At the Improv in L.A. Well, every oh, single, yeah, every yeah. cast member was actually a comedian. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. That's how they all got on the show. P. Stu was on uh, Premium Patrick Blends. Stewart was, yeah, yeah he was, yeah. Uh, he was, uh, uh, on, he has two appearances on the Bad Boys of Comedy. Wash they ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't these pictures? Look at him. He's laughing. Because he know. <laughs> My man know. <laughs> that when you be eating the pussy, <laughs> look at him. Look at him laughing. <laughs> My bitch said, uh, <laughs> the dick gotta be grown. <laughs> it's got to be a grown ass dick. <laughs> but seriously, black folks, beat your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Beat your kids, black folks. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, going back to the asshole, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages of trying to get my dick wet. <laughs> oh man, I would love for peace to just. I would. I got a it. captain's log for you right here. <laughs> I would uh, love to watch Patrick Stewart fuck, dude. He's probably so efficient. Yeah. Well, there's got like, a young. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm wearing Jordans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Just ignores him. <laughs> ignores him. Makes up crowd work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. My man got sandals on. <laughs> I'm wearing Look at this Puerto Rican yeah. motherfucker. It's like I'm a white man. I'm, I'm, I've blonde hair. It's yeah. like none of the crowd can tell. They're the best comedians. I love it. They're fucking so Just good. Just go into the fucking. <laughs> Going Woo! To 
That's what <laughs> Joe Lister told me a story. This is like a second. Well, they used Drew to Hill. Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Yeah. I saw. I, you went. You went to the Fudge Factory in the Inner Harbor when they yeah. used to sing there. Oh yeah. I, I saw them as a kid. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I didn't find who the, the fuck Drew Hill was, was no, as no. a four year old, but yeah. I mean, and that's a neighborhood in Baltimore. The Fudge Factory, yeah. It's yeah, the Fudge Factory is a neighborhood. It's where it stops from. <laughs> no, <laughs> Drew Hill is a neighborhood. Or it's, Druid it's, Hill. It's, it's Druid Hill Park. Druid Hill's a neighborhood. Yeah. Druid Hill. But not Drew, Hill, yeah. not D-R-U. But they changed it to Drew. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. it sound cooler. Druid Hill is like this awesome neighborhood with awesome houses. And it's like... Uh, it's the it's the only cool... It's the only neighborhood with cool architecture in Baltimore that... Isn't getting gentrified, and it's like, oh, I wonder why that is. Is it a lot of it's still abandoned, and it's like old, fucked up. Well, it's because black people live there. Every yeah, other, yeah. it's like, oh, why won't white people move yeah. here? Why it's don't like, they take what's it that, away? What's that's that road that goes history. up? That's like uh, up through Drew Hill and Bolton Hill. Is it like Dolphin or something? Uh there is Dolphin, but that kind of that's kind of like on the other side of shit. That takes you down to like. Uh, There's a lot <laughs> of pretty houses over there. The one that's on, um, the one that goes like around the park. Like off of uh, Lake Montebello, that takes you. Uh, there's, there's no, there's a road that's off, uh, and it's got like a weird long name that starts with an A. But there's these like oh. six story houses. I don't know. They look like the houses in Charles Village, but yeah, they're like six they're stories huge. tall. They're huge. Yeah, yeah. I went into one of them. It's all like, I mean, I guess it is kind of starting to get gentrified. It's all like artists, kids mm-hmm. who are just like take it over. It was yeah. fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was huge. Uh, but like, if that's like people are gentrifying Greek Town because they're like the poor people are white. Yeah, but it's like no one. Well, that's what happened with Hamden. Yeah, exactly. It's like people are like, "Oh, this is such like a quaint neighborhood," and it's like, "You mean what?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like we're all these plus. people are on heroin and will stab you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, well, that's what I love about Hamden. Is like uh, you walk around there and it's like all like you know trinket shops and then like designer cupcakes and shit. But then there'll just be like a guy with his shirt off with a swastika on his <laughs> yeah, chest, like yeah. marching down yeah. the street. <laughs> and, then, and then people are like, uh, hello, neighbor. I just moved here. Yeah, and he's get like, the fuck out get, of my way, way. get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> that Philly is really good for that, too. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Hamden is so funny, though, dude. Hamden yeah. is like the neighborhood. I would get, I guarantee Hamden is the place that leads the nation in white women with mixed race children that say the n-word like for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. just calling their son the n-word yeah. like they're gone, like, disciplining them that way their seven-year-old son in a stroller who yeah. still got a fucking his pacifier in his mouth yeah <laughs> named after where where he was conceived yeah, yeah. this is my son prison this is my son conjugal visit <laughs> <laughs> Kanye Cole visit. <laughs> uh, fuck vodka out of a fucking camelback. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, wow. it was so crazy when they switched formats. I know it was like literally insane. <laughs> what is it? What is, I don't know. HFS what you guys was are like the big about. alternative. It, yeah, HFS uh, is like the legendary like DC college rock radio station. Oh yeah, for those so, t-shirts. They're t-shirts for it, right? Yeah, well, the, yeah, I'm yeah, sure they, they had t-shirts. t-shirts. That's, yeah. uh, no, stop trying to them. butt in with you having some kind of relevance <laughs> here, and knowing t-shirts. what the fuck we're talking about. Yes, it's a. Oh yeah, I know about station. that. That's the t-shirt radio station. <laughs> no, never mind. Don't explain it to me. I have as much information as I need. It's a famous t-shirt. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the famous t-shirt. Yeah, but overnight. <laughs> he lived in D.C. You saw like seven guys wearing it over yeah, the last. Overnight, the- they switched it to. <laughs> They're uh, famous guys. <laughs> like Clear Channel bought it, and then overnight, they like fired everyone and, uh, and yeah. just replaced it with this like that Spanish like. <laughs> no. I remember my mom like having to explain to was me. Was he like the morning zoo was. guy? No, he was like their like one of their main like disc jockeys, mm-hmm. and uh, in the nineties, like he got I don't know, there was like a heroin bust or something. He was on drugs, but then they found all this fucking child porn. Oh, oh, Jesus double Christ. Place. Yeah, you know, my mom was like, "Yeah, no." He was looking at naked pictures of children, and I'm like seven, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wrong? Is it yeah, good? Yeah, I don't know what the <laughs> why you would do that. Like I didn't understand beating off. Yeah, it just off. seems like we've a talked weird. We talked about this. We've talked about this before, you and I, but I don't think on the podcast. But like, 
Our moms all have so much child porn of oh, us, yeah. like in the bath. <laughs> my mom had a picture of my ass. Just like so <laughs> my mom had like a picture. Listen to her fucking otherwise. <laughs> so she shows it's everybody your little ass dick, your little ass little kid dick. No, it was my ass. It wasn't the dick. <clears throat> my mom had the dicks out, dude. We had yeah. we had like a we had like oh, a three picture. boys, three yeah. boys. Me and my me and my little brothers just little riding baby watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting on watermelons with our little dicks out. <laughs> and she just had that like next to like like I might even still be like at my house next to, like yeah. my. Fucking senior just portrait. in giant on the produce set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this weird Greek bitch is putting her son's dick on all the watermelons. You, yeah. it's ours now. It's free. <laughs> also, this whole thing that we has don't been have to pay it. for it. <laughs> the bath time pictures of like, oh yeah. Now in retrospect, there were pictures of me and my, my sister was like two and I was yeah. six. Yeah, you know? just like finger just in a bath. Yeah. <laughs> What? But it's like, what do you do with those pictures, right? It's not yeah, like you just have books you're, like, you're going to want this when you're older. No, I'm not. No, yeah. I'm no. not going to want that. <laughs> I think it's you're kind of funny. Yeah. See <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. You're going to want to see what your dick looks like. Yeah. I think it you is mean, You know funny. how they like make you do like the hand prints in kindergarten? Or whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, and there's like a there's like a, a, a wall in your house with pencil markings on it, but of they go dick. horizontal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like age eight, age nine. <laughs> I remember me and my brothers would have as little ass kids like dick measuring contests because yeah. they're just like and then one time like your neon green play school ruler <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no goes up to we would like inches. hold them next to each other oh, we had no okay. idea what wow. was and my dad like walked in on us and he was like what the fuck is going on <laughs> And because I, I remember the worst one was I, like to cheat we would get hard <laughs> like we would be like we would first just measure them soft and then one one of us realized if you get hard your dick gets bigger and yeah. that's when my dad was like alright we gotta fucking you know what's this crazy off. is this is literally how the Greeks invented the Olympics <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the first event. Yeah. The first event. Boy penis. <laughs> the boy penis event. Yeah. This is how they invented democracy. Boy oh, yeah. penis stretching. We they had to vote on whose dick was better. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was um that was those were fun times. Did you ever uh, my my friend uh one of my friends from middle school uh, he was tell his little brother, he his move <laughs> when he was like four <laughs> was to be like I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> and he would over and over again put his dick in people's hands. <laughs> like, That's like a cool ass, ass kid. Little dude. kid. Like who's gonna say no to like a little kid being like, I have a surprise. Yeah. You think he's gonna put like a gummy bear in your hand yeah. or something? He did it to like his mom, his brother's dad, and his teacher <laughs> and kids at school. <laughs> I, to- I remember being I remember being in like daycare. Who's the king? I was in like daycare and like fucking first or second now. grade and there was these two kids in the back of the van like two boys and they were like uh just making out with each other <laughs> and they were like look we could do it it's not weird or whatever and everyone was like guys stop doing yeah. that and they're like tongues out like you know full-on making out with each other that's incredible it was bizarre yeah how remember, old i'm sorry i don't know they were probably like i don't know seven. Oh, yeah, what yeah. the fuck so they didn't know what they were doing but it's like you did it in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to have to remember this <laughs> yeah. and talk about it on our respective podcasts <laughs> when we're all, we're when we're all 30 year old men. Out. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I wish I could remember those guys' names yeah, so, that'd I could, be awesome. so I could so shame could dox them. them. Yeah, I think one of them actually, it, I because I, I, it's kind of fuzzy who it actually was doing that. Yeah, I just yeah. remember. I think one of them is named Eric, and then I think the other one was this kid, Matt. But there was this kid, Matt, and I forget his last name, but he built a tent. In the corner of the daycare one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This had to be like 1997 because I remember Titanic had come out and he was obsessed with Titanic. <laughs> oh my god! He loved the movie Pause. so much. Yeah, he had like a picture book of the movie. Like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You'd like go through the you know and like you would bring it to school and show it. And so he would play Titanic. You know, he would like you know as like, a game. Yeah, yeah, he would like you know that would play Titanic. You know, whatever. And uh, I remember my favorite thing to do in the daycare center was sign up for the computer area and then hold a magnet to the monitor and destroy the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> my shit I mean, that is all you need to know about you as a human being. <laughs> that is that not- as a baby, basically, <laughs> <laughs> what you loved, you, what you spared, your hobbies were destruction <laughs> and ruining other people's fun. <laughs> <laughs> if I can hold a, hold a magnet to the screen. And then, no shit, I swear to God, blame it on the retarded kid. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's That's a retarded fucking... kid named Victor. I'd be like, Victor did it. <laughs> that is he hitting for the... He drooled off the fucking computer screen and broke it. That's incredible. That's hitting for the Mullen cycle, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. doing everything. Yeah, yeah. Trolling. So, vandalism. Yeah. Vandalism. Blaming the retarded. Bullying. There was this kid, Matt, and he fucking he was obsessed with Titanic. And then he built a tent in the corner of the room. <laughs> what do you mean on the retarded? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking poor kid. <laughs> I mean, uh, they knew it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but fuck. So this kid, Matt, built a tent in the corner of the room out of, like, blankets and shit. And he, like, propped it up. And then uh, he brought this girl who was, like, like three years younger than him into the oh, tent. Oh, no. And I guess they were playing Titanic in there. Oh, no. And this, this one he kid... drew like, her like one of his French girls? This one kid goes, he peeked his head in there, and then he comes out looking like a ghost. And I don't know what the fuck happened, but he goes, I, I, you know, he was like, oh... You know, he, like, looks shocked. And we, me and my friends are just watching this happen. And he goes up and tells the teacher, like, this, uh, the counselor, John, <laughs> he, you know, oh, he fuck. says something to him. And John's, like, you know, drops everything and does that, like, walk where he's, you know, of speeding up. With the entire yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just God. the variable speed of him, like, fucking increasing. You know, how is he at that tent in, like, three seconds and he looks in there and then he just rips that fucking key. <laughs> Get out of there. Jesus I don't know what the fuck Christ. he was doing there. Oh, no. But he ripped that kid out of there. So I'm assuming he was, like, you know, molesting that girl. Or Jesus, something. dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just like in Titanic. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I was, was really because, hoping for a wholesome turn. No, somewhere. no, no. Because it doesn't make what I was doing with the computer sound so bad now, does it? <laughs> I was just learning how magnets work. <laughs> Fuck man, this this girl in my preschool. I remember I had a I had a partner. You got partnered up for like, and she. <laughs> what say it? Say it. Sexy. She's a she's a lovely woman. Hot. Yeah. <clears throat> Just she like really I had a friend that had a hot mom. We found her dildo one time. Ooh. I don't know why we were going through their shit, but I remember. <laughs> My, I told my, you my guys, friend Zach finding his own hot mom's dildo, oh, and he's like, terrible. what the fuck is this? And he was like, no. You know, because he's like <laughs> holding it in his hand, just like vibrator. No. And like, I'm like, yes. No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Dude, she was so, she looked like Holly Berry. Oh, she was so friend, hot. My friend Robert, like the house that we used to all get drunk at and yeah. like get stoned at in high school was because he had a single mom. Oh, and God. she was a school nurse during the week. And then on the weekend, she would dance. Mm. Oh, and so shit. his house would always be free. Jeez. Jesus throughout the weekends, Christ. but she had that's legit, some Vegas shit right she, there. That's Vegas as fuck. She had legit. The Bryce Dallas stole Howard. that from an episode of Community. Also, oh really? That was literally an episode of Community. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. but you know, it's like well, you know, how about this? I got this new show. It's gonna blow your mind. It's about how like the iPhones is actually they like, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did that <laughs> as a as a vine. Yeah, oh, did you? Yeah, so sometimes mobile phones is good, <laughs> but other times mobile phones is bad. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's basically. What that yeah, yeah. show is? No, they yeah, had one. Like, they had one I watched last night. It's like, what well, if the internet yeah. was the bad guy? They, they, uh, <laughs> they had one last night. I started watching it, and it's like. It's a beautiful day today. This is the BBC World Service. It's a beautiful day today in the perfect future world where everything is perfect. And the robot swarms of bees we've created for some reason are operating completely as normal uh, as everyone expected. And like, oh, I wonder what could happen in this episode. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> there's one that I I haven't I didn't watch, but there's like all these like there's all these like uh, Slate articles and stuff that's like yes, Queen. Black Mirror's lesbian episode does it again. And they're like, this oh, episode has one. nothing to do with technology. It's just a lesbian story, and it has a happy ending. Yeah. That one was like, yeah, it, it isn't... I mean, it sort of is technology-related. It was like directed well and written well, and I, I right. enjoyed it for, for that reason. I didn't but, see it, yeah. Yeah. No, it was kind of cool. It's about, like, uh, old people who can, like, you know, you upload your brain to the cloud when you're ready to die or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh. But the cloud is basically just... Um, you know, you get to choose an era to go live in, so it keeps cutting from like 1984 to 1980 yeah. to 1996, 2002. But the mm. you know art direction is like really fucking. Yeah, it's like it looks like Stranger Things though. And my roommate was watching that episode, and I was like, oh, this is yeah. Stranger but they, you know, they did it well. Like 2002 yeah. really fucking looks like 2002. Mm-hmm. You know, and I saw the '80s part. It was very day glow and like, yeah, yeah, wham yeah. and yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said wham, but <laughs> <laughs> very wham. It was so wham. Yeah, um, fuck it. I'm a, yeah. Let's. I want to. I want to make one a Black Mirror episode, dude. Yeah. It's like okay. 
It's like it's like it's, uh, we imagine find out st- everyone has a pacemaker because the fat is shit, right? <laughs> yeah. So their hearts don't beat right anymore. But then, what if a pacemaker is they get a mind of their own? You see, <laughs> so now it's making everyone's heart beat too fast, <laughs> and then they're having heart attacks. <laughs> the robot bears we got in the circus. The rape chip in them is still dormant. Yeah. <laughs> no, so they got you know it's everyone's hooked up to a dick sucking machine, <laughs> but then he sucks your dick completely right. off. Yeah. It rips your dick off your body, and then we find out the robots are using the dicks to, as fuel. <laughs> oh yeah, Guts. yeah, that's true. That's so true. It's true, hundred <laughs> percent. No, they got these videos of them on the infrared. You can check it out yourself. You look, and they got these. Hel- they got the Apache helicopters yeah. over there. Yeah, and you see on it, they got these two guys, and they got a goat bent over, <laughs> and they're both busting inside. Wait, the goat. they bend it over they further. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they break its legs so they can bend it over like a you know like a girl. Ah, uh, yes. They're doing the awful tower to go. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it says there's... you have to do that in a, in a Kuran. <laughs> The Kuran, it's, it's, it's written in there that you have to... Okay. Give, all right. There we, I, mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like a hand job from an octopus. <laughs> That'd Ooh. be tight. Yeah. Ooh, that's not a... I see where you're getting at. Yeah. This is the fucking news with your host... Uh, I don't know. So this is the uh, super special regular episode... Uh, post-election coverage. We're sitting here right now where it looks like Nick, Nick. Hillary Clinton is the new president of the United uh, States. Yes. A and we're re- recording this uh, 100% live. So This, this is, is my in fight real time. song. It's in no I'm way a uh, pre-recorded song. episode. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just so... I'm with her, dude. I've been with her the entire time. And you know what? We knew that we were going to beat these fucking... These bros in yeah, uh, yeah. the country. All these racist-ass... Fu- these male ass crack of white. <laughs> Boys. It's not their country no we, more. We told them. We told them that uh, uh, all the POC women, who are statistically six percent of the United States population, <laughs> were gonna. Uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna. Our, we're gonna make our voices heard, and yeah. we're gonna get uh, yes, Queen into the White House. And we did it. We one hundred percent did it. Um, Feels good. Yeah. yeah, folks, that's what we would be saying if we actually did pre-record this podcast like a bunch of frauds. Um, yeah, we really uh, shit the bed because we only prepared pro Hillary. Uh, yeah, she won uh, stuff. Yeah, exactly. We uh, like Hillary. We didn't even prepare a concession, <laughs> <laughs> so we needed the next eight and a half hours to pout in the cryo chamber that's keeping us alive in her Michael Jackson yeah. <laughs> in her, in bubble her zero gravity fucking iron lung that she lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. So we're. Uh, and she's like, you know, she she sleeps in that thing from. Uh, remember in Big Lebowski? He's <laughs> slowly about to run her over, <laughs> and he's gonna slowly crush her. Yeah, with a tank. I would like to see her get shot. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus shot fucking by Christ! Was completely destroyed by Lena Dunham's rap song. <laughs> yeah, it's what her fault. Fucking, it's what, her a, fucking what a brain! Fault. What a brain dead moron! She I released know. that rap song, and then did you see that uh, HuffPo article where she's like? You know, I just like thought the idea was so funny of like this like out of touch white girl. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, you dumb yeah, rich yeah, yeah. asshole. It's fucking the only yeah. good thing. It's is like that, it really is like a, like if you walked into a locker room, like you're in high school and you walk into a locker room and your friend is like on his knees blowing another another guy you know and he's like hey Mike this is you dude this is you just sucking the dick as hard as again you're fucking gay dude this is what you dude, do I don't wanna I don't wanna venture into misogyny or violence against women but I hope Lena Dunham dies so yeah. well she uh, she has she, to leave the country I hope she leaves yeah. I hope she goes to fucking Canada and you terrorize she will? them she should also be shot Hillary <laughs> Hillary on the Christ. National Mall in a pantsuit and then Lena Dunham completely naked with a burrito shoved in her pussy <laughs> I mean <laughs> okay so what's the what's the silver lining in all this there a lot of education <laughs> yeah. one of the stupid like how can you be that yeah, good I at brain it. surgery and just a fucking moron at Baltimore, the same time dude. he was Baltimore, Baltimore dude yeah, gifted hands Baltimore. Gifted nah, he's hands. not from there I was bitch. trying to remember he studied at Hopkins though right yeah he's from he went to yeah. Hopkins and then I was changed. trying to remember the name of his book one time and I couldn't remember it and the first thing that popped in my head was uh if these hands could eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the Ben Carson yeah, story. The ben Carson story. 
<laughs> oh fuck, dude. Um, I she sucked my dick. I don't, I don't know, know how it happened. Can we talk for a second about how comedy is going to probably suck for the next four years? Whatever, man. Yeah, I already. I, yeah, I, I, I addressed you tweeted that, on, that on Facebook. Yeah, because it's like people are like, "Oh, well, <laughs> uh, open mic." Oh, I'm out of time. Okay. Well, I guess back to my uh, dog walking job where I make a difference. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, dude. We're fucked. Who cares? But honestly. Fuck the DNC. Mm-hmm. Fuck oh, Hillary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck all of those old, old guard 92 James Carville new yep. Democrat fucking pussies. That's <laughs> yeah, all they are. Get it. They're fucking Go off, pussies. bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. It's my time. Go off. <laughs> all right. Dude, I'm just fuck them all. They need to go away and we need new people. And uh, Tulsi Gabbard is the one I think. Who? Who's she's, that? She surfs. She surfs. She, she used she to be in the troops. Oh, nice. I'm yeah. in. And she's Buddhist. Tulsi 2069. 20, 2020. Tulsi. 2020. Uh, but, oh, yeah. And anyone that's saying Michelle 2020 needs to fucking walk into the ocean. <laughs> I know. Dude. Well, that was, that was the best part of the last, like, month or two. Have they not learned although, their lesson? Although, it uh, would be uh, funny. The rise, the rise of, like, uh, uh, Michelle, a back room of the Javits Center. There's just, like, 12 seven year olds that didn't get fucked because they're, they're like the celebratory kids everyone was gonna suck off oh my mm. god <laughs> they're like, they're like yeah. well I can't we can't fuck yeah, these yeah, kids yeah. it's like oh it's a shame they're gonna go yes, to waste it's like I, I can't even get hard right now yeah. <laughs> Let's just stop trying Michael here's, just stop trying Michael <laughs> 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 here's the lesson for us can't even fit it in him <laughs> uh, I think it's important that we go back to and address the uh the post from that woman who wanted her Down syndrome son. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. You know, when, when God closes a window, i.e. Yeah. Tom Myers being when able God to closes eat a window, Hillary's <laughs> pussy yeah. and live his dream, he, he he's opens a door, a by beautiful door. Creating of, a boy with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> who really wants to tell Tr- uh, Hillary and Obama yeah. that they're fired. I also, I guarantee you, I fucking guarantee you that Donald Trump got 100% of the Down syndrome vote. <laughs> BB, no, BB was... And so a company would be like, we have this new, you know, he did it with a weight loss company. You know, we had like a weight loss pill in clinical trials. So he looked at the science and he's like, oh yeah, this isn't going to fuck him. So he shorted it. So he publicly trashed the company, shorted it, and then also like made complaints to the FDA so that like the trials took longer and failed or whatever. Well, he's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. No, he's definitely not a fucking idiot. He's like a very smart guy. What? But, you know, so I, you know, if we had him on, I wouldn't even grill him about that shit because like, I don't fucking care, you know? I mean, <laughs> well, if, there is he, another. Even if he raises the price, people get that through insurance, anyways. That's the point. Yeah. The point is that he's not really hitting the AIDS patients. He's hitting yeah. the insurance companies, and that's why there was a big wave yeah. of like it's also, it's also yeah. sentiment. He's also a fucking piece of shit too, <laughs> and he's also a kid that got his ass kicked and called a faggot his whole life, and he turned <laughs> yeah, into yeah, a yeah. complete <laughs> asshole. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a South Brooklyn. What is he? Armenian or yeah, something? Yeah, no, he's yeah. Albanian. Because I make fun of Elvis yeah. about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I was just gonna have him on and then ask him non sequitur questions. I thought it'd be yeah. funny. Yeah, I, yeah. Wanted to ask I mean, I really just wanted to exploit him for for the audience. You know, well, play course. it like I don't even know who the fuck he is. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, immediately he was being a dick about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, f- well, but yeah, Martin, if you're listening, you're still welcome to come on the show. <laughs> We'd love to have you as a guest. But no, he was at some party last night, and then some girl was like posting, like, I ran into Cutie Pie, Martin Scrawley, <laughs> and I forget who it was that posted it, and then she hashtag Rahoa, which is, it stands for Racial Holy War. <laughs> Which is like yeah. a white it's supremacist like a, thing. Yeah, neo Nazi thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I was just hoping that his, at his acceptance speech, Donald Trump would come out and there'd be like balloons and then Sam Hyde in, <laughs> in a TED Talk and costume weave. behind him and weaves there <laughs> and Pepe on like the unicycle. And they got me fucking, uh, yeah, Milo's there. They're just hanging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Milo's Milo just getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. Yeah, Milo's getting fucked in the ass by a black guy. By Gavin. Yeah, by Gavin. By, no, by a black guy. Milo and he's just shouting. Guys. The N word, yeah, yeah. And he's shouting the N word with each thrust. <laughs> black Every guys, thrust. Black guys got uh, the black guys like uh, got like a diglet head, like the three diglet, like that meme. So it's three black guys, and they're all kissing. Yeah, yeah, they're all kissing. <laughs> While well, uh, they fuck Milo in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's he savages. Has, he's he just savaging my all ass. His, all his 4chan is just right behind him on the stage. He's like, we did it. We said it was going to be done. We did it. And the story. But what were we saying, though, at the, the speech he's giving? The oh, speech? yeah, he's giving the acceptance speech, and some guy's just like, kill Obama! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just yells, kill Obama. <laughs> the president, yeah. the sitting president of the United States. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're fucked, man. <laughs> I hope Seth kills fucking Trump. You think Seth, so? No, Seth absolutely won't kill Trump. What's going to happen is... He's not brave What's going to happen is, is uh, Seth's going to make it illegal, or Trump's going to make it illegal to criticize Donald Trump, and then Seth's immediately going to say, I was the first one to love Donald Trump. I, <laughs> I, I love Donald Trump. I support everything that he does, and if he wants a list of friends that I have that have criticized him, I will happily <laughs> fax that over to yeah. him immediately, uh, you know, at cost, of course. I'm not paying for the key post fee. Seth, Seth, uh, Seth is the kind of guy... Guy, Dick Field, by the way, not uh, not anybody else. <laughs> yeah, the, the fictional character Dick Field is the kind of guy that would immediately sell every single person he knew. <laughs> his own fucking mother. He's like uh, the Jews that were like the guards in the camps yeah. for the Nazis, the uh-huh. Kappas. Yeah, yeah. Is there any way that Did I those could guys be all the get dessert gone? taster? <laughs> Israel, for instance, there's a wall with the West Bank. You know, Israel's a fascist uh, ethnocracy, and you know they do fine. They got Hooters there. The U.S. could be like Israel. They have a booming tech industry. No. They have cafes, <laughs> yeah, and that's they true. commit genocide every day. So I don't understand why that's <laughs> such a bad place to be. I agree, dude. Yeah, I think we're Jesus on Louis, dude. Jeez Adam just Louis. shook his yeah. head in agreement. Hey, you I get up in the morning, <laughs> have some hummus, and then uh, kill a, ch- a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do like that's like German. That's more. German. I don't know how to do. It. No, they it's sound French. like uh, oh. the French people. That no, yeah. it's like uh, of course uh, we wake up and the, the it's Palestinians uh, are trying to kill us uh, every day. So uh, what we do is uh, we uh, we strap on uh, military clothes <laughs> and the hot girls with uh, big tits uh, put on. <laughs> they put on the military clothes and they put, take an M16. And do you don't understand how hot it is to do girl doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> While she has uh, M16 pointed at uh, terrorists <laughs> that are throwing that are throwing rocks at you, they are doing terrorism with rocks, with uh, just pebbles. Uh, like, I saw I saw a little boy uh, walk past a pebble, so I picked him up and put him in my microwave. <laughs> Now he is with the hummus. We (laughs) ate him and drank his blood. (laughs) But it uh, was not uh, like Christian blood. uh, There are plenty plenty of... (laughs) There are plenty of very... Good. Folks, we like to have a little anti-Semitic fun on this podcast. <laughs> there are plenty of good people who live in Israel, in my family. Yeah, yeah, they're called Palestinians. <laughs> Folks. All right. <laughs> Your parents don't listen to podcasts. You can't just I steal called, land. I called my parents today. Yeah. I called them. We spoke for the first time since they found out about coming. This kid is <laughs> rolling, baby. severely overrated, <laughs> and it became this like Under or over? Uh, underrated, sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant underrated. <laughs> but they fucking no people. They became this like fun band to shit on because you know I guess no, they're, they, bad. they're no, they're not, dude. They're, they're bad. First of all, rap rock as a genre is dog shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> but for them to yes. come out of that, I think no, Significant Other is a great album. This Nick is was really the, into the most you. hilarious trolling you've ever. Nick done was in your really life. into. I'm it. serious. Dude. I I can pull up Apple Music right now. I actually listen to Significant Other maybe You're five or six such times. Such a in the last fucking six asshole. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nick went to Ozfest 2003 and saw uh, Corn, Corn, yeah. KMFDM, uh, uh, Power Man 5000, yeah. uh, fucking Afro Man was there. Yeah, just Vertical Horizon, Pennywise. Do you remember that Pennywise. band? Pennywise. Yeah, no. maybe that was Warped Tour. They were a Warped Tour band. Yeah, uh, I went to HFS. Now Rap Rock sucks. Rage, literally Rage Against the Machine. Cottonmouth Kings. Oh, Cotton Mouth Kings. Cottonmouth Kings suck. They were the absolute. What about Pod? Look. They were like Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that uh, shit sucks. Lit. My dick. Yeah, it's lit. P P O D probably got paid fucking good off that one song that was on every movie trailer about yeah, what snowboarding. Was, what was that? Song? I feel so alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like every time, like the, like yeah. just a dude doing a and flip I. on his. That yeah. was like in every saw, single movie trailer. I saw a homemade music video of that song made by some kid that had like, you know, it was scene hair before it was emo hair. Yeah, yeah it was I remember. Emo hair before yeah. it was scene hair. And he's like flipping his hair and he's wearing a leather jacket, but he had spina bifida. Uh-huh. So it was all these like black and white shots like zooming in and out of him. But he's just propped up against a tree. Oh, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And he's like, you know, singing along to I the... I feel so and uh, Yeah, and it's like, you're literally not. Your spine is what is leaking out of your bones. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> meant a lot to him. Uh, yeah, and then I could never find it again. I wanted to. 
Well, dude, uh, you, you know, know what song? Laugh with, with him. You know what song? <laughs> I'm going to go find that video to laugh with that guy. <laughs> you know what song from that era I thought was legit good? What song? Um, the fucking Spider-Man song with the lead singer Chad Nick, Kroger. Nickelback. Yeah. And they say that a hero yeah, will save fuck me. Us. Well, We were laughing about all those Superman songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, oh, yeah. I can't stand yeah, yeah. to fly. If you yeah, just I'm suck my dick. I'm fucking Superman, but I'm still fucking crazy. Superman. <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> and you better fuck me. That, the first but one. I'm gay. The yeah. five for yeah, fighting was, yeah. one was like the 9-11 yeah. worker at yeah. Ground Zero theme song. They were like, we fucking love this song because like, I'm like a Superman here being in 9-11 <laughs> Saving people, so like, yeah, it really speaks to me. Sorry, I should have made fun of. Those yeah, heroes. why are you making fun of first of responders, heroes, dude? dude? They're literally the only people we respect on this podcast is the 911 first responders, but only if they were men and they were from Staten Island. Mm, yeah, of course. You know, if That's you're true. one of these fucking, you're one of these women that came from. <laughs> You know, uh, Connecticut or whatever. Ooh, me too. I want to help too. It's like, yeah, second bitch, responders. We got many here. We got yeah. Staten Island fellas. Nothing gets taking me. Taking care of these towers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets me quite as hot as a fucking 9 11 second responder. Yeah. Pieces of shit. Oh, yeah. fuck. You I'm went so- there. You went there on D Day. You take those fucking medals off. Whoa, you're hot. You're hot, Nick. You're getting hot. Yeah, sorry. I get a little <laughs> heated. I'm, I was actually... Would you uh, still fuck me I was if actually, I was uh, straight and Superman? You know, I don't want to steal valor here, but uh, <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL, and I was one of the 9-11 first. <laughs> That's a strange way to preface that statement. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to... That 100% wanna... <laughs> true statement. <laughs> Wait, you were telling me that story about how you ran up to the top floor <laughs> while the towers were you smolder. scaled it, actually. Dude, and, the tower, and then you the ran tower, back down and you realized you forgot the, a kid no, upstairs. I'm, I'm telling right? you, I was up there and I was on floor 101. Whoa. That's right where the plane hit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was going to the, the uh, water fountain. I was sucking water up with my mouth and I was blowing it all over the flames. <laughs> and I could feel the building start to collapse. So I reach up and I put my hand yeah, on, yeah, the yeah. on the ceiling. Oh, wow. And I held the building up, the, <laughs> the top part of the building. That makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. For, it, like engineering until wise. Until yeah. everyone got out of the building. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, on floor 101. Uh, yeah. yeah. On floor you 101. saved like 5,000 people. I, si- 682 million. <laughs> <laughs> A rough estimate is what they... On, that was what was printed on the medal I got from the president. <laughs> when I met with the president, yeah, we went to uh, Melting Pot, and then he let me drive my car in the driveway. Melting. Let me drive his car in the driveway <laughs> afterwards. And... Uh, <laughs> She's a guy that a guy that lies about being a nine eleven first responder, but he does it like a four year old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then me and my friends we went to laser tag after, but they used actual lasers, so <laughs> we actually killed uh, like four or five kids on the other team, but our team won. We got free burritos after because they use actual lasers. It's a special laser tag place. <laughs> and then we went bowling. My dad knows the bowling guy, so we were allowed to like slide down the bowling alley. <laughs> and then my house actually has a slide in it that goes. We have that money room from uh, uh, DuckTales in my house. There's actually, yeah. Well, my dad's actually an assassin. Okay, folks. Well, we're winding well, down here. First podcast of the Trump era. I think mm-hmm. it was okay. Uh, yeah. Hail Trump. Matt was like concerned about that last yeah, night. Yeah, he's like, Chopo's done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. We're just going we, to, if we, if Trump is the president, we're just going to become the he's fucking like, daily show. Everyone's <laughs> going to be mad at us. It's like, people are already mad at you. <laughs> that is what she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she I just lost. loved all those people that were like, the it's Satan the, thing? The people that are doing the math. Yeah, it's like, why the fuck? And that is a legitimate concern is like the private email or whatever but why do you have to introduce this like it's satanic child yeah, 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 rape yeah. and it's I like know. like do you know it's what like Karina <laughs> Abramovich is saying it's like she's a performance artist everyone knows yeah. she's a performance artist she does weird shit it's not weird that she smeared a bunch of blood on the walls it would be weird if she was having a Tupperware party <laughs> right, right yeah that would be strange. that would be bizarre <laughs> be yeah. if they were going to uh, that might sound like code yeah. but yeah I'm having a party where we smear shit on the walls and it's like yeah that's pretty much par for the Course, that's performance right? art that's just what yeah, it yeah. is yeah. well that yeah it's like sh- you don't think it's not enough to, for the secretary of state to maybe have fucking 
leaked some emails because she's using a certain... You know what I mean? Like, that's bad. Well, yeah, you'd be surprised how many people in this country believe in ghosts and believe in, like, the <laughs> devil and believe in that yeah. kind of shit. I think that shit kind of works. That's there were crazy. a bunch of, like, tweets and stuff that's like, oh, hell no, I don't play with, no, I don't play with that devil shit. <laughs> yeah, black people, I'm not voting black for that people bitch. totally think ghosts are real. You know how easy it is to scare black people? <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. <laughs> you were doing the voice. I responded to it. And uh, my mom worked at like a daycare center, so she'd be at, you know, work till like 7 p.m. You know, I just wouldn't see her, wouldn't hear from her. And uh, it was just like abnormal to hear from my mom like in the afternoon. And I was over at my friend's house one time, and my, my mom calls, like, you know, my friend's mom is like, yeah, your mom's on the phone. And I like pick up the phone, and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, uh, I, I need you to meet me at home right now. And I'm like, uh, why? What's up? You know, I'm, yeah. I'm not worried that I'm in trouble. Like my first thought is like, she found the pornography on the computer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to jail. She found the pornography. It was a good run. Yeah. I got like that scene in Blow. She's like, I just need you to come home now. And I was like, why can't you tell me what's about? She's like, just come home. And I, so I hang up the Christ. phone and I'm like consulting with my friends. I'm like, oh my God. Fuck, dude. She found, there's got to be porn on there. Like, she found <laughs> porn on my computer. I'm like, fuck. It's like, she knows I'm masturbating, which is illegal. <laughs> you know, I'm never going to be allowed to jack off again. <laughs> and, you know, I'm like so worried about it. I'm like sick with work. Cause like, why the fuck is my mom home from work? You know, right. like now I'm like, fuck. And then I get there and she's in tears. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be so bad. And she's like, um, Erica was driving home and uh, she was T-boned by a truck and she's dead. And Erica was this like, you know, uh, 19 year old woman that like worked at the daycare center she worked at who was always like super cool to oh, me. Shit. And, uh, and like I was legitimately sad about it afterwards, but at the time I was like, "Thank God!" <laughs> yeah. like, I had like so much relief. I was like, "Boys, guess who's still jacking off?" <laughs> Thank well, oh, by the way, Erica friends. got tea bagged by a car. Uh, she's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank got, God, yeah. my mom didn't find those pictures of Sable. Topless yeah. from them. Oh, yes. It's like Brian's nudes. <laughs> yeah. Geocities.com. Check me out, guys. I had, yeah. when I was in uh, sixth grade, I had a porno magazine that I made and distributed to my <laughs> high school. To my school. I, I, it's completely true. It was called Play Amigo Magazine. And a friend and I is 100% you true. Made, it's called Play Amigo? It was a great run while it lasted. No, I, you know what happened? We, it was my friend. That sounds like a Wii game. <laughs> yeah, Where you yeah. like interact with some five-year-old Hispanic boy. Let's play Amigo. It you was, teach him how to dude, read. it was great. It was, it's like you know Dora what? for boys. It'd be like six pages, and it would just be me finding websites of like that type of shit uh, and just printing yeah. it on my dad's printer. <laughs> <laughs> Color pages. I was using his money. That was so much ink. Yeah. So much just... ink. And I would sell it for like six bucks an issue. <laughs> and there was a couple of kids that would buy every issue. And I got busted by, by like I had a very gay teacher named Mr. Jones who passed away. He was a great guy. Yeah, yeah. And I remember he, was, uh, he, he found the porn one day and he was like i'll just say it was lingerie <laughs> he was such a he was such a good sport that's hilarious so i so we never got taken down i just kind of so, i walked away from i the remember game. someone's brother got <laughs> caught like looking at porn because he was doing the same thing where he printed out the pictures and like the printer ran out of ink while he was printing out porn so he's just like oh, forgot no. about it and then his mom like replaced the ink in the printer and the printer's like <laughs> Like immediately, <laughs> just like a woman's oh, pussy. No. Getting yeah, just the bottom. Half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good pussy. lord. Yeah. Oh, oh we got a virus, mom. Yeah. We gotta and you know, it's funny. You think like, oh, well, adults know all what that is, but like, people didn't really like suck dick or eat pussy until like the eighties or nineties. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm I not think even they kidding. sucked and fucked, dude. No, oh, they didn't that's suck not dick. True, really. No, it is true. Hell really? yeah, dude. yeah. In like they the fifties. I mean, if you go back to the fifties, uh, that was like. No, they were sucking. They were sucking. No, they, no, they dude, the whole. No. Okay, well, I want the one thing I want to talk about more about getting caught beating off because oh. I had a I had a fucking because my mom I I grew up in this utopia where my fucking 
immigrant parents didn't use computers so i was going fucking crazy dude i was like beating off to the strangest shit and the first thing my mom found was the first time she learned fucking computers i was on some vile shit i just got a call from my mom and she was like someone was on crack whore confessions.com <laughs> like what are these crack whores i was like oh i don't know mama i was probably nick and george I just throw a little brothers under the oh, bus yeah yeah <laughs> it was just like oh i was I, that happened to me i was like uh me and my friends are going to the pool and my friend zach's stepdad is like so uh nick what's up with these I have a place you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i made that clear <laughs> and then yeah we ended she up... barely spoke english right no she spoke english oh, okay. come on <laughs> she was chinese but yeah. she spoke english <laughs> yeah we was ended she up cute she was all right, and we ended up fucking in the woods uh, next to Rock Creek in Parkway. The woods? <laughs> Not even, yeah. That didn't even solve your problem. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it didn't. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, like on the side of the road, like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I showed up to the improv, and like like blood all over my hands. Yeah, she's on her period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> on his hand and his jeans he had to borrow jeans yeah why well, the borrow i had to borrow jeans for the next show the next night because i i got to the club and i forgot i was wearing basketball shorts i'm like oh fuck and i had to borrow uh tito garza's pants <laughs> tito was just coming to watch the show yeah yeah and so he had to sit there without pants on what in the crowd to, yeah because i had to borrow his pants to wear on stage oh man well that's a good friend yeah He's no a good tito dude. came through he was a good dude um, do you, have you ever had any funny fuck stories here, Sam? Have you DC? become have you come to DC? I've been here a few times. I'm trying to think. You know, and open it up geographically if you have any good <laughs> ones. A good fuck story. Well, this one's bad. I probably shouldn't say. <laughs> I will. Good fuck story. <laughs> recent. No, it doesn't have to be recent. It could be a, a classic. A it could classic. be a classic Sam Marill fuck story. Well. One the the worst one I've actually <laughs> talked that you've heard this one before, uh-huh. but it's a fun one for your for your come town for the uh, come boys for yeah, the yeah. come boys yeah yeah one of the worst ones is uh I was I met this really cute girl online and <laughs> oh yeah this is yeah a great you story. know this one yeah, yeah, yeah. it's terrible uh and we had a good date and then. I made out with her and that was kind of it and I never heard from her again that was, I thought nothing of it and then one day she just texts me. Uh, where are you? And I was like, I'm in Union Square with my parents. Yeah. What are you up to? And she's like, I want to see you and I want to get freaky with you. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so so I, you hadn't heard from her for like I haven't heard from her for a couple months. It was a Friday afternoon and everything about it was a little shady. Like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I felt like it, it didn't seem right. Mm-hmm. And then I called I called her to make sure it was her because there's that part of your brain where like it's some someone's trying to rob me. <laughs> yeah, like, this yeah. is too good to be true. <laughs> and I called and she's like, "It's me. I'm drunk. I've had a bad week at work. I want to fuck." And I was like, "Okay, sold. <laughs> That's all I need." <laughs> and I just I lied to my mom about an audition to get out of there, which really which really hurt a little <laughs> yeah. bit to yeah, see her yeah, face. Yeah. Like, so you're just him, having go get him, Sam. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which an audition is still a kind of a shitty reason to like is it a in your family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got, I got, I'm, I'm really hoping I get this Reebok commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's more important than my love for you guys. Yeah. So I leave, and I, I remember like everything about it was a little fishy. I remember uh, I text Rachel Feinstein like, "Here's the address in case anything happens to me." Yeah. <laughs> Which is how you know you're walking into something bad. Because I was with Rachel early that day, and I was just like, and she's like, "Why do you have to do this?" And I was like, "Well, you know why." I mean, yeah. I, but so, but a woman doesn't understand. Yeah. That, that type of urge. There's a lot of things women don't understand. Fucking the presidency, <laughs> you know, math. Yeah. So uh, we, everything except the space program, which apparently they invented. I mean, yeah. Do you know that was uh, yeah. WOCs? It was all. So I go over there. I get off the train, and uh, it's like it's very. It's a different apartment than when I dropped her off, but I don't think much of it because. Yeah. You know, it's like it's New York. People stop, but it's like a, a luxury apartment in Williamsburg. I walk in. I'm like, let's have a drink downstairs, and she's like, no, let's just let's just go upstairs. I have scotch, and I was like, that's weird. Yeah. So we go up, not like there's just a couch and a bottle of scotch. That's all there is in the apartment. <laughs> I was like, this feels very pornographic. <laughs> so we start kind of making out a little bit. She starts sucking my dick, and I down a couple scotches, and then she's like, we should go to we should go to my bedroom so my roommate doesn't catch us. And I was like, all right. And then she's like, no, I want him to catch us. And I was like what yeah yeah <laughs> that yeah. sounds like the opposite of what you just said yeah, yeah. but she's like 
Uh, yeah, well, and then I'm like, fine. We go to well, a bedroom. Is, uh, well, I don't want to room. It's so. a guy. Yeah, it's a guy roommate. Yeah, it, I don't even know what. Basically, he's been there the whole time. Yeah, I find yeah, out yeah. a second later. Cause Jesus Christ. We're in her bedroom. She thanks for pretending to be surprised by this. <laughs> Stop knows this story because I've told it on stage before. Uh, but uh, so the door just swings open. She's going down on me, and it's like a scary looking guy. He's jacked. <laughs> he's tatted up. He's staring, and I'm kind of like, "Can I help you?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you say? Right? You're. I'm still in her mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, "I was like, well, uh, he's like, we gonna do this?" And I was like. Uh, what? <laughs> He's like, are we gonna fuck her? And I was like, I'm not. That's not my thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, <laughs> he just wanted to fuck her with you. Yeah, that like, was that was their fuck? thing. That was their thing. Apparently, and I'm like terrified. I'm kind of like I don't. You don't being confused hard is a fucking bad. <laughs> yeah. To be scared while you're hard is a bad feeling. I feel like that's kind of what it feels like to be mentally disabled. <laughs> <laughs> they are always hard. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed. And, it's to be uh, coming and scared <laughs> at the same time. They're like, ah, help! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, where am I? And so I basically just, you know, I pull my pants up and I was like, all right, well, this has been real. I yeah, was scared. I, I, fucking, so I, I grabbed my backpack and I ran out and I remember walking through McCarran Park and uh, and my mom called to see how the audition went <laughs> <laughs> and I was like it was not good yeah. but uh, and then I called Rachel and she was like what the fuck is wrong with you it's like so why would you do that and I was like um but you know why yeah obvious just but a dude. I regret it absolutely but, yeah, but you then should I, have done it I mean it's not like you were gonna touch balls or whatever <laughs> you might have no nah, it, you just it, fucking it felt, spit roast it felt so creepy <laughs> like that's one of the things that, I did with like a guy from when I was like in like high school, but it's not yeah. something you do when you're an adult. But the stranger, it's scary. Yeah, you're scared for your safety, and the fact they already lied to me, and then also, uh, I don't know, everything about it was fucking terrifying. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't, I don't think I would. I don't know. I've never fucked a girl with another dude. It seems I feel like any audience is too much. I just can't have anybody watching me fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever, have you ever double teamed? So everyone's been complaining about uh, <coughs> Stav's cackling on the show. Uh, numerous, uh, yeah, numerous complaints. Adam, we already started recording. So shut up, Adam. Don't, please don't speak if you're not speaking into a microphone. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, dude. So uh, Stav's trying out a couple new laughs. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> If you like number one, please text F A G G O T to F A G G O T six. <laughs> that's the classic one right there. That's number two. That's not one of the voting options. <laughs> you can't vote. If for you, that so one. you can't vote for that one. Uh, no, uh, the other one is. <laughs> that's Japanese schoolgirl. If you like that one, type text F A G G O T to Ooh. to two o two two eight eight three zero three one. Um, this next one, ha ha! That's black guy. That's middle aged black guy. It's a black like guy. That. Ah. That's black guy old enough to still have a white guy name. <laughs> laugh. So that's like a ha, black guy, ah. a black guy named Richard or something. <laughs> so nice, nice middle class black man. Worked hard his whole life. Yes, absolutely. You know? He's got a job at a credit union. Uh, He's been been called the N-word a couple times in his life, but you know what? He just forgets about it. Absolutely. Because there's more important things in life. Exactly. And he doesn't do reverse racism. He doesn't. No. He's the best kind. He knows better. Yeah. He's... Uh, And then we also have... (laughs) That one's real good. That one's got a good... uh, uh, Like a smoky (laughs) resonance. Yeah. It's like old old jazz man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, we already did old black guy. Oh fuck! I, I thought we did mid- middle that. class, middle aged. We black did. Guy. There was a ten year period where black guys had names like William and Richard, and, um, and then but prior to that, they were all like you know Thelonious or that's such a good or Jelly one. Roll. <laughs> and then after Arthur Beetlebug Jenkins, yeah, after William and Richard, that's when it went they went kind of goofy. Yeah, in the eighties. It started what, off. What, what was the beginning? Well, it started off with like traditional African names and like Arabic names, like Rashad and stuff like that. I see, I, I know a lot of Black Demetriuses. Which yeah, is, yeah, it got I mean, yeah, it got a little uh, crazy. Yeah, it got a little crazy towards like the '90s, and then now it's just yeah. it's literally well, obscene. It's it's vulgarity. 
Some of these Barkevious names. Mingo is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Barkevious Debrickashaw uh, Ferguson. Debrickashaw Ferguson. Hold on. Barkevious Mingo has a brother too. Hold ha on. Ha ha Clinton Dix. Fuck. Bar- What's Barkevious' name? Brother's name? Oh, this tea is really bad. It's bad. Yeah. I haven't had any yet. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have any real flavor to it. It's oh. just like... Uh, Oh, gee, dude. Barkevious Mingo has a brother named Hutavius Mingo. <laughs> he has a brother named Hugh Mingo. Right, dude. It's okay if we're, like, doing, you know, a conceptual, like, racist thing. <laughs> but if you're pointing out actual black men, like, extremely high estrogen <laughs> levels, and I watch movies. Man, you're like a, you're like a mean Sandy <laughs> Kenyon right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Sandy Kenyon. My uh, skin is held together by cum. I'm 800 years old. <laughs> I'm Sandy Kenyon. I the died rest- of AIDS 15 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm a zombie, and the rest of the news anchors come on me to keep me alive. <laughs> That guy looks terrible. <laughs> Sandy Kenyon. What well, for non-New York listeners? Yeah, the cabs, the cabs have like uh, like video screens in New York, and they have like the ABC film critic, the ABC News film critic, who has never not liked a movie. <laughs> oh, no. there was a retarded kid who was Greek. Uh oh. And his last name was like Economides or some shit. Yeah. And uh, his parents named him Reagan. <laughs> so his name is Reagan Economides. <laughs> And no way. It, I swear to God, dude. And it was like, I remember That's always trying awesome. to figure out like, okay, so either his parents were like, you know, Democrats. Were liberals. <laughs> they were liberals that, that like, you're, either, either, either there were Republicans that like liked Reagan, so they named their, their son sure. after, you know, Reagan economics. Right. And, uh, and then the kid turned out to be retarded in a cruel, cruel twist of fate. Yeah, yeah. Or... The doctor was like, look, he's going to be born retarded. And they were like, let's name him after Reagan Ollis. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. that's what happened. <laughs> just just uh, liberals with a retarded son and the best sense of humor yeah, on yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, I, I, hey, I remember putting that son. together. I remember putting that together in like sixth grade. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that well, is so fun. It was just this dumb kid. I threw rocks at his head all the time. <laughs> you know? And then it turned out as he keeps uh, pissing his what pants. What was he like? They say it's uh, <laughs> trickling was, down. Yeah. <laughs> what was he like? What was Reagan like? I don't know. I'd actually never interacted with him. I just knew he was in like the special education class, and I saw his name in the yearbook, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Did he have like a real retarded face, or did he? Could he pass in a still picture? <laughs> I don't remember what he. He looked like you, actually. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right. Like handsome and charming. No. <laughs> no. And like very masculine. Like a and dumbass. Like a, <laughs> like a cool guy that everyone respects. Like a mentally and women, disabled. Women want to have sex with. He's bald at age five. <laughs> uh, plenty of hair. Keeps his sh- hair short like as a choice. Like could grow it out like if he wanted to. Is that what he looks like? Because... Nah, you're really that sounds pretty good. I didn't know. Here. I didn't know retarded guys were that handsome. <laughs> Actually, there this was there cool. was a there were, my mom my mom worked at. Like, what are you laughing at, Adam? <laughs> my mom worked at this daycare center, and they had they had like uh, like you know retarded kids there, like mentally disabled kids, and there was this one kid, Paul. That looked exactly like Val Kilmer, but like young, like Batman Val Kilmer. That's a handsome like, man. Like he looked beautiful, yeah, and like, yeah. there was, you know, I I remember seeing that like like the special needs bus stop one time, and they all you know sort of lumber off, and then like Paul just gets off looking like a male model, <laughs> and then he's like, "Are we going to McDonald's?" Which <laughs> is kind of funny because it's like you know the male inverse of like the dumb blonde stereotype. Right. Mm-hmm. She's just, hot, but she's retarded. You it's know what? It might have been. It might have been the real Val Kilmer just doing a, you know, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a method <laughs> acting method kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> for his his next role, Batman. <laughs> for Batman, yeah, yeah he's that already had to be retarded. A beautiful yeah. retarded man. He's like he's like going into like development meetings or whatever, and he was like, "Have you considered this? The man is half man, half bat. But what if he developed the mind of a bat? <laughs> <laughs> and so he thought like a bat, but with the same cognitive ability." <laughs> And they're like, okay, did you read any of the <laughs> materials we sent you? No, I didn't. I was too busy yeah. with my shitty Actually, band. I've been pretending to be retarded to get free lunch. <laughs> <in Boston. laughs> that would make a great sex slave of a beautiful retarded man. Like you just have him for like, if that, you're like a rich woman. That's like the a Greek mind for you right yeah. there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What How to make someone a sex retarded slave? People? Yeah. I'm just saying, dude, if you're going to enslave someone sexually, you fucking reward him with like a fucking uh, Twix every time he sucks your dick or you suck his dick. Look, whoever, maybe he's not gay. I don't know. I don't want him for me. <laughs> I mean, just in general, someone else. Do you guys want to talk about something else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm tired of talking about this. Not you know, that's the only reason I want to change the subject because I'm tired of talking about it. About your weird uh, Buffalo Bill for Theo, uh, not Mr. Matthews. Oh, uh, uh, fucking Boy Meets World. Sean. Rider Strong. She, Sean. Feeny, Feeny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rider, Rider, Rider Strong. strong. Yeah. Rider Strong. Which is like such a porn name. They're, yeah, they're like, yeah. we want our son to get fucked <laughs> on camera. <laughs> He's going to be the most famous. I saw a Peter North video and I said, that's going to be my boy one day. I'm gonna Peter get my North. Boy. I'm going to get my boy in them Dude, pictures. who goes to... Uh, I follow some... Uh, I follow some literally retarded people from the Anthony Cumia universe. Uh, Bobo and then another guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that I asked nice. my doctor about Zimbralta. Zim, Zim, Zimbrutalon. Every medicine is uh, is actually an Italian surname. Dude, have you seen the fucking... There's a... Um, I was watching a Hitler documentary right oh, on. I love this. And, and there's... So Frank Thomas... Is the fucking spokesman the big for hurt. a product called Nugenics? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's called Nugenics, and it's like what's the problem like, with that, dude? You can't fucking. He mean mug Drake at the game at the. That was the so last, cool. Was yeah, tight. he did a fuck off me thing. Yeah, that yeah, Drake, yeah, yeah. Just fucking. I wish I had a magazine. I would if I had if I had like editorial control of Vanity Fair. I would like invite Lindy. To just mm-hmm. be on the cover and then just completely <laughs> photoshop her into like a 110 pound woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Kate Moss, like 90s, <laughs> like heroin <laughs> chic. <laughs> Calvin Clyde has yeah, the was. 90s where you, know, you just use her hair. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just yeah. no part of her whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you take one of her arms and make the whole person out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then when so people mean. get mad be like what <laughs> what did I do just a little light retouching yeah. all magazine. magazines do it yeah it's not a, <laughs> this is an industry standard thing I love it like have her head like not even on center for like yeah, the yeah. neck yeah like have her like sort Fuck of tilted yeah, dude. oh dude yeah. we gotta get a magazine now yeah. that settles that yeah, wow well, mm-hmm. I gotta hit up uh, Anna Winter and see if she still yeah, wants my service. What was going on there? Someone just lied yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, it was like a game of telephone where everything got fucked up. <clears throat> they just wanted you to tell jokes. I never named Anna's. Oh, it's Ninja Turtles. Yeah, <laughs> they're all like seven foot two and yeah, <laughs> yeah. weird, like you know, realistic length limbs. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. No, I think it should be fat comedians in suits. Yeah, I'll, I'll let me get in there. Let me get Leonard Oots in the mix. Yeah, you, Bobby can be the dad care bear. <laughs> you, uh, good, man. Ralphie May. Uh, Funches Yes fuck yeah Get Jamel in the mix if Jamel puts on a couple You can maybe get in there He's he the Care Bear That uses couple, the N-word right. <laughs> Jamel is fat <laughs> Who's kidding who He doesn't get a pass no, On Jamel. being fat Because he's black and cool I thought he's black so, huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black so guys like, aren't fat <laughs> It's like muscles And stuff right You have to be so fat To be considered Like Leonard Like Leonard's yeah, fat yeah, as yeah. hell Yeah what's his name But he's uh, swagged out The dude from uh, <clears throat> Breaking Bad The stand up Lavelle Crawford Lavelle Crawford Yeah Lavelle Crawford Lost like 400 pounds And he's still fat yeah. as shit Phase on love oh yeah oh yeah all the yeah, 12 yeah. button guys mm-hmm. yeah uh earthquake yeah Dude, my man the front of my man jacket looking like the control panel on an <laughs> elevator <laughs> <laughs> look at he laughing because he knows he laughing because he knows know. <laughs> <laughs> my man said which floor are you trying to go to <laughs> hold that for me can you hold that for me <laughs> Ding! And then they have to do like a twelve minute act out as to what riding on an elevator. Oh, 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 excuse me, uh, which floor am I yeah, supposed yeah, to go yeah. on here? <laughs> Just murdering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, Sean Teal, that elevator bit is so good. <laughs> when you when you do the doors opening and closing with your arms, you have to stand on the stool to make it look like you're going yeah. up and down. <laughs> there you go. We going up now. And then. And then what does it do? It comes back down, don't it? Don't it? Look, he laughing. My man, no, he yeah, he's been on an elevator. Oh hell yeah, that was good. They Thanks. would just hang the dick, the get caught, getting caught in the doors for some reason. Just get the, find a way to make the microphone your dick in a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just put it in their pants because it's concealed. 
You know, I'm not exposing myself on the elevator. <laughs> what about a stand-up who does a stool humping bit by hands free? If I could fucking come in my pants. Incredible. Like if I just saw someone attractive and I came in my pants, it's like that's kind of like having bad sex with them. <laughs> yeah. In a way. I'm gonna count that as sex. Yeah, I'm gonna count that as full sex. If I just saw it's someone attractive like and I came in my pants, I would it's feel coming in your pants. That would be great. <laughs> it's one hundred percent not sex. sex. It's not even no, jerking it's kind off. Of like What's some weird <laughs> what? thing where you instantly Come. What time? <laughs> that would rule. <laughs> I wouldn't, and then I wouldn't be thinking about it. Yeah. No. Don't get me wrong. It would be cool because then you get like seven you minutes of sex dude. of like free. Your mind is clear. You know how for fucking seven chill minutes? you would be if you came in your pants and like it wasn't <laughs> visible. Like if you were talking to somebody you thought was attractive and you just immediately came in your pants and then you were like, oh, well, now I can just be chill. Then you have the upper hand yeah. in that yeah, discussion. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Don't, yeah. you don't need to add You're not like, nervous. Right. Yeah, yeah. That and then you good. finally hook up with them and they're like, well, are you going to come? And you're like, I already came seven and a half hours ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but yeah, when we first started hooking up, yeah, during the conversation yeah. portion of the You know, we had some bad sex seven <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> you know, you had no idea that I was coming when there was pre-cum just all over my cock. <laughs> we were talking about plays and I just had fucking soggy ass boxer briefs on. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would love to come in my place. If you could just do it like on command too. You know, oh, it'd be amazing to like get out of work. Like, imagine if you had some shitty like retail job. And, Sorry, and it cost- I gotta leave. I came in my pants. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Yeah, yeah. I can't fucking. I gotta leave the orange these Julius. sweaters. <laughs> There's jizz all over my fucking corduroys. Yeah. Sorry, man. I, I came in my pants. Yeah. I gotta leave Abercrombie right now. Um, can I take a second lunch? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Y'all got happened? wet wipes. Yeah. Y'all got wet wipes, yeah. Just a fucking you just wear nothing. I'ma need the you. loaner underwears, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wear- came in my pants again. <laughs> <laughs> like, god damn it, Craig, we're gonna need you to start wearing diapers. <laughs> yeah. You come uh, in your pants too much. I'm gonna need the like, enterprise runner like car to loaner to the underwears. Manager, please. Oh my god, did you just come into your pants? <laughs> 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 Ma'am, I understand you're upset about this, but it is a medical. Uh, this is something. Ma'am, that please put your breasts away, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. I'm warning you. <laughs> ma'am, cover up, please. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you did it when you were nervous, like you have to give a presentation in class and you're like, um, Tiananmen Square. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. And then you just give the best presentation after you yeah. come. And then you're, then you're fucking Don Draper. Yeah. <laughs> Put that coffee down. <laughs> coffee should be becoming their pants. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you. Oh, fuck. There's only one thing that matters in this life. Always be coming. <laughs> ABC, baby. <clears throat> Goddamn. Getting them to sign on the stain on your pants. <laughs> What else happened <coughs> this week? Did we do Trump shit? got mad at the play. No, oh, yeah, 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 Hamilton. Real fucking gay yes, Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, he got mad. <laughs> Time to do when that. When Seth goes high, we go low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> he had one. Did you? Did I send you that one? Like, oh, I was in a in a coffee shop the other day, and I'm explaining to the white barista that this is fascism that we're living <laughs> under. <laughs> And it's like, you know, what are the other people in line thinking while he's doing this? And it's just, how are you always in a coffee shop getting into arguments also, with people? Also, he's not doing that. He's not. He thought about he's doing, doing that, it. Uh, last, <laughs> last month, I spent $47,000 on croissants. <laughs> Beach ass muda fucker. Beach ass muda fucker. Adam Friedland is a little dick ass boy. Who has never had sex. The only way to cure the issue of a, a smaller penis is you must find an albino child. <laughs> and then you will use the a knife virgin, a virgin. to remove uh, the ears and eyelids of the albino child. And when it is uh, screaming, only then will you penetrate the child. <laughs> <laughs> we must have this in Africa. I have never had consensual sex in my life. You must never respect a woman. <laughs> if I have, if I know one thing, it is that. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is always wear sandals and you, never respect I, a woman. The only time I take off my sandals is when I have to rip. <laughs> God damn, I love this character. I literally almost crashed the car. We were yeah, doing that African shit African the whole rapist. time. Afri- whoa, whoa. Oh, just African guy. African man, dude. Come on. Baseball team one year looked exactly like my... On team. your baseball team? My, my, yeah. One of the kids. Uh, Adam played mom league baseball. I played mom league baseball. <laughs> it was a league of their own. It was me, Rosie, the, the Michael Moore mom. A league of their own is a good ass movie, dude. Yeah, it's, it's dope. a league of getting owned, and it's Adam <laughs> and Seth Cockfield, <laughs> Seth Dickfield. <laughs> Who's that guy? Who's that other guy? Yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a new character named Barf Seth Touch. That way, it's like different enough that okay. uh, you know, Barf. You can, yeah, you can't. Bar, yeah, Barf Seth Touch. Okay, you just shifted enough that uh, you know you can't. You yeah, know, you can't reasonably say I'm making fun of Seth. Well, that's Cockfield. not a character. Well, you You're talking about a new it. guy you just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Barf uh, Seth Touch. Well, I'll forget about it and we'll bring it back later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I still can't believe that barista thing. I'm telling this white lady, y- it's going to be fascism, and she's just rolling her eyes. And I'm there, and I've got <laughs> crumbs all over my shirt. My pants have fallen down. Everyone can see my ass. <laughs> and then I look over at the Indian woman who also works there, who I know is Indian somehow, by the way. There's no way she's any other ethnicity or nationality. South Asian. She's got to be Indian. And me and her, we're looking at each other, and we just know. You know, that's what I love is that all these stories always involve him like sharing a look with someone that he thinks he's relating to <laughs> right right but right, he's right. the least self-aware person in the it. world so yeah. he, he has no idea that people fucking hate him yeah <laughs> so the stories never involve anyone agreeing with them there's always there just, was a black and woman. there was a yeah there was a black guy in the corner and i'm sure he felt the same way uh-huh. i do there was a black woman sighing loudly <laughs> clearly at the barista yeah <laughs> she yeah she was she was eating hot fire cheetos in my ear and I, that's a sign of respect in our community <laughs> i heard it she was probably thinking mm-hmm, you yeah, go boy <laughs> ooh boy I knew, I knew she respected me <laughs> i could i could sense it i have a sixth sense for women of color <laughs> well uh, the food's here so so that's going to be the end of the episode. Fuck, is this a family reunion? Yeah. God damn, it's Brooklyn in the house. Yeah. All right, we're going to set this off. Fashion your seatbelts. This shit is definitely real. Now, how many of y'all like sex? Yeah. We're going to talk about sex. Now, check this out just the other day, right? I went to the top floor of the World Trade Center. They got a bar up there. And I see this bitch got more butt than a box of Newports. Woo! Now this shit is definitely real. Hell yeah. Now how many of y'all like sex? <laughs> <sighs> Check this out, man. I'll be having sex sometimes. And this is what you do, man. You, put, you, you, you know how it is, man. You get the girl down there, a hoe, you bend over, uh-huh. you pull your dick out. What Ooh. you do? You put your dick inside of the pussy. <laughs> 17 minute act out uh, God bless y'all And remember let's get the guns off the streets people. Get the guns off the streets And then Martin Lawrence comes back on There were 157,000 murders in Chicago yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got in, caught in a deaf comedy jam uh, well, I don't want to call it a black hole I want to sound Lacest I don't Do not want to sound Like a lacest <laughs> What's, What voice um, is that It's a Chinese, is that it's, a Chinese, Chinese it's a Chinese guy Saying he doesn't Want to sound racist What's the guy's background well, Give me a little bit Of is flavor Taiwanese yeah, The guy I'm doing Yeah yeah It's a, a Jewish man Doing a racist Impression of a Chinese Oh, oh. That's why it's right. Bought a t-shirt <laughs> Yeah you, know? no, you gotta have 311's shit <laughs> Yeah exactly You gotta have a big turd <laughs> Not even the same who Genre the fuck, of music <laughs> Who the fuck Went to a Gigi <laughs> Allen concert <laughs> You saw that documentary found right? out what that was like and was yeah, like yeah, yeah. hell yes so, <laughs> that's what I want to fucking some guy screaming it's gonna smell horrible the guy that he made, might rape my mouth while I'm yeah. while he's fucking it's also like you can get that for free in New York City everywhere yeah, yeah. just take the train yeah yeah, that's what the train is, <laughs> dude. People, is it like the only people I knew that were like liked Gigi Allen were just like fucking try hard 
13 year olds right yeah, there's no, how it still is were there were there any grown men like, so they got the dogs <laughs> there oh, and then there's shit. a guy with like a boom box and he <laughs> hits man. play on the boom box yeah but then you, you know the audio is like obviously coming from the boom box it's not you know yeah, yeah overlaid yeah. the the shot and then out of the boom box they're all listening to like in the arms of the angel <laughs> like yeah. that's their favorite shit at the dog fight yeah yeah like, yeah that's the song they the listen to the one from the commercial they're like yeah yeah that's my shit my man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man. <laughs> my man. My man. Yeah. Um, that's the sketch idea. Do you that's think, really like, good, Tarantino, my man. like, he's, you like, at his my keyboard? Man. <laughs> <laughs> my man, please. <laughs> Tar- These neighbors has a lot of my mans <laughs> running around. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> so to answer the question, uh, yes, the show is bigoted. It is ironic, but, you know, what does it matter? Because it's a slippery slope irony. Look, uh, you know, look, that's why I had to leave Twitter. Van Coulter's going to openly defend the American Nazi Party. Yeah, that's tough. There's no room for guys like me anymore. At least online. Relegated to the world of podcasts where there's still a little bit of nuance left. Yeah. You know? This yeah. is a nuanced This is show. nuance, dude. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I was, I was uh, thinking. I would break my heart if yeah, my daughter did. ever brought on my man home. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a guy out there that's like, you know, a, a guy that's like, I don't care if you're gay, you're my son, I love you, but don't you ever bring a, black a Mexican guy. man, <laughs> yeah. yes, a gay for sure. Mex- yeah. Yeah. I think you can so. be gay. In for fact, sure. I'm glad you're gay. Yeah. The Bible actually says it's okay. Yeah. The man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put the tea kettle, uh, I want to fuck the tea kettle. The hedgehog and like, you know, Tails. Sure. He's mm-hmm. like, do you know Tails' his full name? It's like, yeah, it's uh, Miles Miles Tails Prower, which is what? his full name. His name is Miles Prower. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's true. I like happen to know that. And uh, he's like, yeah, it's Miles Prower. And I was like, oh, oh, and I just, yeah, it's Miles Prower. But I had just known it, like known that it was Miles Prower. And he was like, wait, you just remembered that as a name? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I didn't understand why that character... I never, like, thought about it. Right, yeah. right, right. I thought it was, yeah, it was just, like, a, yeah. a weird deformed animal that has, like, a man's name for some reason. Yeah. Like a black a tax squirrel. attorney's yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds it's like a... a law office of Miles, Miles Prowl, Prowl. Esquire. It We're sounds like a personal right injury. now. Please leave a message yeah. and we'll get back to you at our earliest convenience. It sounds like a like a... South Central LA personal injury attorney. That's the, uh, basically an identical joke to what I just said. That adds nothing. That adds literally just nothing adding a location to, to what the fuck I just said. You're gonna take the joke and now I'm gonna make it mine by saying the exact same fucking thing you did. And you couldn't a, even go on with another game. middle class occupation. I bought a I bought a TV the other day. That's, um, what's up with uh, Chris Chan these days? With who? Chris Chan. Who's Christian? Uh, oh, you don't know who Sonichu is? No, I Christian do. Weston Chandler? No. Oh no. my God! How the know. fuck? Did, how, how have I not told what you? What is this? About like a computer before? thing? No, it's it's the m- most trolled individual in the history of the internet. Really? So it sounds like a computer yeah. thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't even know if it would be worth it to go into it because I'm sure everyone listening to this is, knows who Christian is. I but I think probably a lot of people don't. Uh, like me and stuff. Well, you're f- completely ignorant to what I'm talking about, so I don't even know what your frame of reference <laughs> is to say people do or don't know about it. I just I think we have a lot of listeners. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure a lot of them. Are. Anyhow, so. <laughs> About ten years ago, <laughs> yeah, yeah. About ten years ago, yeah. this guy, uh, this guy, uh, got popular on the internet. Uh-huh. On like mostly on 4chan, it was an autistic guy, like a twenty-four-year-old autistic guy, lives uh-huh. with his parents for posting this video where he's like, "It's wrong to be gay. Oh, Being gay yeah. is incorrect, and you should always be straight." You know, or whatever. <laughs> but he's he's got around his neck this weird medallion made out of model magic that looks like a yellow sonic hell yeah and uh people dig deeper and they find all these uh cartoons he ma- he makes comics that he like looks like shitty he has the artistic abilities of a fucking 10 year old so he draws these comics called sonichu which is a character he created that's just sonic combined with pikachu <laughs> oh that's cute yeah uh and but he's a homophobe or you know, he's weird so you know uh people would like just sort of observing him uh 
but th- over the years, the trolls became more and more involved in his life, and he had all of these ongoing like dramas. And the, his mm. main things, at least ten years ago, were he was in search of a uh, a boyfriend free uh, girlfriend. And he just he's a self described <laughs> a boyfriend free uh, sweetheart is what he would, oh, so he would like put yes. up he would have a sign that he would write up to be like I'm looking for a girlfriend <laughs> and he would go sit on the community college campus but then he had qualifies on there like uh, she has to be white she oh. cannot be you know like just oh racist and stuff yes. like you're not allowed to be fat or whatever. Oh, hell yeah <laughs> right. he's yeah. this autistic guy and like the dean of students you know kicked him off and he got into this feud with the dean or whatever yes. uh-huh. and then he was constantly being banned from his local game stop oh, my oh. God. and so he had these feuds going with it you know and he would That's make these videos of like of like uh, uh, create a character and like soul caliber of him murdering the dean. Yeah. He would like make the dean, then make a character for himself, and then have videos of him stabbing the dean. <laughs> and then the police had to get involved, <laughs> and like you know, uh, and it just oh, got God. better and better That's and better. Awesome. So he, he had this quest to find a. Uh, uh, he described himself as a as noviophobic, which is. Some bizarre combination of Spanish and 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 Latin right, right, or right. Greek, Greek, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, which means uh, boyfriend free or boyfriend phobic, you know. Okay. And oh. so he became a he, he, but he just stalks women. Like you know, there's a oh. woman that worked at the mall that was nice to him, and so he, he like unfortunately oh. she was nice to him, so he would just like wait outside the store and stare at her, and she'd be like, "Get out of here," and he would like run away. You know, come back and stuff. Jesus Christ. So as he got more and more attention online for his shitty comics, like people started trolling him. And it was all these like 12 year old boys that would call him up because they sounded like girls. (laughs) And they would pretend to be girls to troll this grown autistic man. (laughs) Oh, fuck. Who did he live with? Parents? His parents. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And, you know, so then obviously his nudes got leaked and videos of him fucking blow up dolls. Yes. And screaming like, oh, Julie, I love you, Julie. Like oh the name of a twelve year old boy <laughs> pretending <laughs> and uh and this was like all happening ten years Hell ago. And he's got so now he's years. trans. He's Is been, he? He's been trans. He basically killed his own father. I think he what? set their house on fire. He Holy got them shit. he got them kicked out of their house because he uploaded he's like a tour of our home in the Department of like Health found the video and their home is just in disarray and there's yeah. trash everywhere. What? So they got they got taken out of their home and uh <laughs> Imagine and, being this kid's yeah. parents. And, and a couple of years ago he got arrested we'll again. We'll buy him a computer. It'll he be got, good for him. Yeah, he got arrested again at GameStop because he, he <laughs> they changed get this. This is my one of my favorite recent Chris Chan things. Uh uh Sony changed the color of Sonic's arms from tan to blue. Yes. Oh. And he's like, that's not what Sonic's arms look like. Yes. And so he went into the GameStop. <laughs> And there's video of him doing it. He's just he's fully trans now. So he's dressed like a woman, oh and he goes into the GameStop, God. and he's trying to uh, color in Sonic's arms with like a blue magic marker. Oh, yes. And the employees are like, what are you doing? And he starts macing the employees. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. I love that it's like, how stupid you are that like Sony makes a change. Yeah. So you go to your local GameStop yeah. and decide that's what's going to change it. That's what's going to turn yeah. it around. You got to be the change you see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, he's, he's so good. You know what? And, but he's from an older version of the internet that was much fucking meaner. And that's where like, you know, Brandon and all these fucking idiots are like, Oh, I love BB or whatever. It's like, no, you're exploiting him. And at least older fucking generation of internet people had the courage to be mean to these people. (laughs) Yeah. Positive. Like, positive and pretend like you care about fucking BB, Brandon. (laughs) You're laughing at a retarded man. (laughs) Fucking own it. Yeah. Oh, BB, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, BB! <laughs> Shut up. No, don't support Trump, BB. No, BB must be thrilled, isn't BB a Trump supporter? Yeah, oh, yeah huge Trump. Sure. Oh fuck, dude. Well, we got to find something to close on. I don't feel like recapping Sonichu for people who already know about Chris Chan. It's really <laughs> worth it. Um, geez, what are, what are, uh, what else? I've had nothing, man. I've been dealing with this legal bullshit all week. Yeah, I and I won. By the way, I can't go into details, folks, but. Uh, Chalk just one up good. for the little guy. Yeah, just looking good. Adam, have you fucked recently? Uh, actually, I haven't fucked. Really? Like, a little bit, yeah. How oh, it's a little bit? Uh, I it's uh, know. it's your dick. <laughs> dude, shut the fuck up, Nick. Take that back. No, dude, take that shit the fuck back. Dude. No, 
Take your dick back to the tiny dick store, dude. I lost the receipt, refund. so I can't even. I can only get store credit. No, but if they look up dick. your, if you paid for it with your debit card, they could look it up. I didn't. It was a cash transaction. You paid cash for your for tiny my little dick? dick. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's so off. stupid. <laughs> Fuck, now man. I tell you, these tiny dicks. A lot of people say that the girls don't like them, but they're wrong. I tell you, they're <laughs> absolutely wrong. The girls go crazy for these tiny dicks. It's true. They don't, well, they, the only thing they want is to have their clit played with, and that's the whole secret of the penis game. Now I'm telling you because you don't look like a sucker to me. You look like a, a straight shooter, and I respect you. And so what do you say? Right now, right here, let's do it together. Let's make a cash deal. <laughs> For this tiny little dick. <laughs> I don't know, mister. <laughs> Just like do it. I'm telling dick. you, I'm looking at you now, and I can right. see that you want it. You for this want amount it. of money, can I'm I get a bigger sold. dick? I'm interested, but I'm not sold. You, I think I'm, you're going to have to sell me a little harder. Look, if you maybe you want to put it in the ass in the future. What we're doing is future-proofing here. Maybe okay. big dicks are in now, but I'm telling you, in five and a half years, <laughs> everybody's going to want a narrow two and a half inch. <laughs> Well, I look don't know about happened. It. Look, what happened. look what happened to the sedan market. Everyone was saying big cars. We're going to drive a big car. Oh, we want a big car. And then the Japanese came in with their tiny dicks, mm -hmm. and everyone wanted a tiny one. Yeah, it's oh, true. That's, that is true. He's I'm making telling good you, points. Look, listen to me very close here. Mm -hmm. You have to sign on the line. Listen, I got to talk to my wife before I Don't do that. Don't talk to her, that fucking bitch. <laughs> that bitch, she's a cunt. She just doesn't want me to make you financial can't, decisions. You can't listen to her for anything. Without her For permission. any one of these women that are driving a working man mad. She just what kind of dick do you have, sir? I don't worry about what kind of dick I have. I, 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 I have whatever dick I need to have. This is about you. <laughs> This is about a deal I'm giving you here, <laughs> Shelley. I'm telling you. Well, it's just she. We have a joint checking account, <laughs> and she's going to see the charge. And I just, I, I just want to get her permission before I. Before I think I we've done enough. Jack okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's really adding anything to it. Thanks for trying, Adam. Uh, what about uh, the insurance policy? <laughs> just get more and more mundane yeah. into the dick. Is there a warranty on that's the dick? That's really the only impression I can do is him. Oh, no, that's not true. Ones, Nick, dude. you're a good actor. We got... Um, do you guys know that, listeners, that Nick in, in Secret is a good actor? He's going to be in a new movie. I'm, I'm actually method acting as a guy that's not actually racist. <laughs> For the podcast? For the podcast. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. That's a fun uh, act. Out. No, that whole method acting thing. It sounds like bullshit to me. It is yeah. bullshit. We're feminists. You know what was crazy on that show is like, so Joey and Chandler have an apartment together, and then they like watch Baywatch because it was, Hot. it was network television. Yeah. So the implication there was that you know that was like TV code for Joey and Chandler would sit around watching porn, beating off. Well, together. no, there was there was an episode where they would watch they watched porn. What? So I think yeah, there's an episode where like you get porn. Uh, you get porn for free or whatever. So the other, so the actual implication is that they literally were watching Baywatch and beating off together. I think. Well, maybe Which they is thought even it was a good stranger. Show. I think, which yeah. is like watching Baywatch with your boys and beating off. That had to have been like one of the EPs was also collecting royalties on Baywatch, and they're like, it has to be in the show. You have to force people to watch Baywatch. I think it was like a 90s Another thing culture. people don't realize, that theme song was just written for the show. Yeah, it was. A lot of people think that that's a song that was just on the radio, and then they used it for the show. Guys, then, really? I the have Rembrandt? an idea. Yeah. What about, we don't have a theme song right now. We get the Rembrandts to do it? We get the Rembrandts. Or we right just use the Friends theme song. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You want to use the Friends theme song now? Um, Jobs joke, you broke. Your love life's got HIV. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you know Tommy, right? Tommy. Oh, Tommy yeah, yeah. P. Oh, uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't give a yeah. shit. I mean, he has a real career. I don't, right. This isn't going to fucking do anything to it. Right, right. So Tommy Pope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like Halloween. Halloween like two years ago. <laughs> and I went up to him, and he was, was sitting there. there. Shut up, uh, Adam! You're not on the podcast. Man. Yeah, so I, I like a, a guy. It was like Halloween, like two years ago, <laughs> and uh, me and someone who's no longer on the podcast were looking for <laughs> we were looking for like blow, 
And so I go up to Tommy and I was like, you know, because we didn't have a guy to buy blow off of. So I go up to Tommy and I was like, hey, man, you got a blow guy, you know? And Tommy sits there for like a half second and he like thinks about it and he goes, no, but I fucked a tranny once. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? And he was like, I fucked a tranny. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, you asked me if I ever, I've ever blown a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like no I said do you have a blow guy and he's like oh uh, no no I don't I'm sorry I love that he just volunteered that <laughs> yeah 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 that's he so thought good. about it for yeah. a second well the story was great the story he told me oh was, really yeah he was like uh, just walking around one night and he like went to pick up a you know a street walker or nice. whatever nice and he picked her up and uh, then he she was like blowing him in a bathroom and uh, you know he's like uh he was like, all right, like, uh, fuck it, like, I want to fuck you or whatever. So she turns around and uh, he, like, starts fucking her in the ass. And then he, like, reaches around and she's got, like, a dick. <laughs> I and didn't know the like, whole time. Yeah, I, guess know, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess he didn't know. And then he's like, and he's like, and then I just took a second and I was like, all right, fuck it. And he just, <laughs> did it That's when you know, dude. That should be the test for if you're homophobic or not. <laughs> yeah. if, like, you're surprised with a dick. Yeah. What do you do? If you keep fucking, you're the best. Yeah, you're, good. you're a good yeah, guy. Yeah. I love that story. That guy's great. Uh, yeah, he's funny he, shit. And, he and I well now the cat's out of the bag on that he and I uh, got her dick sucked by a trans woman <laughs> on a roof in East Village one night you and him yeah, like together oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were just sitting next to each other what standing. are the odds? I'm standing of course what you the were... fuck when uh, a while ago <laughs> Was this was while was this while you were sober? No, oh, no, oh, no, okay. no. I was right. I was drinking it. Uh, we this girl that I had ended up being like she. I went on a date with her and I showed up on acid, and uh, she got like weirded out by that and then stopped talking to me and then invited me to her white coat party because she just graduated. What is that? Is that like an oh, alt right thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And she was what having like this fuck? get together at, <laughs> you, at like what? Why what? were you dating someone that went to medical school? We dude? weren't dating. She she saw me do comedy once. She thought uh, I was going to be like whatever. Course. Wow, years you know. ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was back like then. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and uh, so we go I mean, there it's barely past to like now. eat a dick. And so we go there and uh we are i'm there to like be like hey things are great now melissa and we were just rotating door doing coke in the bathroom <laughs> with all these like doctors and everything wait so, you went with with tommy oh, okay. and a couple of friends of ours i like crashed you this crashed party yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you're yeah. such a piece of shit and so then so then we were standing outside and she's like yeah you know it's good to see you and she got in the car uh, she was like, hey, hold on one second. I was like, okay. And she just got in a cab and left with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on one rolled second. the window up and I was like, what? Melissa! And I like got so upset. I you was got like, cab cuck. That's dude. it. We're getting out of here. You got, so we were you just got, on a you got mission. Cuck cab. Yeah, 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 cuck cab. Welcome like to ben the cuck cab. Yeah. <laughs> ben Bailey's cuck cab. You get the ben question Bailey. wrong, he fucks your girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, Adam, do you want to laugh at that story? Let him laugh into the mic. It was, it no, was, just no, laugh at it. Laugh at the comment on it. It was a good story. Laugh, dude. I don't have a laugh right now. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> not, not That's it. Of, you blew it. You blew it, bitch. That was your chance to be you on the podcast. It, bitch. Um, hold on. <laughs> so, so you, so you get cab gunked, and then you just wander the streets and find a trans well, hooker by you know. God was looking out for me that night because yeah. we found a good one. Yeah. And uh, somehow, I don't know how, we ended up on a roof. I think she suggested the yeah. roof. That's why, that that's why go I, to I, spot. I, I love all these people. They're like, ah, New York used to be so cool. And it's like, no, you're just boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's right. still plenty of cool yeah, New York no, You can still around. do a bunch you of cool shit. You fucking suck. You're yeah. a shitty, sucky person. You could sneak up onto the roof at the Lantern. You go oh, yeah? through, you could get into the apartments through this really? door they keep open. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is uh, that where you got your dick sucked? Uh, no, this is in the East Village. And then we uh, That's got- how, how Woody Allen, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, I just, you know, she's got a dick, but she understands my- <laughs> That's her flaws. That, that she has you know, you're joking, but that's literally, I would say, what, 40% of your relationships? What? <laughs> She's got a dick, but she understands me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 60. <laughs> Didn't you pay so, a trans hooker to fucking eat pancakes with you or something? No. 
Eventually, yes. <laughs> what, I, every, I, no, you paid her in pancakes. Yeah. They should happen. make a movie about your life called Please Leave Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please leave. <laughs> what was it? You went to a dot? You didn't have I, money? I didn't have... I thought... That I had access to all of my money uh-huh. in my account, but after you use your card so much, it locks you out. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, you, you know, how, call you, up your guy. You know, the fucking spending limit is like three thousand dollars a day. I had it to a lot lower, so uh, I could because of the so behavior, I could like you were the bank of alcoholism, carb, <laughs> so I could cut curb. off curb my my thing, yeah. so I wouldn't black out. You like, you, you bank it well, whiskey Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. All right, um, and uh, yeah, no, I I didn't have enough. I was like, call your guy. We're getting blow. We're getting a room. We're fucking. And uh, I could only get out like $100. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, here's the thing. <laughs> and so I was like, I could get you food. Do you want to eat at a diner afterwards? And she was just so disappointed. And uh, really, she Did you fuck? made fun of my dick. Um, <laughs> she told me I had a little she dick. Was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she, was, she was back. <laughs> that is a really shit. That's, a dick. That is fucking yeah. the horrible customer. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like I the know. experience I'm, go- I'm going through with my bank right now. <laughs> they made fun of you. Amalgamated. Dick. Yeah, they made fun of my dick, and then they sent me my debit card a month and a half later. <laughs> That's so good. She had a much yeah. bigger dick than you. Huh? And I was really trying to like. So what's where? Where are you from? She's like Brazil. <laughs> she just was not into the conversation <laughs> at all that we were chat having. Up a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While we're eating eggs You're at like four such in the a morning. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come to a show? She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Ian. Holy shit. Uh, Man, yeah. this is such a fun story. That's Probably great. the funnest story. Yeah, Ian makes me feel like a piece of shit about even like considering calling myself an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you have had some hilarious, yeah. Ian's had some hilarious times, some halfway, some fun yeah. halfway home stories. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? When I met Ian, when I met Ian, I was like exactly at like two and a half years sober or something. And we met at like Stand Up New York or something. And uh, like we started talking about sobriety and he was like, yeah, I've got like a week and a half. I was like, oh, good for you. And he was like, yeah, I had time before that. And I was like, how long? He's like two and a half years. And then I was like, oh, fuck, like yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. happen to me or whatever. And then I was like, well, like, like what happened? Like, you know, I was a, like fascinated. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? And you fell off the wagon. He's like, ah, you know, I was just at the airport and I was bored. So I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I got a beer at the bar. <laughs> Is that real? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell him, tell him what happened after that. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I was actually working at a so, halfway house. <laughs> So, Wait, so like, you're at the airport. Not only was I like losing my sobriety, but I was losing my job. Oh my <laughs> I was God. just like, don't care. Wait, wait, you're at the airport going where? What's the? Uh, I was going uh, out on the road. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I ended up getting whacked, and I almost missed my flight because I went to another <laughs> airport bar to fill up my. Drink thing with beer because you can bring it onto the flight. And then, Jesus uh, Christ. yeah, I like pissed myself a little bit on the flight and uh, just like was like, oh, it's, I think it's just water. And then you think you just pissed water? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I just to, like convinced that myself that it wasn't bad yet. And then, uh, you know, for, for two weeks, it was real, real touch and go. And then on the way back, you know, you drink so you're just out on the road for just two like, weeks. Like, you're just drinking, you're drinking. And oh, then, so uh, you were going on the road and you're like, I want to get fucked up on the road. Yeah. Because that was going on. Right. Yeah. And and uh, and I, on the way back, I had to meet up with my my ex-girlfriend was picking me up and I couldn't. Why? Because she loved me. and uh, She was your ex at the time? No, no, no. Oh, did she, did she also have a bigger dick than you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Maybe that's why you keep falling off the wagon is you keep fucking women with bigger dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta find a little dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trans- <laughs> little dick princess. Trans- little, 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 dick little dick Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> you put a golden, put a, golden put a baby, baby <laughs> condom on her. Put a golden baby yeah. condom. <laughs> and then Miss, you, you left this in my ass. <laughs> <and then> it, <laughs> And then at midnight, you turn back into a heterosexual. <laughs> midnight, get out of here. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> I'm a man. Yeah. Uh, no, dude, it, it just, it fucking sucks. No matter how much you drink, it's like not enough. And then you, you like, uh, don't even think, you just like, I don't care. I just want to get fucked up. And on the bus on the way to her place, I tried to get to uh, the airport bar. It was closed. <laughs> so I went on a you bus. You tried to go to the airport bar after you landed. Yes, <laughs> that's incredible. Yes, that is and, beautiful. and I also stole a bottle of wine on the plane, 
And and in my mind, I was like, I'm better than all these people. And I took the wine and I was drinking it by the bathroom. And I looked out at everyone like being normal. And I was like, yeah, fucking idiots. <laughs> look at look at that. <laughs> and so then I found I I knew I was gonna see her and I was like, uh, but she's like at booze at her place. So I just fucking uh started drinking hand sanitizer in the fucking what? bus. Yeah, dude. Two weeks. That's not the plan. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's why it's alcoholism, dude. It's like you, not that a, is crazy. That is insane. It's like and, and I didn't plan on that's it. That's top it level thing alcoholic, of like, dude. Yes, yeah, so that's why it's like the next time but I'm shooting heroin into my right. dick. Yeah, 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 like yeah, it's for not sure. gonna be like a good thing. You're yeah. drinking <laughs> hand sanitizer. Yeah, you just uh mm-hmm. give Adam a second to explain why he doesn't have stories like that i miss being on the podcast so much shut guys. up that's not what he asked you dude. why why don't you have stories like this why don't i have stories like cool this? Yeah, stories like our question you know what by the way Ian, a, you're I, doing great thanks man. this is really fun i don't have a, a substance abuse uh issues uh but if it'll yeah, get me back on it'll, if it'll get me back on the podcast that okay well that's great that's the adam segment and we're gonna go back to ian now uh ian tell him th- fun th- look, sort of gay ian that story's <laughs> not even over yet yeah 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 so then you, you end up. Then you end up. Then you end up at a nightclub and like you're trying to buy crack. <laughs> oh, that that was that was in the when I was away. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. that part. <laughs> and, well, this this I I went to this place. <laughs> And uh, called the Gay Nineties, and I was like, right up my alley. <laughs> Hold on. The bar was called <laughs> yeah. the Gay Nineties. It's, it's not. It's not a. Everyone gay, looks it's like Doug except it's, it's not a gay. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not. It's Rocco not. sucking He's, off the cow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> every one of Ian's girlfriends look like Patty Mayonnaise with a dick. <laughs> <laughs> They're all named Skeeter. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's how he got that name coming on Ian's face. <laughs> um, Poor child. Hold on. Where were you? What city was this? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. And there's a bar called the Gay Nineties. And 90s. it's not gay. It's like an ironic name, okay. I guess. All right. And so That's I went. Fine. And you That's know when you you're like the other guys with coke turquoise rings, and you're just kind of like other. going around, and you're like Coke. Coke, you know, and no, actually, <laughs> yeah. I usually ask somebody if they have somebody's phone number. Yeah, that's so sketchy. Uh, you don't yeah. fucking ask for Coke. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. And fucking. Uh, Although that's how you do. That's what you do with trans hookers too. You're like penis. <laughs> Pe- you just troll the streets. No, you just know. You just <laughs> you got a sixth sense. Yeah, the yeah, pheromones. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so you're looking the back for- of your neck go up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to find Coke and. Uh, I guess like this guy felt bad for me and he's like, yeah, I can get you some, but you're going to have to get out of here. The brothers aren't liking this because it was like mostly a black Nation club. Nation Islam guys. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's mostly a black club. Uh-huh. Is it, and it's not a gay bar. No. Okay. So just black people are mad at you. And it, wait, it's a, yeah. a club that black people go to called the Gay 90s? I, dude, I are don't you know. sure? Yes. Because yeah, black people, black people don't do irony. Are very homophobic. Especially Minnesota. The yeah. the one the one place I went to the first place was called the Gay Nineties, and I stumbled into another place. That's right. I'm looking up the yeah. Gay Nineties. Oh, you yeah, stumbled into another place. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And and the place I stumbled into was like kind of like a strip topless. Oh wow, only the Gay Nineties Minneapolis. Yep. And uh, so the guy ends up giving me coke, and I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna call you tomorrow for heroin. <laughs> He's like, okay, you are. <laughs> yeah. By the I way, lost his number. I had always by wanted the way, to do it, and I never got it. Thank God, something outside of me was like looking out for me to like make sure I no, never. No, let me it. stop you right there. No one is looking out. For you. <laughs> <laughs> None of this would have happened by if anyone way, was looking out. Hold on for you. one second. Gay nineties, gay bars, karaoke, dance clubs. That is one hundred percent a gay bar. I asked someone where the fun was, and they told me gay nineties. <laughs> yeah, because they looked at your mustache. It was a gay bar. <laughs> you are such a fucking retard. <laughs> the reason you don't think it's gay, a gay bar, is because you asked someone, and they didn't specifically tell you a bar called the gay 90s yeah. was a gay bar yeah so you just assumed it wasn't gay I figured here's it the thing was maybe if the fun. owner didn't open it with that intention that becomes a gay club yeah, the, first yeah, 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 yeah. the gay 90s look there yeah. was a mcdonald's in dupont circle that's the gay mcdonald's <laughs> right 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 <laughs> And it's oh, just because it happened to be there. Someone Street. used to have a terrible bit about that. One. Yeah, I don't the guy who used to be on bad. the podcast. It was me. I that used was to a do fucking a bit of, drawn yeah. out. Stupid you know what? The best bit. part about that bit it it was it was a story that happened to me. That really? He started doing well, you were not. That's real. That's time, real so Wardell yeah. of him. Anyway, this hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, Ian? Take that fucking this one time at no, no, no. Let him tell the story. Let him tell the story. Tell the story. I don't like this. Tell the story. 
Dude, that'd be great. Is dude. that what I am now? Can you this? actually give the mic back? Yeah, to just Ian? give back the mic. Like what was going on at the gay nineties? Yeah, so gay nineties. <coughs> so anyway, oh, it man, was I'm so roaring. excited. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so they were just yeah, yeah, Adam, 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 Adam. Just get yeah, the coffee, yeah, yeah. Adam. Please. Thanks. And so I mean, there were cocks and balls abound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in Mexican. So cock, you're all right. Cock. You're in gay nineties. Stop doing right, a right. I I left. I left gay nineties. I went into this strip place, and then I found this guy, and so he gave me a little bag. I was like, great of coke. Okay. And then I went outside, and there was a homeless guy. He was like coke and i was like i'll take more so i bought and it was just dog shit of course it was literally whatever. dog shit you <laughs> bought yeah, yeah, from yeah. a homeless guy yes i know <laughs> i like little business i was trying to help He's out homeless. <laughs> how good at selling coke could he be well you know i've you know he probably he got was high so excited to see your dumb ass <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah 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 so I went. I got. I got this. It's a I, miracle you have not been murdered. By the that's way, that's what I'm saying. There's something helping me yeah. out. I, I'm alive for a reason. I should all be right. dead. I don't know about all that. And uh, I say unto you. <laughs> and so I went back to the hotel. I got this back page woman to come over, <laughs> and I could not get it up at all. So we just <laughs> laid in bed and ate trail mix. <laughs> and then I told her, I was like, give me a couple hours. You come back. I'll eat your ass. What do you think? She's like, absolutely. And we smoked Newports in her car. She left. And then she wouldn't answer my phone calls. <laughs> so that you attempted to eat her ass. Because you did that before, Verbally. again, didn't you? The next day. You couldn't get his tongue hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the next day I you called her back and just coke ate her ass and beat off? No, no. The next day I finally got up enough courage to call a trans woman. Oh, nice. That was just a normal And then, that was the first time? No. And then you eat her, you no, ate her ass The first time did it happen off. by accident or you knew you were attracted to these, to these, well, the, these, I, I knew. these people? <laughs> <laughs> The first time I, I went to I went to a, a tranny karaoke bar. Yeah, oh, nice. Was it and called Nineties Target? <laughs> <laughs> it was Lucky Chang's. I run a like first and second. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take a field trip after this. Lucky the, it's, Chang. It's more like gone. Unlucky it's gone. Chang. That that's what his bar turned into. <laughs> yeah. Poor Sean. What was that story you were telling about getting beaten up by? <laughs> By Asian guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bumped into the Asian guy and he's Where? like, "Watch it!" I was, I oh, right, I right, you. right, right. Tell I was it, like, no, "Take it one. easy, Jackie Chan." <laughs> he did not like it, and neither did his friend. Well, that's what I'm saying. Way to prove you're not Jackie Chan by beating somebody up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like the most Jackie Chan thing you can do. Yeah. If somebody, if I was Chinese and somebody called me Jackie Chan, I'd be like, uh, "Checkmate! <laughs> you fucking got me." <laughs> you can't be violent. Speaking of Jackie Chan, how great was that fucking rush hour scene where you pick the girls for massages? That's yeah. so clearly you getting fucked. You're fucking these women. Mm -hmm. Again, that is something I did beat off to. I legitimately beat off to that scene where uh, I never you got to it. pick your own woman. I wanted the woman with the big The titties. only Jackie Chan movies I've, I've seen is The Tuxedo. <laughs> I've never seen Rumble the in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx is great. Fucking great I haven't movie. seen that one. Rush Hour is one and two and three. I didn't see three. Anyway... So you beaten up. You got beaten up by Jackie Chan. Yeah, his his friend came up and just smashed a uh, rocks glass <laughs> on my face. Just my orbital <laughs> nose just kind of went. <laughs> Where were you? This place on uh, like Thirteenth and Third, I think. I, for, I forget. How did you not get it. arrested? Uh, Have you been I've, arrested? I've been arrested. Yes, <laughs> uh, but not for long periods of time. I'm tell. I'm very fortunate. What did you get arrested for? Uh, DUI and then um. Uh, oh yeah, public. I I had a warrant for not. Paying oh, that's a right. Drinking ticket. <laughs> you just what was it? You fucking. <laughs> some cops stopped you, and then you're like, "Sorry, officers." You oh, they, yeah, they caught me drinking on the street. I was drinking a forty, and they're like, "We can throw you in jail right now." It's like I'll throw it out. I promise. So they watched me throw it in the trash, and then I watched them get in the car and drive away, and then I went back into the trash <laughs> and grabbed it <laughs> and drank it. And again, there were the. Oh, I was on the train. There were these heroin addicts, and I was like. Psst, can I get some heroin? <laughs> they were like, no. You're, you're so I such my, a lunatic. I, I took you're my, trying to buy heroin I took on my the train. cat bottle and I threw it at him and a cop saw me and he, you know, threw me against the wall and was like, hey, look, I'm just going to run your ID. If you don't have anything, I'll let you go, you know, whatever. I was like, okay. And then they like started putting me in handcuffs. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you got a warrant. I was like, what? Oh, man. Fucking hell. For what? I, I had an unpaid public drinking ticket <laughs> <laughs> that I thought I paid off. <laughs> and, and you uh, went to jail for how long? It was just like a overnight thing. And they, I felt pretty cool. They let me smoke a cigarette handcuffed walking from the one place to the other. And then I got in the, in like the van and this, 
uh, fucking dude is in there. He's like, man, they fuck people like us. I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, just, like, <laughs> so murderer. scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then also in the cop car, I was handcuffed. And in the back seat, there were two cops next to me, two in the front. And fucking, they were like, what are you doing? I had a Delaware ID. And like, what are you doing in New York City? And I was like, I'm trying to be a comedian. Oh, and like, my Are you God. on YouTube? And I was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> they like, no. Dude, they watched one of my videos. And like, two of them liked it. One of them did not. And I had a job interview the next day. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I really hope you get that job tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, this is so demoralizing. They were playing good cop, bad cop. Didn't they? So you're oh, doing yeah. Bad cop is the guy that doesn't like your stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how they got me to roll over. Are, uh, oh, that's so yeah. good. Well, those are good stories. Thank you. Those are but, all good stories. But, now, what I'm, what I'm, uh, <laughs> they kept lying to me. I kept being like, I have a job interview tomorrow, and they're like, we'll get you out of here real soon. Don't worry. And I was like, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> did not uh, happen. Did you get the job? I got the job. I left the jail, went home, did coke to stay awake because I didn't sleep at night. <laughs> and they were like, "So, how was your morning?" And I was like, "It was good." And I'm just like <laughs> what picturing job me was like this. Oh, dude, this job, Jesus! I was an administrative assistant. You're like the guy in that movie Flight, but instead of a trial, it's just like Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> just, the biggest day of his life. Yep, just, yep. You know, yep. Fucking another day, you managed to stay alive. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. That that fucking job. I got the job from my uh, the guy who got me in touch with my coke dealer. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. Lot of range. Now I don't even know if he's alive. Probably Is he like not. a life coach. No, he's <laughs> oh god. Well, he, he seems to be doing a lot for you. He's getting you coke <laughs> and job interviews. He's like Carl. I believe in you. <laughs> he's like Carl in that Simpsons episode where Homer gets an assistant. Oh yeah, that's when he a good gets one. the hair treatment, yeah. Yes, hell yeah. The Harvey Fire scene, Simpson and Delilah. That's the name of the episode. I used to have to hang out with this guy to do free coke with him because mm -hmm. he'd, he'd just give me a bunch of coke for hanging out with him. Yeah, but he'd be like, you know, I've been writing a lot and I really want to do comedy. I'd be like, oh okay, oh, so I'd geez. have to like listen to his bits and be like, let me get more of that. <laughs> oh my oh, god, yeah, real good, Keith. Coked up wannabe open micer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know how dude. fucking horrible that sounds. Yeah, it was That's awful. Two of the worst things. It was just so a coked bad. up guy talking at you. Yeah, yeah. but he's talking bits in bits. At you. In bits. And when when was this again? Twenty thirteen. Okay. Twenty twelve. Yeah. So he's like, Ian, can you get me up at the lantern at yeah, 2 yeah, a.m.? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll bark for you if you give me some coke. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just two pathetic idiots <laughs> hanging out together. Yeah, coke guys are the worst drug addicts. For sure. Yeah. Those are the absolute worst people in the fucking world. We did that promise as a matter of principle to let these people know. We're not, I'm not going to fucking lie to them. So if we get to 5,500, you can come back on the show. And as it stands right now, you're off the show. And uh, and and that's just we might have to raise it though. I don't know. Ian's doing great here. Thank Ian's you. Ian's doing okay. Yeah, <laughs> those are great you, stories. You're gonna make me work for more. I no, no, it. those are great stories. But how many more times can you hear about? First exactly. of all, the only reason this is shocking to us is because we're sexist and transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> you put this guy on NPR, and they would be like, "Yeah, that's normal. We all do that." <laughs> I, I, what part of I voted for Hillary Clinton don't you understand? Of course I've had a trans penis in my mouth. And of course my dick was smaller. Absolutely. Yeah. And first of all, I measure my penis in metric because I love Europe. And it's it's four and a half centimeters. Two minus the foreskin. Average. Which I had surgically reattached. Average. Whoa, Ian, what are you doing here? Um, oh, please. boy. We might have to audition more people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should. I feel like there's got to be a way to get child porn through ham radio. <laughs> and that's the only reason anyone's still using it. Could you fax child porn? Is yeah, you can. You can probably fax child you porn. You absolutely can. And there's got to be somebody who's been arrested for doing that. <laughs> Faxing <laughs> child porn. <laughs> Just beating off the blurry, yeah, yeah. smeared, little kids getting oh, their yeah. little ass dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you unplug my fax machine? <laughs> Mom, don't come in the basement and don't touch my fax machine. Yo, there must have been a, a time in history <laughs> where the most technologically advanced fucking child predators yeah. were faxing yeah. stills. Of some guys, bling, bling. some guys at the hobby store, and his beeper goes off, and he's like, "I have to go home real quick. <laughs> I have some business I have to attend to at my personal fax machine at home." <laughs> Oh fuck! That is probably the part of their singing telegraph. Now, now we're talking. Hell yeah, dude! Now we're getting. That's somewhere. a bull. That's a good startup idea. When I was in, <laughs> when I was in community college, I took this bullshit like marketing class, like this business and marketing class. And the semester project was like, uh, 
you know, we have to like come up, we have to design like a, um, like a business mission, like a business plan for our business or whatever. Everyone had stupid ideas. Mine was like, uh, like a website that advertises like local businesses, like, you know, right. And then this is 10 years ago. Right, so, right, right. you know, it was like a, like a souped up version of Craigslist or whatever the fuck, right. You know, whatever you want to call it. And then there was these two guys in the class, these giant dudes. They were both like seven feet tall. It was like a black dude and this like, uh, enormous, like white got like white wigger that looked like an owl. <laughs> like a, <laughs> looked like an yeah, owl. A very owl. Pointy nose and shit. Yeah, pointy like pointy owl like features, <laughs> like you know, arched eyebrows and shit. Very sort of like you know, sinister looking face, real fat. Oh fuck, I know exactly. Um, what you're talking yeah, but about. like nine XL tall tees, fucking you know, big cargo oh, tall sweat pants, was hilarious. Air Force Ones, and then he would like he had this like sort of shitty shoulder length like longer hair. <sighs> Held with like one of those uh, just like real thin uh, hair bands. Hair bands. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. The soccer players. And yeah, shit yeah, yeah. That yeah, kind yeah. of shit. Oh, that's and classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's classic. On the two of those guys, they're real cool to me because I remember like uh, you know one time I was like, hey, you guys over twenty one? They're like, yeah. And I was like, can you buy me liquor? You know, because I was like seventeen or something. They were like, yeah, sure. And like they gave me a ride to the liquor store and I sat next to them and they were cool. And but the the the, the wigger guy got in his car and you just couldn't sit behind him because he put his chair all the way back <laughs> to the back seat. Like it was used to be cool to like have your chair back, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you'd have his chair. So he was like basically laying down while driving. <laughs> right, right. Um, but yeah, so I like oh yeah, another time in that class, I remember the uh, the fucking uh, the professor was like asking questions about something and there was some kid named like umar or something in the class and the professor is like ro- doing roll call and he's like uh umar uh you know uh uh praji or whatever right. the fuck his last name is so yeah umar, umar smell baddie or something like that. and uh he like so he says the kid's name the teacher and then he looks at him and he goes he's like pakistan India, Pakistan, India, you know, and he like does this like back and forth right, and trying right, to right. guess where the kid's from. And before, like the kid doesn't know what the teacher's doing. And before he can answer that big weird kid's like, Ooh, he said Osama, yo daddy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My man uh, yeah. said, Ooh, he said Osama, yo daddy. <laughs> and uh, yes, but no, uh, so they're like, they, at the end of the year, you know, we had to like deliver our like business plan. Or right. Yeah, yeah. It was like a presentation. And they, those two guys just decided they were going to work together. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we doing a group project, you know? And it's like, they, that wasn't allowed or whatever. <laughs> right, right, this right. This community college teacher was like, yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. And they were like, all right, check it out. It's a 24 7 hour uh, weed, beer, and cigarettes delivery service. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, that's just illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their business, our business plan is we just break the law. <laughs> all of our information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was like, B minus B- plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is so fucking good. Yeah, three girls who were pregnant. And there was this, uh, there were like the instructor was like giving everyone instructions. She's like, make sure your cell phone is off, not on vibrate, not on silent. Make sure it's off. She's like, if your phone goes off and I hear it go off while you're in class, not only am I taking your phone away, you fail the class, you know, right, you fail right, the GED, right, 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 you right. don't get your money back, right. you know, you have to come redo it again. And this like girl is pregnant next to me. She's like, damn, I will be so pissed at whoever called me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she like thinks people are going to laugh and like no one laughed. And she's like, yeah, that's why I'm telling you to turn your phone off now. <laughs> so that it doesn't happen. She's like, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a laugh out of this room of strangers, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like retarded yeah, we're not strangers. In class together. Yeah. You just miss that element of high school so yeah. much. You don't realize that this is the last chance you're ever going to get. <laughs> right. you're the, the class clown in your GED. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking good. Yeah, that girl sucked. Oh, man. There was, at that community college, I remember there was just like a table of fucking black nerds. Like, Mark Echo is closed for people who find legal walls, you know? We find what? Legal walls, like places they've set aside where you're allowed to do graffiti. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like the most like, ooh, I only smoke uh, uh, legal marijuana. (laughs) Not not even K2, like non-alcoholic marijuana. (laughs) Right, right, right. Dude, remember when Spice came out and you're like, oh, this is awesome. It's just illegal weed. You smoke Spice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? I never did that. What was was that like? All right, relax. Like, I'm fucking fucking scumbag. (laughs) 
I didn't smoke it out of a hooker's pussy, yeah. dude. <laughs> you, <laughs> you literally drank hand sanitizer. Yeah. That's the fucking spice. Something my nose at you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Yeah. Like someone, if someone people didn't even do that during prohibition. myself. So yeah, people yeah, weren't yeah. doing that during prohibition. They at least had the decency to find rubbing alcohol. <laughs> right, right, right. You got they didn't have hand sanitizer during prohibition. Not good, but I was like, oh, this is legal weed, man. It's going to be fucking. And there was a kid, this kid fucking Yelzar was his name. Hilarious name. Yelzar. Yelzar. <laughs> that sounds like a retarded Pokemon. Yeah, like yeah. an autistic Pokemon. Yeah. Half dinosaur, half screaming from autism. Just a stegosaur just rocking back and to forth. Die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please <laughs> kill me. <laughs> Yelzar. <laughs> <laughs> Yell czar has evolved into uh, ward of the state czar. <laughs> um, he would he was he was getting drug tested, but he Yells. he loved spice. No. He would smoke it out of a bong. <laughs> he would like <laughs> smoke spice out of a bong. Why dude. the fuck was that his name? I think it's some kind of weird Russian Jew name. Oh, all right, Adam, do you he, want to comment Adam, on that? I don't think that's a Russian Jew name. Well, okay. It was. okay, what kind of name is it then? I think maybe uh, like Ural. Like the Ural Mountains. That's Russia. He was a Russian Jew. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe so. Ural Round Mountains. Those are definitely Russians. Oh, he was Jewish. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. So wow. thanks for Jesus commenting. Jesus Christ. Uh, we're winding yeah, it down yeah. here, and we're gonna we're gonna talk with Ian for a little bit longer. If you're just joining us, let us uh, know if you like Ian or who you yeah. you want to call replace in now. One eight six six two nine five three nine two four. You're listening to the Anthony Kumia show. <laughs> yeah, we're at the on, top of the on NPR <laughs> at the top. <laughs> now that Trump yeah. is president, Kumia gets NPR. <laughs> <laughs> That would be yeah. so awesome. And here's what it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> and Puerto Ricans. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, man. I would love that shit. <laughs> that would be great if they just Fuck, sang. man. We're bringing cars. Just a on. retarded guy hosts fucking All Things Considered now. Bobo <laughs> hosts All Things Considered. The yeah, they just, side they've beat off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just keep all of all of their shows, but they just make them stupid. To, yeah, to discredit them. <laughs> be great. God, that would be awesome. <laughs> I would love it. Wait, wait. No, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Up yours, yeah, chink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, asking Chinese immigrants that don't speak English trivia and if they get it wrong you punch them Ian spends most of his time <laughs> he does uh, look like he spends most library. of his time in yeah, the library there was, there was a story a couple of years ago about this guy that got arrested for not just downloading but beating off the child pornography <laughs> at the library Christ. in the middle of the day holy like, shit you know, at just like you know one of those tables and then there's a pic there's a guy's mug shot in the paper and he looks insane <laughs> he's oh, Guy, well, what the fuck? He got, he's got these like fucked up teeth and this intense look in his eyes. And it's like, this guy rules. Yeah. <laughs> this guy fucking absolutely rules. Jesus he's me. I'm Christ. him. He's that my is. dad. We're the same. Yells are. Uh, yeah. Well, Ian, thanks for coming. And yeah, we're going to jump guys. over to Adam Friedland. Our, uh, it's irony if I'm on the podcast. But if oh, I'm off, if you kick the Jew off, I'm sorry. You know how many then, Jews we could find to replace yeah. you? Ian looks like a Jew. He's yeah. not Jewish. I'm, first of all, I'm Jewish. Wait, I know we like don't say that, you know, yeah, because Nick's it's Jewish. funny. But, it, but come on, man, I'm Jewish. You're not Jewish. Yes, I am. Yes, he my is. family changed their name during the Holocaust so they could get a job on that tower they fell off. Of. <laughs> you got an Irish last name, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Milenowitz. Was was actual... They changed it to an Irish name at Ellis Island. Yep. It used to be Mullen Coin. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it used to be Mullen Coupon. It was Coupon Hyphen Coin. It was Jonathan Nickelpenny. Hey, name's Dimey. Jonathan. Your last name was Jonathan Nickelpenny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's me, Dimey, Dimey, Dimey Nickelpenny. But my friends call me Quarter. <laughs> It's good. That was Thanks, good man. In studio at Sirius XM, and I bombed. I said, <laughs> Jim got annoyed and started looking at his phone and eventually just left the studio. Wait, in the middle of your interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just left. He was like, he's like, I got to find this app to put text over video, and then he like left the studio. It's called Snapchat. Yeah, and then Sam was like, uh, so Nick, where are you from? I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I don't know.
This is a letter to the editors. Oh, no. <laughs> Long time come town fan Seth Dickfield here <laughs> and I would just like to say that I am outraged at the last episode there were zero jokes it was all arguing and that's not why I listen to the podcast I spend five dollars a month on this show Do you have any idea how much money that is first of all think of it in terms of pennies that's like five thousand pennies yes it is <laughs> You know what I, I, how long it would take me to enjoy each and every one of those pennies? <laughs> how do you enjoy a penny, Seth? I'd, I'd, say, I'd say you give it 20 minutes each before I come in my pants from holding a penny. <laughs> Times 5,000. We're talking about a lifetime <laughs> that I wasted on that terrible episode. Um... <laughs> We got a lot of complaints about it. Uh, <laughs> well, Kurt's but, back. Yeah, Kurt's back. So, hey, Kurt. Oh, hey, hey it's guys. not Kurt's fault. I guess it's not. It like you know, it was just it was fucking last minute. We had a shitty. Yeah, yeah. It's like eleven thirty of fucking night. Yeah, you know, I don't want to throw Kurt's like I still Kurt's one of the best comics. Oh, he's funny in shit. the city. He's yeah. an amazing comic. He's a he's very so good funny. comic. But if gems in D.C. is when you go to the Lincoln Memorial and you see people doing, they think those are the Rocky steps. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the best. And they do it. I love it. And it's always like Indian guys. <laughs> so it's like, Vikram, Vikram, get, look at me. I am like the movie star Rockman. Vikram, take picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people always get it wrong in Philly too. They do the city hall instead of the art museum. Uh -huh. There's no, yeah. is there? There's not big steps at city hall though. I don't know. May, maybe I'm there's wrong. Like no, the, you you said that because somebody called the art museum city hall. That's right. They do that the right steps, but they don't know what that fucking <laughs> yeah. building is. I saw a clip of Rocky without the music running up those steps, and it mm -hmm. sucks, Dick. It's, it's just not very like, good. It's yeah. just like some guy running up steps yeah, yeah. and like grunting. Dude, I was <laughs> I was terrible. in Philly one time and I saw a guy doing the Rocky steps, which is already just like I don't understand how you have you can embarrass yourself to that degree. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, that's like Was he in sweats? Yes, that was what oh. I was going with that. He was wearing the outfit. He had, oh, no. He had, like, the scully, no. the gray sweats no, on. dude. Just some completely out of shape, middle-aged Italian guy. He's Just, like, yeah, like in the movie. I'm like, I'm like Rocky from the movie. He stops halfway to drink a cup of marinara sauce. Yeah. And just powers himself to the finish line. Yeah. Italians, stop pretending like you know anything about exercise. <laughs> you don't. You don't fucking know shit about yeah. it. You're all on steroids. <laughs> you do some garbage five day split and do your steroids. They do get jacked though. I'll give them. The I saw him one time. He had the guy doing like the sample, like uh, you know, the sample session. This so is you know not a guy that's uh, maybe he was his client, but it was his first fucking day. Oh, he was a personal trainer. He's a personal trainer. This like meathead personal trainer who's really dismissive and shitty to all his clients. <laughs> right, just this, like right, right. douchebag bro, and he was like training this like you know dude the whole day, and then towards the end of the day, I hear him too, and he's like, I hear him like talking to the guy. He's like, you know, honestly, like you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, yeah, I did cycle, but just to get to where I am, and now I just maintain. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just maintain, you know, what I what I built up by doing this by cycling. Yes. So to be per to be completely honest with you, to be if I'm being completely honest with you, yes. You know, and then like I'm like, I, well, I don't know why you would just advertise that. Yeah. Like, tell your clients like, those, are the, those. That's the one group of people who should lie about using steroids as personal trainers. Absolutely, professional athletes, I guess, because there's like a legal issue there. But if you're like a professional wrestler or some yeah. shit or a Come fucking on. bodybuilder, like everyone knows, you're not fucking. You know, you're allowed to use drugs. Right. They don't just say that you use drugs. But a personal trainer, I just, nah. you know, there's no reason to fucking advertise that. And then like. You know, maybe 45 minutes later, I heard him again. He's like, well, you know, for someone your size, I would recommend, you know, go in there deep just to yeah. see what we got. Get crazy with it. Get 14, 14, 22. I, I beat off. You know what I've been off to lately? The beginnings of pornos where they like first get naked. You're what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yes, yeah, I'm I'm tired. I, you know what I beat off to you guys? The interview where they're like on the side of the road and the mm -hmm. bank yeah. guys are offering them I money. I beat off. I beat off. What's the, the sex stars? I beat off to all the legal disclaimers at the beginning <laughs> about yeah. the office of record keeping. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
<laughs> what, that's Miami, crazy. Florida. That's like, there's like a there's a job. There's like some fucking state government job. You get fucking sixty grand a year to just like sit around and be like, what's that? Oh, that girl. Yeah, she's eighteen. Okay. <laughs> all right, thanks. You know, and like that's all you do is that's you just make good. sure that the people getting fucked on camera aren't your children. That's, that's a, a good job. That's a cool job. Yeah. Could I get that? Can yeah, I quit comedy and get could. that job? Yeah. All I'm saying is sometimes, you know, the first time, you know, it's fun to see some titties pop out of a shirt. Well, for the longest time when I was a kid, I X, 90% right? of the time no. a sex nerd is like a fat woman that loves masturbating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's she Oh, jeans. <laughs> Have a bottom jeans, yeah. <laughs> We're rethinking what black women's asses look like. <laughs> Just Steve Jobs on that stage in a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough to just have ass You gotta make the booty pop This is what consumers want This is what we're thinking about uh, Steve, are you gonna take your cancer medicine? No <laughs> Smoothies I'm taking yeah. ayahuasca for it I'm gonna text my way out of this <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rethink cancer <laughs> Boo <laughs> 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 oh, Hell yeah, dude Dude, a bunch of years ago or whatever, we had jobs, cash, and whatever. You know the fucking meme. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. But, yeah, 10 years ago, we had Steve Jobs, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> For a sponsor. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, continue. Use promo code CUMTOWN at the container store. <laughs> <laughs> or just go in there and, and if, you say, if you go up to the cashier and say... Where am I? <laughs> yes. Nope. That's part of the promo. You, you have, have to, to say use it. The Call word. in the N word at the container store and get 15% off all orders now. Go in. Christmas special. Just go into any store, really. Scream the N word. Say, come town. Give me the come town discount. <laughs> For our sponsors, every our sponsor, every store in the country. Uh, a Jimmy Jazz. Go to Jimmy Jazz. Um, go to Apple Bottom Jeans. AppleBottomJeans dot com. Say, let me get US. a let me get a free sample. Let me get a taste <laughs> test. <laughs> and then try and sniff the the sales girl's ass. Yeah. If I had a if I was a Make a Wish kid and they were like, "What do you want?" I'd be like, "Cigarettes." <laughs> <laughs> to die. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, "Kill me now." I want I want a carton of cigarettes every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> and then there's some five year old boy smoking. <laughs> Like, we did it. I want to have sex. <laughs> I want to eat pussy. I want to eat, eat fucking Scarlett Johansson's pussy. I want to fuck and Lisa she's, like, Ann. crying. <laughs> Some five-year-old eating around. She's I'm like, going to die, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if, like, uh, parents took advantage of their kids' cancer to, like, get themselves Yeah, like shit. a stage mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a cancer yeah. mom. I want to go yeah, on. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Now, come on, America's Sarah. You're going to have to cry more. <laughs> Mommy, stop pulling underneath my eyes. You need bigger bags. <laughs> Where are we going to put all the money if not for those bags under your eyes? Come on now, be a star. <laughs> Mommy needs a new set of veneers. <laughs> I want fake tits yeah, for yeah, my yeah. mom. <laughs> now, quick, inhale all this secondhand smoke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Cancer Moms on TBS. That would be a good one, dude. Well, when we found out Shireen had cancer, at first I was sad, but then I thought, we're getting right out of this double wide. <laughs> <laughs> like Skinner plays or something. <laughs> the tour bus shots. Yeah. Going all party. the way to Los Angeles, California. <laughs> I have my retard daughter here in a cage, and she's smeared in feces, and I'm going to show her to pay. We're not going to do yay? Brett, 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 Brett. What, what's up, Bumba Klotz? You are listening to the most g maker <laughs> The most Haitian, Rah. the most Caribbean, Rah, 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 rah. St. Thomas style podcast, uh, uh, it, for Christmas spectacular. Hear me now, hear me now. If you are a West Indian <laughs> and you are listening right now, you better be daggering out there. I want you to, <laughs> I want you to slam your penis into someone's butt. Rah. Rah, 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 rah. Rasta, uh, uh, star me up them dreads. Rasta man, <laughs> and I am tapped out as far as Rasta. That's all I got. I think my 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 total cultural input as far as Rasta shit goes, uh, the little bit of Bob Marley I've listened to in my life, mm -hmm. and then the the friend from Grand Theft Auto Four. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, yeah, he was tight. Yeah, which is so. You know what's so funny about Grand Theft Auto Four? It's like 
what a what a forward thinking progressive friendship they created between that like balkan you know chernobyl victim <laughs> eastern european guy who survived the genocide and then you know mm. this uh like uh west indian yeah this uh bad man team right oh, yeah. yeah and they they you know despite their differences come together to uh you know walk around punching people in the face <laughs> yeah, yeah. with zero consequences <laughs> a crime despite the massive differences that are between the two of them they <laughs> found a Massive friendship. Massive. Uh, uh, star w- up them dreads. Master Selecta. Master Selecta. That's what. That's mm. like the best compliment that they give you. And I remember it being a big deal though for some reason. What? So what? Was he in the moon? What the fuck? No, did he wasn't. He was, he was the first. He was the first man to orbit. orbit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. 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 But uh, fucking. So this is a, a, a hormones Wilkerson story. Norman told me this story, but we were talking about pathological liars one time. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, I worked at Domino's with this guy that would just lie constantly. And uh, he worked with this this manager at Domino's that would like lie. And one of his lies was that he went to space camp. <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, actually, on the uh, on the last day of camp, we actually got to go into space. <laughs> 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 what? Which I just love. <laughs> the fucking like. Just, <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about pathological liars is you can see how little they respect you when right, they're right, like talking right, to you. Right, right, right. You know? It's just almost go like, into space. 20 people all time have gone into space uh, yeah, and they yeah, just yeah. let you go. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> with a shirt that says brown on it or like a hat or something, you just go up to them and be like, yo, you were for UPS, dog? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's funny. What can brown do for you? Yeah, what yeah. can brown do? Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, Kennedy said that, right? Uh, that's yeah, not, yeah. That's not what, what brown can, you can do. Not what you can do for brown people. What brown what can brown do for you. What brown people can do for you. <laughs> what brown. We're going to go to the moon and, and <coughs> start slavery up there. <laughs> so, uh, We're going to bring slavery back on the moon. <laughs> he was a s- and I promise you I will never get shot in the head ever. I dare someone I to try to do it. I swear to God. I, the, the last I thing swear. that I'll do is get shot in the head. <laughs> Just try it, you fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm Just never- try to shoot me in my fucking <laughs> Head. I swear to God, I'm never gonna die. I'm never gonna go to Dallas, Texas. Yeah. I, I I'm always, never gonna. It was a couple years ago that really messed me up worse than any other drug. It wasn't like any other drug I'd ever what taken. What was it, Adam? It's called love. <laughs> And that's going to be the final episode of Come Town. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're never going to recover from that. Listen, folks, you don't think when the love drug Yeah, hits, yeah, double down on it. Do tags. Do tags on that I'm going to save bit. this bit. I'm going to save this bit. Guys, I'm going to save this bit. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's Christmas time, boys. Yeah, sorry. Um, the, the, we did. You know what? I might just. Uh, should we? No. I guess I'll release that other yeah. one as the regular. <laughs> There's no nudes on there. There's only millions and millions of dollars. We should put nudes on there. Also, shout out to uh, come the Yo, come this town is a good podcast story. Twitter. Account. Shut the fuck up. This is a yeah, good yeah. story. So when I was in high school, uh, there was this kid that uh, me and my friend Brendan knew named Marcus, and uh, Marcus, come on, man. God damn what? it. It was like that. No, you just fucking rolled. Continue, <laughs> continue. Marcus. Bitch. What's, yeah, up, what's yeah. up with Marcus? So Marcus, here, here, here. Uh, Marcus had like a like a uh, website or a fucking web server or something, and he had like a like an FTP hooked up to it, mm-hmm. and he would let people use the FTP. And me and Brandon were using it for whatever reason. We had to like upload something. Oh, I remember what it was. We were uh, up. We went on to this other kid's computer and uploaded all of his like AOL instant messenger chat logs to the FTP so we could read them and laugh at him later <laughs> mm-hmm. while well, he was like in the bathroom. <laughs> He and, just took this kid's oh, shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, oh, we, no. We, we got every conversation he had had for like four no. years. And it's like g- girls breaking up with no. him. And it was so funny, dude. <laughs> dude. Uh, yeah. But so we go on to Marcus's like fucking FTP and uh there's like a folder on there and there's a bunch of pictures of some shirtless guy who's like our age on there. Oh, and no. we're like, Marcus, what the fuck is this? And he's like, Oh yeah, I guess he like I guess he must have uh, I let that guy use it too. I guess he uploaded those pictures on there. We're like, that's kind of weird that yeah. he would do that. And we didn't think about it. 
and you know he was just because he was a very like reserved weird dude right, right, he was right. on like the wrestling team or whatever Uh-oh. and then uh, and then he started like drinking when he was like 18 and whenever he got drunk he was like very grabby and oh, shit no. yeah, it, was, it was very funny but yeah we put it together later but now, <laughs> I'm glad I told that story because I remembered yeah we would go through all of, uh, all of Kevin's chat logs and there were so many so Kevin was kind of like a, a fucking laughing stock anyways but uh, wait Kevin's not the guy who's gay no no Kevin's That's a different Marcus. guy Kevin's a different kind of gay he's like just annoying and people right. don't like him and mm. uh, uh-huh. the best Adam kind gay. yeah yeah, yeah like me. <laughs> well, talk for a second um, yeah that's Kevin, the kind of gay you are speaking like of Kevin. Kevin what about him uh, Kevin Finnerty Sopranos season 6 oh uh, don't spoil anything I Get haven't seen it yet ready alright uh, yeah, back to so, your story <laughs> yeah so we were going through this guy's shit and I guess he went off to he went off to college he went off to college for, like here's a little backstory in this guy uh, he refused to wear a shirt unless it had a picture of a dragon on it Hell he yes. would only wear dragon shirts okay up until his sophomore year of college. Okay, here's oh, my question. So he made yes. it through an entire year of college and kept that up before. Okay, time That's out. Awesome. Okay, are we talking East Asian dragon or European dragon? Both. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, it just into both dragon it, traditions. You know, because he had some okay. shirts where it would be like, okay, this is clearly an exception to the rule mm-hmm. where there's just a tiny dragon on it. <laughs> You know, but oh, he, really? He, he would just, only wear. Yeah, this was like some he code tried to, he lived he tried by. To, <laughs> yeah, he tried to get by on technicality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. No, this guy sucked. It was like a polo, like a little like polo uh, horse, but it was a dragon. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. So you know, uh, <laughs> so he go. He went away. To, he went away to uh, college or whatever, and then eventually stopped doing the dragon shirt thing. But fucking. Uh, he, uh fuck yeah so we found this like uh you know he had like nudes of these girls and there was one folder with this girl that was just like so fucking unattractive and uh i forget what her name i don't want to like put her because yeah, yeah, people yeah. might find her or whatever do but that. the folder yeah. name where he kept all of her nudes was like sexy underscore mm-hmm. and then her name oh uh, no and it was like nah these are they're not even like taken well you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah so we were looking through uh these these uh fucking these chat logs of her breaking up with him no because i guess yeah he was like extremely wealthy his parents mm. were fucking low that's why oh is this the kid oh this yeah, is yeah, the kid yeah, who yeah. had like the big you know, hang out with basement him, he, yeah you like a huge basement yeah, he was yeah. a fucking, like, always had the best games and yeah, shit. yeah video games and like his parents just were like you know fill the basement with beer and fucking weed and shit so, oh yeah yeah that when kid. you're 17 that's amazing absolutely that you could just get high and play fucking halo until four o'clock in the morning listen i'm 29 dude. yeah if we could do that right now that sounds yeah let's go back to my place well, no, no, stoned. we need a mom to buy all that stuff for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and he, to fuck us. He like just took his mom's credit card when fucking all like the next gen systems came out and went out and like bought them. My friend Jesus was with him, Christ. and he like he's like, yeah, dude. He just comes in. He's like, mom, you bought me a present. And <laughs> 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 signed her up for a thousand dollars worth of to get all the accessories. For Jesus, all the fucking, yeah, Christ. dude. He was a piece of shit. Uh, he's yeah. He's, so he goes. Uh, so, this dragon guy. Yeah, the dragon. Uh, guy. This is yeah, awesome. Fucking, he was the fucking biggest laughing stock, dude. I Where did he go to college? Uh, ASU. Oh, so no. oh, hell yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Go fucking of devs. He so he goes. He uh, he says his chat chat and this girl's breaking up with him. And I guess she lived in like Pennsylvania or something. So mm-hmm. he, and they met at school. So he like went up to go like see her for the holidays. Right. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, um, it, according to like the breakup text or whatever, she's like, I don't know. You were just weird when you were here. You kept like saying how my family doesn't have any money and how you, much better your house is. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Which he did at my like like th- like twelfth birthday party or Jesus something. He came Christ. over and he was going around. And he's like, Nick's poor, and I'm oh like, I'm my. not poor. Yeah. I just don't live in a fucking mansion. <laughs> he's like, there's only one floor here. <laughs> he said that, but yeah. that's whatever. A, okay, you're kids twelve are real and you're a fucking idiot, and it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. He, this this is he's 19 and 19, he's dating no. someone right yeah yeah and he's like <laughs> shit talking her house or whatever and then she's like and then there's just other stuff that like you do that bothers me and it was so funny because i remember kevin went away to school and then me and my friend would laugh about how kevin like developed a quote-unquote sense of humor while he was <sighs> at school and his sense of humor was just like that fucking like so random kind of yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. where no. occasionally he would chive he would, yeah he, he would chive no boy. it was way worse than that totally like, random he would just be like out of nowhere go um Meow, you know, or like oh, no. chicken, you know, this like weird autistic, you know, stuff. Where you're yeah, like, what yeah, are you? Yeah. Why are you saying that? Cool beans, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool beans, yeah, that kind of stuff. 
and or you know like epic you know oh, yeah, yeah. Win one of those much? guys yeah, yeah. He, he he loves cards against humanity uh, he's a guy who no loves. he's not even cool enough for that like i don't really, I really don't think that is understand. not cool because here's the thing it's like how is he less not only not that? only is he an out of touch you know just like kind of autistic guy right, right, right. he's also like one percent or parents right you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. sheltered financially yeah, yeah yeah right he's yeah. out he of touch definitely liked uh, charlie sheen yeah tiger blood oh he right. definitely had tiger it would be like it'd be like if baron trump was into Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that's what this guy. That's what this guy is. So yeah. What's so, he up to now? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen him in like probably se- six or seven years. So he goes. Uh, ASU he, is straight up where rich retarded. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, which, the by the reason. way, he was like last time I checked, like a seventh year senior there. Yes. He just bitch. kept failing, and Van his parents Walder, would send bitch. him. Yes, yeah, and Walder who doesn't fuck. So he goes number, uh, <laughs> number one party school in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have yeah, this like this breakup text, and he, uh, she's fucking saying to him, she's like, I don't know, you just do weird stuff, and he's like, well, like what? And she's like, I don't know, like how you just say like meow or chicken sometimes, yes. and he's like, that bothers you. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> It all exclamation points. Meow, chicky, meow, meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that shit was so funny. God damn, dude! I fucking yeah. yeah I, I I have so many good stories about that guy. Let's, I don't know why he's him. never. Yeah, I let's know, run him. What he's are we never doing? Come up Kev, this is the Kevin sode. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you tell you have your your interjection. And I'll come back to it. I forgot what my interjection was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why did you say that? Kevin like, sounds like a real character. Oh, yo, I had this friend um, that went to Maryland mm-hmm. and. Um, I saw him after sophomore year and uh, I was like, oh, dude, how's Maryland going? He's like, oh, I got I have to take a, I have to take some time off. And I was <laughs> like, why? And he's like, uh, my roommate uh, r- ruined my life. What? What happened? So he like went into this long story about his, his roommate, <laughs> this guy, uh oh, this guy, Rob, uh-huh. who went by XPR, Extreme Party Rob. Yes. And so first of all. Hell yes. That guy sounds awesome. So Rob like... Yeah, um, I got my name from a Nissan. So, so he's like... <laughs> so Jesse's like, okay, so first of all, peop- Maryland people love to riot, dude. So like we riot... <laughs> We love we love to find any excuse to ride. So anyway, last year we win the women's NCAA basketball championship, and we're like, "Fuck yeah, oh we're gonna fucking riot!" And uh, um, there's a picture on ESPN.com of this enormous fire with like sofas in there and stuff, and some dude uh, doing the double devil horns with the tongue, like doing the pussy eating. Tongue yeah, in oh yeah. It, of course, jumping over the fire, and he was like, "Yeah, that was Rob, dude. That was XPR." <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he just like wake up in the morning. XPR like they shared a room. XPR would slap him in the face. Wake up in the morning and be like, "All right, here's a handle of Cuervo. Here's a fucking ounce of weed. We're gonna fucking be black up on new." <laughs> <laughs> just like ruined his life. And so yeah, Jesse had to take a year off That's of school so because he was living with this absolute monster. One time, Rob, was, the XPR rules. I, I want to hang out with this XPR, guy. XPR, dude. Extreme party. XPR rock. should be fourth mic on the show. Dude, know, anyone with we'll party in their name. Mm-hmm. Like I met, I was on when I was opening for Wham City on tour. The first tour we did, we were in Philly, and there was we just crashed these people's houses, you know, and uh, you know there was like six of us on the tour, so we were like sleeping on floors and shit, and at like eight. 8 or 10 a.m., some guy just wanders in fucked up, just opens the door, knew the people, I guess, and he's like, hey, man, it's party, Steve, man. Where's the party? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're like, wake, it's 8 a.m., dude. What the yeah, fuck yeah, are you yeah. talking about? He's like, fucking party, Steve. You guys want to get fucked up, man? <laughs> and he was some guy who in his 20s was like, he was party Steve. He knew all the parties in Chicago. He had like a text group, but now he's just like some pathetic old man. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And he just and he just wouldn't leave. And he's like, "All right, I'll go." We were like, "Dude, we don't know you. We don't know who the fuck you are, dude. Get the fuck out." My friends had 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 guys like that when I was like a teenager. There would always be like one or two guys that were like in their forties. There was this one guy, John, that would hang out, and John was like homeless, I guess, mm-hmm. and like live with his parents who were in their like late seventies. And he was like, you know, 45, yeah. huge, just disgusting dreads, gray hair, <laughs> oh, giant no. beard. A white guy? Yeah, a white guy. Oh, God. And he was like a relatively nice guy, but it was like, why are you hanging out with us or yeah. whatever? And he had these long, shitty, homeless guy nails. No. And uh, I was like, why do you keep your nails like that? I'm like, don't you like have like the, I, I would, I can't. He's like, I play my, guitar. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I would, I would fucking chew my nails off there that long. I yeah. don't know how you do it. And he goes, uh, 
He's like, well, you know, I actually, uh, if you work your your fingernails under each each other, there's like nerve centers, and that's what you, you you're basically getting at when you chew your fingernails off. Is like it's there's stress relief from from hitting those nerve centers. So I just sort of work my fingernails underneath each other, and that sort of relieves it for me. He goes, plus on the streets, you know, it's like ten knives. So <laughs> <laughs> he just adds that part at the end. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, he had such a funny way of talking. <laughs> one time he one time we were all fucked up, and he's sitting there, and he's like. Well, you know the expression suckling babes. You've ever heard that, suckling babes. I'm like, no, but go on. And he's yeah. like, well, the reason people say that is what that dates to. Uh, it, it, idiomatically, the suckling babe was in the Roman Colosseum. You know how we go and we have like, you know, hey, beer me, or they got a guy selling peanuts or whatever. In the Roman Colosseum, they, the statesman would order a suckling babe, which was an orphaned baby. And they would basically hold the baby, you know, like a cheeseburger over their dick and just get their like dick sucked oh, by babies what? during like, you know, while watching the gladiators <laughs> and stuff. And I was like, Jesus Christ. What? what oh fuck? my God. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't sound real. It's absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, what are you talking a about? A suckling pig is a... Just, uh, well, what do you th- what's the expression of suckling babe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. When, do you, when do you use that expression? <laughs> it's not like, yeah, it was a real suckling babe over at Panera the other day. <laughs> <laughs> is it, oh. It's just John going around with this weird pedophilia story in his head. <laughs> there, was this, there was this one guy, this yeah, other yeah. old guy, a different guy that used to hang around. I met him one time and... Uh, this guy was fucking hilarious, dude. He was probably in his like early forties again, mm-hmm. and he's got this stupid Jägermeister lanyard he's showing off to people. He's like, yes. "Check this out, dude! Isn't this fucking cool? Yes. I got this Jägermeister lanyard." And then he goes, uh, "He was like, yeah, I actually, I fucking won the lottery like two years ago." <laughs> and it's true, he won the lottery. Wait, seriously? Yeah, this guy won like uh, like three or four hundred thousand dollars or some shit. He like hit hit it big in like the Mega Millions or something. I don't know. He got like matched enough that he won the lottery. And he's like, yeah, so I just buy all kinds of fucking electronics and shit. And he's like, I got this fucking big mixing board. You know, he's like, I don't even know how to use that shit, but I got it. I keep it in my truck, dude. He's like, I bought a, I bought a, like, uh, this like $250,000 semi. I just park it. It was like illegally parked on the street because he didn't know how to drive it. He was just <laughs> living in a semi that he bought. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, he's I, like, love, I just love buying electronics. I love dude. that type of rich. There are a bunch of pro athletes that get into like buying Mac trucks and yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's like, their thing it's like buying industrial like but this farm guy, equipment this guy didn't even have like a house or anything right? no he was just <laughs> living in that fucking truck he bought with all his money <laughs> my uh that is so fucking good in college i knew this guy will uh, who i thought was the biggest fucking retard i've ever met mm-hmm. he was always blackout you know he was always like just the guy at the park he's from north dakota so like height of winter in dc he'd be wearing like a light north face windbreaker mm-hmm. and fucking shorts and corona flip-flops oh yeah, yes. yeah with the fucking beer opener on hell the bottom yeah, of the yeah, hell yeah i think i thought he was retarded and senior year i like go up to him i was like oh so will what do you do it uh what do you do after uh we graduate he's like I'm going to Berkeley. And I was like, <laughs> uh, UC Berkeley. He's like, yeah, I got into law school there. I just fucking, uh, I just fuck. I didn't study, but I took the LSAT. I got like almost a perfect score. Uh, and I was like, what are you really? And yeah. he's like, I was like, what's your major? He's like, what have you been studying these last four years? He's like, it's like something. It's like a major I made up. That's like, it's like a, a math and philosophy, like, like the philosophy of math, basically. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no fucking way. Anyway, I'm just so much smarter than you. Freshman year, he had this group text uh, going around mm-hmm. where he'd hit people up and be like, it's going the fuck down right now. Like, this is where we're pre-gaming. This is where we're going tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he's sends out this text um you know and he'd send out text at 3 a.m to the group text that was like just like you know he's blackout not making any sense but one night we all get a text in the middle of the night like 2 2 30 a.m he's like yo i'm getting fucked up with the deaf kids down at gallaudet <laughs> university <laughs> <laughs> There's a deaf college in DC. Yeah, Gallaudet, baby. So he somehow blackout navigated DC to Northeast, got to Gallaudet, and went to their party. He's like, this shit is crazy. They're not playing any music. <laughs> 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 is it just a lot like an elaborate light show yeah i don't know maybe lights or something That's he's awesome. like he's like they're drinking so fucking hard dude i just did a shot of everclear <laughs> he's just like sending these long fucking did you uh, go mass text no i didn't go to the deaf school to go party dude. with will did he fuck any deaf men or women he probably 
I don't know. Uh, he probably, yeah, he, I remember his job. I, whatever, I'm not saying his last name. His job in college was he was like the body man for the senator. Lee played a, an offensive woman character, <laughs> <laughs> he played Connie Chung <laughs> or a baby sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're also saying that like uh, Mad, T- Mad TV is also, uh, I think that was like the genesis of the Miatas are gay joke, oh, which really? was featured heavily in in, in Million Dollar Stream Show. Yeah, they had that gay Miata. That's an old school joke. That's a joke that I remember from my youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think that came from from Mad TV. Interesting. Wow. They, Mad TV had a sketch uh, where a black guy gets pulled over, and uh, you know the. Uh, the cop's like, uh, let me see your license. And he's like, why am I doing something wrong? He's like, you got a taillight out. He's like, no, I don't. And then he's like, uh, you fit the description. He's like, what description? And uh, he starts roughing him up. And the black guy pulls out like a, a Snickers bar, but it says Sniggers. Jesus And it's like, Christ. not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Sniggers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the end. Yeah, it's with, the, the with an S. Yeah. yeah, and they and they and and then the only way they work that in there is like, oh yeah, but it's about police brutality or whatever. Jesus, and Christ. I mean, if you had those sketches on now, now the thing is, is like those are funny. I don't have a problem yeah, yeah, with those yeah. sketches. But you know? on, on Fox, but if you did that now, yeah. you know, people would fucking be. Up That's in the arms point. Is like, it. could South Park be? Could they get a show right now? Like now they have sort of tenure yeah. at Comedy Central. No, they couldn't because they're libertarians. But they're they're, right. they're kind of alt right, maybe even. Nah, they're libertarians. They're libertarians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, the way they, they criticize all the Caitlyn Jenner shit. But also, S- South Park, those those guys are much smarter than, um, than, than both Mad TV and, and Million Dollar Extreme. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know? Um, but we're also talking about how Tim and Eric, like, they, they're, they like, well-respected adult swim show, and literally they've, like, made a lot of money off of, it's gay, I hope he dies, you know? Like, and then he goes into a funny bit about that. Yeah. But, like, the goons in the audience, he says the premise that's yeah. supposed to be offensive and is, is actually wrong, they'll start going, woo, woo, yeah, woo, yeah. woo, well, me and before him are, the actual bit there's, comes there's in. There's an old, old uh, Artie Lang clip where he's doing this bit about saying the N-word while playing basketball. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and the setup for the bit is, like, you know, I'm playing basketball with these black guys, and they're like, uh, yo nigga pass me the ball nigga and he says like nigga like a million times yeah, in a yeah. bit. and then they cut to the audience and there's literally a guy in a wife beater that's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he like holds his girlfriend closer yeah. and it's like he's that guy's just cheering for the n-word <laughs> yeah. yeah but 100% you got, I mean, Stan Hope Stan Hope is a national treasure I yeah. think he is a fucking incredible he's one of the top five probably yeah, comedians sure. in the world uh, but, but uh, his uh, fans uh, beyond, beyond the beyond the world it's like you know in, in terms of who really makes you feel okay calling stand-up comedy art Go for it. my boyfriend's black and i'm gonna say the n-word <laughs> when he gets home i'll say that word <laughs> pretty good right that's friends growing up they're all korean yeah. you cannot imagine how many n-words were like really? screamed yeah koreans love i was using in the shock N-word. They that's love the thing it. That's true about that. <laughs> they <laughs> love the N word. Did I tell you about the first public a time I I said the N word? Where it was I like I love that you remember it. Not in a song. N- it was it well, sort of. Okay, here's this was just I've never done it not in a song. I, I sing just it. Had, <laughs> well, let me explain here. No one heard me do it, but but it was so I was at a Wu Tang Clan concert right in yeah, Baltimore. Yeah. I've heard of them. And uh, it was just like, it was one of those situations where there's like, everyone make as much noise as you can. <laughs> everyone, I want to hear you get louder. <laughs> and I just thought it was too good a joke <laughs> not to scream the N word at the top of my lungs because no one could hear me. Because yeah. it was just like, I was being completely overshadowed by the rest of the shouting. Yeah. So yeah, at a Wu-Tang Clan concert, I uh, shouted the N word at the top of my lungs. Well, it was part of the moment. And it was a pretty good bit. I still stand by that as oh, a bit. Oh, the best bits are bits that are just for you. It, you know? it was 100% just for me. One time I had my friend redo my um, OK Cupid profile. Like, mm-hmm. this was a couple years ago. And he saw that I was, like, messaging girls with, like, huge fake tits. Like, girls that would never date me, like, so much. <laughs> The fucking the lights are flickering in all the rooms. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we can't. Mm-hmm. I, her book is called Shrill. Oh, uh, man. She's taking it back. Her well, book is like called Trill. Trill. And oh, I, like I thought you're like <laughs> Trill. Like I was. I was like, like, like a Houston to think that her rappers were like, well, maybe you could just go with fat. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's like, I'm not just fat. It's like, okay, well, it's 17 chapters about how you're fat <laughs> and how you're better than everyone because you're fat, but then they hate you for some reason. So, Did you see they? someone put a list together, Mashable or something? 23 comedians and accounts you have to follow during the Trump era. Yeah. Oh, God. And it was like Lindy West, Paul Krugman. It was like like what? none of them were. They were like, this is hilarious. Yeah. People this that you great. need to laugh at. Yeah, yeah. Mean. Yeah, yeah. Like, people that'll help you laugh. Yeah, yeah. It was really bad, but uh, by whatever. laughing at, not not with. Maybe if that was the objective yeah. of the article, then I think it yeah. achieved its purpose. People only laugh with. Woo! W I. My man on fire today. Get her ass. Cook her ass. Mm-hmm. Cook that bitch. Woo. Yo, come on the podcast, Lindy. Seriously, though, I love you, girl. Yeah, but please don't break or eat the microphone. <laughs> It's not an ice cream cone. That's my favorite. This, I have like so many problems with Lindy, but like it's just so much fun to only awful thing about that Mona movie. Oh yeah, she's like, this is how we're gonna fight racism is by taking up nine seats at a children's movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end racism. Yeah, the tagline was this something is take like, that Donald Trump. I went to see a Pixar movie. <laughs> I went to go see a Disney movie. What is Mona? It's Native American or Hawaiian? No, it's, it's like th- it's probably the same exact movie Disney has been making for the last 60 years they're just choosing like different uh ethnicities, ethnicities. Yeah. yeah this was whatever the rock is that's what this is samoan yeah. samoan yeah. cool I think so. they're gonna go through all of the uh what are they, those pacific islands yeah and <laughs> you know, some back when there were still teacots on twitter or whatever yeah. about, about the mike brown thing and how I, have they gotten worse well i would tweet at them and i'd be like no mike brown was the officer darren wilson was the good <laughs> and like two or three of them were like i stand corrected have a good day <laughs> <laughs> It's just like wooden check. <laughs> like, my apologies. I messed up. They're just so quick. You're right. You're... Darren is sort of a black name. Yeah. He could have been yeah, him. Mike Brown could be you know, him. I, I was laughing. There was a, there was like a, a murder in uh, Aurora, Colorado, like last year. Mm-hmm. And, in, uh, a, in a movie theater? No. Um, where they're showing? No, no. These two. Was these, there a guy dressed as These Bane? two black guys like killed somebody in Aurora, and they like came up on some news feed of mine or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was like two black guys that were cousins with each other, and it's like Aurora cousins uh, uh, indicted in murder. And then there was a picture of the two black guys. But I scrolled past it and it said Aurora Cousins indicted in murder. And there's a picture of the two black guys, but I just thought they were the same black guy. <laughs> and I thought it was one black guy named Aurora Cousins. <laughs> 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 that is a fucking cornerback's name. That's that right, Aurora right. Cousins. Aurora Hell Cousins. Yeah. 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 Aurora yeah. Cousins. Eastern Te- Tennessee University. Yeah. Like that. Dude, he's got a. F- he runs a four four forty. Okay. The combine. He runs a four, great four, ball 40. skills. Great ball skills. <laughs> right hands. Yeah. He'd be a first round talent if it wasn't for smoking weed one time. His- <laughs> yeah. I was laugh. I was laughing the other night. We were talking about the Vitamix again. Which stop got by the way? He copied me. Bitch, I got a Vitamix. Bitch, I think I have it. So if you get it now, you copy. You me. didn't even know what it was until I said I'm gonna get I, it. Uh, I own it. I am the like owner of Vitamix. First of all, I think Sav is probably an expert on blending technology. I know all about blenders, bitch. <laughs> Even before he I was into an, smoothies. He has an immersion blender. I, yeah, first of all, we've discussed this. I have blenders solely for mayonnaise and dips and shit. Yeah, but I wanted it's the got vitamins. A mayo yeah. I said I was going to get the vitamins. And guess what, bitch? You dragged your feet on it. I have it. Now, if you get it, you're copying me. That's copying how the rules me. of copying work. Your paycheck's cut off for this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going fucking, on strike. I'm calling your fucking credit card company and disputing oh, that. Yeah. No, um, I'm disputing it on his behalf. No, he copied me do not hang up on me again i will kill you i will come to that office with an ar-15 a fully full clip a fully automatic ar-15 on november 18th next year at 5 50 p.m this is a specific direct threat over international over state lines this is a 100 percent real not satire threat to kill you if you hang up on me no way, shape, or form could it be interpreted as parody or joke. God damn, them just playing the audio at your trial would be so awesome. I was kidding. Yeah. Again, I would like to reiterate, this is not a joke. In the event that they play this at the trial, and I claim I was kidding. Tell the fucking judge. Look at my defense attorney's face right now. You see how fucking pissed he is? It's because he knows this is real. 
<laughs> Motherfucker. Do not let him get that Vitamix. You cancel shipment now. He will not copy me. Not on my purchases list. It's been on my wish list for a year and a half. And that, you, you know what's next on, on that list? Your fucking head. <laughs> That's, that'd be Dude. a fun sketch. Don't fuck with me. I am in ISIS. I support <laughs> ISIS. I'm a member of ISIS. <laughs> that's a, that's a good uh, bit we could do on the show. Just call uh, people up and and tell them and we're going to murder them. them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill them. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! You're listening to Danny Dickhead in the morning. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Yeah, yeah. Hello. I would say, I would say it'd be funny, like do like a morning radio bit where they like they go through the obituaries and are like, and we found a family who's four. Year old drowned <laughs> last week. He drowned last week. So let's call him up. And it's like <laughs> toilet <laughs> flushing. <sound. laughs> <It's like, laughs> Hello. Hello. It's like, um, my name is uh, Randy uh, Jefferson. Um, I went to school with your son and I was wondering if I could have his toys because he's dead. <laughs> Like, excuse me? I want his I want your dead son's toys. I'm I'm four. And they're like what? And they're like, oh, I'm just kidding. You won two free tickets to see Rush next weekend at the Fuck You Dome. Oh, fuck. oh that's great. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, all those all those local radio prank phone calls all mm-hmm. fake. Oh, 100%. yeah, because it's illegal it's to illegal. record. Yeah, 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 unless you're in Vegas. Dude, really? Yeah, Las Vegas has different laws. Where only that's one. where I grew up, dude. The Wild West. Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vegas is the only place. Vegas, and then there's one other state where uh, <laughs> only. I want to prank my boyfriend today, and I like. I want to be like, yeah, I'm cheating on you. And then mm-hmm. like, if they like don't hang up on the phone like in sixty seconds or something, then they like win tickets to Summer Jam or whatever. Uh-huh. One time, this guy calls. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to prank, prank my girl. Uh, I'm trying to tell her that like. I would put like peanut butter on my balls. I would get a, <laughs> I would get a dog to lick it and stuff because like we haven't been like really like connecting in the bedroom recently. <laughs> and like yeah, like this is my thing now. Like I put peanut butter on my balls and like this and they're you know like what I'm saying they're like what do you want her to say? And like the point is to have them say oh that's all right. Um, and then they're like oh ding 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 that's your ride your rider not a right what not a whatever ride or die. Not a dyer or whatever. So uh, he calls his girl. It's clearly just a guy who just likes fucking dogs. (laughs) Well, keep in mind again, as I just said, they're all fake. fake. No, they're 100% fake. So go ahead and continue telling the story, (laughs) despite that disclaimer at the beginning. And you're repeating the bit that they wrote that you thought was real after I just told you it was fake. I think it's real. This is like me beating off to nudes. This is your beating <laughs> off to nudes. You loving these fake ads. But Adam I think also this is beats real. off to nudes. <laughs> people <laughs> said that. Nudes. People fake said nudes. that. You know, Nick says David Blaine isn't real. I say David Blaine is real. So, so what do you mean he's real? They say it's not illusions. I think it's real magic. Some of it's real. That that skewer through the bicep. How thing, the fuck does he do? You into fucked up situations with right. them. You know, it's not like. I have an organ that tells me to fucking like live with a black guy I fight with constantly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where I'm having to deal with his bullshit complaints yeah. like, Hey Nick Nick I'm like, What is it? And he goes, What color am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, well let me see him. <laughs> I don't have to deal with that That's or whatever. It's not a bad bit. It's not a bad bit, but this black guy goes up after me and he was like, Well that was some racist bullshit, huh? All black people talk like that. And he's like talking like that. And he's <laughs> also wearing a shirt for grape soda as he's <laughs> saying this. <laughs> it's like you can't. You got to be kidding. Me. That's awesome. Juana's the daughter. Mm-hmm. How how old is she in this? Woo 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 woo. <laughs> is it illegal to beat off to porn or not porn, but to beat off to like someone who is thirteen, but you they're of age now? Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's illegal. I don't know if it's. <laughs> It's not like you can get caught with a bunch of child porn and be like, uh, 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 this is from 1993. So technically, this is she's old enough to be your older sister, pal. Yeah. Why don't you get out of here, creepazoid? 
it is illegal to beat off to someone who's subsequently died. That is illegal. It's illegal. Yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, I've beat off so many Celine. No, I've never beat off Celine. I, I swear to God, at least seven times. Because I forget every time, and then I'm like, oh, oh who's this? It's Darcy. Something. She has like what a is, what septum she, piercing. What does she do? And then I account. look it up, and then I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. Okay, yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah, even yeah. know who the fuck this is. She always says like, you know, like I hate men, but I need them. You know, that's yeah, like her yeah. whole That is account. a persona for sure. Yeah. Uh, Which is a shittier version of the women, you can't live with them, you can't kill them joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what? You can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the flaw in that joke is you can totally kill them. <laughs> Wait, is it you can't live with them, can't live without the them? The armpit of Texas? I was staying in a, in a fucking motel there and... Um, they had, uh, you know, like one of those Gideon's Bibles in the hotel. And it was just it was this shitty, it was this shitty, you know, like a oh, yeah. motel behind like a hotel or Motel 6. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was splitting the room with like two other comics. It was like a one bed situation. Ugh. The floor and, was probably really clean. Well, there was just nothing. There was no TV or anything. In there. <laughs> I was like looking at the Bible and I thumbed through it. And in the beginning of like the Gideon's Bible, they have, you know, uh, I guess, what is it? Matthew twenty. Wait, whatever that whatever yeah. uh, no John three sixteen I get which oh, yeah, one yeah, yeah. you know, about yeah, go yeah. preach cold. yeah preach his fucking you know word or whatever uh, but th- so they have it in every language and, but then it said Arabic and then someone had like torn out where it had it in Arabic <laughs> <laughs> and I was like fuck yeah dude that's so awesome fuck yeah Texas. <laughs> Yeah, Corpus Christi has jack shit, dude. They got an Outback Steakhouse, and then people l- like earnestly brag about the fucking water burger that has an elevator in it. It's like a two story water burger. Oh my god! And they're like, "Have you seen that water burger that's got two stories?" What? Yeah. Damn, dude. I think that's pretty cool. Corpus. <laughs> Was the one we added that the but um bum bum suck my dick suck my dick suck my dick and ass yeah that was, we were doing that on the train last year yeah. we had some really good ones that one got me going for a while I like on the, I like uh, twelve days of Christmas but it's like police suck my dick <laughs> police suck my dick police suck my dick prospero and your please suck my dick. <laughs> I want you to suck my dick, please. <laughs> I want you to suck on it, please. Can I do like one Hanukkah? Yeah, of course, dude. Like no, uh, Adam Sandler. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I fuck my mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's a good or one. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of jizz. No, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I fuck my dad. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck my dad. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just throw on some. Cri- you guys I'm should come over to my house. Faggot. I have it. It's fucking decked out Christmas style. Yeah, we decorated we'll the shit. Yeah, yeah we got booth. a Christmas booty out magazine. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why I'm didn't gay, you? Dude. That that should be the top. That of the just hour. happened yesterday. I'm sure it news. wasn't uh, Snout Magazine. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, man! <laughs> Fuck no, not Snout. <laughs> oink 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 <laughs> oink oink oink. Um, wow! Yeah, so you fucking so pieces should have talked to a celebrity. It was you, Louis Anderson. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> Who else? It was me. Bing the shit from my computer for the Dropbox and I deleted the shared everything drive? on the shared drive for this whole non-profit and I had to just pretend like I didn't know what happened. I'd be like, yeah. what? I was like, I just went in Monday. They're like, dude, we got hacked. <laughs> they were like, someone, <laughs> someone, hacked, someone hacked the Montgomery County Round Table for Education. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. And I just pretended I had no fucking clue what was going on. Yeah, I, I literally did the exact same thing at my internship in college but i had a project i was working on all semester mm. Pop them or whatever and then just figure out who they want to see call back to the desk and then have them come up because for security reasons we can't have people walking back there i'm like okay sure and i was like you know you know like what if you know somebody works here and they're like people don't really come and go so i'm like okay cool and uh i'm sitting there hour goes by nothing happens nobody's nobody's coming in finally somebody comes in this guy with down syndrome oh no and uh he just starts that's your first day first day (laughs) he he just starts walking past me i'm like um excuse me sir and he just like and like won't look at me and just blows right past and i'm like well i guess that's how terrorism happens I'm not going to fucking just manhandle this. That's a little retarded guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess his job is collecting the garbage out of the cubicles. So Mm. he would go around. I would hear him 
and he would go into the woman's behind me's office and I could hear uh, she go we go well how are you doing today Don <laughs> and then he'd be like hi sneaky he called her sneaky I don't understand why but he like would that flirt voice. with her <laughs> yeah that fucking voice. Then he'd go hi sneaky <laughs> and then she'd be like you're sneaky Don he goes no you're sneaky and he would just go in this woman's office and flirt with her all that's awesome Good and then he him. would and, fuck he, fuck? and then he would like come out and then look at me and then just fucking mean mug me really yeah he hated me <laughs> he only liked that one moment. He could tell. Yeah. Well, he could. No, he just that, you know, they, he gets territorial about right. the woman he's trying to have sex with. Yeah. In the second cubicle. That's really all that is. Yeah, 100%. He's still a, someone with sexual impulses and the inability to filter it through, you know, woke criticality. So, he, you know, <laughs> it's okay for him to just go in he there and stare He probably fucks good. The mentally handicapped probably fuck good. Yeah. I don't know if they fuck good, but a lot of them have massive dicks. Yeah, they beat off all the time. Dicks, yes, of course. I remember in gym class, there's this kid, Robert. It was just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just like... That was his best period. <laughs> gym class, can you imagine how great that must have been for him? Just having to suffer through math, and they're like, Robert, do you know what a plus sign is? And he's like, can I just show everyone my dick? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. They're like, no, Robert, you have to do math right now. <laughs> He's like, I just want to show people my dick and the do pres- feats of strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the presidential pull-up challenge, he did like 75 pull-ups <laughs> <laughs> with just his massive dick. Just dangling. Yeah. As and a weight. The, the coach, like, I remember one time he was just walking around the, the, you know what? I, the I, locker I, I, room I was, naked and everyone was like looking at his dick and he was just loving it. We're all laughing. At how big, <laughs> really? He was just like parading around. I, I have a theory. Just, I have a theory about that. I think that's, it's actually, it's like an interesting um it's like evo biology mm. is that what happens is during uh you know the gestation period or whatever um your stem cells will recognize they're like okay there's like a serious you know problem in in like the mm-hmm. you know neurological systems here like this person is gonna be born retarded <laughs> let's just try again with the next one make the dick and balls as big as possible <laughs> So people fuck it. And then maybe the baby won't be retarded. And that's why that happened. Mm-hmm. It's so no, you should just do. like, let's just I try thought it again. was the unused brain matter that gets wrapped up as dick. That that's probably like fluffed out on the side by brain. You know what you should missing. do is you should find a pair of retarded twins, right? Yeah, yeah. There's this inject guy, hot water into their brains. There's this guy, Joseph <laughs> Mengele. Drill okay? a hole in their skull and... Joseph and pour Mingle. hot chocolate directly on their brains. Let, let's see if they dream about Christmas. <laughs> if I pour hot chocolate directly on the brains of the twins. We're going to inject cum into their eyeballs and see if they make little eyeball babies. <laughs> Dude, how easy it must have been to be a Nazi scientist. It was so awesome. You yeah. do whatever you I mean, wanted. they made a bunch of cool shit. Not for nothing. That's why we gave him jobs after the war. They probably had cool weapons. Not Mangala. Mangala went to South America. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. what use is Paisley shirt? Mm-hmm. And he's just like, "What is up, my guy?" <laughs> and he's very excited to be in the bathroom. <laughs> and then he's just standing at the urinal, arms akimbo, and he just starts pissing his pants because <laughs> he doesn't know that you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like being cool, so he, right, he forgets right, to right, pull right, his pants right, down. Right, right. Or it's like a black guy with his pants sagging, and then he takes like 30 seconds to undo his belt, and then he just pulls his pants down like literally a millimeter. <laughs> 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 and, then he, and then he starts peeing. I was laughing too, imagining like a, a bathroom and a guy at a urinal, and he's got his pants all the way down his ankles. And like other guys come in, and they start laughing at him. And they're like, oh, ha, ha. And he's like, oh, yeah, watch this. And then he just starts shitting all over the floor <laughs> out of his house. And like the guys are like, cool. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Him. I would yeah, respect yeah. him. One yeah. time I saw a turd in a fucking urinal and I'm just like, <laughs> come hilarious. on, dude. Like the fucking I've work. Seen that, yeah. that, the work this I love when you look at that and you're like, prank or homeless? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, which one is it? Yeah, is this a good bit or sad as hell? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's someone. I pissed yesterday on the fuck. I had to piss so bad. I just waited for everyone to leave the subway platform after my train before the people for the next train came. Just quickly pissed and right as I was pissing, you pissed I, on the tracks. I just pissed. Yeah, I just pissed on the platform at the end of the platform. End of the kind of cool. the middle. I don't want to walk all the way. You can down, piss in you know? between the trains if you want. You can. Yeah, yeah you just, just walk legal? in between the trains in between stations. Could take a nice long piss. Hmm. That's not bad. It's, it'd be great if you mistime it too. <laughs> and he just pulls up the, the <laughs> station and you're just pissing on everybody. That, as the train pulls in, you're like, sorry, 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 sorry. 
<laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Dude, going to the bathroom is so fucking funny. I had the a, fucking trans people want to take it away from us. That's so true. let's get back to this story about the uh, <laughs> scary face of the retarded scary. child. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I keep getting distracted. No, he was this guy. I, I think his name was Edward. He was like Mexican or something, and he had the most like intense cholo Edward face. Edward safety scissors hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You know, it's funny. I love when people are like, uh, hey, that cop was actually really fucking cool. And what yeah. they mean is like, wow, that cop didn't rape me. Yeah. That cop wasn't a complete asshole like yeah. they usually are. I know. So being a good cop just means you like are have the courtesy level of a normal human just being. Just the guy in behind you at the grocery store. Yeah, right. Like exactly. The... Yeah. I didn't know about that one. Well, Chris Cubis went on, Chris Cubis went on tour with uh, Ralphie May. Hell yeah! A couple years ago, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I, I was like, God. I was lobbying. I was the saying, triple XL boys of comedy, right? I was saying, you guys have to call it obesity and obesity. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, San Antonio, fucking Corpus, obesity and yeah, obesity. El Paso. San Antonio is a fat city, right? It's the fat. It's the city. fattest city in yeah, America. Yeah, 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 it's the fucking fattest city. That city is nothing but restaurants. And uh, it's like all military people, which is weird because I thought they had to do push-ups, but apparently <laughs> you could just go to San Antonio. Yeah, it's but you just yeah. like Air Force or some yeah. shit. Well, they also all they all love the rodeo, so they dress like fucking cowboys. But it looks like it looks like Halloween costumes because like who you're too fat to sit on an animal. Yeah. <laughs> you can barely fucking walk. <laughs> So it looks like a bunch of fat people that dressed up for Halloween as cowboys and then ate all the Halloween candy. My sister. A bat fucking, uh, a bat flew onto the train when me and Amber were riding the train. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Amber, really? like, picked it up. Yeah, and, but so, like, the She's bat... such a fucking hillbilly. The, the, bat, <laughs> the bat flew into the train and <laughs> lands on the fucking ground. She's like, that's a bat. And I immediately opened, like, the door to go to the next car. I'm of like, course. you want to, you know... And she was like, you're afraid of bats? I'm like, I'm afraid of rabies when I don't have fucking health insurance. Right, right, you know, right. If that thing bites you, you have to go get a fucking you rabies You can get shot. it from guano, from the poop. Yeah, you know. Really? And it's, yeah. And it's you also. My sister. It's also, this isn't a bat in a while. It's a bat on the fucking subway. Like, something is wrong with that bat. Right. That it's on the subway. And she's like, oh, I can't believe you're being a fucking pussy about Shut the bat. Up, and it's like, I don't care about Amber the probably bat. probably had raccoons as pets yeah, in fucking yeah, yeah. Indiana. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> she's asked not to talk shit about her. Okay. We're not talking. I'm, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking shit about. Her. I'm defending myself in this bat story. Okay. And then so some other guy sees like the girl, you know, uh, fucking helping the bat. So he's like, oh, I'm gonna be the tough guy and like pick the bat up or right. whatever. And he's like, you know, he's like, he goes and he gets it in his hands, and his hands are shaking because he doesn't want to pick up this fucking bat. <laughs> right, right, but he's right. already seen her call me out for being a pussy, so he's like, well, I can't be a fucking pussy. <laughs> and he's holding the bat, and he's like, ah, oh, it bit me. And the fucking bat bites this guy. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you need to go to the hospital. And uh, we get off the train, and he's like, oh, oh, okay. And, you know, they put the fucking bat outside or whatever. Jesus. And I what? watch that guy walk away. That guy's Jesus Batman now, Christ, dude. man. Yeah, that's how you become Batman. <laughs> you just get you just get rabies, and if he's foaming at the mouth in a Batman mask, <laughs> that like it scene in Gran Torino where he brings the kid to meet the Irish guy, and he's like, "What's up, you Mick fuck?" And he's like, "Nothing, you Polak son of a bitch." And they laugh, and they're like, "Hey." So a black guy and a kike and a, <laughs> and a fucking chink walk into a bar. And the bartender goes, get the hell out. And then he laughs. And then he looks at the Chinese kid and he's like, this is how men talk. <laughs> New York was the most racist city in the north by far. And it was yeah. partially because and of... And now it's Boston. Now it's Boston. Now it's Boston. Yeah. I've, I've often said that the only word that uh, ends in ER that people from Southie can mm. pronounce right is the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> the space. Right, right. Yeah. To, have her, to have her Holocaust denier meetings. She doesn't do that anymore. That was the fault of her church. <laughs> she, was a, she was in a cult. It's not my mom doing My that. parents were in a cult, too. Yeah. What? So your, your parents were probably also Holocaust deniers. It's a big part of any cult. <laughs> no, it wasn't a Holocaust denier cult, but they were in it for... They thought there were two Holocaust. They were in it... You pledge $50. Whenever I imagine yeah. you and your father, I imagine the yellow M&M and the red M&M. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. He's, you're he's, yellow. No, your no, dad's I'm... the yellow and you're the red one. <laughs>
Yeah, is like, your dad I'm big boy? Sarcastic. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, well, actually, yeah. you know what? You and Eldis are a lot like the yellow. Yes, M&M. that's <laughs> true. Eldis is 100% the yellow Holy M&M. Holy shit. And you're the red that's, one. We're doing that shit for Halloween, yeah. dog. That's Adam's, true. Adam's, I could be green. Adam's the green one. The green one. I was yeah, going to say that. Slut. Don't you ever fucking step on my line, you I'm motherfucker. I'm sorry. Don't ever do it. I started the bit. I get to finish it. You better believe I know where it's going. You fucking trust me to say a fucking line? Piece of shit. I just thought that maybe it's good, you know, good... Good chemistry if we <laughs> go to the same I'm, place. I'm the, the pretzel bit. M&M, which is the one with autism, which they had to take out of the commercials because people got mad. <laughs> I can't wait to be jacked, dude. Any day now. Yeah. I've been doing push-ups. Well, okay, so there's a video of them in Long Island City or whatever. I've seen this video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I showed that. Adam. It's great. And they're all in, like, the car, and they're, like, you know, somebody's taping them, and they, they, it shows the back seat, and they're all dressed like idiots, you know, like track suits again, you know, like fucking... <laughs> And, uh, you know, they're, like, waving at the camera. They're like, what's up? You know, and Ilya, Ilya it, who, like, doesn't even speak English, he's like, what's up, nigga? Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then the camera moves away or whatever. And then in the comments on the YouTube video, in, like, Russian, it says, like, Dimitri, uh, nigga is a very offensive word in English. You need to tell Ilya that you, you can't say that. <laughs> and then, in, like, Dimitri responded, like, in Russian, like, I will inform him. <laughs> <laughs> for a startup, yeah, I was laughing about Nazis. like if 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 you know you didn't Only have teeth, gold the, teeth, you could. There was spend. no backdrop of World War II. Fascism never really got like super popular in the world, and like it's happening now. The tech industry would be at the forefront of fascism. Absolutely, they would. There would be so many people designing like fascist app. There'd be fascist app designers. All the Nazis would live in in San Francisco. <laughs> They'd be worrying about like you know clean Holocaust like. <laughs> How do we zero carbon footprint gas chambers? <laughs> That's who the fucking Nazis would be. Ah, fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no. So then I started Googling uh, what would happen if you hooked yourself up to a permanent dick sucking machine. <laughs> and then I found this guy posting on Experience Project. It's like, uh, can anyone help me make a dick sucking machine? This guy's like, I have done it many times. <laughs> He's like, in fact, I have one. That I've constructed out of a three-quarter horsepower lawnmower <laughs> engine. Holy shit. <laughs> and there's a rod that connects to one of the pistons, and then that connects to a cup that over, like, you know, it fits over my dick, and I can control the direction, the amount of suction, and basically it sucks so hard the friction heats my dick up to the point where it's almost burning, and I have an uncontrollable orgasm. Jesus Christ. And then somebody responded, and they were like, I would like to know more about your dick sucking machine. <laughs> <laughs> Sex tape slash porn, and that's... Uh, Joni Law. Law I'd be off to that one too. One one night her, in her China, big ass clit. <laughs> uh, X Pac just fucking her big time. No, that's that's the thing about me. I, did, I like I did I like race wars big... with X Pac. Really? And I had to do a. Oh character. yeah, it was with X Pac. Yeah, I had to do a character yeah, that, uh, where I played a uh, <laughs> like a transracial <laughs> like racial studies student at the Granola College of the Mountains. Right, right, that right. Kurt had on to like defend Rachel Dolezal, and I'm right, right, right. like doing this whole like transracial is real thing. And X Pac thought it was one hundred percent serious. <laughs> he was like, you know, and I'm like doing bits. I like wrote bits for the show. Right, right, I'm like, right. you know, I always knew that I was a different race growing up. Like when we'd play Monopoly as a kid, you know, everybody wanted to be the dog or the race car, but I always wanted to play as the dice because <laughs> I knew I was black. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, wait, so you're really transracial? I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then, <laughs> you tricked X Pac. Yeah, yeah. And how dare the, you? Dude. After the show, he was like, hey, what? "So what's the deal with all that?" I'm like, "No, it's it was a bit, dude. It's a joke. You're on a comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah, huh? you it's the Come Town Christmas Spectacular. It's this, the most. It is December. Ding, 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 Shut the fuck ding. up. It's uh, don't interrupt me. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> that you can't Both just let us? me talk. No, I just start talking. Immediately, you're going to talk over me. Ding. I did, I'm I doing was, sound effects. I, was, I, I, thought I don't understand what the fucking problem is that I can't get two words out of my mouth before you immediately start talking. <laughs> I thought me. you were done. Uh, why was I? <laughs> I, really, I, I just said <laughs> a one. You know the name of the podcast. Come down Christmas I said, Spectacular. Shut the period. fuck up. <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up and wait. Just count in okay. your head. Literally count five seconds and fe- feel how long. All right. Feel how long five seconds of silence probably is to you. <laughs> it's okay. Count it. Right now? Yeah. Count out five seconds in your head. You see how long this is? You see how much talking I can do before you've interrupted me? That's how long it is. 
Uh, okay. I mean, that's all it would have taken is fucking <laughs> is just five seconds to get some kind of context or understanding I, of where the conversation's going or what's gonna. Fu- I could have had a bit prepared. I don't, but I could have. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking totally could have had a thing I was going into. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I, Jesus Christ, dude! Like, I'm. You know, it's funny because people listen to the show, and I'm the one that gets insulted for being, you know, autistic or whatever, or being yeah, on yeah, the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, is probably true. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I probably bit. am, you know. But at least I can understand fucking social cues. What's your excuse? You're just rude. Me? Yeah, you're just a fucking rude person. Are you in a bad <laughs> mood right now? I'm actually in a pretty good mood <laughs> because I've decided I'm going to buy PlayStation. Tr- yeah. Dress for the job you have or job you want, not the one you have. And it's like, yeah, I don't even want this job. <laughs> yeah, I want to have. I want to pay my fucking rent and be able to eat food. So <laughs> the job I want is no job at all. Mm-hmm. So I'm I dress, dress for the like job shit. I want. And that's why I wear a full football uniform wherever I go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nice. Maybe maybe this is a new know, masculinity man. thing, but I, if I really don't care if I'm seeing someone if they want to fuck someone. Yeah, I don't. AC ACDC stands for Anthony Kumia Dice Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I went to I did a show at uh, at a at a club, and they had <laughs> they had Andrew Dice Clay's smoked cigarette butt. <laughs> Taped to the wall as memorabilia. <laughs> they, had, like, they had this fucking. It's it like was the, on a bulletin thing. board. It's the world's <laughs> shittiest planet, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, they, they got, just have they like got, fucking Sam Kinison's yeah. uh, cum rags on the wall. Right? No, they have the couch. This is true. Paulie Shore went to the uh, Funny Bone in Richmond <laughs> and fucked like one of the wait staff and nutted on the couch. <laughs> And then refused to clean the <laughs> come up. Didn't clean it up. Just didn't clean it up, and then they had to buy a new couch. <laughs> <laughs> One of my longest uh, running uh, uh, Wikipedia vandalisms. I added a whole section to the Papa John's page about like an incident that happened in like the flagship uh. Louisville, Kentucky store, where uh, John Schnatter came in drunk <laughs> and was like insisting that everyone calls him Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "I'll show you how to make a fucking pizza." And he was drunk and he like threw up all over the place and then locked himself in the office and like <laughs> took off all his clothes and was like crying in there. And, and I couldn't get him out. Of it. But I made it look real and yeah, I added yeah. all these fake citations and it stayed on there for like six months. Oh man, you're That's a hero. So yeah. fucking people, good. People thought it was, it you're was the real. Dark night. Wait, of so Wikipedia. I guess every pizza guy is super conservative, right? Because Domino's, Domino's is Catholic. Well, no, they're yeah. cat. They're not. Yeah, they're not. Tea and party. then Herman they're... Cain was Godfather Pizza, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Who else is everybody? Is there is uh, there a liberal pizza chain? That would suck if it was like California yeah, pizza Comet kitchen. Ping Pong Pizza. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. And the breakdancing kids. kids eventually turned into martial arts kids. Yeah, really. And they would fight each other behind the school. What? And, uh, yeah, and I remember my friend Nick one time. He found this folding chair, and he like walked. Out. I remember watching him walk around the corner in the back to where all the Asian kids were fighting each other. And he's swinging the folding chair, and he's going, "Oh, you didn't know." <laughs> <laughs> No. no trunking is like uh i think it might be like a jersey thing but it's dog fighting but because dog fighting was like cracked down on so much they just put the two pit bulls in the trunk of like a fucking el dorado what? and then drive around you know for 20 minutes oh my god and then gosh. pull the trunk pull the car back into the parking garage and they open the trunk and whichever dog is dead is the loser and at that Holy point it's shit. like just Jesus. play dice yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? you don't even get the sadistic pleasure of watching the dog fight you have this Schrodinger's dog fight experiment. <laughs> In Greece, they didn't even have like real race. Like they had, I mean, they did, but it was like racism against Albanians. And speaking, like, speaking of racism, you got to hear about this truck attack today. Yesterday, yeah. Berlin. Yesterday, the truck yeah. attack in Berlin. You know, I don't. I feel like the truck attacks don't bother me as much as bombings. I guess, and it sort of humanizes them. I don't know why, but there's sort of like a. A Wario element to drive <laughs> a, a truck through yeah. a crowd of people. Like, that's what Wario would do. It's a GTA kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Wario. <laughs> Wario. <laughs> you can just imagine gleeful yelling yeah, while yeah, you're yeah. mowing people <laughs> down. <laughs> Wario, Wario was a Sloffist, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was doing white genocide yeah. by kidnapping well, Peach. D- Wario, st- <laughs> Wario stands for Wahhabis Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Wah, wah, wah. Wahhabism is, is you know derives from Mahabism. Right, right. You know that yep, game yep. like Mario Ishia. 
and Wario is <laughs> zooming. Yeah. And that's like when when Mario like takes a mushroom, that's like uh Shia mysticism. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. And but Wario, like you remember in Mario sixty four Wario comes to Peach's castle and like fucks it up. That's mm-hmm. Sharia law. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. well, Peach shouldn't be able to have a castle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, her face is out. I'm uh, I'm gonna put the Shia woman in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, most uh, all Italians were Muslim at one point. They derived yeah. from. Yeah. Uh, Wait, no one died in Berlin though, right? Uh, no, a bunch of people died. Like twelve people died. Yeah. Fifty people they went did. to the hospital. Yeah. In a Chris, it was a Christmas carnival. Last I checked, too, they don't have. Uh, they haven't found the guy yet. Yeah, they detained the wrong guy at first. Yeah. Damn. Well, he the ran away. The police is actually run by Reddit. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that is like, you know, they do, they make like such an effort to avoid any kind of like Islamophobic backlash that they like don't want to release any details and then they arrest the wrong guy who's a Pakistani guy and then they begrudgingly announce like, yeah, it, it was a Pakistani guy, but we have to, you know, just, it, that's, this is the real evil here is that, you know, uh, all the people that work with refugees and all the people who earnestly came here seeking asylum, and they're like, oh, whoops, it wasn't actually a Muslim. <laughs> and they wound up profiling anyways. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's it would be like, funny if this guy was Swedish or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Like, well, the truck was from Poland, so they're saying it could be, you know, well, wait, no, it wasn't a Muslim? I mean, if, if it's from Poland, it was probably an accident then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, because, they, because there weren't three of them driving the truck. Yeah. Have oh you my been God. to Chicago? Like a, it was a Polish guy. Go- it was like some harebrained Polish shit. Like yeah, he yeah. duct taped his foot yeah. to, the, to the gas pedal. Oh, he's sleeping. Uh, he yeah. oh, take no. a nap. Oh, no. I sold my brake. I knew it's this would be a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> Dude, the best video I ever saw on E-Fucked was this fucking guy. It was a couple, and it was just like... Like these creepy white people that hired some like black dude to fuck you know it was like a mm-hmm. cuck and yeah. the guy so the the black guy sitting at the edge at the top of the bed and the husband I guess is fucking his wife like to warm her up or whatever yeah and so the guy's head the <laughs> their head is by the guy's dick and the guy's uh-huh. fucking his wife wait and he keeps inching closer with every pump he comes closer uh-huh. he inches closer to the guy's dick and he just starts sucking off the black dude who's wait. like waiting to fuck his so wife so he's fucking his wife the guy's fucking his wife before the black guy fucks and her and as he fucks his wife he sucks he, off the black yeah, dude yeah he comes up like fucking coming up for air and starts <laughs> sucking off like with every pump he gets a little suck off and the guy's uh, eyes are the best it's the best fucking face I've ever seen in my life the guy's just like it's like the fucking it's like the uh, the uh, um, is he like smiling no he's like fucking weirded out he's, he's like, like he's like oh, oh like he doesn't man, want to no 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 thing. it's like the fucking walk up it's like the Waka like okay meme. Like he's making those weird oh, side yeah. eye eyes. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> My two favorites were uh, on E-Fucked. Uh, there's one that was like, you know, it's uh, two women on a bed and they're shoving eels in their pussies. <laughs> yes. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Electric eels in their pussies. And then this camera slowly tracks to the side <laughs> and the shot gets wider. And then it just this guy from the edge of the frame comes in and he's got like a blowfish and he's just fucking it in the mouth. <laughs> and like slowly he's just standing next to the woman and he's like shoving this dumb fish's head over his dick. And it's inflating because it doesn't know what else to do other than to get bigger. Probably making the experience more pleasurable for the man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, why don't I have spikes on the inside? I didn't think about this. I was worried about being eaten and something much worse happened. <laughs> That's like a perfect lesson for life, you know? Absolutely. We all we all have our spikes in a lot of ways. And then mm. what happens? The IRS comes and they stick their dick in your mouth. Absolutely. <laughs> That's or, why we're all libertarians. Cancer or something. Second of all, most Israelis are against the settlements, as are most Jews in the world. Yeah, yeah. He's a hardline right-wing, like, psycho. I'm not, yeah. like, defending, you know... But like clearly, there's a nut Hear job. Spin, dude. But what he's Jewish been able spin. to no no what he's been able to do is get spinning them- like a dreidel. Over <laughs> yeah. here, oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>